Well, hello, everybody. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about our seven day savers. We are currently celebrating the fact that Hochanda have reached their fifth birthday and we're looking forward to many more happy birthdays with you. So what we're going to do, oh, I've got to tell you, because it is our fifth birthday, if you go onto the website, have a look, because you can get hold of a free birthday gift during, it's a free gift with purchase during any live show. See full T's and C's on our website. Let's have a look at these Oakwood and Archer folders. So we are talking a set of two die storage cases you're getting 10 magnetic sheets in there already now here's what's exciting because you can also add refills in there as well so you can extend on those but to start with think about uh, storing all of your die sets beautifully within a folder that will grow with you 24.98 saving nine pounds that is an utter bargain you're getting both those folders it's just one of the seven day savers 892 272 is your item number don't miss out Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to Achanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Twenty-seven years ago, whilst enjoying a day out in Santa Barbara, California with my brother and the kids, we came across a shop called Stampa Barbara. Santa Barbara, Stampa Barbara, we had to go in. And when we ventured inside, we were met with walls of wood-mounted rubber stamps. Well, that's when I had my moment of clarity. Wouldn't it make more sense, I said to my brother, if you could see through the rubber stamps? And that's where Clarity Stamp was born. Since then, Clarity has grown into the worldwide success it is today, bringing you the very best in stamping, parchment craft, and more recently, die cutting. To celebrate our 27th birthday, we have joined with Hochanda to bring you a long weekend of your favourite Clarity products with your favourite Clarity demonstrators. So, put the kettle on, put your feet up and join us for our 27th birthday celebrations on Friday the 4th of September from 10am to Monday the 7th of September at 5pm. We'll see you there. Hello, a very good morning to you. It's great to be back in the studio this morning. I hope you're sitting comfortably. Do stay with us because once again today we've got some great variation of shows for you and guests and some we haven't seen for a little while as well. In fact, this morning we're starting with our wonderful Nigel from Decapatch. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Catherine. When was the last time you were here, Nigel? Um, with yourself, September last year. I was was that when it was? Yes, yes it was, it's been a year since you and I worked together. Oh, wow. And uh, I came just before Christmas, well, end of November, and did some stuff. So but, yeah, it has been a while then. First outing again this year. For oh, I'm looking forward to this yeah. anyway, because you've brought some amazing bundles this morning. So let's have a little look. Before that, I'm just going to ask uh, Nigel to tell us a little bit about Decapatch, of course, because for those that haven't seen this before, Hmm, that might be a little bit unusual for some though, because this has been going for some time, hasn't it, Nigel? Oh, it's a lot of years. We were just saying it's probably something like 15, 16 years since I, I was involved 
uh, demonstrating Decapatch when it first came over here from France. Um, and, you know, we've, we've met a lot of people and we've done a lot of different stuff along the way yeah. in those years. And we've seen it grow from being sort of 50 designs to several hundred designs of paper and all the shapes that go with it. Yes, and, and beautiful evolved. papers and of course the shapes and the bundles that we've got today. We've got a lot of choice for you. Just before I carry on as well, don't forget, part of the birthday event, so you're going to get a free gift. So this is a little tote bag, all packaged up in a nice heart-shaped uh, pocket there. So I'm, can I open this? Can yeah, I open please, this yes, absolutely, yeah. So you could keep all your decapatch pieces or just you put this in your handbag and carry it around a as a shopping event. bag. That's a really good size actually, isn't it? And it folds away really, and really it just neatly. It folds back into itself and zips up into the heart shape. Of course. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's really handy. So everybody who purchases from the show, of course, will receive one of these. I'll try and tuck that way a little bit later. Let's have a look at the first bundle, though, because this is great. You've got lots of wonderful shapes to work with here. So you've got the rectangle tissue box, you've got two brush pots, and you've got two medium trays as well. In fact, those brush pots could be used for all sorts of accessories, couldn't they? Pen pots, uh, markers, all sorts of crafted yep. Little bits you've got around, yeah, scissors, rulers, yeah. Yeah, I think you could line that, couldn't you, and protect that if you want to put a plant in there as well, or you, put a plant pot in there. You could certainly put a little plastic plant pot in there as a liner, yeah. Wonderful. I'm thinking makeup brushes, all those mm. different things. Really nice bundle and a very nice price as well. Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Item number zero one nine five two seven. Now, if you're still unsure about the papers, bear with us because we are going to get to those, and of course we've got demonstrations as well. But do you know what? Even if you want to go for the bundles and you want to use other mediums as well, these are great bundles to go for. Let's have a look at the next item. Another great bundle, actually. Now, we've got a tissue box in this one, but it's a different size. So you've got your square tissue box here. You've still got the brush pots in this one as well, but you've also got trays in the shape of stars. So I'm thinking... Do you know what? We've got Christmas coming up, haven't we? These would make lovely little sweet trays, little jewellery trays. Stars don't have to be for Christmas, but I think for seasonal, Nigel, this is a really yes. nice bundle, isn't yes. it? Yes, always popular, the star yeah. trays, yeah, definitely. They're a nice size as well, and nice and deep. Yes, they are, nicely constructed, quite, quite solid, really. For saying it's only a, a sort of a pressed card, they're, they're, they're well made. They are, aren't they? Let me just take the lid off the box as well, so obviously you can fit your tissues in there, and you can decorate the box, and of course feed the tissue through the top, and you've got a very nice decorative tissue box to put on the coffee table. Love it. That would make a great gift as well. Fifteen ninety nine is the price for this bundle. Nine zero one three six three. Now wait for it. Now we've got a really good deal coming up. Let's have a look at this one. Now this is going to be a sorted bundle, so contents will vary a little bit, but you're going to get all sorts of wonderful shapes. I think if you want to uh, sit down as a family and craft together, this is a great option for you. Look at the saving on it as well. It's a half price saving. 19.99 is going to get you the various different shapes in there. You've got brushes in there. You've got papers in here as well. You've got a little glue pot to get yourself going as well. Nigel, tell me about this because there really is a, a good assortment. There, isn't there, there is. Well, just taking the papers and the glue and the brush alone, there's, there's ten pounds worth of value there. Yeah. So what I've done is I've selected a real mixture of bits and pieces. So there'll be some. Uh, decorative pieces there'll be a couple of larger shapes like the the, the robot girl the animal from a, a selection of animals some smaller things some seasonal christmas decorations there's some little angels in there there'll probably be some baubles things Aww. like that so you've got essentially for another 9.99 all the shapes that you see in front of you there which is just like as you say, a, a really, really good offer. And if you broke that down into little sessions you could do with family, friends, kids, Definitely. grandkids, you're talking of a, a couple of pounds for an entertaining afternoon. Yeah. Now, we've also got at the back here a notebook, so you may get something like this in your bundle as well. As I say, it is going to be an assortment, yeah. but definitely an assortment that you've got lots of variation in there, different shapes and sizes. Do you know, I've just picked up that bird, Nigel, and that's quite weighty as they well, They are isn't quite it? heavy, yeah. The, the smaller ones are, are, are solid construction. Yeah. Uh, the, the larger shapes you see are a hollow papier-mâché made in a mould in halves and, and then joined and covered with paper. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Great weights. 
Wonderful. Now you do get the glue in there as well, and I do know this is a, a fantastic glue to work with. I have worked with it myself before. You do get a brush in there as well, Nigel. So it is a great starter kit, isn't it? It is. It, for anybody? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, if you've already got some papers and the glue, start a friend off with crafting yeah. for a tenner. It's a nice little gift to give them. Definitely. Oh, do go for this one. Twenty pounds saving and ten percent of the stock has already gone. Five five nine three seven eight. That's the item number there. Don't miss out on that one. If you've never seen this before, honestly, for under twenty pounds, because it is just a penny shy, isn't it? Um, well, think about it. If you went to, I don't know, one of those fast food places with your um, kids, just yep. a couple of kids there, even with the discounts we've had recently, you'd be spending that. You would. Just on a you very so, you know, very yeah. easy, that's not with a full meal each either. Yeah. So a whole, I don't know, five days a week even, if the, you just do a project a day each and, or a couple of little things we, a day, we know, that's going to keep We know school's busy. back this week, but yeah. half term's not far we've away. We've got weekends as well, and though. Weekends, yep. Yep, so we have. Th there's, a, there's a lot of enjoyment there. Definitely. Oh, I'd certainly enjoy that. I might get one of these for my, my daughter, actually. She's with me at the moment. She'd like to have a go. Uh, let's have a look at the next item. We have got some more trays for you here. Now, these are really, really useful because you've got different sizes, Nigel. Yeah. But just, you know, something like this is very useful around the home, whether it's on a, a little um, table in, in the hall to put your keys or your change in, in the kitchen to put your bits and pieces in, jewellery trays again. Do you know, every room of the house, you could use something like this you could you? you could yes uh, and you can color coordinate and you, you can you know according to your decor um, and you can if you don't like them you can redo them you know, Do you know that's, that's a good point yeah of course you could the, one of the beautiful things about the deco patch paper being so thin is that you can work and rework and, and yeah. build several layers so it doesn't bulk up and of course, you can shape it. I know we've got the trays here. I've just picked this up because it was from the previous bundle. But just to show how you can shape around, you know, all sorts of different shapes and sizes, including if we go back to the previous bundle, if you think of the horse that's there with his tail and his legs, yep. do you know, all those shapes can be worked around as well. For the trays, 11.98. So once again, a really, really good price there. You get in four of the small rectangular trays, and you get in two of the medium. Um, I can tell you with this bundle, when it's gone, it's gone as well. We haven't got a huge stock of those. So if you want them don't hesitate 30 percent of the stock already gone on that one nine three eight eight five five is the item number now the next bundle really good buy this one as well if you've been working with deco patch before maybe you want to restock on glue if you perhaps you're going for the big bundle and you're thinking yes i do want to get the whole family involved we need more we want more glue to work with then this is the bundle for you and it's not just about the glue because you've also got the brushes in there as well you've got the white acrylic covering in there which is great i'm going to ask nigel about that but all in all this is a really really good buy once again now you're getting a lot for your money as well there is a freedom price on this one so non-freedom members 29.99 a three pound saving for freedom members and that's delivered of course with no extra for postage and packaging 801 is the item number and the brushes nigel yep. again i've i've had the brushes i've yep. got the brushes yep. they are really good quality brushes and they work perfectly for De the De job Patch do a couple of different qualities of brush uh, the standard one we use is like this sort of synthetic uh, little stubby little short haired brush yeah like that uh, but the ones you've got there in the pack are these rather nice nylon brushes and these are good they, they are silky smooth and they really don't show the tram lines they don't no, show they are any excellent. marks you can get a lovely finish on them with you those certainly can. and they only do the three sizes in that pack which is why i put that together normally you can just buy that one individually so you're getting all of the sizes yeah. that are available which is everything you need yeah. when it comes to the acrylic and the glue tell us about these right. as well okay Nigel. so the acrylic gesso um people will be familiar with acrylic and with gesso yeah uh really just as an undercoating Quite often you don't need to use this, but occasionally you may be working on something where you think, well, it's quite a pale paper I want to use, it's quite a dark surface I'm going on to. Say if you were going to do a little wooden chair or something like that, it was a dark wood, you were going to use a pale pink paper, yeah. the darkness would show through and it would dull down the the uh, vibrancy of the paper you're putting on and that's when really i would advocate using that 
perfect perfect and when it comes to the glue of course you're going to use that for applying your papers and for sealing as well yes. and it's more than the deco patch papers we've got so this is just a great bundle to have in stock or have you know within your stash at home for many many purposes as i say freedom price there 26.99 801598 now of course we need more papers as well because if you are going for any of the bundles you want to choose some papers and they are beautiful i know janice has got her eye on these as well she's wanting to have a go let's have a look at some of the papers and we'll give you the details as well now there are options here look at this price as well 16 sheets in total for just 15.99 so that makes it just a pound a sheet then now John. it does and the sheet size is is just under a3 so you know it's twi twice a4 basically Let's have a look at the size of the sheets. Now, what are we getting here? The 16 sheets, so how many different designs so in each option? There eight are of those? Eight designs, two sheets of each. Beautiful. There we are. You can just see just one of them there. We'll have a flick through these, but we have got the different options for you. So let's have a little look at what we've got here. Now, you've just seen the elephants there. They're beautiful, actually. Oh, I like the colours in this one. So you've got all sorts, Nigel, haven't you? You've got florals, you've got all over sort of smaller patterns, um, you've got bright colours, you've got almost metallics in here as well. Yep, yep. Some, some of the uh, papers do have gold and silver um, ink on them. Uh, some are quite floral, some are pinks, neutrals, wood effects, um, yellows, orange, greens. So, you know, a nice, a nice mixture, really. I like the one I've just shown there because you've got the gingham, the spots and the stripes all in one sheet. Yes. So yes. these are, aren't so much the metallics, I don't think, at the top here, but we've got Christmas in there as well. There's we've got some metallics at the bottom, even including sort of crackle effects. Everything's on the website. I think we might have a look on there, actually, because it might be an easier way of seeing some of these. Uh, so many choices. You've got script in there as well. We've got the black and white. Oh, there's some beautiful, beautiful peacock feathers in there. Let's have a look at Christmas and Halloween first. When we're over at the website, it will make a lot of sense. There you are, those beautiful oranges. Look at those. You've got the reds in there, the greens, quite traditional for Christmas, but of course, do you know, there's a lot there that wouldn't be for Christmas or Halloween either. You can use them all year round. Now, coming up next, you can see some beautiful ones there. These are your florals. Oh, there's some pretty ones there as well. Then we've got blue designs. Oh, the maps are nice. I like that one. Then the yellow and orange. That's where that gingham and spot and stripe is. We've got a little bit of pink in there as well. Now, this is beautiful. The purple and violet. That's where those peacock feathers are. They're stunning, Nigel. There, we've got the black and white as well. The music notes. We've got the script in there. The crackle effect. Oh, I think that's going to be a popular one. Then we've got the brown and sepia tones for you. And finally, we've got the pink. Nothing to stop you going for more than one set as well, but just fifteen ninety nine. Remember, you're getting sixteen sheets there, eight designs, and also, as I say, two of each of those designs. So do make sure you have a look through those and choose whatever you need. Now we've got some more mediums for you now. So let's have a look at these. Now the first one we're looking at, we've got glossy glue, but we've got sparkling glue as well. Oh, yes. that sounds nice. Yep. So it's the regular uh, formula of the decapatch glue varnish that you see in the green bottle, but it has a slight um, sort of mother of pearl type finish to it. I've got some examples down here. Um, I we'll, we'll, we'll probably see those at I'll demo hold now. Those, I'll show you during the demo. Yep. That would be the easiest we thing. Well, we can get a camera too. You'd prefer to do it now if you want to sort of there explain. We are. We are you hold it up towards six. towards me, Nigel, towards and then we'll you, catch the camera there. over this That's side. The there, look at that. Okay. So if you look just around the top here, I love you can that. see a little bit of a little bit of a glittery shimmer to it. You can, can't you? Yes, we're catching that just, now. Just picking up. And what I've noticed there again, Nigel, is the shape of the mask that you've got there. Look yeah. how beautifully the yeah. papers have shaped around all those different shapes. The lips, the nose, you know, the indentations of the face. You've got points on there, curves on there. It just shows how well the papers cover. You would never know they were sheets, individual you sheets, would you? you? Wouldn't. Painting with paper is a term that um, the manufacturers used quite early on and I think it des describes it very well. It really does. Love that. Well that's just one choice for you so we'll have a look at the details there. 11 98 again a great price for these. These glues are going to go a long way. It's not just about the glue, it is sealing the surface as well. You've got the added benefit there of the glitter in this one. 837387. Now we've got more for you so again let's have a look at this because different to the, the previous one. 
So we've got here, we've got the ultra gloss finish there, and again, we've got the glossy glue involved. So the ultra gloss, I think that probably it does what it says on the tin, it's, does it? It's a high gloss. Again, I, I, you, you can, uh, if we go on to here, just... I don't know Lovely. The there, you can see the gloss on there as well. As I move it, move it around. There's a real sheen Beautiful. to it. Really does gloss it up. Yeah. Lovely. Gorgeous. Well, details on the screen for that one. Eight four three four seven one is the item number. And again, really generous size pots there. Uh, you can see just the glue alone. You've got three hundred grams in that one. Right. Let's have a look at the ones at the front as well, because we've got more for you. So the next one we're going to look at, you've got here the satiny sealing varnish. And again, you've got the glossy glue there. Now, I do like the satin finish because yes. it's neither really high gloss yes. or matte. Yes. It's kind of in the middle, which is really nice. It is. Um, and it's closest to the standard finish that you would expect the glue varnish to dry yeah. to. That, that is what it looks like. Um, so an example would be, again, going back to the camera there on this mask here that lovely. is the standard yep. satin added that's on that's a really on top. lovely finish i do like that really does beef up the the sur surface that you're putting it onto perfect so if you want to go for that one 15.99 again 512.380 and then we've got one more because perhaps you do want a matte finish so we've got that option as well so 15.99 again this time it is the matte finish and again you're getting the glossy glue 633.539 on that one do we have a sample just with the matte I'm work in progress, but I can show you ah. um, on the t one of the tissue boxes that's okay. in the bundle deal, which I'm going to be working on in a bit. Um, just on the base there, I did put a little band of the mat. Oh, I can see it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You see, if I move it around. Yeah, you can see the difference. Yep. You can see that line, can't it you? It really does mute and, and take any sheen away. It so does, if, doesn't yeah. it? It works amazingly yeah. well. Yeah. So if you want something that's completely flat, it's a great top coat. Lovely. Spoilt for choice, aren't yeah. you? You can go for more than one if you like all those different finishes. 633 is the item number. Now, the rectangular trays, we'll give you a reminder of those because they are at limited stock. A really nice bundle. Please be quick on those. 11.98. Make sure you uh, check your baskets out. 938-855. We'll keep you updated on that. We've got lots of wonderful bundles, but once they're gone, they're gone. So if you really, really want those, please don't hesitate on those and check the baskets out because you will find you might miss out if you don't. Now, we've got more to tell you about as well. Remember, with every bundle that we've got, there is that free gift with your purchase as well I really like this actually it's very very handy indeed it all falls away into that pocket which is a heart shape so worth you know just carrying around in your bag so if you want a bigger bag or you go shopping or you suddenly decide there's more more you need when you're shopping at uh, the craft store then you can fill that bag can't you wonderful to keep very handy everybody's gonna get one of those if they're purchasing from the show of course now how do you use the Decker Patch papers and the glues. Well, we're going to hand over to Nigel and see some demonstrations. So, Nigel, it's all yours. Thank you, Catherine. That's lovely. Right, so, to begin with, just going back, your full sheet of paper looks like that. Okay, and that's roughly A3 size, so it's going to go a long way. A lot of the examples that we've put in the bundles, you'll be looking at something like mm, half half a sheet, less than a sheet to cover. Um, I've brought some examples, work in progress. I'm going to show you a little bit of a tissue box as per the one that's in the uh, square tissue box kit. The tray, these were very popular as you said Catherine. They are. We are limited stock on the trays alone but of course the trays do also come in the larger tissue box. They so do. At least you've got a couple they of do. them in there. They do. So. The technique of decapatching, very, very easy. I've torn some of my paper of my choice beforehand, and we just apply some of the glue varnish onto the surface of the object. Now, as we said, we're working on cardboard today, but equally I could be doing this onto a metal tray, I could be doing it onto a wooden tray, and I'd just be using the same material all the way through. You can apply to glass as well, can onto you? Onto glass, just would it, would on... Would it work on plastic or perspex? Yes, yeah. absolutely. That's on a glass vase. With that one, it's Wonderful. quite interesting because if you, it looks like it's one sheet, but actually what we've done is cut around the 
the sort of petals, the flowers oh, I can see on there, that now. And, and placed it so that you can actually see the design. So that works really nicely. I think the human eye tends to blend things back together quite well. But as I say, this is the basic, the basic technique we have. So all I'm doing is just applying a little bit of the glue. Okay. And also, what you can see as I'm doing this, as I'm chatting through, that you don't have to be particularly fussy or give it too much thought. The paper is so nice to work with that it will just allow you to uh, manoeuvre it, manipulate it around the object. That's a little bit there. So I so pick it up on I the can brush. see you just picking up the paper with your brush, yeah. so you're not even getting your fingers into no. the glue whatsoever. No, occasionally, if it was a larger panel, I might okay. give it a bit of assistance. Yeah. But that, you know, again, the bigger brushes will help you with that. And I'm thinking as well, Nigel, if you finish a project and you've got just small amounts of the paper left, don't ever throw any of it away. Every single scrap can be used. There is no waste. You can save those bits. Again, you can do random things. Uh, where is a good example of something really random? Well, these, these are all just odd little patch bits. Oh, I like the patchwork effect, actually. That looks really nice. Yeah. I'm thinking as well, perhaps if you'd got sort of a plainer paper, and then you've got scraps of the floral ones, as you've said, you can cut the florals out. Yep. And sort of br really bring those to life onto your papers that are plainer. We've got crackle glaze involved in there. There's script. There's all sorts of different things there. Oh, I have got an update as oh. well. The bundle with the small and medium trays technically sold out. Love so you, if you Thank don't you. check those baskets out, some may bounce back. But if you check those baskets out, they're yours and we will be sold out. 938855 was the number. If you still want those trays, there is another bundle where you can get trays, but you get other things involved as well. So the rectangular tissue box, you've got the two pots in there and you've got two of the larger trays in there as well. So if that's the size you particularly want, just 18.99 for that bundle. The larger tray is, is what I'm working on now, essentially. Um, Lovely. And just, you can take your time with this. You know, you, if you want to work at a faster pace, you can. But it is a lovely sort of social project. It is. It's, it's, a, very, um, it's a very mindful thing. You know, it's a yeah. very relaxing thing. It's something which has kept a lot of my friends and neighbours around quite happy and contented during the lockdown period where they wanted something to do at home. They're not crafters. Yes. And you talk to all these yep. people and they say, what is it you sell again? And as they say, we're bringing big elephants <laughs> and giraffes in and out of the car. And, oh, uh, if you've ever seen Nigel at the shows, you do have <laughs> huge animals, don't you, that have been decoupatched. Yes. They're amazing. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, with the show was not happening this year the same, a lot of you won't get to see them this time round. But of course, you can think about the projects you want to create yourself. Remember, we've got great bundles on the show today, but if you want to go for the papers and decorate things that you've already got at home, I think everybody knows by now I love my upcycling. So if you've got pots and things that you don't like the colours of, you can recreate those. You can go over the top if you want to change your decor, decor as well. There's loads of papers available, isn't there, Nigel? We there saw are. those on the website. There are. The, the, there's a huge uh, variety of designs. And some things, you know, immediately, you some, sometimes you'll put things together and you think, oh, well, that doesn't work. But then, actually, when you see it applied, it will look completely different and it works really, really nicely. And what I've tried to do is put a broader mix in each of those selections of papers. Yeah. So you've got some small design, you've got some larger, bolder stuff, you've got some subtle things, all based on what, what I've learned as I've spoke to people at events, you know, over the, over the uh, crafting season and, and through the years. I'm not going to complete this one. I'm going to jump onto something else okay. uh, just while we're going. We get the idea of, of what's happening there. Basically, that's a lovely effect. That looks like you've just poured acrylic paint in there with yeah. one of those Well, that is uh, actually mixes. a paper. That's a, one of the designs. That's lovely. Which looks Very like that. nice. So I just tore that. Now, another thing I'm asked about is... I thought I'd go through some of these because the, the design is... You know, it's quite a, it's quite a simple uh, explanation of decoupage. The technique is quite basic. So as long as you can tear paper and brush glue onto a shape, you're pretty much safe with it. Yeah. But I get asked a lot about, well, what do I do with the in, inside of things? What do I do with the, uh, do, do I do the brush pot inside? And, you know, it, it, of course, for a lot of people, it, it, they'll leave it blank. 
I, I probably would, you know, because your main focus is, is around the thing. You may just want to put a band of, of paper just around the top just yeah. to finish it off. But if you did want to apply it so it actually went right in and, and you'd done the full 100% the full coverage, it's really quite easy to work with. The camera's picking that up okay. There we are. So you have to get right into the corners, I presume, yes. because you need the glue to have that nice even coverage. You do, you do. Just as you're doing that, Nigel, I'm yes. just thinking of uh, a couple of questions, actually. Yeah, sure. Could we apply, say, to canvas shoes? Canvas shoes? Would it work? Well, I, I recall we did do a canvas, um, a deep edge canvas, and the texture of the canvas actually showed through the paper. The, the paper's kind of bonded itself so well to that surface that you could see the see the effect of the oh I'd like that I think when you see the texture come through that would look really yeah. effective and just following on from that something else I found while I was putting my samples together we can see that yes that, you can is that corrugated that's a corrugated cardboard box lid and can you see how again the paper has really molded itself yes. to the shape you can see it. So if you had a shape vase, maybe a little bit of detail on there, that's going to show through yes, as well. You go so you've got over. raised areas. Yep. yep. Oh, lovely. Yep. Any, anything, um, I'm trying to think of anything sort of bas relief or something like yep. that, where you wanted to add that kind of decorative effect without paint, but with using the papers, you could do that. Oh, how lovely. Now, I'm, I'm a big lover of dry brushing as well. So when there's detail on an object, I like to go with a very small amount of paint and almost just virtually no paint at all and dry brush over the top. So I presume you could actually pick out some detail that way as well over the top yes, of the papers. Yes, you could do. And again, another example that I've got here, um, this one, there's some embossing, stamping and embossing powder gone onto this little wooden... Oh, I like that effect. So you could use your stencils, you can use your embossing yeah. powders, your heat guns over the top because once it's sealed, then it's protected as well. Is it, I'm not going to say fully waterproof because I doubt that it is, but is it water resistant? Once Certainly it's water resistant and I've had examples of things where people have done, um, say a hanging bird that they've put in the garden and the paper has stayed on but from the centre uh, the object has absorbed the moisture from the centre right. but the paper stayed on outside. Oh, wow. I've seen it done on stones in the garden, people have, have decorated stones with the papers, terracotta pots, things that you've got that you can do Ooh, that sit do outside. I would suggest then if you've got little bits and you want projects for outside Try it, just try it for the price of the sheets that you get these for. I mean, it works out at a pound a sheet if you're going for those um, choices there that we've got on the website. Just try it, maybe. P stones are such a big thing at the moment, aren't they? We've been decorating stones and leaving them around the villages and things like that. Um, I'm thinking fairy houses, you could be decorating as well. Or maybe leave them out during the summer and bring them in during the elements in the winter where it's going to be really frosty and very damp. But, you know, it really leaves it open to so many different projects, doesn't it? It, it does. It does. You, you can um, literally take things you've got that you've perhaps fallen out of love with over time or a little bit battered uh, and give them a complete makeover, really, for, for not, not very much cost at all. Do you know, I'm thinking as well, Nigel, with all the spare bits, you can make nice pendants if you've got little wooden beads and pendants Absolutely. and all, shapes. Absolutely, all those bits, I mean, you know, that would, that would cover a little wooden bead, wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then maybe use the high gloss on that one so it looks like it's a, a real gem or, you know, a semi-precious yeah. stone or something like that, if you choose cleverly the papers. Yeah. So I hope, with what I've done here, I've shown people that you can quite easily work into the, the shape. Sorry if it went off camera a little there bit there. Go. If you just show that to the camera at the front as well, Nigel, when you can, so yeah. we can see right into the corners yeah. there. Perfect. Yeah. And if I have missed a little bit, then you can simply just pick tear a little bit of paper. Is there a size that you would say when you tear in the paper that you should avoid? If you tear into small pieces, you can go very small, but when it comes to larger pieces, would you say avoid a certain size? Or does it depend on the project? It depends on the shape. I think if it's a flat surface you're working to, it's probably easier. If it's more rounded or it's got a lot of, 
undulations, then you've got more opportunity for something not to quite so that's Go where up. the smaller pieces, the smaller would, really pieces come in. would be better. Yeah. But again, if you do do something and you're not entirely happy with it, you can just, you know, quite easily go back and rework because things will have several layers on, yeah. and it won't bulk up. Oh. So a lot of people now are looking at these papers for, as you say, additional things, stamping on with the journaling, putting other bits and pieces on because they're lovely designs as yeah. a as a background. Um, and yeah so no rules really i like that well we'll have a bit of a recap nigel we'll come back to you in a little okay. while if that's okay yes. let you get ready for another demonstration now when it comes to the bundles let's have a look again let's have a bit of a recap so this bundle i think this is great value actually the size of the rectangular box here this is for your tissues of course you could really decorate that beautifully and i'm, I'm thinking ahead again here your papers are gorgeous you get a lovely finish but of course do think about adding other things as well so perhaps your clay molds uh, you've got we've already mentioned texture paste and stencils and stamping on top as well so think of this as an addition to the products that you've already got in your stash now, now in this bundle we have got that rectangular box, you've got two of the pots there, we call them the brush pots but they could be for pots for whatever you want, and then you've got two of those large rectangular trays as well, just $18.99 for the whole set, and again once it's gone it's gone on this bundle, 019527 is the item number. Now our next bundle that we've still got available, again you've got a tissue box, this one's busy as well. If you prefer to go for your smaller tissue boxes, your squares, this is the one that you want because that's going to fit perfectly. You've got the two pots again and you've also got the star trays. <clears throat> 60% of the stock has gone on this one. 15.99. Again, it's a great starter kit, isn't it? Or perhaps an add-on if you've already got your papers and things at home and you've been working with this uh, medium and this technique for a long time. 901363 is the item number. Now the big bundle. This is huge and it's a great price as well. Half price. 30% of the stock has now gone. A great place to start. Perhaps you want to work as a family. Perhaps you want to buy this as a gift. Maybe you want to make little gifts for the teachers perhaps at Christmas, that sort of thing, or for the neighbours. Or just little thank yous or, you know, just letting people know that you care about them. I just think personally to keep this in the house, you know, for those rainy days, weekends when the children are at home and you want to do something together for £20 or just shy of £20, the whole bundle. Now, the shapes will vary. It's worth over £30 in its entirety. You are getting your brush in there to get started. You've got some glue in there as well and a selection of those papers. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I've got that croaky throat. <coughs> it is the morning. 559378 is the item number if you want to go for this one. Really, really good bundle, that one. In fact, if you want to multiply on that, I would do at that price. Remember, you can get two for the same price as you'd normally pay for one. Right, moving down again. This is where we really get into those different mediums. So the glue, you've got a huge pot here. Now, in total, in this one alone, you've got uh, 600 grams in there. You've also got the three ac acrylics. These are your white gesso. So, it, again, it's not just for your decoupage. You can use the gesso and the glue, actually, for all sorts of different projects. And I do love those brushes. You've got the three different sizes in there, and they are wonderful to work with. Genuinely, I do have some of those, and they are fabulous quality. There is a freedom price on this one, $26.99. Non-freedom members, $29.99. Remember, you've got your postage and your packaging. Just a reminder, freedom price has come down by a pound now, so for 5 97 you can join. So do have a think about that as well. 801-598 is the item number. Just these early mornings, isn't it? You, I'm sorry, I am, do apologise. I'm perfectly well. It's just the 3, three o'clock starts and it gives me a croaky voice. I'm trying my best. I'm moving down. I'm getting huskier and huskier as we go down the counter. Uh, right, now I love, love, love the selection of papers. You've got 16 sheets in total. You've got different variations. You're getting eight different designs and two of each. I'm just going to open one out again so you can see the size. I'm going to show um, this one, actually. This has got to be from the pinks, I'm sure. Or it could be the florals. I don't know. We'll maybe have a look at the website again. It is from the pinks. So you'll get two of each of those. That is beautiful. Nigel, that's one of those that you could easily cut the shapes out isn't it Absolutely. You cut around love it and if you would like me just to show you how you could use that I've got here on this bowl ah if you uh, if you show that towards my camera at the towards moment, your <coughs> camera I'm sure lovely mr. Webster will pick that up I, I'm 
Right, Nigel just wants to show us a lovely, lovely bowl he's got there, and you can really pick out those florals. Right, if you show it to... There we are, you've got it now. We've switched cameras, Nigel, this time. Yeah. And you can see what we've got there is, is the base colour, which is a similar design, but a different colourway to the one that I was working on. Lovely. And then we've chosen some heavily floral pattern, cut around with fussy cut scissors or torn. You, you can actually tear this quite precisely, this paper, um, but I, most of it's cut. And then applied those on top to get that lovely... Floral. It does look effective, doesn't it? Yeah. Could we actually put fruit in there if we wanted to? Would it be safe? Um, you c again, I would give it the a coat with one of the sealants, yeah. certainly. Um, but you know, if if you're going to put bananas, oranges, things that you're going to peel, yes, perfectly, all right. yes, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. So think about that. Maybe you've got a football that wants decorating. I did pick this one out because it's one of my favourites and it does show one of the metallics as well. Isn't that wonderful? Love that effect. Absolutely gorgeous. So do look at those different options on the website, of course. 15 99 for 16 sheets, 848739. And that when it comes to the mediums, you've got lots of choices here. So we're going to go through these again. Really generous sized pots. These glues will go such a long way. Glossy glue and sparkly glue to start with. So if you want that extra little bit of sparkle in there, this is the one you want to go for. Eleven ninety-eight is the price. You've got 180 grams in each of the... Oh, is it 180 and 150 in each of those there? So you can see, it again, goes an awfully long way. 837387, that's the item number for that one. Then moving across, a larger pot of glue in this one, actually. Uh, so we've got here the glossy glue and we've got the sealing varnish in there. So if you do want to do those fruit bowls, this is a good option for you. We'll bring the details up. Now you're getting 300 grams of the paper patch, that's the glue, and you're getting 180 millilitres of the varnish there as well, all for 15 dollars Then down to the front, we've got more options for you, so let's have a look at the next one. Of course, you've got those different finishes. So we're looking at the satin next. Now again, you've got that 300 grams of the paper patch glue, but the satin finish, so if you kind of like that in-between look, not too glossy, not too matte, that's the one for you, 512380. And finally, we've got the matte finish. And, you know, I do like a matte finish. I like the satin. There's times where I'll go for the gloss as well. But, you know, you've got the choice. This is what the lovely thing about the show is. You've got all of those different options. Fifteen ninety nine. If you want to go for this one, 633-539. That's the matte varnish at 180 millilitres and the 300 grams of the glue there. Now, of course, we are still amidst the birthday celebrations. They finish tomorrow, actually, at 6 o'clock, I believe. 2nd of September. I can't believe we're in the 1st of September today. Where's the time gone? Uh, yes, back at school for lots of people. So I'll be thinking about getting something in for the weekends for the children to do. These kits are great for that. Uh, let's have a look at some seven-day savers. We've got some special ones for the birthday. We've got some really, really good savings for you here. But not only that, because it is birthday event, we're going to throw in two of those glue pens for you as well, which are very, very useful indeed. We've got red liner tape. We've got grey board in here. We've got foam tape. Oh, we've got a wonderful haberdashery essentials kit. An awful lot in there. Good saving on that one as well. We've got uh, Christmas card stock for you. We've got the Eleganza Organza. Perhaps you're making those wreaths. Um, now the magnetic cases, I believe they've been busy throughout the event. We've got paper cutters there, all sorts of wonderful essentials, and those add-on project, projects as well. So you've got just over a day left. You can see one day, 10 hours, 20 minutes, and counting down. So take advantage of those prices. Right, back to Nigel, because we've still got a little bit of time left in this hour. So, Nigel, what can we see next? Um, the square tissue boxes Wonderful. we talked about. Now, tissue boxes, not, not very sophisticated, really, as a product, but one of the questions I get asked a lot is, what are the lids like? And you can see with that that we've kind of started on this, decoupaging it, and you can get the lid on and off quite easily. They're slightly, very, very slightly oversized, and likewise with the rectangular one. So when you've decoupaged it, you can get the lid on and off Lovely. quite easily. Yes, and that's important, obviously. Uh, we spoke about the, the larger brush and working with it, and working with larger panels, so I think ah, I'll just this, show yes, you. Yes, this is a good example to show that. Yeah, I'll show you that. So this one, I'm cheating a bit because that's actually kind of the, 
the leading edge it's not been cut it's it's as it's come off the machine so that gives me a nice straight edge to to work to that's so not just, cheating nah, that's just good luck it's just so I'll just apply some of the, the blue and obviously being a broader brush we can get a, a wider coverage quicker and even just with this you can see there's there's a nice smooth coating going on there lovely so that nice even coat you see it going on there and it's nice that the glue is white it's going to dry clear but it's nice that you can see exactly where you're going there now because the the pieces you've got they are technically they're like a paper mache piece aren't yes. they and they are very absorbent and that shows the quality of the glue that you've got there because oh. I know from the past some glues will just soak in so quickly and they dry before you've had a chance to do anything they do with them. it gives it gives you I'm applying this one I'm giving this a bit of help by hand. okay there we go And what you will find as we go on is that it will pull itself taut, it will, it will absorb it and it will, it will go nice and flat. Lovely. So you don't need to trim to the shape of it straight away. No, you can apply no. that glow now. Just on that corner. That's also a nice paper. Would that be in the purples and lilacs by any chance? I think it will, you will find it in there, yes. Yeah, so we'll just go, and again, just to show how you can work things around edges and stuff without trimming. Lovely. You see how well that just works with you and folds nicely. So again, you're not having to put your fingers into the glue there. No, you can use the you, brush to fold that over. Work that work that down really easily and effectively. Lovely. I've noticed Nigel you've got a candle there so we can we apply over wax as well? Yes this again was um, a very nice Irish lady made this for me when we were in a show at Belfast a couple of oh. years back and, and I found I found this and I thought well people may be interested to see that you know she, she uh, applied it I think and stuck it down with a hot glue gun. Um, that is no, lovely. Uh, yeah. So cutting out those individual elements from the papers again, such as the florals, yes. you could have a very nice decorative candle. You can, yep, yep. And, uh, you know, even if you just wanted to do a band of something around the middle, you could do that Definitely. with it as well, personalise well, it. Well, that's a bonus, knowing it works on wax. Yep, yep. So there aren't many surfaces, actually, that, that Decapatch won't... You're going to ask me, what won't it work on? <laughs> well, do you know, actually, what I was going to say, I know we haven't got long left, I was going to say, anybody watching, if there's something you've applied Decapatch to that we haven't mentioned, oh, yes. do let us know, email in studio at uh, Now you've said that though, Nigel, I'm going to try and wrap my brains and think, is there something I can ask Nigel about that we haven't thought about yet? Hmm, we've done the shoes, we've done the canvas, yep. we've done plastics and acrylics, We've done stones, yes. we've done terracotta, yep. metal, wood, yep. um, we've covered a lot there. Debbie's emailed in actually, we've got a, a, an email from Debbie. Oh, ah, now, this is a really good question. Debbie is saying, could we use the glues on a coffee table and is it heat resistant? Um, if you go on top with your sealant, it should take any... Uh, tackiness away okay um, sometimes with the glue being water-based heat will kind of sort of reactivate it'll make right, it a little okay. bit sticky I would when I'm doing something like that I would certainly give it uh, a couple of coats and I would yeah. give it plenty of time to dry up that matte varnish that I showed you the reason why I didn't demonstrate it on here was I actually did that yesterday lunchtime, so it takes about 12 hours to dry Right, so fully. a bit longer drying time for yeah. the matte one. Yeah. Okay. What I would suggest, though, Debbie, because I, I know you, you could get some beautiful effects onto your furniture here, I would use the glues and possibly the sealer, although just look for a, a, a good varnish that is meant for your, That's the other your way. furniture yeah. and yeah. use that because yes. you can spray over the top as well. Yes. Uh, look for something that will dry nice and clear so you don't take away from the effect of the papers. But the glue is important to apply the papers. Use the glue, the, the regular glue, yeah. glue varnish as we have there and then move on and as you say, yeah. 
if it's something where you know it's going to come into contact with a lot of water, a lot of heat, then something proprietary that uh, yeah. might be You can be do the some best. amazing techniques on your furniture and upcycling again. So think about all those things around your house that uh, you've, you don't particularly like anymore. Maybe it's just the colours. Maybe you love the shape of a pot or a vase, but the colour doesn't match your decor anymore. You can change that. And remember, I'm just going to, as a reminder again, say something we said earlier, because there are people joining us throughout the morning. Um, you can use your stencils. You can use your stamps over the top. You can use your texture paste. You could use all sorts of different mediums that we've got. Your, your paints over there as well. I mentioned dry brushing. I'm just going to pick this up, Nigel, actually, yes. because we've said about metal. This is an ice bucket, and look at that, isn't that wonderful? That's a really, really lovely effect. But you can see how all of those different shapes have been picked up. You can. The paper moulds perfectly yes. to the ridges there as well. So over brushing that with, I don't know, wax or um, some sort of acrylic paint or your regular emulsion as well, you could pick out the detail there. I'm thinking of all those wonderful waxes we've got as well. That would mm. work beautifully. Mm -hmm. Really would. I mean, you, you were saying that's the other example And the corrugated there. one, yeah. Just so we can see that there as well. There we are. You can see the corrugated effect has come through there. Lovely. And those different varnishes that we've got available as well, of course, whether it's the high gloss, whether it's the satin, whether it's your matte finish, you've got everything that you need for the jobs. Uh, just choose whichever you prefer, of course, or more than one. Back to you, Nigel. We've got right. about eight minutes left. We've got about eight minutes. Well, I'll continue a little bit more with the uh, lid of the tissue box. That's okay. just drying. Lovely. As we go. You've got a lovely little reindeer there in front of you as well. Well, it? again, it's that would be within that bumper bag. That would yeah. be one of the shapes that you may find because we've uh, we've, we've added some seasonal shapes into that uh, selection. Lovely. So that's the one at half price remember so do go for that you're getting paper in there you're getting the brush you're getting some glue to get going as well all sorts of different shapes and sizes this is a bundle we've actually got here in the studio but you may get different shapes so the horse could be a different animal perhaps the seasonal de uh, pieces in there could be a reindeer we've got angels in that one we've also got birds and uh, frames all sorts of wonderful bits and pieces lots of stars in there as well which are going to work all year round just thinking about those LED lights as well, Nigel, because mm -hmm. they're so safe because there's no heat from them. Yep. You could sort of apply those. Perhaps if you've got something like those stars, you could add them to a string of lights so you've got the stars in you there could, as well. You could, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, you're just using the paper and, and the shape as, as the base. And yeah. You can over-embellish. You can, I mean, you mentioned furniture. I mean, just imagine, you know, some chalk-painted chairs or something and using something like this very delicate floral pattern just as a little accent that would be very pretty. Um, yeah you could you could work there's a there's so much within the patterns and there's quite often a lot within there that you don't see until you apply it yeah. um, it's it's a lovely product to work with it really it really is people have asked me oh is it is it this is what's the base of it and to be honest it's a it's something that came about because the guy who was doing this as a, a craft business couldn't find a paper that worked in the way he wanted so oh. he developed with a company his own and it went from there well, it shows its popularity as well when you know how long this has been around. Nigel's been working with the, the materials since 2004, did you 2004, say? 2004, yeah. And yeah. That's, that's just Nigel. Um, yeah. You know, so this has been around for such a long time. I've met Nigel many a time at the shows as well, and I know you've done little workshops and things there yes. as well. So, you know, this is, this is something that's grown and grown and grown. It is something that you can get the children involved with. It's for the whole family. You've got those water-based products there as well, which are very safe to use. You've got pieces that are so affordable. I think that's the key. Everything is so affordable. You can buy the bundles. You can use the pieces you've got at home. You can update your furniture. Do you know, I think it's one of those, again, I've just got to say, Anything really goes as far as trying things out, Nigel. Don't yeah. be afraid to try things. No. There's no rules. No. If you like the effect, then it's been worth it. If you're not so keen on the effect, you can go over the top of it with something else. And when you break down the price of the papers, if you're going for the individual papers, a pound a sheet, that's all it works out at. Because you're getting 16 sheets in those options there, eight different designs, and two of each of those designs as well. 
I mean, we can just see one of them there at the moment. That's the seasonal one. So you've got Christmas and Halloween in there. But many of the pages or papers will work right across the board in all seasons. We've got florals. We've got the blues in there as well. We've got the oranges and the yellows in there. Oh, the purples and the lilacs are gorgeous, aren't they? Then you've got the black and white in there as well. There you've got your browns, your earthy colours, stunning, and then the pinks as well. So lots and lots of choices. You can go for more than one option, all under that one item number. Just choose from the drop-down list. Yeah. Four minutes left, Nigel. Four How are you getting on? That goes so fast. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every... Oh, don't forget, you're getting the free gift as well, everybody. The tote bag or the little carry bag, and it all folds away into a pocket. I think this is such a lovely idea. They're so handy to keep in your bag or your vehicle. While you're just finishing off, Nigel, yep. I'm going to see if I can tuck that back away into the heart. Into its original shape, yeah. Sorry if I, I'm right. crackling a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's easy to pack away. I'm going to take this with me, actually, as you can see. I love the fact with the free gift, Nigel, you've got a zip on both sides, so when, you know, you've got two zips, it's a double zip, so it's easy, easy when you put it away, and it's easy when it's untucked yeah. as well. Yeah. And if you Lovely. want something to appease a husband, ladies, they're great for putting your golf shoes in. Yeah. Ah, yeah. there's a man who knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. So what we're we doing now, we're just applying to the edge there, Nigel. Um, so again, working, same technique. Yeah, just using the little bits just to, to trim up the, uh, the corners and the edge and just go round. Lovely. But I think the main the main thing I'd say about decoupage is it's just so easy to work with. You know, it, yeah. it works with you. You don't have to fight it. It's a nice product. It's a very thin paper. And as I say, people say to me, oh, is it this? Is it that? And I say, well, what do you want it to do? If you want it to go onto metal, it'll do that. If it goes onto wood, it will do that. It'll go onto glass. It'll pretty much go onto anything. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, do you know, I'm thinking all your packaging as well. You know, a big one again, saving boxes and things. So if you've got packaging and brand names on boxes, recycle them. Just mm. cover them with paper. Let's have a look at this bundle again, though, because this has been very popular. Half price. That's what you're getting here, a half price bundle. In fact, the shapes alone are worth over £30. You're getting the papers in there as well. You're getting a brush to get yourself started and some of the glue, which acts as the glue and the sealer, of course. You can get other sealers if you want to put them on top in the bundles and the mediums, but of course course you have got everything just to get going here a full assortment of different shapes there's pieces that will work around the home there's pieces that are going to work seasonally you've got frames you've got notebooks you may or may not got those but it's going to be a whole host of different options to work with whether you're working with them for yourself or of course with the whole family or if you want to make little gifts as well five five nine three seven eight is the item number there you can see everything that you're going to get, all the size of the bundle there. Now, we've had another email in as well. This oh. is from Angie. Now, Angie's saying the decoupage papers stick really, really well to most surfaces. So she's obviously tried, including, oh, <laughs> including dog paws. I don't <laughs> think that was intentional then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be having fun at mine then with four dogs. Yeah. That's a lot of paws to be sticky. <laughs> oh, I love that. But it's water-based, isn't it, Nigel? Water -based, so, you know, yeah, it's yeah. going to clean off. It's, it's it, non-toxic. Absolutely. Yeah. Water-based um, glue varnish, yeah. And, you know, everything has the relevant accreditations, the markings and health and safety things on the sealants Wonderful. and so on. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that email. That's really, really nice. <laughs> um, Nigel, have you an idea when you're back again? Um, no is the short answer. Oh, um, that's a shame. Uh, we've uh, nothing kind of booked in. It, it's, been a, it's been a peculiar year, as, as, we, uh, as we may have noticed. So I was pleased when they asked me if uh, we could come in and, and do some stuff with you. So... Uh, you know, always up for coming back. It's always oh, nice lovely. to work with uh, yourself and the others here at Achanda. Oh, lovely. How, do, how can we keep in touch with you, Nigel? Is there a Facebook page um, or anything on mixed media? Deca uh, on mixed media, me, social media? Decapatch Me, I think, will find us. Perfect. Perfect. Decapatch yeah. Me, have a look for that. Thank you for joining us. Much more to come. We'll give you the menu shortly. 
Coming up next, she's here, Nikki's with Janice for the one day special. It's Heartfelt Creations, Birthday Sensations, and then we've got the Birthday Bash with Indigo Blue, and then Party Time with Pink Frog. Lots to look forward to. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me, Achanda and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Well, indeed, it's Achanda's fifth birthday, and have we got some seven-day savers for you. This is just one of them, though I've got a few seconds uh, to tell you why we're here. We are talking about organza fabric, 29 centimetres by 25 metres. Now, you can take a pick and mix of any two of the colours that I've got in front of me. We've got things like the red, the deep Christmas red. You've got the emerald green. We've got the gold in there. You've got the rose gold as well. You've got the white and the silver as well. You're saving £7 on these, the price. £17.99 pence for any two of 25 metres in length. 426152 is your item number. And any purchase during the live hour, you will also receive a free gift as well. Terms and conditions are all on the website. Don't miss out on another cracking little birthday present. Now, which one shall I have? Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty.
very good morning to you. Be pleased to know that I'm not wearing the shoes this morning. They're being worn by the correct Dorothy. I'm just a friend of Dorothy. Now it's bank holiday still. Yes. Is it? So, well, technically, kind of. In Janice's always, world. Well, I always thought that bank holiday in August, the last one, was always a two-day, two-day jobber. Oh, was it? Well, it used to be, and we used to go back to school mm. on the Wednesday. Um, but we're here, and you're here, so it's great to have your company. And Nick is here as well. I am. Good morning. How are you? I'm really I'm good. good. You Thank you. Are. <laughs> like confirmation. Yes, yes, you know, if I uh, yes I'm yes, here. I'm, yes. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> How are you this morning, I'm really Nikki? well, thank you. Yes. Now, Nikki, heartfelt, heartfelt Nikki, it all comes within the same sentence, doesn't it? It, it, it really does. does. Yes. But you love Heartfelt. Can you tell I everyone do. at home a little bit about the company? Right, so Heartfelt are an American-based company over in the USA. They've been... Um, doing stamps and dyes and papers since 1994 really? very very well wow. established and they distribute to the whole world and obviously to a chanda yeah they certainly do and uh, you come with it as well which is oh, excellent which no, is excellent I, I don't come with the collections you know no, um, unfortunately <laughs> not <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not but the true beautiful inspiration from our nikki uh, does as well and you'll see that through the demonstrations that we've got coming up uh, through these beautiful samples i mean this is absolutely stunning isn't it and as i turn isn't that to the side beautiful. you can see how those flowers <coughs> stand out they do and you knew what they were straight away didn't you yes you, i did they are the zinnia and they are, they are beautiful flowers as well. Let's talk you through the collection for your one day special. We had a very, very busy launch last night. Over half the stock has gone right. Item number, for those of you that are new to us here at Hochanda, that's at the top of the screen, 620393. You'll need that to either go to the website, hochanda.com, or give us a call to buy this one day special. A one day special is a great discount for 24 hours and our final call is at four o'clock today. That's the last live hour. Now the stock is on extended delivery because it's coming from America and it's being dispatched on the 9th of September. Not long actually to wait. First of September today for one pinch and a punch. White rabbits you can't get me back. Um, now the kit that you're getting you've got your beautiful 12 by 12 papers. They're double sided full of toppers, full of um, inspiration, items that you can actually cut out, colour. Nikki's going to take you through the pad in a moment's time because there's so many elements in there. But you've got 24 double-sided sheets to play with. Then you've got your stamps and your dies. So you can stamp and then cut out those beautiful zinnias to put on to your inspirational cards, decorations, boxes, so many different ways that you can use these. Now the price is discounted by £21. It's £59.95. Now there are some moulds coming out within this collection but they'll be coming out in the next month or With, so. By the end of September we are By hoping. the end of September. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a great way to spread the cost. Two payments of £29.98 will get you your full one day special sent to you in one delivery. If you're a Freedom member there's no P&P to pay. Now we also have have an essentials collection. The essentials, uh, essential collection is the 12 by 12 paper pad, 24 sheets, and then you're also getting, here we go, is it that one there? Is, is it that one there? Yes, it is. It's the large garden zinnia and the one below it just there, which is the die to correspond. There you go. So the heartfelt beautiful 24 papers and then you have the large garden zinnia and the die to match if you want to go for those the price on your screen 46.97 saving of five pounds on that particular deal but so many of you are going for that full collection and with the free gift to boot as well you're going to make those flowers look incredible this is worth is it 12.99 15.99 15 everyone that's your free mm, gift mm. as part of the birthday celebrations those beautiful stamens right there for you. Now let's show you some samples before we head to Nikki and we can talk through these samples with Nikki. These are beautiful using the papers of course. Uh, oh, oh, yeah of course using those papers. I've done some fussy cutting on that cottage that is part of the paper pad but you could that's some of the smaller flowers. Yes. Okay now you are going to pick up. Look, at, now, that. look at that one. That is the larger one and that's using the smaller ones on the bottom part of that easel card as well. That's amazing. So just using that main 
large flower, yes. you've created an absolutely stunning card. Or right, let me get this the right way round. That one's is it, an that, easel. Is it, that it's way an, round? it is. It's an easel card. Are you ready for this, everyone? Look at that. That's like. Isn't that That's stunning. like the Chelsea Flower Show. It Other is. shows are available. Um, on a card. It incredible. is. Incredible. Yeah, and a great way to show those flowers. Any occasion you could give that card. It could yeah. be a birthday, it could be an anniversary, a wedding. Do you know what I'm thinking with this? This could be something that you could have out permanently on your mantelpiece. Yes. You could turn this into wall art. You could Definitely. put these onto boxes, mm -hmm. for example. Yes. Um, it's, in, it's just totally breathtaking. When you see this collection put together like this, how easy would it be to recreate this? So easy. You've got the stamps and the dies in there to create the flowers. Yes. All of the flower sizes that you can see. Then you've got your leaves in there as well. Your paper pad. Just think about all those decorative dies that you can use alongside it yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you can create stunning cards. Now, this one is a gift that I made. So I've used one of the panels on the front of the box, and then inside. Oh, and I've used one of the ribbon strips around the. Around oh the side. yes, now they're there on go. the paper pads. They we'll are, take you yes. through the paper pads in a moment's time. Um, let me just. I'm trying. I'm, I'm all cack handed this morning. Sorry. There you go. That's off. And you've Ooh, got tags look. in there, and I've made some little notelets as well. So it's a really nice, fun gift to give. Are these from the paper pad? They are all wow. from the paper pad. Look at that. that. Using those, some of those panels. So it isn't all about making big, luxurious cards. You can make luxurious gifts as well. Yeah, you certainly can. That's beautiful. I'm blown away with this. I've seen many, many heartfelt creations, um, collections together. Mm. But this one, I'm actually standing aback from it because it is amazing. Now, shall we take a look through the paper pad? Because this is where it could all start for you. By the way, the paper pad is available on its own. You might want to go for another one and add it to your collection. And you can do that and split the cost into two payments. It's well worth it. $17.99 for that paper pad. We're about to go through it. And everything comes to you, of course, with that bag. Your lovely pink trimmed see-through bag when you go through uh, for the collection. Yes, Love so that. when you get your full collections now, that's what you will receive. You will Perfect. get a bag every single time. Nikki, let's go through the paper pad. Right, so the paper pad is adorned with the zinnia flowers. So the zinnias are like the main focus in the summer garden collection. So that's your front page there. And like we were saying, um, myself and Janice, you have got your panels in there. You've got your inspiration to make ready, easy cards. But then you can start using your flower stamps and dies to create absolutely stunning collections. There's your ribbon strips there that we were just talking about. And as Janice said, they are double-sided. Okay, now I did actually make a card from this, and it's this one here. Just wanted to show you. It isn't all about making a six by six card or a square card. This one measures 10 by almost seven and a half inches down the side. And what I did was I cut the panels up to keep that frame, around, oh, it's upside down, to keep that frame around the outside still. You cannot see the joins because that's how well Heartfelt have designed the papers. But I've kept that same design, but a nice large card. I think great for Mother's Day. Absolutely perfect. So as I say, they are all double-sided. You've got all different designs. You've got two of each. So on here, you've got five panels, five easy, ready-made cards. But when you look at the other side of it, it is stunning, absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to flick through it. So these are some of the... Um, uh, toppers that I use to make the notelit cards in that box that Janice just showed you. But then you've got your 12 by 12. But again, think about it more than just a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You can cut that up. You've got the gorgeous lace work there. So you could cut it up. You could make a nice um, DL card using and just using that that part of it as just your focus. There's some lovely detail in the papers. You there can is. see there the script could, in the background. Yeah, there's the way a they very up the faint layers. strips. And then behind yeah. that, you've still got lace work. There's leaves behind there as well. And then you've got your brights. I mean, oh, wow. the colours of this collection, you've got your pinks, you've got your purples, and you've got your soft colours, but then you've got that really rich orange. 
there is that cottage that we saw earlier which i did actually fussy cut out i'm not against fussy cutting i love my dyes yes. but if i see an image in a paper pad yeah. that i want to use yes. i will get my knife out and i will fussy cut it oh i love that do you and know it's what beautiful don't we all want to live in a cottage like that yes and sit on this bridge and have a coffee and just gaze on the lake oh that would be lovely but again you can see dyes in here that we have brought out in the past this is one of the majestic dyes that we brought out a few months ago but then of course you have got got those um, sheets of paper that you can use as your backing paper you can use um, to create your wall art as well so all very very different you've got a, I love this one I think this was one of my favorites and they're all double-sided the aren't they Nikki absolutely double yeah double-sided so and you're getting two of each and then you come to the fun part oh, so no. if you haven't got time to stamp and die cut lots of flowers but you want to make a nice easy quick card yeah die cut these out with your corresponding dies so I'll just take one of the dies here take the large one so this is your largest flower and as you can see there is a ladybird in there as well and that will cut out all your ladybirds but of course you have got the stamps and dies if you want to use them really really pretty and well thought out as well I mean heartfelt always do when when they're creating their paper pads maybe put colors together you probably wouldn't think about putting together yeah like I'm looking at that paper there I mean you've got you've got like uh, your, your, your purple your light yes and then you've got that really nice yeah. kind of um, maroony color there but then they stick that orange in there it and works, it works. Though, doesn't it? But do you know what I'm thinking? It's called Summer Garden, but we're coming towards the end of summer. Yes. So we are getting more autumny colours in the garden, and I think that's where this one's going. Yeah. It's sort of like the end of summer. Very pretty. More panels in there. You've got your pinks in there, and then you've got your six by sixes. So these are mirrored images from the <coughs> 12 by 12, just shrunken down. So great for you card makers, as well as. Um, you crafters that want to do your mini albums and your scrapbooking and then we're coming to one of my favorites in a minute and then you've got all your tags oh wow there's a and lot you've got there. lots of different tags and what's really nice about this is you can add your own sentiments there's no particular sentiments on here you can just add your own sentiments on there and then you've got that last one there so that was the other side of that one now we've got lots of demonstrations coming up throughout the shows you also get an inspiration sheet with you so when you get your projects home and you think or you get your collection home you think what do I do first where do I start well here you go you've got that inspiration sheet and that's what you can make and create that's absolutely stunning imagine that as your first card if this is your first steps into card making my word and you can do so much more with these as well yes decorative yes. maybe up, um, upcycling furniture for example mm -hmm. we've got some flowers in the background of the set let me just go back because why don't you make one of those which yes. you could easily well, do the, well the thing is what heartfelt do is they give us the idea yep. this is in your flower that's what you can create but you can easily create a gerbera like you could one. you could just on the stand get some wire um, yes. wrap some tape around mm -hmm. it and you can make flowers like we've got here in the studio as part of our celebrations you could have them in your home it's absolutely fantastic I love this collection and so many of you do as well six two zero three nine three the one day special is approaching 60 percent of the stock gone there's another show at 12 well there's supposed to be another show at 12 and at four o'clock today don't miss out people do buy between the shows as well uh, it's a good idea to start checking out your baskets the item numbers at the top of your screen there 620393 you can search for that on our website and you can also give us a call as well the paper pad is at the bottom of your screen if you were to add that to your flexi buy then it's only eight pounds extra on top of your first payment it makes it really affordable uh, right let's head back to Nikki because we're actually going to have a demonstration now on how to put them together we are so as I say there are so many different ways that you can create so I will show you a few that we made yesterday on the show using my flower shaping tool and as you can see both very very different but both still zinnia flowers because I did quite a lot of research on zinnias and there's so many different varieties out there so you have some that the petals go under and then the few are in the center sort of fold up and then you've got ones like this one that all fold up and kind of have a point at the end as well so 
that's kind of like the largest, and that I would say would be a medium. I wonder if they're from the Dahlia family. Because they're very I'm similar actually, to Dahlia's. They are very, yes. very similar. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think maybe they'd I maybe think. somewhere if along the line. If you guys know out at home, then let us know. Now that that would be nice. So I'm going to create a large one and I'm going to ink my um, larger flower up. But before I do that, I am actually going to colour in the centre purely because you're not going to see it because I'm going to layer it up, but it just makes me happy knowing that I know that when I layer it up, the centre is coloured. But then I use my pens to do that because it's very easy. And then I'm going in with Milled Lavender Distress Ink and I'm going in with a really nice pale lavender colour. Now you're using your special little daubers, aren't I you? I am. Love with my your daubers. special little fingers I as well. I don't think I ever do a show without using my daubers. Well, and I have to say, it's one of those um, products that I have in my craft room and I wouldn't want... If somebody said to me, right, we're going to take five products away from you, Nikki, the daubers would be going under the table out of the way. Really? Because so, I wouldn't be able to So if you're on a desert island... It. What five items would you have with you? Right, so can I stamp and die cut before? <laughs> before so, you get to the yes. desert island? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, if, if, um, I would do. I'd be prepared. Okay, you'd be prepared. So I'd take all my images. I'd take my flowers. So I would take my daubers. I would yep. take some inks. And I would take my glue gun and some stamens so I can sit and create beautiful flowers watching the sunset. Oh, would you not be out there trying to survive and get water and food? No, no, no. no just, it's just, all about flowers. Just colour your flower. That's what I do on a desert <laughs> island as well. Gone in. Um, over 60% of the stock has gone of the daubers. £13.99. There they are. They're so handy. They're stackable as well. 069154 is your item number. And you get 12. So that's enough for your colour palette, it's, really. Oh, definitely. And what's really nice about it as well is when you're putting your colour down, you've got kind of full control over what you're doing you can see what you're doing and I'm just adding now a darker color but I'm kind of lifting that dauber up off of the paper going yeah. in quite hard because I want a nice deep color and you've got the, the shading on there to give you an idea of where to add where the darker to add. colors yes. yeah I like that but it's it's just a lovely way to color the flowers and I know all the design team love their daubers. We all feel exactly the same because, as you can see, I can see what I'm doing. I can see the colour that I'm putting down and I'm just sweeping that colour over the tip of that flower and just it just blends beautifully. It really does. And then if you wanted, you could add a little bit of dark through the centre. You won't see this, so I'm not going to really worry too much. I think we're going to have a late summer, you know. I think flowers are going to keep blooming for I another do. couple we of weeks. I do. We had a very early summer, so. didn't we? Yeah. And I, th I think, yes, and even though it feels quite autumnish out there this morning. Yeah, well, I hope the sun keeps shining. I'm off to Padstow in a week's time. Oh, are you? Oh, lovely. Yeah. So, um, oh. yeah. So I'm also colouring in the back, but I'm only going like halfway down each petal. Okay, that's because when I want to put it on a card or a project, it's always nice that you've got the back coloured, so if it's seen from a different angle, you've still got colour in there. And then, so that's that one. I've got all different sizes here, some that I've already shaped, and I'll show you how and why I've shaped them that way in a second. And then I should have one here. I have. So this is going to be the center of my flower. I'm just going to take a wipe and just wipe that down. So I'm using the same size as the smaller one. So that's exactly the same flower. But I want this one to be the, um, the center of my flower. So I'm going to color that in orange. Then blend some yellow around it. Because that's like the color of the inside of your zinnia. And then I'm going in with like a medium yellow, not quite orange, but it's a nice deepish yellow. And the really important bit about this one is you do need to do the back of this as well. Okay, so turn that over and just... 
Imagine using that these in. flowers, Nikki, if you're making a, a table decoration. You've got a special occasion. You want to oh, decorate a bar. Oh, these would be lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah, they really would. And, you know, faux flowers are very expensive to buy. They can be. And think about using your foam foam as well, that we yeah. the art foam that we have on the show as well. Mm, yeah, that would be lovely. That, that just gives a completely different dimension to the flowers. I'm so impressed with this collection. I really, really am. They look absolutely fantastic. And as you're showing, Nikki, how easy they it are is. to build so up. Easy. Mm. So mainly you're going to colour first. So what I've got is I've got two of the larger ones and what I've done is I've turned it face down and I'm going to go in with my flower shaping tool. And as we mentioned earlier, we have got moulds come in, but it isn't necessarily important to have the moulds, the mould makes it very easy and quick to yeah. create lots and lots of flowers. So, um, you know, you can still have fun creating this whilst you're waiting for those moulds to come in. So I'm going in, now what I'm doing is, the reason why I'm rubbing this on the back of my hand, some people do the side of their nose, but it actually picks up a little bit of like grease from your from your skin and Ooh. it makes it glide. Natural you see how oil. Natural oils. Yes. From the back of your hand but I use the back of my hand purely because <laughs> can you imagine if you that picks up some of that color when you're walking around you with, with, a, <laughs> with a purple down the size of your nose or it picks up your foundation yeah I wouldn't want that definitely no, wouldn't want you that. don't want your foundation on your flower but it just helps it glide better if you've got any other tips on that maybe you use a product I don't yes. know if there is a product out there um does dorso oil maybe Oh, yeah, a little bit of Possibly. wax, maybe. But it just mm. helps. And it, this is really easy. You can see I'm not putting too much pressure on. Just gliding that tool around that tip to get that shape and then just bringing we've, that down. We've got the shaping kit on the screen at the moment so you can have the right tools to do this. It's a great investment, it really is. Uh, £29.99, pence. here are your tools. So you get the main body and then you get all your little tips, uh, some big tips actually. You've got uh, lots of different sizes and to be honest, that is actually really important when you're making the zinnias that you've got all those different sizes. You've got really, really tiny ones to that large one. Shall I show you? Yes, let's have a look because Shall we also you, have got one here. Um, the spongy pa uh, pa You've got your mat as well. Mat, that's You've it. got a pricking mat there as well. You've got a quilling tool. That means you can roll the flowers or the leaves. But this is the largest one and this is the tiniest one. So which one would you use on your zinnias right so i have used this one to create some yeah not sure where those flowers are because it just gives you a completely different look does it so let me just pop that down there's my larger one let me just grab a large flower that i've already got colored now remember with all of your purchases you will be getting your free gift of your stamens as well which you can add would you add them to your zin zinnias or what, the flowers, sorry? your stamens. Oh, I've got lots there. Have that you? I've yeah, got the you stamens could. Yes, in. yes yeah. definitely. Most definitely. As you can see. Oh, yeah, totally different. It's given the same shape, but I've got a deeper yeah. fold at the end. That's good then. Okay. So you can change your flowers, change the look of them. Interchangeable. They're magnetic. You've got your little box there to put them back in so you know if you've lost one like that one there that's just fell out pop that back there so I'll pop that down and pop that in you can see how easy that is now what I've done is the two larger ones I've shaped going down then I've gone to the next size shaped going down but then the next two sizes I've shaped going up now what I've done with this one is taking it up exactly the same but the with the image facing upwards so I've done this on all of the petals all the way around and then what I do is with my fingers I'm just squeezing the bottom of those petals to bring that in okay would you squeeze your bottom first or always do it afterwards? I'll do it afterwards. 
because you'll probably squash it. And you see how that's just brought that up. So I've done exactly the same to those two smaller ones. So I've got two of those and then two smaller ones. Yep. And then I'm going to this one. Now this one, I'm just gently just taking that shaping tool down from each petal. So it's more the, the, the shape that you're creating rather than the size of the flower that you're using it on. Yes, it right. depends yes, what I'm doing. So on this mm. one, I'm going to do, do exactly the same, but this time I'm taking it in my hands and each petal I'm putting between my thumb and my finger and I'm taking my shaping tool and just going along with the shaping tool kind of laying flat and I'm yep. just taking that and it just again gives that, that a different look and a kind of look um, that the inner petal is like on a zinnia flower. Isn't this brilliant to be able to get demonstrations to show you how to create flowers and all these great hints and tips that are available for you and you can watch the shows again on Rewind. They are available on the website or the app <clears throat> which is free to download if you want to and they're available for 60 days which is plenty of time. We're dispatching your one day special or your essentials or anything that you buy uh, on the 9th of September so you get these in plenty of time. You'll still have time to watch the shows again and again and again and with your one day special you've got quite a few shows to have a look at. 6 o'clock last night, 8 o'clock last night, 8 a.m. this morning, 12 p.m. and then 4 p.m. as well. So now I'm going to the colouring. Okay, I'm sorry, not the colouring, the gluing. Okay. Even. So I've got my first flower, the largest, then I'm picking the next one up, which is exactly the same size, alternating them petals slightly, and then once that glues down, lifting that up and then I'm going in with the next size so again I'm just using my shaping tool to bring those petals up can you see how that just lifts that up if you think about the ger um, the gerber that you just showed that we've yes. got on the back which one you could easily the pink flower that you picked up off the set yes you can easily <clears throat> make a gerber you could, couldn't and you? And what you would do, I would think, so I'm kind of going back Actually, off my zinnia for a minute. It's very similar. Let me lift this. It is very up. similar, Look isn't it? You can use your tiny the little thunk pearls thunk for the middle. This early in the morning. And then, so. And before anyone emails in or messages me, I know thunk is not a word. Bring in that Just up. saying. So I'm just going to show you, if you were going to do a gerbera, you would probably put two or three of these smaller ones in the centre, like yeah. that, and then you've got a gerbera. That's amazing. Okay, but I'm not doing a gerbera. I'm just going to glue all of these in. So I'm now going to those petals that are going up. Yep. Again, I'm, you could do this with just two or three layers, but when you look at zinnias, You've got double zinnias like this, and they, I think, in my opinion, if you're going to make a flower, you might I as well just I think I've got go some zinnias it. in my garden. I'm sure I have. Are they coming into flower now? Yes. Because I'm sure they do come. Yes, they, they do. They're late flowering. The end, and end they the stay with you yes. now all the way through till November. They we do. had some last year. Yeah. Beautiful flowers. So just lifting that up. See how gorgeous that is. See how yeah. that domes as well. And then... Got that next small one. And then the centre of the flower. Now, at this point, if you wanted to use the stamens, that's when I would put the stamens in. So I'd put them in here, yeah. cut them and glue them in, and then that would go in. Else, to be honest, you can put it all the way through, but because you've got all that glue yeah. and um, uh, paper, you've got to put quite a big hole. And But that's what I'd do. But if we have time later on, I will do one with some of the salmons in. Um, I think they'd make a lovely brooch. Yes. Would they not? Um, or Beautiful. dressing for a hat, special occasion, uh, or a posy. They're absolutely so stunning. They really, really are. But look, same flower. 
stamp. Beautiful. Completely different flower. Beautiful. Right, Thank now you. those stamps that Nikki used, and you're going to be using when you get your set home, are red rubber. And that's important because they're going to last pretty much a lifetime for you. They're all mounted as well, good sizes. So even if you're just stamping out the flower, it would look amazing, using with shrink plastic as well. You've got your leaves in there. Uh, which is brilliant and then of course you've got the corresponding dies to cut those out very very easily so no fussy cutting required again the leaves and more zinnias for you but in a different size and the corresponding dies to go with it then you've got your paper pad your 12 by 12 double sided to show you a couple of the elements with your uh, paper pads it really is fabulous you've got your card toppers you can use these to build and create notelets or cards instantly uh, none of the paper pad is wasted they're all double sided as well uh, with this one in particular I mean that runs down the side of the paper pad but if I was to turn it that way that could be the base or turn it that way and that could be the top of a card because you can cut into that which is marvelous more card toppers for you more tags in there as well you can see every inch of the actual pad has been used to build and create those lovely images whether you're using these for scrapbooking whether you're sticking these onto your MDF collections you've got your tags in there as well which are beautiful if you want to go for an extra paper pad you're more than welcome to do so the 17.99 we'll bring the details on the bottom of the screen you get Get two of each sheet but the thing is if you start creating and making and you love what you're doing and you can make and sell this is going to give you the opportunity now to get another pad at 17 pounds and 99 pence and if you're buying this for your with your flexi buy then it's only one payment of eight pounds today and another payment of eight pounds in a month's time so that's your paper pad showing you some samples or oh, your inspiration as well uh, you get that included so this is your project your first project to start when you get it home and you've got all of the instructions on there to take you through now you are saving 21 pounds on this deal and 29.97 is your first payment if you choose to pay through flexi buy 60% of the stock has gone now because we are celebrating our birthday here at Hochanda five years so proud of that five years here at Hochanda um, you might have got well you will have got if you're a customer your five pound credit and that was applied to your account at the start of our celebrations on Wednesday if you've not used it you can use it on your flexi buy payment so that takes it down another five pounds on your first payment so if you haven't used it you can use it today I've got another sample here this is absolutely stunning look at that isn't that lovely Front and the back. Yeah, yeah, look that, at it, that. It's the one that I stand. demoed yesterday. It's actually a card, so it does kind of close and stand up. But there is one on the front that is actually totally finished, if we can have a look at look that. Look at that. So that one's got a few more flowers on. And I made oh, I that like template that. myself. Did Just you? Just cut out the butterfly and then cut it out of the paper pad. You know when you were asked to do that, did you wing it? I always, yeah, no, I didn't, not on that one, but yes, <laughs> very funny, that was early in the morning for me, and I did get that one. <laughs> well done, Nikki. Um, you also get your free gift as well, worth 15 99 whoa, we are, gee, I thought the hurricane had whoa. come then, I thought we were off to Texas again, Kansas even, right. <laughs> You get, shall I, shall I hold this up high again, just in case the camera heads up that way? No, there you go. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence um, is your free gift that you're getting. That's a with brilliant your purchase. free gift, It really it? is, isn't it? It really, really is. Um, oh, it's caught my thumb on the little tag there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that hurt. Um, we've got another collection to take a look at. You might want to add this to your basket. And again, you can split the cost of this into two. Let's head over to the other collection. Um, this is a beautiful set. 11 dies, nine stamps, and you've got your paper pad as well, all double-sided. And you're making a £40 saving on this deal. 94 92 but you can divide the cost of that into three payments. 31 64 today. Freedom members, no PMP to pay. Then another payment in a month's time, and another payment a month after that. Nikki, this collection is stunning. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it really is. We released this back in May, and we thought we would bring it back because it was an it flew out, absolutely did. Yeah. And you have got a beautiful, stunning paper pad as always. Let me just bring that back up, as you can see, just there and then let's take you through some of the paper pads um, beautiful colorways in here there are lilacs 
um, and purples, your soft greens, and then of course your pinks in there as well. I have to say this is one, I do love my pinks and purples though, so I'm quite biased on this one. But it has got some beautiful, beautiful images in here. You've got your birds there, you've got your bird cage. You will see other elements. So there's the window there that we had in the Hydrangea collection. There is the door in there that was from the French cottage collection. Yep. There, you see those little flowers? Yes. And you might think, oh, cute little blossoms. Oh, cute but little blossoms. But you wait until Janice shows you what you can create with these because you can really go to town and create absolutely stunning wisteria flowers wow, like that one. Wow, look at that. And, and that's again, using that 3D element. Yes. Wow. That is and incredible. And remember, not just cards. You can apply this to home decoratives as well. I mean, that is beautiful. It really that is. That is using the cage die wow. that you've got with this collection as well. And that is the actual die that, if you remember the cot that I made last week on the Tender Moments collection, yes. that was the die that I used to create the baby wow. cot. Wow, that's stunning. That is beautiful. You could put some little chocolates in there, yes, wrapped, of course, um, or a gift for somebody. I'll just have it with a little tea tree light in there. Yeah, you make it with acetate, beautiful. for example. Stunning samples to show you and beautiful projects that you can put together and create with this collection. Those birds are lovely. They're delicate. Gives you a chance to use them on their own or maybe use them with your flowers and that bird cage. I like to call it a birdhouse, really. Um, a, yeah. Stunning. Look at this one. Mm. I know I'm showing you quite a few, that but it's amazing. the inspiration that but you get. But look at the sides. Wow. Um, the actual designer that's created this one's used the cage die, just the top of it, and she's put them at the side, so she's not used it as a, as a bird cage. That is incredible. I'm thinking, you know, if you've got... If you put these together on like a plaque and then you put something over it to make it waterproof and mm -hmm. outside proof... Wow. Oh my, yeah. in your garden. You, it, it, mm. I'm looking for something to go on the wall in the garden mm -hmm. at the moment, you know, so it'd be quite decorative to put some plant pots in. If you got a plaque and put all of these flowers around there, yeah. you could save yourself a lot of and money I crafting it yourself. Like, like you said, if you put like, um, not a varnish, but because you've got glossy accents, like, that would surely make that waterproof. I do. You can get, actually, I've got some spray, some matte spray that um, after you've painted items up, you can spray it onto and it becomes weatherproof. I've done that oh, on um, that will some work. items I've painted outside so that would work mm -hmm. but it would just add those beautiful elements mm -hmm. crafting these yourself um, make to sell yes make as many sell. as you like you can make cards but this is a box the card is inside is it oh let's open this up look at that um, first of all that's this is one that I actually made for my mother-in-law's birthday and I ha went to visit her last week and I said can I have it back please just to borrow <laughs> But well, look at that's that. why she kept it, everybody. It has to, just, some cars just have to go in a box as well. It certainly does. I won't open it up and see the message that you wrote <laughs> inside, but... Oh, wow. You shouldn't really say that. That's... I'm only kidding. That's Paul's... He calls... That's what he calls her. I didn't read I it. I knew you was going to I did not, it. I, I looked inside, but I did not read it. I don't have my glasses on. That is absolutely stunning. But it does show uh, why... What's your mother-in-law's name? Sorry. Eleanor. Eleanor. But this is why Eleanor kept the card, because it looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. It Isn't really, it? really does. And hopefully so it is that's a gonna beautiful get back collection. It will get back safe. It will get back safe. Um, oh, that really is. We're very busy for this collection. It's another... I, I thought our oh, One Day Special was stunning. This is beautifully stunning. Now, if you want to add this to your One Day Special, you can divide the cost into three. That's right. The One Day Special is on two payments, but if you're going for this and then add your One Day Special, the whole lot will be on three payments. It makes it affordable and it makes you be able to budget that across three months rather than two if you go for both of those collections together. And I think both of these collections work perfectly together with your zinnia flowers and your birds and your flowers in this particular one. 712195 is your item number. Three payments if you want to go for it or one payment of 94.92. Now, part of the celebrations, we've got seven day savers and we've also got the website where you can head to to see those. 
uh, don't your website one day nine hours and 21 minutes left of course because they're the special seven day savers for our birthday that's right um some great deals on here you've got that oakwood archer mat i've got one of those they're fantastic um i've not told hochanda yet but i borrowed it but i've got it uh, <laughs> 14 pounds and 98 pence uh, we have got your red liner tape and the foam tape which I think to go alongside your one day special to build up the elements would be perfect so you've got those for you you might want to add those to your basket we've also got uh, some Oakwood Archer grey board sheets and we've got that lovely utility kit we've also got your card and your organza uh, we've got the storage cases on there and your paper cutter as well perfect Perfect. Uh, right, so those are your seven day savers, saving lots of money, but you don't have long, well, you've got about a day to get hold of those. Right, Nikki, we're coming back to you. We're going to make a card. Okay. Now, you've seen the flowers that I've made, pinks and purples, yes. and I do love my pinks and purples, but this is going to shock you, because I'm going orange. This is going to what, you? Shock you. Oh, okay. It's going to shock you, because I'm using orange, and I don't think I can get a much brighter orange well, than do this. Do you know something? When I was, when I was just, you know, Putting everything together there and, and took, concluding everything. I, I looked over at Nikki, so like we're going over to Nikki, and I glanced over and I saw the orange, and there was a little shock. He didn't notice. <laughs> it's like when I tense, you don't notice. And then I thought, well, maybe it's that double sided tape oh, um, paper. No. Nope. So I thought you're going to peel it off, or you're going to stick some things oh, on. It's orange. Wow. So yeah, I am shocked. It's very orange. So I'm looking forward to it. I've matted some orange cardstock onto some white. And then I've cut out a decorative die that I am just going to pop on each side. So I'm just going to glue down there. Let's do this quickly. Because just think about all of those decorative dies that you have at home that you can use in here. And that's just going to go each side. So when I bring that back, get them straight like that I've got a bit of stitching down here so these are heartfelt dies that you probably recognize okay and I know a lot of heartfelt fans will be saying I have those but never thought of cutting it up and using it on a nice the side. step up you did there Nikki. It? yeah it was like oh. a do you want to do it again just a yes. nice and, and the hands as well oh, that was nice hands. oh I like that <laughs> then I'm using one of the six by six panels that I'm going to pop on there so this is where the orange came in I wanted and those to foam, use um, foam pad tape foam pad roll tapes. things come in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm popping that down and matting that on there. But the colours, like I say, yes, you have got your pinks and your purples and your, your soft colours in the collection, yeah. but you have got that beautiful orange colour as well. When is the first day of autumn? I do believe it is soon. It is soon. First day of autumn, let's see for you. 22nd of September. Oh, not long then. Not long. Another decorative die in that bright orange. And I am covering up that image down there. But I've cut one of the images from the paper pad, which is exactly the same, with an oval. And I've already decorated it with some Do you go for the pearls? foam tape just to give it that extra lift? Yes. I do, and I just think it makes the card look more luxurious. Look. Yes. Doesn't it? So I've already added foam tape. I've got a sentiment here as well that is going to go on down the bottom. So I'm going to pop that on now because what I tend to do is I get carried away with putting my flowers on and realise I haven't left any space for my sentiment. And it's like I have no idea. I was going to put it down the bottom, but then I thought, no, I don't want to cover them up. Now these are lovely colours and if you do like these colours you're going to like the indigo blue show that's coming up because I'm just having oh, a cheeky glance orange? over at RK who's setting up and I can see the colours that we've got there. Mm. So we're both feeling very autumny this morning. Yes, yeah. Right, so then I've made my flowers green. And you may think, green? I just wanted to pick out the greens in the card. Because the inner, and this is where the inspiration to bring the orange in was, I've um, got the inners, which are orange. I've got my stamens in the middle as well, look. There, I love that green. Adorned is, have you coloured those or cut green. them out from the paper? I coloured these. Wow. Yeah. 
So that's the beauty of having your stamps and dies. You can colour them in any colour you like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue these just off the side. Okay, we'll go with that one there. That one's going to sit at the top there. Do you Ouch. always use hot glue, Nikki? Um, yes, which is very hot because I've just glued my finger. Oh, be careful. Do be <laughs> careful. Oh, yes, look, you're dribbling as well. Be careful. <laughs> When I, I stick my flowers down, yes, I do like to use my hot glue. You've got a bit of oh, hot yes, glue I on your mat. See. I don't, there, don't want you to it's... stick your finger so in I'm that. So I'm bringing those around that oval. And then I've got some leaves. Very, very important when you put... And I always say this, when you're putting your leaves down, yeah. they just don't go anywhere. Just kind of bring them to the shape of the design that you're doing so don't leaf them so, out so don't leaf any out just bring them so I'm kind of doing the same at the top as what I did at the bottom I'm um, sorry the same at the bottom as what I've done at the top so I've got one coming there that's going to go there and just put them down evenly okay do you know what that reminds me of the Cotswolds oh this image mm. gosh I haven't been there for years and years and years and years you really wanted to know that, I know, but... <laughs> but look at that. Now, what I felt was, when I laid it down, because when I prep my demos, I always kind of have a look to see what it's going to look like. I felt it was too green. So I've die-cut some elements that I had in my heartfelt stash, and it works really well, and it just helps break up that Can you green. get green zinnias? Yes, you can. Wow, I've never and it's seen a them. stunning, bright, bright green, which is, is what it? I tried to get here, but it didn't quite work out quite the colour that I wanted. Oh, no, but that yes, could be can. some inspiration for my garden next year they are because they do bright, look lovely in green. They are a bright um, lime green. And then one more. And that just helps break up that green. And there you have very bright happy anniversary card that works beautifully we were a little shocked at the orange yes we were a little bit Just surprised a little bit different I was a little bit worried <laughs> but, um, but it works but the, beautifully. I have got one the one that I made at home if I just grab that one so I did actually put orange flowers on that one and did them the opposite oh, side and yeah. slightly different oranges. Now this um, is the colours. beauty of pre-cutting, isn't it, yes. Nikki? And I know you it love is. to pre-cut and have them at the side of you. So yes. you can do cards like mm -hmm. this. Yes. And um, what I do is I batch make. Can I just show you my batch yeah. of flowers? You can show us your batches this morning. There you go. Look at that. So I've got them to go to. And the thing is, you can use your orange ones that I've stamped in orange, but you can do them in color them in green in yellow in different shades of orange you've got your purples there you've got pinks and that's basically all the colors that I've used on my demos Love but that. I've done them all in different <clears throat> color ways so I've done a nice soft kind of salmon pink there look yeah or you can go really bright. I love the way you pre-cut everything because you're Thank so you. organised. But it makes sense. It makes sense to have them there because what happens is you get into the flow, don't you? You start to create, you start to build up. You think, I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I want to do another one, but maybe in a different colour. Rather than going back to the drawing board, as it were, and cutting them out again, just spend an afternoon when you're watching Hochanda and just cut them out. Make sure you've got them there ready to go. It's a perfect way to craft. Right, your one day special, busy, busy, busy over 60 percent of the stock has gone you've got your 12 by 12 papers there beautiful colors to take you through the last days of summer into the autumn you've also got your dies and your stamps as well that's going to give you the opportunity to start building up those zinnias to start putting them onto your cards onto your decorations your wall decorations as well and really make a difference beautiful stunning I love that it looks like droplets of water on there what a lovely idea Pretty two payments of £29.98, saving £21 on this deal. You get your inspiration sheet so you can build and create a design and you also get the bag that your Heartfelt Creation set comes in as well. Included 
are your stamens. It's a free gift because you're buying from us here on Hochanda as part of the birthday celebrations. Always a free gift with every purchase. Is it one per, per yes, it's one per customer. Look for your T's and C's on the website. 620393 is your item number. Uh, don't miss out, check out. That's the ideal solution to make sure you get your one day special. All the essentials. The essentials comprises of your 12 by 12 paper pads, 24 sheets, and then you get your large garden zinnia stamp and die. So you get both of those. That's the large one. And if you want to go for your um, essentials collection, then the details on your screen. And that's the large zinnia just there. So that's what you'll be able to make and create with your essentials, but also with your one day special. Your essentials, £23.49 today. No PMP if you're a Freedom member. Talking of Freedom, we've reduced the price of Freedom membership. Oh my goodness. So many of you are taking up Freedom membership. It makes sense because if you buy from us here at Hochanda, even if you buy two or three items a month, then it's going to be cost effective to become a Freedom member at £5.97. You're free P&P. It's unlimited as well. Unlimited standard delivery. It doesn't matter how much you buy from us. Uh, no contracts, so you'll have that for a month. It will continue automatically unless you cancel, so you can cancel. You've got the opportunity to do that. Uh, exclusive discounts. Go and have a look on the website. See how many discounts we've got for you by checking out the blue banners on the items. That means you get 10%, sometimes more. And then you've got your monthly newsletter and your members badge as well. So many people taking up Freedom Membership. Join the family. Join the Freedom Membership Club. It's brilliant. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you money. Uh, right, let's have a look at some of the samples now to show you. This is a lovely combination of colours, isn't it, Nikki? This is beautiful, isn't it? Using your pinks, your purples, and oh, there's some lime. Um, so one of the design teams done a limey, greeny colour. Yeah. And those tiny ones there, look. Very pretty. I love these really little pretty. droplets on there, like droplets nice, of water. Aren't they? Yeah, what a great idea. Really pretty. You've got some glitter on there, just there. Little droplet. It's like a little glossy accent. Can you see that? Or oh, maybe some hot is, glue. It? It's good, isn't it? Can you see that, Nikki? That is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's lovely. So just using those stamps in a slightly different way there. I love the way that the design team member there has done the inner green. Yes. Yeah, it looks different, doesn't it? It does, completely um, different. And don't forget you're getting your stamens, your free stamens worth £15.99 with your purchase that you can oh. add to your beautiful collections. This is the inspiration that you'll make and create if you uh, purchase your one day special. You'll get that included in your kit. Another one to show you here with some of the papers in the background. Ooh, how different is that? Yeah, that is so pretty. Love that blue. Now, in order to store your stamps and your dies, I've got something for you. I'm just going to step back like that and then step over this way. Oh, by the way, they're not Nikki's shoes. They're not random <laughs> shoes. They're part of our set dressing big for, me. for the event. <laughs> well, they're a bit small for me. I tried them on yesterday. Uh, right, not very successfully. This is your storage. It looks lovely, first of all, on your shelf. Turn to the side. You've also got that lovely decorative spine as well. Magnetic, so it holds together. Is it magnetic? Yes, it, it is. is. Open that up, and then you've got your binder in there to start putting your stamps and your dies in, which means you can store them securely, she says, throwing them about the set. Let me pop that in there. There you go. Keeps and them all in one place, you know, yeah. exactly where they are. Three quarters of the stock has gone. It's only £12.99. That is absolutely perfect. Even if you don't have any heartfelt creation stamps or dies, still buy it because it's still a wonderful storage solution for you. And as you can see, oh, sorry, on the shelf just there, it looks great. Doesn't and it? imagine if you've got extra ones all in a line. And then you can just write on there what we, each collection is. We did is. actually a few months back ask for photos from customers, and Ooh, we got yes. so many. We did, and didn't you we? Know, the amount of in their craft room, and especially if you're using maybe a dining room and you're only got you've got a few shelves, sure, it's yes. a lovely way to store them. And like you say, they look good as well. Yeah, they do. And they could just bring them over to your table. Uh, we do have some extra panels for you to go in your storage. There you go. And they're twelve ninety nine. Nine three four seven two three is your item number. 
And then we've got some stamp storage panels. They're slightly different. They're not magnetic. Nine ninety nine. You get fifteen of those. Cling stamp storage panels. Zero two one nine nine seven is your item number. Right back to the one day special. We've been busy for this this hour, and I'm sure we're going to continue to sell throughout the hours in between the shows. It's on extended delivery, which means we'll dispatch on the 9th of September because it's coming from America. It Nikki, is. if this is the first time people have seen Heartfelt Creations and their collections, yes. what would you say to them to encourage them to buy this? I would say if you've never done any three-dimensional flowers, this is a great starter because you've got your paper pad in there for your inspiration, you've got your panels in there as well, then you've got your stamps and dies to start creating those zinnia flowers or create any kind of flower that you like. It's so pretty as well, isn't it? It's a real, and there isn't real, you know, obviously it isn't Christmas, but it's any occasion. Yeah, it certainly is. Look at that. I mean, to be able to create flowers like that, and again, let me just take mm. this round to the side so you can see that 3D element. As your first collection, my word, I know that as soon as you get this home and start playing with it, you are going to look at all the other collections that are available. I know there are a few that actually purchased for the very first time yesterday, and that's really nice to hear because it isn't, because Heartfelt do a collection every single month, and like with the wisteria collection that yes. we just saw it was quite big but this one is perfect size oh thanks nikki Everything. right up to the thank menu you. well done wow. thanks nikki <laughs> thank you right as promised birthday bash with indigo blue up next party time with pink frog after that and then we've got an ironing celebration for you Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Well, well, I've just got a few minutes to tell you about some of the new seven day savers. It's a Chanda's fifth birthday. Oh, I know. And this one is one not to be missed out on. £14.49 is what we're looking at for all six of the fat quarters that I've got in front of me. You've got white and you've got off-white as well. Uh, this is Ada, 16 count Ada, 100% cotton fat quarters. You get includes three of the white, as I said, and three of the off-white. Let me open one out so you can see what you can use them for. Beautiful, beautiful quality for £14.49, £23. Pounds is what you're saving with these as well. Also remember, anyone purchased during a live hour, you will also be established for that free gift. All the terms and conditions are currently on the website. Your item number again, 847-111, £14 and 49 pence. Now, where's that cake? Hmm. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander shows, we'll share with you 
the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us of Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hello, a very good morning to you. Do sit comfortably. We've got another fabulous hour ahead. We've got Kay with us as well from Indigo Blue. Morning, good morning, everyone. Kay. Good morning. You're looking lovely. I've oh, got to say those colours so suit you. Oh, thanks. Favourite colours, really of course, blue. Beautiful, of course, of course. <laughs> now, we're going to see much more of Kay, of course, as we go through the show as well. But, wow, have we got some great bundles once again for you. Let's have a look at this first item. Now, we've got here for you two different options under one item number. So, we'll have a look at both of them. So, first of all, this is, of course, your birthday special as well. Shall we start here with the Fandangle? Now, I've got to tell you as well, of course, there's a free gift with everything as well. A gift with purchase because, of course, it is the birthday event. Uh, we will show you what you're going to receive in a little while. But, of course, being indigo blue, you know it's going to be quality. There you are. You're going to get this wonderful dinky stamp. It's a dragonfly, of course. You can see that. How beautiful. And that is going to work so, so well with everything that we've got on today's show as well. So back to the bundles. So the different options. We've got the Fandangles, first of all. I've got lots of wonderful samples, as always, from the design team. Now, the price is there on the screen for you, £34.96, saving £13. Now, if you haven't seen these before, these are really lovely, Kay, because I think these work so beautifully well with all your other stamp sets. You can use them as borders. You can add on to them. They're extendable. They work, they're, they're nice contemporary stamps as well, aren't they? They are, yes. They're, um, they're they're, they're basically my doodles and that's what I <laughs> when Aww. I'm on the phone I'm sort of always drawing and um, I thought actually let's make some stamps out of them and you can add to them you can zentangle onto them or whatever you want to doodle on yourself but they all go together and also the as you say they're a great complement to all the other stamp ranges that we do and I really really love them um, I've had so much fun with them I seem to cover everything with them from bags to journals and and all sorts in between Wonderful. Do you know, I wish my doodles were that pretty. I certainly do. We've got some samples to show you as well. And, of course, Kay just mentioned bags there as well. We've got a wonderful bag. If you haven't spotted it already, I will point it out to you because, of course, you can mix with your other stamps and products as well. So we've got all sorts here from the design team. Of course, any colour goes. You know, those beautiful designs that work so well together. We've got some nice bright colours here, actually. So from tags into your smaller cards. These were either way up as well, don't they, Kay? Do. Yes, up is Downies. <laughs> I love that, <laughs> love that. And of course with all those different mediums as well. And this just goes to show you can mix with your pretty elements as well. You know, just because it's doodles doesn't mean you can't go with those beautifully drawn items as well. Lovely colours here. Absolutely stunning. Oh, now this is nice as well, Kay, because you've got an up and a downy all together there. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I almost said in and out here, but it's an up and a downy. <laughs> <laughs> love it there we are we're already busy on those as well that's just one option remember one item number two different options 10% of the stock has already gone on that particular option 
Now wait until you see the next one as well. It's kind of following on from the same theme, but this is your fleur. So are these doodles or your, your yeah. own artwork as well, Kay? Yeah, they are. They're, they're my doodles, yeah. Oh, these are gorgeous. So you've got the floral element there again. You've kind of got the, the uppies and downies or the tops and bottomies. I don't know what we want to call them. We've got all sorts of wonderful <laughs> elements once again here. And I can see different ways of working with these as well, Kay. I mean, depending on which variation you use, whether you want something that's pointing upwards or hanging downwards, the berries and things there could be multiple items, couldn't they? You, you could build could. them into scenes. They could. So, yes, you can do scenes, but I've used them all over, um, as I say, decorating bags and journals and cards. And I've done the flowers so they're easy to cut out. So those big round flowers there, as you can see um, on that journal page, here we go. They're really, really easy to cut out. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not great at fussy cutting, but but these are easy peasy. I love they them. They certainly are. And they look great layered up as well. We've got more samples as, again from the design team. This one's from Carolyn. I really love this because you can see one of the florals in the corner there. Doesn't that work so well with those other elements as well to make the perfect corner? It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Isn't it? It's so simple, yet yeah, the composition is absolutely spot on. So you can see how she's just anchored it into one corner and just coloured that area, left some white space with the um, sentiment I love and it's perfect I really really love that it's card. gorgeous and we've got a little book here as well used on the front cover there you can see again elements from this particular set so think about those of the mediums um, do you know I've got just spotted a card as well which I've got to bring in because we were talking about using these elements in all different directions as well how wonderful to make a frame like that Kay that is gorgeous I love that and very contemporary once again yeah so that's really easy I, I used uh, I just put a post-it note or you know sticky note others are available in the middle and then colored around it and then stamped around it and then removed the sticky note very very simple to do and then just highlighted with some luscious there and the little lollipops love it love it do you know there's so many samples here again I'm sure we're going to see more later but just as I give the details I'm just going to continue showing you a few as we go along because of course it's not just your cards it's your fabrics as well your little memo books your journals everything goes doesn't it from small to large. £34.96. Remember, this is a second option. This is Fleur for you. If you want one of each, you can do. 271542. That is the item number. Just a little reminder as well, because the value is over £25, have you spent your credit yet? You can purchase whatever you want as long as it's over £25 and both of these are so maybe this is where you're going to spend yours now we've got more to show you as well we've got some DL stamps for you now these are absolutely gorgeous let's have a look at these and once again it's not just about card making is it as normal we expect from now from indigo blue you've got those wonderful red rubber stamps I'm just going to spin these around in a second actually so you can see the depth of these oh just beautiful K okay. These are so detailed. They're gorgeous. They aren't really, they? really are. They are. We, we're so proud of the process that we have. Really, really fine lines, really detailed. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. These are designed by our fairly new designer, Janine Jared Shaw, and she's done such a wonderful job. Um, the detail that she puts into them, as you're colouring them in, you'll discover lots of other things seem to pop out of all the. Um, the drawings you'll have ladybirds and the odd butterfly and the odd little you know seed head and it they're a joy to to use I absolutely love them oh they um, are and I've really Do you know, I didn't even spot them. that butterfly that we've just noticed there <laughs> These are absolutely beautiful, and again, the samples we've got in the studio, it works, you know, across the board, from home decor, your card making, again, your albums, even when I show you one of these samples here, this is so clever. Some, somewhere to keep your glasses we've got here as well. We're yeah, going to show you that in a second. Let's have a little look at this. How clever is that? So Who that's Sue, then? That's Sue Ralph who's done that, and she's actually used our rice paper um, and stamped onto it put it onto that the glasses is amazing. case and slap it on and then coloured it in. Oh, wow. And she will probably have that on uh, her how-to on uh, the Indigo Blue Love it. Um, Facebook page. Beautiful. And this is lovely as well. Look at this. So we've got some gilding going on here, but that centre panel, how effective is that? 
So simple but gorgeous. What a great idea. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And again, you can go from lots of colour to very little colour. The detail is there for you. You can keep it simple. You can be elaborate. You've got all those different options again. £21.98. £10 pounds saving on this one. We've got some great prices for you. And 10% of the stock has gone on that particular bundle, 151069. Now, it just keeps on going, doesn't it? We've got some A5 stamps for you next. And again, wait until you see the samples here they are absolutely beautiful again we've got red rubber for you as well they're already cushioned so you're just ready to go straight from the packaging you can get stamping straight away look at these now we can see we've got a really large dragonfly in this one which is absolutely beautiful you know whether you use that cane its entirety or you just want to stamp off the page as well you're going to grab this one time I, and time again I aren't love you? big stamps they're absolutely gorgeous to work with and you can do so much with them as well you can put so much detail into them and painting details and use your coloring pens uh, your Sakura or whatever and yes you can stamp off the page and make it look really effective um, or you can use it for your fabric stamping um, for your journals you know when you've got nice big pages or as you say just a, a small section of it looks amazing and hey we're looking at all the botanicals as well oh, um, which I'm going to do the first demo with this Ooh, morning lovely now there's a gorgeous sample right next to these stamps as well I'm sure we're going to see that in a second because of course stamping onto your fabric look at this the milk thistle there beautiful what I love about this set Kay is you've got the different sizes of florals in there you've got the dragonfly which is a large piece so you've got something that works again for every size cars every size project whether you use them individually or use them together again we've got more samples for you oh do you know these just are beautiful we're going to show you some more as we go through um, do you know whether you want to use other elements as well maybe a little bit of glitter whether you want to go with your card making again bringing things like your stencils different stamps of course what I love about case stamps as well quite often you see the sentiments that were alongside the florals and the elements that are in there but there's so many other individual stamps available on the website of course for K you'll find an incredible amount of different stamp sets and all the mediums to go with them these are just beautiful once again oh I can see a little bit of the fun dangling going on there as well <laughs> and the floors <laughs> beautiful so it just shows how they mix doesn't it beautiful 29 pounds and 98 pence 10 pounds saving busy on those as well four eight eight seven one three next oh I've got to keep myself really calm about this because I absolutely love this bundle I still haven't spent my five pound voucher could this be the one I've had my eye on this all morning I love this now I'm going to show you the panel in a little while but look what we've got here this is the indigo blue the botan botan I can't say it botanist botanical why am I saying it? it's because I've got botanical in my head isn't it that's what I'm trying to say it's 18 by 18 inches as a panel but you've got lots of elements on there you've got a canvas bag here as well you've got four translucent fabric paints and you've got the paint mats now those paint mats on their own okay are worth you know every penny because they protect your services you're going to use them time and time again but when it comes to this panel wow what you can achieve with this and those paints are just wonderful I've seen you working with those time and time again now they are gorgeous let's have a look at this panel 18 inches by 18 inches look at the elements you've got here we're talking small projects larger projects color do you know just as it is it's absolutely stunning tell us about this Kay I know we've got lots of samples around again there are, this is just a beautiful beautiful panel uh, the, there's loads going on there um, I actually designed the main botanical one first and, and it all stemmed actually from doing um, some bags for our uh, ladies who came on our, e, our secret retreat and they suggested we make them into stamps and then I thought well actually we've got some stamp designs that we could actually put onto fabric which I'd love so um, I, I love putting um, elements together to create a nice um, sort of collage so that's how we um, we brought this about and I like her theme as well so this was the the botanist um, and I just wanted to bring in different elements for big projects small projects um, so that you've got loads to work with there and some nice 
sentiments as well. It's absolutely stunning. And once again, the samples we've got, in fact, I've got a lovely little book here to show you, if I may, because this really showcases, doesn't it, all the elements on the panel? It does. It's really beautiful, oh, that. that. It's is. made out of, um, I think Carolyn's made that for us. Um, oh, wow. And she's put together pieces of felt which are really lovely and she's obviously colored the elements um, with our paints because of course our paints are fabric paints as well <clears throat> excuse me um, and then attach them sewn them and put the book together and it's just beautiful and there's more space in there for her to um, add more to it now if you're not a sewer you can still use your paper crafting skills on the fabric just paint it like you would paper or watercolour paper um, and you don't have to sew with it you can actually stick it and layer it um, it's not gorgeous it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful absolutely everything about that is beautiful absolutely stunning and I can't wait CK using the the elements here in demonstration so of course you do get that bag included in there as well so you can create a beautiful piece of art there there's so much in this bundle an amazing price with an 11 pound saving 34 pounds and 50 pence 025021 mm. now if you're loving the fabric we've got some more panels for you as well oh look at these these are a pick and mix so if you've got favorites you can go for them if you want more more than one selection you can as long as in, in multiples uh, I think I'm catching Kay's croaky voice now it seems to be following me down the counter <laughs> two, two pieces here from the pick and mix so you have got a various amount to choose from as I say if you want to go for more than the two you can as long as it's multiples of two these are truly stunning absolutely gorgeous yes. now we've got different fabrics for you here so we've got a canvas and we've also cotton. got cotton for you as well let's have a look at the detail of these Okay, the artwork is just amazing, isn't oh, it? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Now, we're just looking there. The one that I've just got in front of me here that I'm just picking up, as you can see on the screen, that is your cotton fabric. We have the same print on the canvas below as well, so we're going to see that one. You know, so you have got a choice here. So the cotton fabric's a little bit... A little bit less creamy. It's a little. Well, I'd say the the colours well, are both a little bit cotton. more of an ethereal colour. Yeah, they're both 100% cotton. Yeah. Um, the uh, canvas we call it a canvas because it's got a, a nice texture to it, it has, it's um, and it's got that sort of creamy buff look to it. Whereas the cotton is a finer cotton. Um, so it just depends if you want to embroider which you prefer. So the white one is obviously quite um, slightly off-white. It's not a bright white, um, and I'd say it's lightweight. Um, but it's a, a really nice quality, though. Oh, so you have got the choice. Isn't she gorgeous? The detail that's in there. The script behind there as well. The butterfly in her hair. Again, just as they are, Kay, they are stunning. But you start adding the colour. Wow. And the stitching and bits of beading and that sort of thing as well. Gorgeous. Now, we've got Becca for you as well. Now, she's maybe a little bit more contemporary, but just as beautiful. She's stunning. Again, the little freckles on her face. You can see the florals behind her. Again, the script in there. You've got uh, the beautiful the beautiful flowers there as well. So once again, you've got the cotton and you've got the canvas version there as well. So those colours will vary a little bit differently. One's a little bit heavier than the other, as Kay has just explained. Do you know, if you want to go for her, isn't she gorgeous? Wow. £13 for these. Any two for £13. £5 saving, but we've got more to show you. So the next one. Now, this is available on the cotton. So this is the artist for you. Now, if you look at the detail in this one, again, so much going on there. You could cut this out individually. You can use it as it is. So you've got the sculpt there again, Kay, haven't you? These are much smaller images, these. So these are perfect if you did want to add that um, fabric element to your cards or to your journals, or if you want to make a small book. Um, these are nice, small, delicate images. Um, and uh, you've got some words there as well. I, this was incredibly popular, this, um, this panel, and um, it's one of our top sellers, actually. I'm not surprised, and I've just spotted the bottle with the indigo blue on there. Of course. I've Look got to get that. it in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll oh, probably see that on most of my um, uh, collages, but you have to look hard for them. <laughs> Yes, have a look on yours and spot it. Now, we've got two more for you as well, and just as beautiful. So we've got a larger version of a butterfly. Look at the detail in this one as well. Beautiful, isn't it? This one is on canvas, 
and then the, the item below as well another beauty for you the features on the face and of course bringing through the text and the butterflies and the various different elements yet again we've got flourishes coming up we've got Jane here at the bottom she is gorgeous absolutely beautiful oh how are you going to choose from these do go for more than uh, one option if you can two in the pick and mix of course five eight four four three six is the item number take advantage of these savings because you know we've got some bargains for you today we really have now we've got much more to show you and of course we want to get to demonstration as soon as possible we'll pop over to the website first of all because that's where you're going to find everything do take time to go through all the different mediums as well we've got the luscious there we've got all sorts of paints for you we've got glues we've, and the sloppy tons we've got so many different mediums unicorn sparkles are there as well now they don't don't come on their own they come with the super fine embossing powder uh, you've got in fact you've got a whole bundle of wonderful elements there as well look at that so you've got some luscious in there Kay did actually very generously give me some of that luscious powder last time to use in my molds which worked amazingly well we've got gesso on there if you need it so do take the time to add those into your baskets if you need to stock up uh, we'll I'm sure we're going to see much more of these pigments and various items throughout the show as well now it's when it comes to demonstration that we really do appreciate the beauty in the items we've got here because Kay has got all the goodies ready to go. What are we going to see first of all? Kay? Okay, so I'm going to do a really nice quick uh, technique for you um, using our translucent paints. And I'm always saying they're like a watercolour. So I'm going to show you some watercolour techniques here. So this is um, really nice and quick. I've got some pink frog um, a watercolour card here. And then I'm just going to get, I'm using three different translucent colours. I've got Mulberry Bush, I've got Racing Green, and I've got a little bit of Teal for Two. So you need the tiniest amount on here, just a tiny weeny bit. Do you know, it doesn't matter how many times I see you do this, Kay. I'm always blown away yeah. about the tiny amount that you actually need. I know, because they're so concentrated. So you think this is a small pot, but it really packs a yeah. punch, you know. And then I've got some clean water and a slightly bigger brush. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select the, um, the stamp that I want to use out of the botanist. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go for the milk thistle. And this is going to go on here like this. So that's sort of the shape of the uh, area I want to paint there. So it doesn't matter if I go over, but I just want to sort of wet the card. Now I know you can't see much of it at the moment, just bear with me. Got some hairs there. So just a reminder to everybody that is the Pink Frog watercolour card. Yeah, oh, it's it's great. This I use it all the time now. It's such um, a great price actually that you don't have to worry about um, using lots and lots. So, can you see here? I've added loads of water to that mulberry bush, and then you get this beautiful, beautiful colour appearing. Oh, and I'm just letting that soak in. Now you're almost dabbing that cake yeah. there, rather than sort of sweeping the brush across. Yeah, just dabbing it on and letting the water do the work for you. Is there a preference for the type of bristle on the brushes you use? Um, I always use synthetic. Okay. Um, just because I don't like to use natural hair, um, it's just a personal choice. I don't like using sable or anything. Um, I prefer gold line, and because they have a good synthetic hair to them. Um, and they're quite soft actually. That's what I was noticing. So, you can yeah. tell just as you're dabbing away yeah. there how beautifully soft the bristles are. So and then I'm going to come in with a tiny bit of teal as well. And oh, I'm just nice. going to let that, I'm just going to clean my brush and okay. then I'm just going to pull this out a little bit so that we get a nice sort of look to this. Now this will actually dry lighter as well so that's why I've put loads and loads of water with it because I just want it really soft really delicate um, and I've left a lot of white space around it as well okay so the then first colour you put on there Kay you can see how soft the edge of that yeah, is yeah it is stunning. isn't it it's lovely yeah beautiful and then what I've done is see they all dry differently don't they so this Completely is one that different. I did um, yesterday last night um, and I spotted some extra water in as well and this this was actually just a, a feature of just me putting extra water on so you almost get like this is going to work really well with the 
with that the stem. It almost looks like a butterfly at the bottom. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this out. Okay. And of course the stamps are already cushioned, so it's straight onto your acrylic block or that's your platform. Right. Or your platform, whichever you prefer. It's weird because normally I use um, a platform now, actually. So I better not me make a mess of this, <laughs> I'm just going to get my other black. Okay. And what ink are you using there, Kate? So I'm using Versify. It's one of my favourites. Um, this is made by a company that are well renowned for the quality of ink. They've been in business for oh, an eternity, actually. And um, this is a, an oil-based ink. So, and you get all the fine detail coming through beautifully. I also like the um, Versafine Claire as well for the colours. Yes, and is also a, a brand we often see used, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I'm just using my palm okay, so and just put my weight down. over it. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, That's isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Love it. You get such a nice crisp image with that. Now, what I'm now going to do is normally I would leave that to dry a little bit, but what I'm going to do is just blast it, okay? Yeah. You stop me blasting it with your heat gun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry oh, about that. that. You can't one hear a thing. Power tool. We've never but, <laughs> seen one. <laughs> but it only takes a couple of seconds, so, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to take a smaller brush, a detail brush, and I'm going to use the paint that's already on here. So I'm actually mm. going to mix that um, teal here with a bit of the, the green. And I'm going to come in and just... Can you see, the lovely thing about these translucents is exactly that. You can see through them and you can create layers of colour. So I can still go over the top of that background and cover it, but I'm not covering up all those beautifully dark black lines. There we go. See the colour change in there. It's wonderful how it layers up, isn't it? It's and you're really, not sort of really out beautiful. Underneath. Really beautiful. So this is an acrylic paint, um, and even though we're doing a watercolour effect, what I like about this is the fact that I'm just going to add the tiniest amount more. I'm just going into the lid rather than into the pot because you just get a smaller amount coming through. So just adding into the water that you've already got there as well. Yeah, that's right. So the nice thing about it being acrylic is that once it's dry, um, it doesn't reactivate again. So no. that's the great for putting layers on, you see, because once, um, once you've put one down, you can layer on top over, over it, and the bottom layer won't move, which it normally would do if it's, um, if it's watercolour. You can see and that coming along beautifully. And once again, the balance of the detail and the open space in your stamps just allows whether you just want to stamp as it is and leave it exactly as it is, or whether you want to add that colour without it being too difficult. That's right. And, and you can just layer up as much or as little as you want. And I, I've put a, a stronger layer on there. Just clean my brush, get a little bit more of that green. This is the racing green. Again, these are translucents, and all these are fabric paints as well. So you can do this technique onto um, fabric really easily. And then, of course, you've got that option of adding your beads and your sequins and little bits of sparkle if you want to, yeah. your embroidery stitches. Absolutely. So now, when it comes to the paints, Kay is just using the three colours there. Now, we have got details on the screen for you. Now, the first bundle that you'll find on the website will have the colours that Kay is actually using now. So you've got teal for two, you've got daffodil, you've got stroke of midnight as well, racing greens in there, mulberry bush, and ugly duckling. Oh, <laughs> why is it ugly? It's an ugly duckling because um, it's, a, it's sort of a, a, a drab brown. But oh, um, that's like the still ugly a beautiful duckling. Color. But it's still a beautiful colour. That's right, and it's actually incredibly useful because if you want to, t these are all really bright colours because I use um, really strong pigments. But if you actually wanted to um, 
tone down the colour, you just add this, a smidgen of ugly duckling and that will give you a, a, a deeper tone so to a it. Very, very useful colour yeah. indeed. So, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to show you how to um, colour this by giving it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to put this green at the right hand side. Okay. I'm just going to clean my brush and I'm just going to pull out a little bit of the green here. Now I need to cover up some of that pink okay. so I'm just putting another layer on and whilst it's wet I'm coming in with the teal just on the right hand side there. So if you're not sure then Kay, the trick is I suppose just you know make the paints quite watery you can always build those layers. Absolutely. And you know add those different colours on top as well, add the shadowing so take it nice and calmly yes. and slowly to start with. Yeah absolutely and so you don't have to be frightened of it and just enjoy it and even if you just did solid colour and you didn't want to do any shading that's fine as well it's still going to look absolutely beautiful. It certainly is with those paints and yeah. we are busy on those paints as well in fact the the actual set that Kay's using now with the colours that she's taken from them a quarter of the stock has gone. Wow. 257834 is the item number it's a great buy because just 14.99 is going to get you six individual colours yeah, we used to do, um, well, we still do actually, 60 mil um, paints, um, but we found that they were so good, they were lasting years for people. And they were saying, could we possibly have smaller uh, packaging, smaller bottles, but more colours? So that's exactly what we did. Oh, so you do listen to your customers, of course. Oh, of course, it yeah. It just makes sense. I can, well, you can see straight away, Kay, when you started demonstrating the tiny little bit that you added there. Then yeah, the about water. the size of a grain of rice. Yeah, yeah. there we go. So Useful. really, really simple, like really gorgeous. easy. Now, I'm just going to take a normal ballpoint pen. It has to be a nice, this is a, a nice sort of turquoisey, bluey colour that I thought just went really well. And I thought, oh. so you don't have to have, you know, always specialist pens. I just happened to have this one in my paint pot and I thought, um, this is really nice. So, um, and I can't draw a straight line, so I never uh, attempt it. I just, I just go with the, the wiggle. Oh, it really let, does set the wiggle out. out. Those colours are stunning. Right, and then this is going to go on here and then what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp up um, a sentiment this one is a life without dreams That's is like nice. a garden without flowers and that is from Fleurs 3 okay which is a, one of my favorites I love this one and and the bubble flower as well. It just goes to show again a completely different style of stamps there but check those wordings out if you've got previous sets from Indigo Blue always look back and think about how you can mix everything together. Absolutely yeah don't don't think that you know you've just got to use um, one particular style so I'm not very good at, at, at straight lines so you'll have to you know excuse me on this one. <laughs> and are you using the same card stock for this sentiment? I am, because this is one of the cut-offs from um, creating the size. So I always keep my little cut-offs because they're great for sentiments. And of course, then you've got like a nice straight border as well that you can Perfect. use. So I always sort of keep those. Uh, where's that blue pen gone? Here we go. So I'm just going to line this blue pen as well with this blue pen. Oh, that looks nice with the swallow tail effect there as well. Yeah, just a, a little bit. bit yeah, the detail. pen really works, doesn't it? Because where you shape there as well, it's really going to stand yeah. out. Yeah, it draws it's really, your really simple. The as well. Yeah, and then I'll just get a couple of foam pads. These are these are great because they're not too deep, but they do give me a little bit of of height. So, I'm just going to put those on here. And the background and pad then you've used there complements those colours. So that's going to go on here, and I'll just stick this one down. Lovely. So just bear with while I stick this one in. Actually, I'll use some wet glue, and that'll be quicker, won't it? Take a while to um, 
And that popped stick. into a little frame with little of this. Wow. Yeah, I, I, do, I do like having uh, things like this around. And of course, I'm just going to... Um, they'll work beautifully as a set. So you've got, um, what, five different ones to go out there? So you could very easily get uh, five nice little cheap frames. I'll do the whole them. set well, of the botanics. As well. you know, it's one of those things, isn't it, when you're decorating, sometimes we think, oh, I need some artwork for the wall, I need to find something that matches. You can't find what you want. And then if you think about it, the amount of stamps that a lot of you have got because you collect along the way, there must be dozens and dozens and dozens that will suit for pieces of artwork for the wall. I'll just turn it around That is you. so pretty. Oh, do you know, Emily's got a point as well. Yes, just in a glass frame would look beautiful on those clip frames as well. Yes, they would. Yeah, I think... Because you don't want um, to lose the artwork, do you? You don't want to take it away from that. So you don't want a big, bold frame. You just want to be drawn into the wonderful artwork right. there. That is stunning. Beautiful. So simple, isn't it? Really, really simple technique, but looks really nice. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kay. We'll be back with you in a little while. We'll have a bit of a recap because we've got a busy show. Now, let's have a look at the, where we started, actually. Now, one item number, you could two different choices here. Nothing to stop you going for both, but we'll look at Fandangle first of all. This is actually the busiest one in this particular option. So 30% of the stock has gone, and this all began, of course, from Kay's wonderful doodles. I honestly wish I could doodle like that. Mine are just squiggles. Uh, these are beautiful. I will probably just show you one or two samples as well, but if we can take note, if we can, of the bag that's at the side, when we finish looking at the stamps themselves and the samples at the front there, we have got the most beautiful bag here as well. So this is one of the canvas bags, actually. I'm just going to fold out the top so you can really see the detail. Look at that. Now, if you want to use your embroidery or your beads again there, you could do. Isn't that stunning? I love it. Every time we were in the van going to our dirty weekends. Those are workshops, by the way. <laughs> I'm so but glad you added that on there at the end. <laughs> I was rather worried It's there. become a generic <laughs> name now, but I just realised that Marcus, who doesn't know me in, in the booth, he's, he probably sharp in take a breath there. Oh, and we, we do. No, dirty weekends are our workshops that we hold. Uh, they've been on hold this year, but we're back doing them um, at oh, the end of the year. I've got different visions of you in that van, Kay. That's all I can say. Oh, let's have a look at some more samples and move on swiftly from that there <laughs> no do watch out for the workshops from okay, k in the future when we can get things back how they were you know i'm sure if you've and if you've ever been you will have enjoyed them so much many people have who attend actually a chander here as guests and also the presenters have been as well and enjoyed them uh lovely just look at these for a dirty weekend, aren't they? <laughs> just clamoring for one <laughs> <laughs> they certainly are. And just a reminder here with the stamps as well, use them different ways. Use the different variants because you can make frames, you can use things, you know, the fandanglings dangling down, you can have them poking up in the air, you can have them whatever way you wish. We've got to be a bit more careful about what we say, I think, on this show. Now, that's your fandangle. Let's have a look at the other option under this item number. This is the Fleur. This is beautiful as well. They do work perfectly together. In fact, the bag that I just did show you there had, I believe, some of the flowers on from this particular set as well. I adore all those berries there could be berries there could be flowers in their entirety they could be part of a toastal wood or anything like that as well just beautiful those florals very easy to cut out as well as Kay said earlier do you know we've got all sorts of samples once again and don't forget about your fabrics as well think about your home decor pieces think about those frames you know if you are looking for some artwork maybe stamping onto ceramics as well there's all sorts of different wonderful um, inks out there isn't there you've just got to get the appropriate one for the project that you're working on so if you want something to be permanent do th think about that oh i love this little one. Oh, let me just bring this in this is by sue isn't that beautiful so simple again but very very pretty Oh, look, there's all sorts inside there as well. I think that's from the... Is that from the next one? This is behind our fleurs, Kay. Is there any fleurs in this one? Is that from a different one? Uh, that's the botanical I shall just pass that one. down a little yep. bit further so we can have another look at that then because uh, that is absolutely beautiful. There we go. There, there's so many samples, it's very, very easy for them to get uh, sort of intertwined, shall we speak, so to speak. There we are, look on the fabric again there. 34 96 for £13 saving on this one. 271-542 is the item number. Now, something else that's been busy is the DLs. These are absolutely beautiful. 
Oh, the detail work in here again. Now, keep it simple if you wish. If you want to go with that collar, you've got it as well. Of course, he's going to work with all the other items we've got on the show. Think about the paints that you've just seen Kay working with as well, those translucents. Just stunning. 40% of the stock has gone on these. Do watch out for those little hidden butterflies and ladybirds and things there. There's one butterfly that's quite prominent there next to the sunflower. Uh, I'm watching out for a ladybird. Is there definitely a ladybird in here somewhere, Kay? You did mention it. Oh, let's see if we can find it. Oh, I've spotted it. i spotted it. It's kind of sideways on, isn't it? Oh, we're going to zoom in close. Oh, how pretty. Oh, look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. Oh, do you know, one or two samples from these in a second as well, because the, the design team works so hard on the samples. They truly do. Look at the berries there, the blackberries there. Or oh, could they be raspberries? Could they be other berries? They could be whatever you want if you colour them in. You could cut them out individually and use them separately as well. So do think about cutting into these stamps as well. You don't have to use them in their entirety. You've got the wording there as well. Now, there's actually three individual stamps in each of these sets because they are DL, you've, so you've kind of got the borders and the wording separately. Uh, so use these however you wish. Look at there, another stitch sample. Great use of uh, your threads there as well. Oh, that glasses case, I've got to show it you again. Stamping onto rice paper. It's just another way of working with the stamps. Don't forget you've got those other elements. Rice paper is a great addition to your crafting stash again, especially if you've got the, the nice, fresh, clean pieces so you can go with anything on there and then add your colours as well. 151069 is the item number if you want to go for the stamps. They are beautiful and we are busy on them. £10 saving, £21.98. Right, let's move on down. Let's have a look now. That sample that I did show you, I'm going to show you properly now because it applies to this particular set. This is by Sue, Sue Ralph. Her name's on the back. I'm so pleased because it's nice to sort of say it was made each one. Uh, let's have a look. I love the front K because it is so delicate. Mm. It's so pretty. And anything with the overlay with a vellum, you know, and you stamp on there, you can see through that, but it gives you that soft, diffused look. It is beautiful. I love that. And that's, again, another watercolour technique um, just to um, highlight just the areas. And I love the way it just smudges out. It is truly beautiful. beautiful. Really oh, lovely. Look, and there you've got the milk thistle as well. And this is achievable by everyone, isn't it, Kay? Because the techniques are simple, but they just speak volumes. When you look at the images, it's all you need. That's right. You don't that. need very much at all because the images just, <clears throat> excuse me, the images just work so beautifully. Mm. Look at that. That's Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. That, um, that double stamping of the, of the leaves at the bottom there, I think that's beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. Now, we've got more samples as well. Of course, you've got dragonflies involved here. We've all sorts of different florals for you as well. Oh, that's come from the sunflowers. Um, I'm just trying to grab something I didn't show you earlier. Let's have a look at this one. Again, I love the colours on this one. Do you know, if you want to go with heavy colours, if you want to go with light colours, keep it sugary and sweet. You can do that as well, just with your ink. Again, you can see in the background there, papers that have been torn up. That works really, really well with that particular sample. There, look at that now. Different te uh, textures and techniques in the background there as well. 488713 is the item number for this one. £29.98. Again, a, sa a £10 saving for you. A wonderful bundle there. Now, something else to remind you about is that wonderful bundle with the panel there that 18 by 18 inch panel this is beautiful you've got the canvas bag you've got the translucent fabric paints in there you've even got three paint mats as well the artwork once again is absolutely stunning 34 pounds and 50 pence 11 pounds savings 025021 and then, oh, let's have a look at the Luscious, because we've got those as well, of course. Oh, these are gorgeous. Five different options on these. What a great price once again. £14.97. 749-767. Now, when you do go to choose your Luscious, go to the website and have a look at those. I believe there's some options that we don't have in stock. So if you have trouble putting any in your basket, that's probably the reason why. But there's lots to choose from. So do please have a look at those as well. 
Now the translucent paints, let's have another look at those. They've been busy this hour. $14.99 is going to get you six individual colours there. You've seen with the first demonstration, just three colours were being used. The colours that Kay used were from this particular set as well, but you are going to get those extras in there. But we have more options for you as well. 257834 is the item number. And there's your other option. In this one, we've got Red Hot Chili. We've got Lime Marmalade. Ooh, Purple Rain's in there. Blue Bell. Tiger Lily and Welsh Slate as well. Beautiful. If you can afford to go for both sets, do, because you will use those. 257-834. Now, the Unicorn Sparkles. Now, I love these. These come along with other items as well. So you've got the Unicorn Sparkles, you've got the Super Fine Embossing Powder, and you've got the 25 milliliter pot there, the Luscious Magic Sparkles, and they really are magic. 13.99 for this bundle, 536-958. So much available, and each and every one of the products will just blow you away. If you've never used them before, you will not be disappointed. Kay, what can we see next? Okay, so I'm going to be using the Butterfly and Berries um, one that you liked. Oh, so I'm this. going to be using that one, and I'm going to be using the Luscious as well. And the Magic Sparkles, if you've not used those before, you can add them to any of your translucent paints, and they will add a sparkle to them. You can also add them to your Luscious to give an extra boost as well. So um, that's a little tip for you. Right, so I'm going to use... Uh, the watercolor card again from Pink Frog and I'm just going to stamp up using my stamping platform with one of this. It's nice to have the DL stamps as well. I love the shape of yeah. them. Yeah, they work so well actually. I think it's probably a bit of yeah, hey, as well, you've mentioned there the unicorn sparkles and the luscious and the, the magic, the luscious magic there. You did kindly give me a pot of those the last time we were together and said, did I want to use them for dusting into the moulds? Yes. And I did do that. I don't know if you saw the show. I did use them on the show. Oh, they no, gave I the didn't. most amazing effects. So dusted into the silicon moulds before I put the air dry clay in, it picks up the, the sparkles. It really, truly was beautiful. But also, your stamps work amazingly well to stamp into the clay. They do. To give that emboss effect or to put ink onto the stamps and stamp onto the clay as well. They do because the they're ink. a nice um, and deep etch, you see, so that you get a really good impression, you sure don't do. you? They're gorgeous. So if anybody's wanted to find another way, think about that as well. Yeah, I have actually done a few classes using clay, actually, um, and the stamps, and they, they just work really beautifully. Yeah, I, I love using uh, the clay. I must get some more of that hearty, actually. Um, it's perfect for the job, isn't it? It is. Sorry about the noise. There we go. Very quick. I avoided talking there just in case <laughs> nobody could hear me. You can't hear you. <laughs> That's anyway. the fine embossing powder from that set, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, you get a huge big pot here. Um, the only way you use it is um, <laughs> I, I tips. I knocked some over. Um, but they're very, very fine particles, so it actually sticks to the finest lines that you've got, which is great, which is what we need for this technique. So um, I'm going to be using the Luscious. If you've never used it before, it's a powder pigment. Um, and then, uh, oh, I wanted raspberry, actually. Let me just grab that one. Um, it's a pigment, and then we've added mica to it. And then we've added a binder, which uh, makes it stick to a surface, so you don't need to, you know, recharge it or anything like that, or put um, a varnish over the top. So I'm using a wet brush, and then I'm just sticking it into the the um, powder, okay. and then mixing it into a palette. So this could be uh, doesn't have to be a, a, a palette. It could be an old plate. It could be your painting mat. It could be. Um, it could be an eyeshadow palette because it they could. Have the yeah, they do they? when you when you finish your eyeshadow. Colors. Absolutely. Um, these palettes are available at Indigo Blue because we can't get them at Hachanda, okay. um, and I'm, I'm allowed to say that. Um, but. Um, the great thing about these is when you're adding water to them, it becomes a sparkly watercolour. And that means that when it's finished, you don't, you don't throw it away. Um, you can just reconstitute it by just spraying it with water. 
So, so I've got absolutely no waste there again. No then. waste at all. But as you said earlier, you can use this for lots and lots of different um, techniques. And that's why I've given you a powder so that I can teach you the best way of, um, of using it for lots of other techniques as well. So what I'm doing here is that I've actually embossed the lines because it makes it so much easier to paint because the embossed lines act as a barrier and they resist the watercolour of the luscious. So basically it's just so much easier to colour in and it won't cover up the black lines at all um, because if you didn't emboss um, the pigment is so rich and the micro is, there's lots of micro in, it would disguise those black lines. Oh, I see. You see, so that's why I actually do just emboss watch, all the time. Just watching you, is that okay? Of course, having the luscious powders then, mixing your own colours, you could mix them together and make your own colour combinations as well. That's exactly what I've done, actually. So on this, this palette here, you can see that I've, I've actually been mixing some of the colours together so I've actually written down what I've done oh, and then idea. and left them in there but that's yeah absolutely really you should do idea. that and the same with the translucent paints as well you will find combinations that look fantastic so I'm gonna just come straight in here with a little bit of um, this is purple the first colour I used was raspberry and um, there are lots of sets in, on the website, as you, as you mentioned. Um, and we have got more stock coming in. So if there are some out of stock, just, just watch out for, for more stock coming back on the Chanda because we're back on on the 17th. Um, not long then. I know, it's a busy month for me <laughs> this month. You are busy all and the I'm time back. though, okay, yeah. aren't you? Right, so um, these stamps are just beautiful. Here, here she is. Here's the little oh, ladybird. Yes. Oh, she's so sweet. There she is. And then also we've got um, we've got this lovely, beautiful mushroom here. And I'm going to use verdigris. And um, it doesn't look very exciting in the pot, but when you use it comes out and you think okay it's just a brown but wait until the light hits it and you get this wonderful greeny bluey oh. color coming through and it's just absolutely beautiful and you don't always see the color um, on telly it's really really difficult to to show how Hopefully it really you looks. That a wiggle in a little while, and you've done a little bit more. Just to let everybody know, we are very, very busy on this stamp set as well. Almost three quarters of the stock has gone. Now, Kay has got another show today. Is it the same stock later on, Kay? Have you got it any is. It is. I've got different samples um, and demos to show you, but it's the same stock, and it's 5 p.m. So don't miss that. If you're just considering, oh, which one do I go for? Oh, I don't know what to do yet. You can have a think about it. Don't forget to check your baskets out on this hour, though, if you've already got everything in your baskets. If you haven't spent that credit yet, you can spend that as well, as long as you're spending over £25. But don't miss the inspiration, of course, from Kay. I would say to you, though, we are very, very busy on this particular item number. So for those stamps that Kay's using right now, it might be advisable to check your baskets out as soon as possible. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you, it's very, very easy to blend with this. Um, what I'll do is I'll do these berries and show you these berries here. Lovely. So you can always start off with quite a dark colour. And if you don't know anything about, you know, where the light should fall, I always say just do dark on the right, light on the left. Okay. And then, and then it's just really simple to to remember. So I'm using these berries and I'm just dotting some purple along here, just on the right hand side. It's again, it's achievable by everyone. So there's nothing really complicated about the techniques that you're showing us here. Not at all. The results look so professional. Uh, and then I'm going to come in with, um, let's have a look at this. Let's, let's do, I think this is um, cherry lips. Yeah. It's not got a label on it, but I do recognise that it is cherry lips because it's got a blue to it. So if I actually go over the top of the purple with the ah. cherry lips, I get a lighter colour coming yeah. through there. Now, if I keep that colour on my brush and I just add 
maybe something lighter like um, Magic Sparkle. There we go. So Magic Sparkle's going to come in here. This is going to bring it to life. And that's imagine. just, just going to... Name, you can imagine it, can't you? That's right. You can really and see when, the difference in colour. And when that dries, that's going to look amazing as well. And you can do that with these berries. So Magic Sparkle is the lightest one. So basically, what I, there, Kate, yeah, I would just go around all of them. And then I'll come in with that Cherry Lips. And then come in with the, the purple. Nice juicy blackberries those, aren't they? They are, aren't they? I'm just thinking as well, Kate, when you're rinsing your brush out, you can have the sparkles in your water as well. Oh, yeah, have you absolutely. Use that as a wash on your, uh, your watercolour card before you add other colours as well. It's going to come through, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. You can dip it in, put it in a tray and dip it in, and it just leaves sort of sparkle behind. But make sure, I always say, make sure you use uh, clean water every single time yeah. because if you use water that you've been using for paint, it will actually cover up the mica molecules okay. and dull it down and you don't want that to happen. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on with this and then later on this afternoon I will put this together on a journal page but I just wanted to show you what it can look like. Um, so, oh by the way, this, this is the same technique with the lavender. Oh, That's such a pretty stuff. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, and then beautiful. This is what it can look like when you're finished. So beautiful, strong colours there. So what I'm going and to do is I'll lift shimmer. it up and I'll give it a bit of a wiggle. So especially I want to see that, with. that sort of browner colour coming through. But you said you can see the greens and the blues. You there. can, can't you? As you flex that there, you can see the green definitely coming through there, how it's catching the light. What beautiful effects. Okay, and I've also gorgeous. done the sunflower as well, actually. Let me put that beside it. Whoops. There we go. So there's your, your sunflower. Absolutely beautiful. You're getting both of those remembering that set. You do. do check those baskets out because we are very, very busy on that set. Saving ten pounds. Twenty one pounds and ninety eight pence. One five one zero six nine. If you're going for those and you haven't spent the credit, pop some luscious or some translucent paints in there and take it over that twenty five pound value. Kay, thank you so so much. I'll have gone by the time you have your second oh. show, so I'm going to miss that. But do stay with us everybody else. Don't miss Kay later on at five o'clock. So much more to come. We've still got some amazing shows and guests for you as well throughout the day. See you soon. Oh, what a lovely show once again. Party time next with Pink Frog. Then we've got an ironing celebration. Actually, I'm really looking forward to that. It's me doing that. Heartfelt Creations birthday sensations later. Flexi Order has arrived at her Chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. 
Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Seven day savers. It's the se Oh, fancy meeting you again. We've got another chance to look at our seven day savers. This time we've got the Oakwood A4 Christmas card, 270 GSM. But what are you getting? You are getting 40 of the white. You are getting 20 of the beautiful Christmas red, and you're also getting 20 of the green as well. That's 80 sheets in total for £16.99. That works out to be 21 pence per sheet, I know, for all of this card. Remember, it's 270 GSM. Remember, if you buy anything throughout the live hours as well, you'll be in for that free gift. Yes, a free gift. All the terms and conditions are on the website. Check them out. 659151 is your item number. £16.99. pence. You're saving £7. Right then, get me to the cake. Here I come. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Good morning everyone, we're in for a marvellous show, it's all about education, it's all about learning and if you've got some cardstock at home and you want to learn some brand new techniques and new card designs, perfect. If you're in the market to get some beautiful cardstock to enable you to stamp, to watercolour, to paint, to fold, oh my word you're in the right place. And we've got Hazel with us today, the technician of all things crafty and paper, the magician actually <laughs> when it comes to all things craft and paper. I'm looking forward to the show. I am too, really excited. And morning, Janice. Yes, good morning. <laughs> what can we look forward to in the show, Hazel? So, first up, we've got a brand new card size, mm -hmm. which comes with 10 different card folds, which we've put down on an instruction sheet for you, and you'll get that within the pack. My which word. Which is brilliant, brilliant. Now, br <laughs> uh, do you know what? There's another. I love these extra words we keep yes. giving forward. I'm going to start a Janice dictionary. <laughs> right, now, they say that size matters, and it really does when it comes to card folding. It does indeed. And with our first item you've got an extra three millimeters now that's it doesn't makes sound a, a lot massive difference but it makes a huge difference yes, it, it certainly does, does. Um, but we'll be going through the techniques of that and the reasons why in the demonstration so what I'm going to do is take you through all the items on the show 
uh, as quickly but effectively as possible so we can get to demonstrations and start learning. There's a free gift with everything you buy and it is a beautiful free gift. You've got this gorgeous ice gold paper. Uh, it's 120 GSM and you get 50 sheets in total. That's your free gift with anything that you buy on the show today. One purchase. Right, let's take a look at the first cardstock. This is the one with the extra three mil. It is important. This is 21 by 30 centimeters. You get 25 sheets of the black and 25 sheets of the white. This is true black though, and that's true really black. important when yeah. it comes to crafting. And why is that? To the core, it's acid and lignin free, mm -hmm. so it gives a beautiful finish. You can score and fold it. It's going to take your embossing folders, your paints, your waxes, all of that. So it's all been taken into consideration. Oh my goodness, 10% of the stock has already gone. You're seeing some samples now just using the black card, the white card, and some red card we've got coming up. And how effective is that? No inks have been used, but it's the card sizes and configuration of folding that you can do with this brand new today cardstock that you can see here. 10 new designs taking your card making to the next level, whether you stamp on it, paint on it, whether you stick on it, whether you use your um, stencils on it, it doesn't matter. These are new ways of you creating. And you can watch these shows again, but they also come with instructions. So this is brilliant. 20% of the stock has <laughs> gone, oh my word. We will still demonstrate this. We're going to move down the counter. 9.99. That's incredible value for money, everybody. Uh, 280 GSM. And remember, you get your 50 sheets of ice gold card with it. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. We've got A3 Super Smooth uh, card for you now, in the white, in the black, and in the red. 20 of each, and it's 290 GSM, 280 GSM, and 300, and, uh, 300 GSM. So 300 for the black, 280 for the red, and 290 for the white card. It's a little bit, sorry, it's a little bit, right, so the, the white is 300, ah, right. the red is 290, and the black is 280. Right, sorry. okay. Right, and it's A3 in size, and of course the GSM does make a difference when it comes to card folding, yeah. and that's some things that we will be talking through in the demonstrations. But brilliant for construction, matting and layering, anything in your card making. Uh, now I've got a lovely journal here uh, put together, just using the black, the red and the white. Exactly. Yeah, and look at that, superb, fantastic. Uh, and all you need is a, a binder on there, which is using the white, the black and the red, so you can see it's been used all the way through. And now you're making and creating your own journals. Isn't that fabulous? And I think A3 in size is a good size to work with. It is. Now that one, the actual body of it is made from the 21 by 30s. Yep. But so long as you've got that spine, which yes. you'll get in the instructions a bit further down the counter, yes. you can put that to any size you want. So whether it be 20 by 40, 15 by 42, or your 15 by 30, it's going to work. Perfect. Right, 20% of the stock has gone, and you're getting your free gift of the 50 sheets of ice gold paper. Beautiful, you lucky people. Right, if you want to add several items to your basket, because we've got great prices for you. If your basket comes to £60 or more when you go to check out, we'll divide the cost into two. How about that? Spread the cost over two months, but we'll send everything out in the same go. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right. Oh, we've got queues on the phones, but it's fine. The call centre are working through your calls. You can head to the website. It's the quickest way to order. We're going to have a busy show. Right. Now, we've got a mixed set of card for you here. Um, you've got, in this particular set, you've got your rainbow mirror. Um, now, let me just hold that up because this is absolutely superb. Look at that. Just turning this from side to side. Yes, it's reflecting on some of the lights here in the studio, but we don't have yellow lights. We don't have red lights. We don't have blue, green or purple lights, just white lights. Uh, but look at all of those different colours that you've got in there. Now, approximately, you are getting 125 sheets of the rainbow mirror, uh, which is great. It's a good size as well. Great for your matting and layering. You're also getting included in this set your white, black and your watercolour card as well, which is brilliant. So it gives you a chance to have a whole variety of cards. Maybe this is a size that you work with on a regular basis. Maybe these are your card toppers and then you start to mat and layer. Perfect for you. Die cutting, you've got it. Uh, a lovely set, $29.97, but look at that saving. Wow, you're saving £21. So if you normally would pay £50.97 for that collection, don't forget you're getting your 50 sheets of 
super beautiful ice gold paper as well then that £21 you can put towards something else, surely, because you're saving it. 045296 is your item number. 20% of the stock has gone. Hazel's got something to tell us. So this is how it's going to come packed to you in this big kind of ream box. So it's going to be packed to the rafters. Yes. And that's why it's got an approximate, because it, you're going to have your four stacks in so there. So they'll stack it up. But so, so handy for if you want to just die cut something small yeah. or emboss something small but if you're doing small cards and you want some super smooth and some black it yeah. saves you all the hassle of yeah. chopping it down and you get that box as well so yes. you crafters you know what you're going to do with that you're going to make something superb <laughs> right let's move on let's move on we've got more for you on the show to add to your basket we've got some watercolor card now i love using my watercolors and i've got some pink frog crafts card and it's beautiful it's amazing it isn't really it? is the quality is second to none and the ink just travels, you can use your pens, your brushos, your inks, it's just wonderful to use. I mean, you can see some samples here uh, with the decorative bags that we've got, decorated by watercolours. It really does make the difference, and you guys know that if you do use watercolours, and if you don't, if you're venturing into watercolouring, it does. It really does. Your paper's so, so important. So, £47.97, saving £13. You've got some great sizes in there as well. You've got your 15 by 30 and you've got your 12 by 12 your A5, and your A4. 170 sheets in total, top quality. And as a Freedom member, you're saving even more. So it's just 43.17 today. Now, as Freedom members, we've got a flexi payment. So if you're a Freedom member, 21.59 today, send everything out to you, and then another payment in a month's time. Think of all those wonderful, wonderful creations that you're going to make. Uh, I love this. I really, really do. Uh, I, like I say, I've got some. I use it, and it's beautiful. It really is. Uh, eight nine zero nine nine eight. It's like the equivalent for me. It's like the equivalent silk is to fabric. Yeah because um, it's just beautiful to use. Right, next up, next up. Oh, and you're also getting, of course, your free gift with that. Now, oh, I say we're already busy for this. You're saving £40 on this deal. Do you know what? Can I pick up the A4? Um, because if I pick up the A3, it might just send you, oh, excited at home, because look at this. I mean, that that's, um, that is amazing. I was playing with this when we, we were uh, prepping for the show. I, I, I don't even want to know how you've done this because I think the technology that's been used to make this card is phenomenal. Again, we've got no blue, green, white, yellow or anything like that here in the studio. That's just what's happening in the card stock. It is indeed, yeah. Mesmerising, isn't it? Oh, it really is. I mean, you'd just be sitting there forever just doing that. <laughs> and from a distance, look, it looks holographic, doesn't it? It's incredible, and it doesn't matter which way you bend it. So when you're creating, bend it, shape it any way you want it. Um, you'll make some incredible decorations. Uh, 907 0480 is your item number, 19.99, and you're also getting. <laughs> Oh my word, 50 sheets of the ice gold paper with that because that's going to be your free gift. 19.99. Come on, that's an amazing deal. Saving 40 pounds, 20 percent of the stock has gone. Um, if you've got your five pound credit, if you're going, if you want to use that, if your payment does need to be 25 pounds or more. So just add something else to your basket, and you could possibly use your five pound credit. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on. True red. Now, why is it important to have true red card? So it's an excellent colour. It's not just for Christmas. You can use this all year round because yes. you're going to be doing your poppies, your valentines. But I just think it's so classic. The red, black and white together for me has been... I've really, really enjoyed working with it. And again, adding your gesso to it, it just changes the look of it totally. That looks amazing, doesn't it? It takes that gesso really well with a bit of dry brushing and on there. And then you've got a nice bit of ground espresso ink on there as well. Yeah, but really nice. fun to use. Um, beautiful, beautiful uh, red card here. 290 GSM, super smooth card as well, 300 GSM. And you get three, is it 200 sheets in total? 200 sheets in total my word two payments of 24.49 if you want to get this into your basket and you are getting and i think this goes really well actually that ice gold so if we are thinking of christmas you've got your ice gold as your free gift you've got your red gold, uh, red card as well so that's going to be yeah. a perfect combination you've also got 40 sheets of super smooth yeah that you have as well so, so all all of those 
incredible incredible so 48.98 if you want to pay in one sitting that's your tr true red you're super smooth and don't forget your free gift as well incredible value for money oh my word right now something that i'm really getting into at the moment okay. is black card and doodling just with a white pen uh, I've got a journal which has got black card in it and all I've got is a white ink pen and I'm absolutely loving it. Just something simple you like that. You just lose yourself in it. Mm. And the beauty is you can, you can make your own journals because you're going to get the spine instructions in with that. Yeah, you are. And that's the beauty of this show. We're not just selling you cardstock and paper. We're selling you, in, we're giving you inspiration as well with those um, instructions that come with each set. Now, you've got various sizes. There are sorted sheets, 280 GSM. You've got your 15 by 30. You've got your 15 by 42. You've got your 20 by 40. And you've got your A3 size and your 12 by 12. So these are... Um, it's, it's such an incredible deal to get. So you can see here with the different sizes, the A4, the A3. I've also been using some brightly coloured pens and also texture paste yeah. uh, on card. It makes it stand out. Whatever you want to do with yours um, is going to be your inspiration, of course. But to be able to get this at this price on Flexibuy, £22.75. It's not just the black card you're getting, though, with this deal. You are also getting... My word, look at this, your pillars of light. This is incredible. Let me just take one of these out again. You're getting 10 sheets of this. I think for construction boxes or even just tu tubular constructions, this is going to look amazing. It does. I made a vanity mirror and I didn't bring it and I, I'm annoyed that I didn't, but that going down instead of the actual mirror looked amazing. Wow. It really did look like tubes. I just, I, again, I could just sit there, sit there and just look at that. And, yeah, if you did sort of put that round into, oh, my word. Look, wow. Oh, hang on, I've got to do that again. This, it looks holographic 3D now. How nice would that look swirls. on your crackers? Th this would look amazing. It would, wouldn't it? Oh, my, oh, my days. Look at that, it looks like it's see-through. I've never got that effect before. I've always had it flat, never thought to roll it like that. That's it's like amazing. It's like tails, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, tell you what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours in the, <laughs> in the guest room. Just going to be taking some of this back and looking into it. That's amazing. Changes and then changes back and then changes again when you give it a wiggle. Oh, you wait till you get this home. It's going to be amazing. Uh, right. Oh, you're also getting your free gift. You're also getting your 50 sheets of ice gold paper with that. Wow, three double eight nine eight five forty five forty nine. Right, we've got super smooth. Tell me about super smooth hazel. Why this is so desirable? Now I like to call the super smooth kind of like the jack of all trades because you can ink it, you can blend on it, you can use your brushes on it, you can use your paints, you can get it wet to an extent, not to agitate it because obviously you've got your watercolor card for that. It's good for construction. It's a really good weight. Uh, brilliant for if you're doing your alcohol markers, all of that. So yeah. it really is a good all-rounder. Joe, this is what I love about this show. This is what I love about you, Hazel, as well, is being able to educate people on the right cardstock, the right paper, the right sizes, the right cuts, the right folds. It's really important to get it right. It gives you confidence, doesn't it? Right, with this particular deal, you're also getting that fabulous pillar card as well. 742260 is your item number number 27 pounds and 99 pence for that this really is amazing just when you get it home just twist it and turn it and see all the different effects that you can get with that there you go don't adjust your sets we're doing one of those lovely soft focus pull out shots 27 pounds and 99 pence great deal it really is and you're getting your 50 sheets for your ice gold paper as well you lucky people being at home today um this is a great deal everyone is a great deal for you but we've also got some more on the show for you uh we've got some red card now this is 20 by 40 a good size for folding this it is again you'll get your instruction sheet with yeah. 10 different folds ten. now there's two wow. new ones on the sheet this time is that so there's 10 folds on that that did sell out last time so we have managed to bring it back because it was so popular superb only 14 pounds and 99 pence remember you still get your ice gold paper with that as your free gift if you're buying that on the show and that only so you do get your 50 sheets of ice gold paper as part of a gift for the birthday celebrations now, red liner tape. Um, 
you're getting four of the red liner uh, tapes and they all come in these individual bags now there's something rather special about these red liner tapes isn't there hazel there is indeed so firstly when you get them out of the packets just rub an anti-static bag over them um, and that will just take the stick off so that they don't all um, stick together and um, there is 30 meters on each roll so you're getting 120 metres in total. You're getting your 3, 6, 9 and 12 mil. And that would be equivalent to 24 of your standard wow. rolls. So, yeah. That's a deal. Excellent It's value. a deal. And you're also getting the ice gold paper as well. You're getting four. We've only got three here at the moment, but you are getting four just to clarify that. Now, to bring it all together, the glue that brings it all together is here. Now, this is a litre of your Kalal glue, £15.99. pence. And if you're thinking, well, that's, that's large, that's great, I've got that, perfect. But it's a little bit heavy for me to pick up all the time. Then we've got a smaller Kalal glue for you, and this is your applicator. And what's great about that is that you'll see you've got the nib there, and at the moment, Yes, if I turn it upside down, I think it's coming out, but give it a twist. I know it's ner nerve-wracking when you do that. Depends who's used it before you. Uh, twist it back, twist it forward, and it will release it for you, but it gives you a chance to decant your glue. You can either do that, or... No, we're all right. Uh, either decant it like so, but if, like me, you've got a few issues with your wrist, you can always take that off and just pour it in. Because if you're doing it that way, it takes a little bit of time, because it's just coming through that thin nozzle. But if you want to take it... All the way off then you can do as well so you've got that opportunity two double three two five three brilliant price and you get it all that paper uh, I love that love this show right uh, we have got some super smooth in black that we've got back now yes now 999 we started the show with this this is the one that's got the three mil extra we're approaching limited oh my word Wow Approaching limited stock. I told you three millimetres made all the difference. I've been saying that for years. Uh, right, um, we've got lots of education on the way. Please do stay with us. Uh, we've got two minute queues on the phones. And listen, guys, this is your show. Believe it or not, it's not the Janice show. As I've been told quite a few times. Confirmation is... No, it's not. Um, it is your show, so please email in your questions. It's stu I nearly said Janice at studio. Sorry, <laughs> st studio at hochanda.com. Please get your questions in. We've got Hazel here, and if you don't mind me saying, take advantage of her <laughs> whilst we've got her. Uh, right, Hazel, over to you. Okay, so we'll start off with the first item while it's still there. Um, the 21 by 30, this is the sheet that you're going to be getting. Um, I've just laminated mine because I'm messy and I get bits everywhere. So I'm going to take you through a few of the folds. Um, I'm just going to go straight in and fold one and then I've got a stack that I can go through and show you. So I'm going to start off with a bridge card. And to do that, I'm going to put the short edge at the top there and I'm just going to cut a five centimetre panel off. We're limited stock on the card. It's on your screen. Get it into your basket. You've still got a chance whilst we've got it. And then I'm going to rotate that round and cut it by 20. OK. So the beauty, the reason why I wanted to do 21 by 30 is because it just evens everything up for you. Um, it means you can do a half fold. If you haven't got a specific board that's got that half fold measurement, you, you can do it yourself. And it just means that everything that I've done the instructions for, you can do very easily. So we're going to go in, we're going to score at five and ten from each end. And now, if you didn't gonna... have a scoring mat like you've got there, maybe someone's buying the card for the first time okay, and they yep. want to do this, what else can they use? So a ruler and your embossing tool Great. Um, onto, probably not onto a glass mat, more of a yeah. softer surface okay. because it would then go into the cardstock easier. So it's achievable when you get them home for the first time. Yeah. So there's that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then this little piece we're going to attach on the front there and that's, that's giving us our bridge. Okay. okay. So let's just attach that on for you. Now, obviously, if I bring this one in, you can see there that I've just matte and laid it up with black. So any of your favourite techniques, your stamping, your die cutting. 
Can I, I? Yes, I'll pass you what you need, but I do need to tell everybody, sorry, we've sold out. Oh, okay. We've sold out on direct dispatch, but luckily we've managed to get some more. It's on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 7th of September, so it's not too long to that's wait. So that's too great bad. news. So yes. That's good. What did, what did you want? Um, that sample just... Yeah. This one? No, this that's one? That's it, yes. Yes. I shall hand it over to you in a socially distanced way. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I'm about Thank a um, my Just arm. to show you how nice going across from your plane, but then decorating it. But the beauty of it is it does go flat. Do you know what? I was going to ask how do you fold that flat? Just Brilliant. like that. And it will fit in your C5 envelope, okay. um, which is great for postage. So I, I won't bother just sticking that on there. I'll go on to another fold for us. So this time I'm going to take a sheet of the black and I'm going to go across there and I'm going to go a half fold, which is 15 centimetres. And then I'm going to do seven and a half. And I'm going to rotate. The reason why I don't go across is because it's, it's more for me to remember. If I rotate it, I know yeah. that I've only got less to, to think about. And this is an excellent card weight to work with. It's it not too thick. It's not too stiff. It's exactly. perfect. Exactly. So there's, that, that's the inside piece. And then for the outer piece, I'm going to just score that down at 15. So we will... I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, this will be fine. So just burnish that down. If I just take the board out of the way so that you can see. And then this one again, just go over all of your folds. So that gives us the pop out. Now, along all of our instructions, we do a pop-out card. Okay. This oh. is the bones of it. You can take it a step further, and I'm just going to show you how. If I bring that one in, look. Can you see we've got those extra folds there? Is that one piece of card? Yeah. No. So, very is easy it? to do. You bring your board back into play. Pop this on. So come on from the side you might need a ruler to help guide you down the, the way okay and um, these panels are seven and a half and and I like to be equal so I'm going to come down to seven and a half centimeters I'm going to put a dot I'm just going to mark it there and then I'll rotate it and I'll do one from the bottom but if, in fact no we'll do one on this one so I'm going to turn it around my dot is on the 15 line I'm going to rotate that around so put this first score line on the 15, score up and down, hold your ball tool in that and rotate round and do the same up to there and back. So then we're just going to pop that back, give it a gentle squeeze till it finds itself and then pop that. Do you know just something? Stand it up there. I thought that was two pieces of card stuck together. One that you'd folded to make that effect, and then that is that is extraordinary. Does this all of a sudden open up putting some collars on? Yeah. And do you know it can be dresses, shirts, Perfect. jackets, ties, Halloween, Dracula. Exactly. So yes. it's all about giving you the basis that you can take, you can get the concept and then start and run with it and, and do more with it. So I told you, I told you Hazel was the magician. This is like watching a Penn and Teller show where they give away all the secrets of the magician. This is amazing, isn't it? This is achievable. You'll get instructions with your cardstock so you can do this and impress your friends and family. And also you can make to sell. Now it's back on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 7th of September. We're very, very busy 539647 is your item number it's in black it's in white you've got that extra three mil hazel will tell you about that in a moment's time it's really important uh 9.99 and you are getting 25 sheets of the black true black all the way through to the core 25 sheets of the white as well all the way through to the core um superb for your construction for your folding it is amazing 10 percent of the extended stock has gone so um if you're thinking about this pop it into your basket you can multi-buy as well, by the way. It's not one per person. It's a good idea maybe to think about that at this low price. And you're also getting your 50 sheets of your ice gold 
paper, which is beautiful. Now, can we talk about that extra three mil? Because it's really important, isn't it? Of course we can, yeah. So if I bring in now all of the rest of the folds that we've done, it just, for me, it just evens everything up and gives you more freedom about what you want to do. So um, that was your bridge card. There was your pop out. Sorry, that's better. Um, then you've got your easel with your little mat. But again, really easy because the instructions are so clear. Now this is where you've got your stepper. Wow. So it is even at the front and the back. You're going to get that perfect stand there. Your inverted stepper, one of my favourites because it just looks so classy with your topper in there. Then we've got your gatefold and your side gatefold. I like the way you've used the black and the white on these. Yeah. It's very effective. I like to do that for the concepts because it just keeps it really simple yes. and you can see the bones yes. rather than the decorated versions. Yeah. Because everybody has their own ideas and their own favourite ways of doing things and this way you can see your style moving forward. So there's your Z-fold and then you've got your trifold. Lovely. So we've given you 10 to be going on with, but with that extra three mil, it, I know it seems, but it really does, it make, does make such a, difference. a big difference. It certainly does. Yes. Uh, right, we've got some more demonstrations coming up. Remember, get your questions in if you have any for our lovely Hazel. Uh, we do need to recap on the items that we've got for you because we're very, very busy. 20% of the extended stock has gone for your black and your white, 9.99. That is an excellent price. Head to the phone lines. 01733 or head to the website. That's the easiest way to um, 60, sorry, 2000. Um, the easiest way, of course, is the website because you can go on the website, you can add things to your basket. You've got end of call on there as well. At any time, if you want to become a Freedom member, we've reduced the price for you. The monthly Freedom membership, 597, which means you're not paying any PMP. You could buy from us here on this show and then maybe buy from Indigo Blue a little later on. No PMP there. Uh, we've got lovely Hayley Smith coming up. No PMP there. Not that you're going to get Hayley Smith through the post, but whatever we have on the show. It's okay, it's okay. Hayley's just looked up. It's okay. It's fine. Just, just go with it. Um, so a quarter of the extended stock has gone. She's looking ever so puzzled and muddled. Don't worry, Hayley. Uh, right, next up, we've got some more stock for you. A3 size in your true red, your true black, and your true white. Remember, with anything that you're buying, you're getting 50 sheets of this. It's actually double-sided, by the way. Double-sided ice gold card. Absolutely perfect. Perfect for any special occasion. Uh, perfect for weddings. My nephew was supposed to be getting married today, but he's not. Not because anything untoward has happened, just Corona. Uh, they're getting married again next year. Um, you've got 30% of the A3 stock has gone. 861033 is your item number for that. £27.98. pence. Right, let's go to our mixed set of... Uh, a6 size card, right, super smooth, watercolour, true black, and this beautiful rainbow. Great size as well. If you want to use this with your embossing folders, perfect size for your smaller embossing folders. Um, beautiful to use with your die cutting. Great to use as matting and layering as well. But you can see with that rainbow mirror card just how fabulous that is. Doesn't matter which way you turn it. Beautiful. Maybe you've never had anything like that before. Now's the time to get it to experiment. You're also getting your 50 sheets of ice gold paper as well. I love this because it's... it's Super value for money. You're getting even more for your money. £29.97, saving £21. Right. Oh, we need an update on that. And the update... No, 40% of the stock has gone. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, it's a good time to stock up, isn't it? September, it's normally the time... Well, it is. People are going back to school, for example. So we start thinking about that new period in our lives when we're heading towards the autumn. When we're going to be in a little bit more, doing more crafting, now's the time to stock up. It's a good show to do that, too. Right, next up, various sizes in here as well for you. Uh, 890 your item number, Freedom members, you've got a £17.80 discount. Um, 4317, are we dividing that cost into two? 
We are. Oh, my word, it gets even better. Um, there you go. 21 59 if you're a Freedom member. That means anything else that you put into your basket if you're going for these will be divisible into two as well. Um, it's interest-free payments. It's a great way to buy with us here at Hochanda. 890-998 is your item number. You are getting your 15 by 30, your 12 by 12, your A5 and your A4. 170 sheets. Guess what I'm going to say next? You get your free gift, those 50 sheets of ice gold paper. Ice, ice, baby. Double-sided. Uh, right, moving on, moving on. Ice, ice, oh, best not do it, otherwise we'll have to pay him a lot of money. Is he still around? I don't know. Um, yes, I think he is. I think he washes cars now, I don't know, I might be wrong. Right. Anyway, we've got some Rainbow Mirror card for you. Over 40% of the stock of this has gone. Great for your constructions again with this or making bags. I've got two beautiful bags here. Now, think about that. That's going to be at least four, four £3.99 in the shop to buy to give away as a gift. I'd say so, Hazel, would you? Yeah, if not more. And then this one, this special one that's been embossed, that'd be even more. But you're making these and it makes a difference, especially when you're giving as gifts. Love this card stock. I really do. Uh, and again, for construction, for die cutting, it's beautiful. Uh, 907 £19.99. Saving an incredible £40. You've guessed it. Everyone at home, all together now. 50 sheets of ice, ice baby card. Uh, it's not ice, ice baby. It's ice gold card. Right, paper, paper. Moving on. I'm just getting so excited. True red, true red, but not just the true red. We've got this fantastic bonus super smooth card for you as well. So your various sizes you have in your super smooth, 200 sheets in total. You've got 15 by 30, 15 by 42, 12 by 12, and a three card as well. Plenty to keep you going there, 200 sheets plus your super smooth. Uh, sorry, 200 sheets in total, isn't it? Including your super smooth, is that right? I think it is, yes. 429145 is your item number. Of course, something that will go beautiful with all that. You've guessed it. It's your free gift. Your 50 sheets of ice gold paper. It just flows so beautifully. Even for a short person like me, who finds it difficult sometimes to hold paper and flick through. That's why I'm doing it so often. Uh, right. I think I've just dislocated my shoulder doing that. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, I haven't. I'm fine, but I've done something. Right, next up. Oh, True Black Card Collection. This is gorgeous. Love True Black. True Black because it goes all the way through to the very core, which means if you tear into it. And it's just beautiful to use. It really, really is. 280 GSM, two payments of 2275, 388985. Um, and that gorgeous, gorgeous tubular card as well. Look at that. We'll do it that way. You've got that great detail. We'll do it this way. You've got that great detail. And then turn it into a cylinder tube. Look at that. Totally different. And then turn it that way. Totally different. Have fun with that. Uh, 388895. And there you go. I, I let you say that at home. I didn't say it. I just flipped through it. Uh, right. Super smooth, super smooth, beautiful for your stamping, for your alcohol pens, great for everything, great for everything, you're all rounder, you're also getting that uh, beautiful, gorgeous uh, tubular sheets as well. 742-260-2799, uh, we're very busy for this one, very popular white of course, and your free gift as well, so if you put all of that together, that... For £27.99, that's your free gift, of course. It's, ama it's an amazing deal. We're busy. If you've got your credit, you can put it to this. Your credit came at the start of the birthday celebrations. It's on your account. Um, Charlotte, my producer, and myself, we suddenly realised today that we've actually got it. <laughs> we were like, oh, my goodness. Have you... And we were like, we... And Molly's got... Have you spent yours yet, Molly? No. Well... We, we, need to, we need to leave Hazel to it, go upstairs and start ordering, really. Uh, right, oh, no, we need to go over here first. Uh, so that's 742260. Uh, your True Red, uh, 20 by 40. Fantastic card there. Your details, 1499. 40 sheets of that. And we're approaching half the stock gone. Sold out last time, and we're approaching half the stock. You've also got that lovely free gift that goes really well with the red, the tone on tone. Perfect. Uh, 219616. Um, you've got your red liner tape. There are four 
red liner tapes that you're getting. We've just got three here. We've got three mil, six mil, nine mil and 12 mil. Um, so you do get four, 13, 99. Now I need to get to the other side of the pod. Shall I just walk? And then do a little turn like that. That's how you do it, isn't it? That's how you do it. Jimmy. And you turn like that. That. All right, Andy, I'm getting to it. Don't worry, sorry. Right, we've got some glue. We've got some glue. Your colour glue here for you. And your dispenser. Your dispenser here. The lovely Andy, of course, from uh, Pink Frog Crafts. Um, he's wonderful. We love him. Uh, 15 99 saving £14. £29.99. 233253. I'm being told we need to go to the professional now. And as Catherine's not here, here's Hazel. <laughs> Right, here we go. Um, I wanted to share with you this little bag that I've made from the A3 sheets and inside I've done some little note look cards and it's perfect for the little A6 envelopes to fit in as well. So we'll just start off with our A3 sheet. Now don't worry because you will be getting a full instruction sheet that's going to show you exactly what to do there. So. A3 onto the centimetre side of your board. The light's reflecting off there. I need to check my sizes. Right, so we're going to score down at 8 centimetres and 13 and 25. Now, because we're getting the instructions, Hazel, yeah. can we make to sell using the Absolutely. instructions to create yep. the cards? No problem yep. at all. Perfect. Now, rather than me trying to get down that 30 line, I'm going to rotate that round and it is going to be the 12 centimetre line. It's just because I was going to go um, going backwards. OK, so from there, I'm going to rotate that around and I'm going to do one and a half centimetres and six and a half centimetres. And I'll do that on both sides, so just rotate that around. Now, when I was making this, I did about three or four different designs because I used to make it without tabs, but then I realised if I just shrunk the sizes down, I could put the tabs on and, and get it all so it's a lot easier to put together, which is what we want. Yeah. So if I now rotate that back round from where I started, that was my eight centimetre fold, I need to put in a couple of tabs down here, and it is on the 26 and a half centimetre line. So I'm going to score from the top to that second score line going across and I need to do the same here so one and a half is about there okay so we've got them that mirror perfect okay, so now you'll need from another sheet of card um, five centimeters by 25 and then you'll just score one and a half from each end that's going to be the handle so then with a pair of scissors we just need to trim away and it's clearly stated for you on your sheet there's no going wrong so we're going to cut down here if you wanted to you could mark it with a pencil or do you something. know what do you think? Let's, let's show you because i'm going to do it with a big red marker oh, so lovely. that you can see and then it saves me um so this area here oh this area brave. here i oh, know yes <laughs> uh, you'll be doing a little tip there and a little tip there these are your tabs, okay? So there, there, across there. All of this is going to come away. Oh, oh it makes, it's like going on one of those rides. Whenever you do that, I'm like, oh. But at least you know now. It doesn't matter now. You can't go wrong because you've cleared, you've mapped it out. Yep. So we're going to cut up here. This is going to be a little tab for the side. We're going to come up here and then down this side here. If you're not confident cutting with scissors, then um, use a scalpel and ruler on your, on your craft mat. That would okay. work too. So take it down and then take that one away. Now for this one, we're gonna come there, then there, because we're just giving ourselves a little tab at the bottom. Don't worry if you've done it in, if you mark it out in bright red pen like I have, um, you won't see it if you've got any bits left on. So that ooh, lefty, gotcha. And then the last one. So right down to that point, snip off there. 
this would make a really brilliant gift. I was just thinking, you know, when you do when you do get a gift together for somebody, sometimes you look at the gift and you think, oh, I should have spent more money. But sometimes you see a gift that doesn't cost a lot of money, that's perfect for the person. So in order to make it look even more expensive, yeah. uh, it's nice to put it in something Absolutely, like this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, again, this is where your red liner tape is going to come into its own. You will use loads and loads, and that's why it's great to get the bumper. And why is it better than glue, in your opinion? It's just stronger. Yeah. It, it really is perfect for this. You know, like, well, if I say it's like making a cake, you need the right ingredients. Yes. Not that I make cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get me flour confused. But um, that's exactly what this is. We're just giving you the right ingredients to, to do the right job, really. Yes. Right. So I put my tape down. Give those a firm press. I've got another question for the tape then, because I like to learn lots. Okay. Because we've got the different sizes in the tape. Yes. Have you chosen a certain size to fit exactly I, to the fold? Absolutely. Yeah. So I've gone for nine mil. I could have done twelve mil. Yes. If, but if I stuck it down a bit wonky, it might yeah. have gone over the fold. So I just gave myself a little bit more. And um, that's why we have the different sizes room. for the tape there yeah. for you. And that's why we've got them. A great deal of thirteen ninety nine. Okay, so I've folded all of those lines. All I need to do then is take off, I'll do these two li the little ones first. Now these are just going to come up and around, look, so just, I won't stick my head over, I'll bring it up so that you can see. Just like that. Bring that up. Perfect. And then take this one off. The A3 collection, by the way, everyone, is 40% um, of the stock gone. That's for your red, the black, and the white. So 40% of the stock has gone, £27.98. 20 sheets of each. That's excellent value for money, everyone. 20 sheets of the red, of the black, and the white, and you're getting your free gift as well. Super value for money. Okay, so that's stuck together, and that's going to go over like so. All we need to do now is pop our little handle on. So this is going to stick underneath, like so. I'm going to just take a little slither off, and it's just so that it sits neater inside. Um, but have a look at it first, so that you don't put your tape on the wrong side. It's going to go like that and under. So open it out, and then stick tip. Where are we? We'll go for the 9mm again. On a practical level, not just for gifts, you could store lightweight uh, pens and pencils Absolutely. in you could, there, yeah. stick it to your MDF yeah. uh, constructions, and it could be like a little side shelf. Yeah, or little car like card ideas. Yes. Yeah. Almost like recipe cards, but yes. for card making. That, yes, that's it. That would be a very good idea. So you can lay that down, which brings around, and then on this one, whichever way you feel comfortable that's going to give you oh wow your perfect little bag now for the cards to go inside you're going to need a 15 by 42 let me just move those messy bits so of those card. instructions will come with the card they will come with the card yeah so with your a3 bundle you'll yeah. get all instructions because it's still quite a meaty bundle yes the only ones is your 21 by 30s, you'll only get the 21 by 30 instructions. Right. Thank and you. your 20 by 40s, you'll only get the 20 by 40 by 40s, instructions. Yes. But everything else is a bundle, so you'll get everything. So with this one, if you score down at 10 and a half, as if you're doing a, a, um, an accordion, okay. and 21, rotate that around and do 10 and a half. That gives us four equal sections. If you bring in your trimmer, pop that in, cut it at 21. So realistically, I didn't need to cut and um, score it at 21. That gives us one card. Oh, wow. That gives us two. You carry on as many as you want yeah. to go inside your little, oh, look your at little that. bag. And that gives you that perfect little gift. Great for Christmas coming up, but if I bring the... 
just little stamped, but again, the red, black and white for me Does is it, really striking. Do you know what? I was going to say, uh, when you make it in the white, would you stamp it and decorate it before you turn it into that handle? But if you're going for that red or black card, mm -hmm. that's it. You yeah. don't need to stamp it. Even if you're using your gesso on and you're rolling it on your card, that, yeah. you know, you can do that. And I like the panels of the white on there with Absolutely. the stamps. Absolutely. And if you wanted that on your handle, then yes, what I would suggest is stamp your piece of card, stick it on, and then you... Um, what can I show you with? You kind of curl it, it with your finger. Or on the finger. end of the table. Lots yeah, of people on, do on that. on the edge of there. Yeah. And it just bends the card to, so it, you get the shape. Wow, I love Because you I don't want that. a squashy... And then maybe if you've got one of those little uh, magnetic sheets, you can add one on Absolutely, each side and make yeah. a little clasp yeah, or little that closures. hook and eye. That, yes, yeah. definitely that would work too. Isn't that fun? You know, you're making this at home as many as you like. You've got the instructions to do so. You probably never have to go out and buy another box or bag again because you've got the capability to do that. Right. We're still very, very busy for the super smooth and true black. 539647. We are approaching half of the extended stock gone. Now, your super smooth isn't just for folding. We can also ink on there. And I've got a selection of the different inks that we will go on your super smooth oh my goodness take a look at this so heat embossing if you do that on a regular basis super smooth perfect your stencils with um, a brush perfect for your sprays your blending tools uh, great with your stencils and your blending tools how about some wet ink from your glass mat when you're mopping that up you've seen our demonstrators do that on numerous occasions you can do it now you're super smooth uh, we've also got just over here Ooh, there you go. We've got your stencils with your blending tools, your blending with your brushes, mock, mo mock up, mop up of your eyes ink, smoothies, not the ones you drink. What's a smoothie, Hazel? Those little egg shaped sponges. Oh, yeah, to do yeah, yeah. your blending. Brilliant. Um, your archival ink and also your eyes ink stamping. That's not all. We've got more, yes, uh, some more uh, effects that you can use. Uh, right, let's start at the top again. Inks in a spray bottle, spray them as much as you like. Cleaning the mat, yeah, just mopping up. Brush shows onto wet card, that's going to look amazingly super smooth. Uh, watered down brush show as well, use that to paint with. Uh, your brush show onto dry card, which is perfect. Uh, down to the bottom, we have got your oxides, they're great on there. Uh, you've also got your oxides on the mat to mop up. We've got your colouring with oxides, distress inks and your faux bleaching. You can do that and you're super smooth. We're not stopping there though. There's so much more. And you'll probably think of some new ways of using your super smooth card as well. Uh, watercolours with your oxides. You've got your excess, excess inks. Uh, salt onto wet inks. If you've not tried that, work perfectly. Uh, paper towel mop up. Uh, watercolour pens. We've also got down the bottom here your eyes inks from your mat. Your eyes inks or your is ink sprays. Your eyes ink or is ink sprays with a mask. Texture paste. Yes, you can use texture paste on here. And your chalk paint with texture paste. And I'm sure there's so much more as well. Oh yeah, and you can do lots of folding. It's brilliant, isn't it? Remember, this has got your extra three mil, which does make a difference. And are you ready? Your 50 sheets of ice gold paper. Double-sided as well. Love that. 9 99 No wonder we're so busy. Dispatching on the 7th of September. Right, your A3, very busy for this. Uh, your red, your true red, true black and your white. 60% of the stock has gone. £27.98. You're getting 20 of each. That's a lot. 20 of each. If you cut that in half, you've got A4, haven't you? You have indeed. So then that's yep. 40 of each yep. if you've got your A4 and so on and so forth. You can see the value I that you're getting I thought we were going to have a maths lesson then. No, I, <laughs> I stopped at A4. I thought I'd go on to A5 and then A... Then you thought no. And then I thought no. <laughs> no, I'm not the card technician here. It's Hazel. So I'll just give you the details. Uh, 861033 is your item number. Over 60% of the stock has gone. Uh, right, sorry, we'll head to the website. There's lots to choose from on the website. If you see anything with a red banner, it's on FlexiBuy. You can split the cost. Anything with a blue banner, it's a Freedom uh, discounted price. If you're not a Freedom member, why not join today? Triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Red liner tape, busy for that. Brilliant for construction work, uh, but not constructing your house or extensions. Uh, we've also got some colour glue. We've got a litre of that. Look at the five-star reviews. And you've got your small glue and applicator as well to decant it into. 
The A3 is 70% of the stock gone. Wow, busy show. Um, and it's good to stock up, isn't it? I feel like today is the day for stocking up, the 1st of September. Absolutely. Can't believe it, yeah, can you? have got all those Christmas bags and boxes to yes. make cards. And it starts to get very, yes. very quick now towards the end of the year. Right, what are we going to see next? I want to show you one of the new folds. Um, this one is on the 15 by 42s. Um, and this is an inverted stepper. So slightly different way of making it. Because of the length of the card, it won't fit into my trimmer because I would normally cut my lines first. So I'm going to show you exactly the best way to do it. So we're going to come across. We're going to score on the three centimetre line, but roughly, because I've got not got measurements down my side, roughly three centimetres down. And then you'll stop it three centimetres from the bottom. And then we'll do the same on the six centimetre six centimetre line. <laughs> And then the next line is always three past the halfway point. Well, we know that half of that is 21, so we take the three more, that will give us 24. So we'll do that one there. And then we'll rotate that around, and we're going to join those lines up. So on the three centimetre line, and on the 12, yeah, 12 centimetre line. So I overshot my line there a little bit, but it's fine. I suppose once you've done this once, you'll yeah. know the mechanics of it and it becomes very easy the more it you does. do it and and unless you're like me and the more you make it and you come here and then your mind goes blank yes. but you know we can cope. <laughs> Not at all. We can cope so on the 21 centimeter line that's our halfway point on the outside we're going to do that just mark those lines in and then we're ready to do our cut lines we've got two and a half minutes left on the show you can buy after the hour if we've got the stock if we've got the stock so now might be the time to start checking out your baskets so with a knife and ruler the best thing to do put the blade wiggle it through the cardstock and butt your um, ruler up and then have a look at the bottom line that one up and then you're good to go take it down and stop and then the same on this side wiggle it so that you can anchor your ruler and take it down okay so fingers in we're going to go a mountain and a valley and then flip it over bring that towards you and that gives you your perfect inverted stepper now this little this little piece in the middle yes I've got a card somewhere and I've got it to hand. Is Ooh, it here? Have I got it? Here it is. Perfect. Just to show you the difference there. I think that is, uh, yeah, it is. Nine centimetres by 21 will give you a nice panel in there. So it's almost like a DL size, but a really good, I think, a good size that's going to fit in your envelopes for Christmas. Not going to be extra postage because it's going to go in your C5 envelope. So oh. a, a perfect new addition to our instruction family let's call it that hey? i love it i can't <laughs> wait to see uh people's designs it has truly been enlightening it's fascinating to watch i love you... doing all of this it's, well, it's it just such fun and i'm passionate about it and i want to share mm. all of the inspiration with you guys so yeah, yeah. we well, certainly do hazel i think Thank it's you. absolutely fantastic oh you've got another hour at one o'clock today I have indeed yes oh you lucky people oh you're with you're with you're with catherine oh you'll be all right with catherine you don't need to <laughs> sign a disclaimer when you okay. work with Catherine just <laughs> when you work with me. Everyone has to sign one. I, d I don't know why. Even I have to sign one to come into the building. Uh, right, your A3 card, we're approaching limited stock. You're approaching limited stock. Good idea now if you do want this. Pop it in your basket. Great value for money. 27.98, And don't forget, you've got that. Yeah, your free gift. Should we do it one more time? So I, don't, well. I don't know whether Catherine will do it as many times as me. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just need calling down sometimes. That's why I do it. Um, thank you, Hazel. It's been an thank absolute you. joy. I love it working with been. you. You know that. We'll see you again at one o'clock. You will uh, indeed. Stay where you are, though, because we've got more coming up. Now, can't wait for this show. We've got an ironing celebration with Catherine and Hayley now. And then, oh, another long title, Heartfelt Creations Birthday Sensations One Day Special. And we've got more from Pink Frog. What do you mean? What do you mean they can't see me?
It's seven day savers, it's the fifth, but what, I've got to do the special click. Oh, Scott taught me this, and Yanis, ready? Three, two, one. Yes! Here we are! Seven Day Savers is what we're looking at. Happy fifth birthday, Hachanda! This time, it's a haberdashery bundle. 13 items in total for £13.99. 271594. You've got all your sorts in there, from threads to bobbins to pins to needles to buttons to scissors and a tape as well. £13.99. Remember, with every purchase that you get, you will also receive that free gift as well. Oh, buttons galore. You can't go go wrong. 271594 is your item number. That free gift, by the way, any live purchase, all the terms and conditions are on the website. Right, how do I do this again? Click with the left, click with the right, jump up, jump down, let's give it a go. <gasps> Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy, and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Twenty-seven years ago, whilst enjoying a day out in Santa Barbara, California with my brother and the kids, we came across a shop called Stampa Barbara. Santa Barbara, Stampa Barbara, we had to go in. And when we ventured inside, we were met with walls of wood-mounted rubber stamps. Well, that's when I had my moment of clarity. Wouldn't it make more sense, I said to my brother, if you could see through the rubber stamps? And that's where Clarity Stamp was born. Since then, Clarity has grown into the worldwide success it is today, bringing you the very best in stamping, parchment craft, and more recently, die cutting. To celebrate our 27th birthday, we have joined with Hochanda to bring you a long weekend of your favourite Clarity products with your favourite Clarity demonstrators. So, put the kettle on, put your feet up and join us for our 27th birthday celebrations on Friday the 4th of September from 10am to Monday the 7th of September at 5pm. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. They, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Of course, we're still part of that celebration. This does finish tomorrow at six o'clock, of course. Now, are you excited about this? Do you like ironing? 
I'm sure you're shouting yes, aren't you, out there? You are, aren't you? I can hear it. Now, this is an ironing celebration, but it's not ironing as we think of our laundry and that sort of thing. Of course not. No, this is all about our soft crafting and our wonderful essentials that we're going to need. Have you got your mini iron? Have you got your mini ironing or pressing board? These are so, so useful, by the way. Uh, now, we've got a great bundle for you here. We've got a wonderful guest with us as well. Of course, Hayley Smith is the one I'm talking about. Hello, Hayley. Hiya. Hi, okay. Hello. Uh, oh. Yes. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, just as usual, got everything. I was, I was being dead good. Got everything ready. All my demos sorted. Uh, Realised I didn't put any thread on the machine. <laughs> so Matt's just shot off to get me some. But we don't need that yet because we're ironing. Wonderful. So we're not <laughs> just ironing. We're doing lots of other things besides. Now, yes. joking apart, Hayley, this is a lovely little bundle that we've got to start it with is. as well. Let me and get the, iron the other is a piece great that we need. So these are all bits for demonstrations later. So what you have is you have your teeny tiny steam iron. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Uh, so it's got really focused steam. You can see that this is on, so I'm not going to touch it, but it has um, the steam plate in the center there with it's in a little flower shape. And then what you've got is you've got a detachable fit this. I, I couldn't work this out at first, but if you pull this, I think you pull it. Did I push it or did I pull it? I pulled it back. There you go. That pops out. That is actually where you add your water. Oh. So I'm going to get my tiny pot of water. With your little jug that comes with it. Yeah. This is such a sweet little jug. So we pop. I mean, it says that's the maximum you can get in, but it's. <clears throat> you're not going to get that much in there. <laughs> so that pops back into there. And then it all just clips back in. So pop it in that end. How clip, neat. And away you go. So it's just going to need a minute or so to, to heat up with its water. So you would use a steam iron for uh, cottons generally um, and anything that's quite kind of creasy there's some fabrics that don't do well with steam but most of the ones that you're going to use for your quilting like your cottons and your poly cottons perfect yeah. for steam because that steam is going to relax the fibers and it's going to get more creases out for you so this is exactly kind of what you are after let me just see if i've given it long enough oh no it needs another another minute but it also comes with the tiny ironing board so let me just put this up to one side for the minute Make sure it's not going to fall over. There we go. Which folds flat, but then pings up. So it's great for sleeves. It's great for just, you know, those little seams that you need to do. Or those smaller pieces, like yes. your bias binding. Those kind of things. Absolutely perfect. For. Definitely. I mean, we're not just talking about quilting, are we here? We are talking no. dressmaking as well. And you're not talking general lining. You're not no, doing all your clothes with it. <laughs> no, you it's it's a miniature brilliant. version <laughs> to be cute. Uh, you can't, yeah, it's great for collars and things like your sleeves. And when you're pressing, as Hayley says, sleeves around where you're stitching arms into your, your uh, dressmaking products as well. So it's a great bundle. I'd be, well, look, yellow box, that's what I'm going to say to you, as I always do. That's where the saving is, £8 saving if you go for the bundle, £26.98. Really, really accessible as well. If you, you know, you don't need a big place to store this. Great portable as well. Oh, I can hear the steam's going. 700907. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, for a little tiny iron, it's got some beans. It has, hasn't it? I can hear that. <laughs> Let me see if we're going to get it to do it again. Wow. Can you see that coming out of there? There you go. There's quite a lot of steam in it for a small iron. It's got quite a lot of power. I'm just moving this along and I'm just doing it. Um, I've got two of these to do, so you're not missing anything here. But Hayley, I have two of these to do. Could I ask a question? Would yes? that make a good travel iron as well? Well, uh, that's something I'm going to come on to a little bit later in terms of uh, voltage okay. and things. Yeah. Um, but this one is... What do you want me to do now? What do you want to do the counter? What do you want to do? Uh, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it yeah, later. We'll do okay, that's fine. We've got lots of goodies for you. It's not just about the ironing, is it? I know you've so, got to do uh, your housekeeping first. Yes, we shall do that. So we've given you the details for this one. So of course that mini board and the iron together, twenty-six pounds and ninety-eight pence with that eight pound saving, seven zero zero nine zero seven. Now you can go for the iron on its own. If you look at the price, so you can sit at the bottom of the screen there, twenty-four ninety-nine. So you honestly, you this is the way to go, isn't it? You want that little ironing board to go with it. As 
as well because you're paying hardly anything for that when you go for the bundle. You can go for them individually, but that is where the value is. And I haven't even mentioned our wonderful birthday gift as well. Quite excited about this, actually. I heard what it was. I heard it was a little essential sewing kit, but I didn't realise it came in this wonderful box. I'm just going to show you inside there because you've got your lid on the top there that's got all sorts of your essentials in there. Let me just open that up so you can see. On top of that, you're getting your little kind of tray on the top full of your sewing, your haberdashery bits and pieces. Now, once you, maybe you don't want that to be two trays full of threads, maybe you want to want, take one tray out, put things like, you know, the odd zip or spare buttons and that kind of thing in the bottom half. And then that can literally be your kind of go-to sewing kit for the little jobs. Very, very handy indeed. Great again to put in your cases. So everybody's going to get one of those with a purchase from the show. So make sure you check those baskets out. Let's move down because we've got more to show you. I really like this item actually. Uh, we've got a couple of mats for you. This is the first one. This is your multi mat. So I'm just going to show you this. For for start off, you know, you've got a lovely, lovely cover there, haven't you? That's all sort of those sewing essentials on there as well. It's a lovely design, very portable. Now it folds shut, but when I open this up, and you look at the inside, let me turn it that way. You can see you've got your cutting mat there, you've got all your increments on there, your angles on there as well. Then we have this area here, Hayley. Now this is a nice piece of fabric. What's that it's for? It's got almost like a suede texture to it. And that's what you would use for laying out all of your pieces of fabric. So say you're patchworking and you want to lay out your design oh. before you sew it into a block. Because it's a, a kind of non-slip surface, that's where you can lay everything out and take test your design before you stitch it together. Wonderful. But there's something under there as well. Isn't there is. There, there is. I there's almost a sandpaper texture piece underneath that. And that one you use for marking out your pieces. So when you're wanting to um, maybe use templates and stencils and mark out seam allowances or mark out the edges before you cut them, then that's a really good surface to use because, again, it's non slip. It's got yeah. that really good grip so it'll hang on to things you and it's really flat enough it. so that the pen will still run over it. Wonderful. And then, of course, when this is folded up, Hayley, you can use the outside as well as a pressing mat, can you? Yes, you can. You can use both sides of that as a pressing mat. So you can fold it out so you've oh, got yes, something that's kind of almost A3 size. Or you can, uh, but obviously there's a, there is a join in the middle where it folds in half. Yep. Or you can use it just as, as half the size, if you wish. Very nice indeed. Now treat yourself or maybe treat this to someone else as a gift. You could do that as well. Another £8 saving on this one. £16.99 is the price. Item number 883015. Now we've got another map for you. A little bit different this one for a number of reasons. You have got an A3 size here. So it is larger. You've also got the carry handle on this one as well. So really, really portable. But it's a little bit different inside as well. So if I just open this up so you can see... So, Hayley, tell me about this one, because it is different, isn't it? Okay, so you, the side you can see there, the silver side, that is the same covering as an ironing board. It's your non-stick covering, which is brilliant for pressing. So this one's designed to be uh, either left open or folded in half, so you can have the pressing mat up or the cutting mat up yeah. and just switch it, switch it over. So that one's, as I said, got your kind of almost... Um, I don't mean quite Teflon, but you know what I mean. It's got that yes. non-stick yes. uh, surface to it. And then the other side has your full A3 mat with all your increments and all your angles on. It has, so a larger mat to work with. And you could, again, you could store some little bits of fabric in there if you were travelling and you wanted to take things with you as well. Maybe you've got your applique cut out. Just put them in there and sandwich them together. But really nice, the fact it's got that travel handle on there as well. £20 is the first payment. £20 is the second if you're taking that flexi-buy option. It's carrying a £5 saving for you as well. So do take advantage of the flexi-buy option. 635 Seven, three, six. Now we've got some thread for you now. Now, where, I could have done with that at the top of the show, actually. and I forgot mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good job you found yours, Hayley. You might have had to borrow ours, and then that would have spoiled our wonderful pack shot here. There we are. Ooh, now you've, you've got, got a black ten one. I the might steal here. that. This is your quilter's <laughs> thread pack. Now, 500 metres on each spool then, Hayley. So a lot yes, of so there. there's plenty on there. Um, you know, 500 metres, there's 10, so that's, what, 5,000 metres. Yeah. You have to do a lot of sewing to get through 5,000 <laughs> metres. Well, you say that, but if you're doing free motion and things, uh, five, 500 metres doesn't go as far as you'd think. If you're doing free motion, one of those little 100 metre spools, you can easily get through that. 
No and a problem. nice selection of colours as well because you've got your basics in there, you've got some brights in there. You've also got a grey in there. Now that's something I've picked up as well. If you're never sure what colour to stitch with, if you've got sort of multiple colours in your fabric, quite often a grey is a good one yeah, to go for, Yeah, grey or beige is usually quite a good one to go for if you're not quite sure what to put in it. And some of those bright colours, like the yellows and the, uh, there's a red and a really bright pink in there as well. They're really good for things like tacking stitches that you're going to take out, basting stitches, or if you're paper piecing. Uh, they're quite good to put around the edge, you know, ones that you're going to cut out afterwards yep. that you're maybe not going to use. Or you can always use them with decorative stitches as well. You can, can't you? Use them as a contrast if you've got maybe other colours in there as well. Great price again, £4 savings, seventeen ninety nine is the price, Nine nine seven zero nine one. And remember the free gift with all of those. Oh, I like this next item. Uh, someone else in the studio likes this lot as well. Matt, our floor manager, particularly likes the tape measure. Now, we've got a whole <laughs> bundle for you here. You've got a three-piece set. This is your dressmaking scissors. You've got the tape measure as well, and you've got the case, so you can store everything in there, which is very attractive as well, the case. You've kind of got that holographic feel to it. Now, I've got to tell you, the scissors are quite weighty, which, to me, shows a good pair of scissors, because if they're particularly lightweight, then you think, you know, the quality's not there. Really nice blades on them. Hayley, tell us about these. Why do you uh, like these? Any pair of scissors that's brand new is always going to be brilliant for fabric crafting. Ooh. But these are a nice size. They're kind of that Goldilocks size. Not too big, not too small, just right, because sometimes you you can have ones that like are my like my big shears that sometimes can be a little bit unwieldy if you're doing smaller jobs like you may be doing embroidery and things but then if you've got embroidery scissors they can be a little bit too small Perfect. sorry just got a cough there <laughs> they are a nice pair of scissors though you've got the case as well but it's when it comes to the tape measure this is where the fun starts uh, i'm just i don't know if you can see what i'm doing here i'm not going to give the game away at the moment so there you can see retracted, then when you pull the tape out, you can hear it clicking, it will hold on its own, you don't have to do anything, it will hold, so you don't have to worry about it springing back on you. But where is the button to make it retract, you're wondering? Well, it's not there, because all you need to do is squeeze the center and it will go in. So you just give that little squeeze in the middle and there it is, nice and neat. Item number 119544, a very, very handy kit to travel around with once again as well if you want to. 19.99 with a three pound saving. Now we've got the batting for you. Now Matt's done a great job of rolling this up because this is a huge piece. In fact, it's so big. I do want to try and unravel this. I'm not just he being mean to Matt. He did show off his skills he, as he a boy did, scout. Didn't he? Hasn't he done a great job there? <laughs> but you can get this whole piece. Now look at the size of this. This is your 80-20 batting. Now it's 220 by 270 centimeters, which is enormous. Now, if you don't know how big that is, I am going to try and attempt to unfold this on my own because social distancing and all that, I can't have anybody help me. But we will, as I give the details, start to unravel this. So straight <laughs> so away, you I can see. I think a couple of important things to point out on there is, um, uh, first of all, it's Villiseline. And that is an amazing brand for you know all kinds of, of sewing, and especially the the bits and pieces that you get, like your um, your batting, your wadding, your adhesives. They're very good at uh, things like that. And the second thing is the 80/20 mix. Yeah. So your 80% cotton. What's the 20% peps? Is it polyester or is it wool? It's polyester. There you go. <laughs> so that's what you're looking at. I just need to kind of explain the the kind of. Uh, what it actually is in the first place and this is a nice lightweight one so this is uh, i mean if you're looking to make it like a duvet out of it it's not the one for you but if you're looking for do uh, for lighter weight projects this is absolutely perfect it is enormous actually so <laughs> I, i've got to do this on my own so this is i think it's I an extra wide it. width one as well I think is it, it is uh, so i'm holding my arms out and so you can see it a little oh, bit it is it's a, a two, little bit it's a 220 it's so a if you're looking to do a width. throw that maybe is going to cover a king size bed which yeah. is 220 by 220 on the duvet then it's that going to cover, isn't be able it? to do that so I'm going across no, the length of it, I believe, first of all. So I've got to do a number of different stretches out there. And then if I go to the other end, of course, we can see that way as well. And I hope this is just going to give you some idea of how much you get in here. It just keeps going. Look, there it is. That's what you're getting there. <laughs> £23.99, a £5 saving. You can multi-buy on this while we've got the stocks as well, if you so wish. 432244. And you are going to get one of those gifts with there as well. Oh, as one Matt, look what she's done. Oh, I'm so sorry, Matt. Oh, 
Right, we're going to the website next because we've got loads more for you. We'll sort that fabric out. Now, of course, you've got the iron there. You've got the ironing board as a bundle. That's where the value is. You've got the pressing mats there as well. Five-star reviews to look at. You've got all of the threads there as well. That wonderful little case with the scissors and the retractable tape measure. Oh, those bees are gorgeous. Do have a look at those. If you're looking for gifts as well, they're perfect. Lots and lots of things to see. We've also got some great fat quarters as well. Amazing prices on those again. Oh, lots to see. In fact, we're going to head over, I believe, to Hale in a little while to see the ironing news. I wonder what she's going to be doing. Oh, she's got other things. She's pulling off. I've lots just of gone to get a quilt. Sorry, bag. I had this appeared just for a second. But I've gone to get a quilting ruler. Does this open? Oh, We've it does. Got it's those at the on bottom. the show as well. We have got it? these on the show, and we have a little quilting ruler stand as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> who knew? <laughs> like somebody's thought about it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just trying to get this open. So this is the Millwood quilting ruler. Now this is a metric one, so obviously it's all in centimetres rather than inches, but still kind of a really, really useful tool. I know a lot of um, a lot of patterns you'll see will work in inches. However, a lot of European patterns that you will see will work in metric will work in centimetres and that okay. is uh, why you kind of need your metric rulers because if you've got ones that have got it in different languages or different um, in different measurements then it's really handy to have both sets so uh, I am just joining two pieces together to make some straps for an apron because there's apron gate going on at the minute. Pinny gate? Pinny gate, apron Pinny gate, gate, yes. Yes, at the minute. What's your version? Oh well you see Adam, I made one for Adam Right, and then Janice is like, well, I didn't get a penny, so it's all kicking off a bit, so now I'm making <laughs> aprons for everybody. Hayley, I didn't get one either. Should we give this Sorry, one to you I'll... and upset Janice? No, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make one. I'll make, I okay. make one. Um, so, I'm just joining these pieces together. I've pressed them first with the iron because, can you, I don't know if you can quite see there how creased the cotton is on there. But that bit of steam, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really strong for a little tiny iron. It is, isn't it? It's right there. <laughs> it was a noise more than anything else. Oh dear. So I'm going to shift that out of the way. So I've just got rid of my creases first and then I'm going to press this together. And once I've pressed it together, I need to open it out and press that seam open. So I'm Doing it at right angles, I've got one piece going um, left to right, one piece going up and down, both pieces face to face, so that when I stitch that line and open it out, I'm going to get a completely flat seam. Okay. Now this technique works particularly well with patterned fabrics. These happen to be plain, but it does work um, especially well with your patterns. I'm just going to shuffle that along just a touch. There we go. That's better. Oh, feed dogs are off, man. Oh, okay. We were doing free motion the other day. <laughs> There we go. All fixed. There we go, you see. Got to remember to put your feed dogs back on, haven't you? Okay, so we are all the way along and then I'm gonna trim off that excess. Okay. This is what I was saying about the, the scissors that you've got on as well. Obviously I've got my big kind of shears on today, but I quite often have uh, three pairs of scissors so you'll have your your kind of big ones for doing your big jobs at the top there the size you've got are this size in the middle this goldilocks size yeah. of not too big not too small can generally right. turn the hand to most jobs and then a smaller Lovely. pair for doing your kind of embroidery things as well so let me just pop that down so now that's together this just needs pressing out and that's exactly what we're going to do right now so that Haley. needs just a little bit of a yes sorry you mentioned earlier about different fabrics and steam and some t cottons that's cotton where you really like benefits from it because cotton can be um a, it's a natural fiber is yeah. one thing and when you work with a natural fiber especially cotton and linen they can um crease like mad they can be an absolute nightmare and sometimes adding that little bit of extra oh, i was ready for you this time <laughs> <laughs> adding that little bit of extra steam just allows those fibers to relax okay. a little bit more yeah and um, it really helps because you can see how nice and, and flat that's gone already just helps the fibers to relax and helps it to 
to kind of flatten out much more okay. easily. Okay. Now, um, dry scene. irons, I mean, this can be a dry iron as well, absolutely. All you need to do is not put the water in it, yeah. and then it's a dry iron. So dry irons are the things that you're going to use for the likes of um, your heat-fixed vinyl. Now, sometimes they say that the uh, irons don't get hot enough to be able to fix the um, heat fix vinyl. But what you'll find is with the smaller irons, the, the heat's a lot more concentrated yes. with them. So you can see uh, you need it for a lot less time sometimes. Now, when go. it comes to the steam again there, obviously you've put water into the handle. That's how that's where you have. put it. You've got that little jug that makes the job very now easy. The steam only comes on with this one. It comes on at three levels. You, um, let me see if I can fold the handle out of the way. So if you were to pack this up, there's a there's a button on the back here, which will oh. allow to press that flat. Now I'm going to just hang on to oh, this carefully because obviously it's it's still on and I need to be a little bit careful. But it tells you on the top there. The dots show the amount of steam that yeah. you'll be getting, and then the temperature is indicated as you twist it round. So you can hear it as I turn it down there. It all kind of clicks into place, and that's yeah. just your thermostat allowing you to set the, the temperature. So once it's at where you want it, obviously that handle would normally, ordinarily be up already, and then just away you go. So okay. it does come, as we said, with steam, and there's quite a lot of power for a small iron there. Do you need to press the button to get steam yes. at all? So, so it's, um, it's the, not it, just a booster button, that is to get your steam out of there. Uh, well, no, there's, there's a little element of steam comes out of okay. it all the time, yep. but to get your, your proper kind of boost of steam, it's that button that's on the top that Lovely. you need to press. Perfect. It is ever so neat. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps giving me fright. Well, I don't expect it to have that much beans. It really <laughs> is powerful, isn't it? It is for a little iron. We, we can we hear it when we had the dry see the steam iron as well. When we had the dry iron, we had exactly the same thing. We kind of weren't expecting it to be yeah. as powerful as it actually was. And that's something that I did need to say, actually. So these all come, I'll just unplug it, with a proper fused UK plug, so your three pin plug. And that's really important because a lot of things that you maybe get as travel irons are designed to work on 120 volts rather than this one, which is designed to work on our UK 240, okay? Yeah. okay? So that's quite important because if you've bought one that is designed to work on 120 volts, then you're gonna get half the power out of it. Okay. Now when it comes to the flex, Haley, what sort of length have we got there? Okay, so we have uh, it's, it's tangled in my sewing machine, so that's really not helpful. You, you've got a uh, decent length there, haven't I've got, you? Yeah, I've got enough. Just I mean, hearing, you're going to need to have the, um, the socket reasonably close to you. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there's a, there's a reasonable amount there. There's certainly enough to get it from, from, you know, down on the floor there, up onto the table, and still have enough wiggle room to do everything that I need to do. Lovely. So uh, this is a, um, actually the tie for an apron that we're going to be doing so I'm just pressing this in half and you can see that really nice sharp crease that we'll get if I open this back up let me just put that down for a second there we go you can see oh, yes. it's even though it's a little tiny iron it's giving you a super sharp crease that is, it's got weight it's got a lot it? of beans for a little iron <laughs> don't know if that's the correct uh, it, if you're wanting it in proper terms, it's 700 watts. But 700 watts doesn't sound a lot because when sometimes you get um, irons and they're 100, you know, 1500 watts and, and things like that. But because it's so concentrated in that small area, you're getting an awful lot of, of power through this tiny iron. Now, we are talking about ironing different fabrics as well. And that brings me to our fat quarters because, of course, we have got some on offer for you. This is a really good buy, actually. You have found them, but for anybody that hasn't, let's show you these now. This is a great bundle, eight pieces in total. Now, it says Christmas there, Christmas and tartan. But do you know what? There is snowflakes on some of this, but the tartans are beautiful. You're definitely going to get away with a lot of this all year round. These are really lovely, Hayley. They are. They're very, very pretty ones. And, as you said, all year round for a lot of them. They feel beautiful as well. Would we need steam for these? Um, yes, if they're, um, I can't see, I can't touch them. So if they're cotton, then yes. But I what I would recommend is because some of them have got... Uh, different ones, actually. ...decoration on the front of them, then you see the ones with the snowflakes yeah. on? Depending on what that decoration is made from, I would recommend ironing those on the back. 
Those because if really it's any nice. kind of um, either you know a, a vinyl or a, a polyester that's gone on the top, so like a plasticky coated thing that's gone on the top, then you will need to iron that on the back. Okay, you're going to get all sorts of projects out of these. Well, it could be the top of a Christmas stocking, it could be your place uh, place settings or your table runners, or it could be whatever you want it to be. Ten pounds and ninety eight pence. Busy on these. Nine pounds saving. Zero seven five eight four seven, and almost twenty percent of the stock has gone already on those as well. Really do like those a lot. Right, Haley. So right. you're still ironing away there. Yes, just I am. So this this is um, designed to create the tie for the apron. So where I would go from here is I'd do those two edges in, and then put them together using that crease as my guide to create that nice kind of both edges. It's almost like a bias binding, but it's just not cut on the bias. But if you were to use bias binding, which we're going to do for the little pocket, which also needs an iron because it's been in the back of the car and it's a little bit creased. So one of the things that steam does very well is especially on bias binding, it helps it to stretch around those corners. So let's just flatten this out first because it's in a little bit of a mess. And I haven't been deliberately creasing things for this show. That was just how it came in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so easily to flatten things out but to use that steam on that bias binding you can get some really really tight curves so I'm going to pop that in half first and just give it a little press to keep it in half and then if I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do back to front and upside down but if I just take that round can you see how the curve's starting to come into it? I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way for you. There we go. Oh, perfect. Now, Hayley, there and is that's no overheat that protection little bit on this of steam as well, isn't there? That you've got in there. You what? There is an overheat protection facility on the iron as well. There is. So it will kind of do an automatic cutout um, at a, a certain level, but ideally, you, obviously, you need to unplug it. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend leaving it plugged in all the time. But the reason you can get such good power out of a, a small iron is because in the UK we are 240 volts. Okay, as I was saying before. 12240. And because this is a proper 240 volt iron, not a little iron that, you know, not a, um, a travel iron which you are using on the UK circuits, um, this one has that sufficient power because power is basically voltage times current. Okay? I'm just thinking though, because of the staycations that we're. Some oh, of caravans us are, uh, and stuff. Yeah, caravans. Brilliant. In this country as well. Even if it was for your clothing, if you, you know, just for going away for the weekend, this would be a good iron just for travelling with, just for your laundry. But when it comes to those sewing needs, it is absolutely perfect, isn't it? You really Sorry. can see the power behind it. I was just playing this. with it. <laughs> a little steam boost there. Look at that. <laughs> and the non-stick plate as well. But what you're seeing well. also there is another use for it. You can vertical steam on of it. Of course. Yes, well. if you've got creases in your trousers and things, you hold well, it. Well, it's steam more kind of home decor yep. and things. Curtains. So maybe you've got curtains and things yep. that maybe just need the odd bit dropping out of. And um, I wouldn't say you could do it for a long period of time, but if it's just the odd little bit, yep. perfect for that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I think we can have a reminder of the prices and things because, of course, it's a great bundle, this. We've not only got the steam iron in this first bundle, we've also got... Uh, this is such a handy item. Oh, it's the yeah, mini pressing board. It does fold flat board. as well. Let me just fold that down so you can see that. So, again, easy to store, but you're going to keep that next to you when you're making your applique, your quilting, when you're doing those little seams, or uh, as Hayley has, the bias binding there as well. It's meant to be that size. It's not there just so you go, oh, isn't it cute, which it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it is meant to be that size. And of course, you've got the rounded end there as well. So when it does come to using this for your dressmaking, you know, you've got the collars that you can press. You've got the armholes that you can press very easily. There's a whole host of reasons why you need this, actually. Yeah, I mean, for dressmaking and for bag making and things, something this size is brilliant because there are all those little bits and pieces, which if you take it to a big flat ironing board, you can't get around them. Yeah. And especially if it's things that, um, let me just grab this little bag that's in here. We so if I wanted to press, if I wanted to press these well, seams Hayley. before I went ahead and top stitched them, then because it's little, where am I going? There we go. And um, because it's little, you can slide those all the way on, ah. which means you can press that completely before you take it and top stitch Ideal. it. Ideal. 
Let me swivel that round, do the other side. So it's not just, it, it isn't there just to look cute and, and pretty. It is actually very, very useful. But think of that as uh, pockets and things that you may be going to apply to something else. Yeah. It's all those smaller bits that you maybe need to do. And for dressmaking, these are an absolute godsend. They are, aren't they? Now, there, there are non-skid feet on there. Not that you're going to be pushing it around the table on purpose or using it as a surfboard <laughs> or anything like that for the dolls, although it does look like one. Um, but it does mean, of course, that on your surface, you don't want something that's just going to automatically slip away. You want that stability there, and that's included as well. Don't forget, you are going to get that free gift as well. I'm going to show you that while I'm here, actually. Just a reminder, anything on the show, you're going to receive this. I'm just going to show you in the top there, because that's where it holds, as we see it, just coming through now the tape measure you've got your thimble in there you've got your little snips in there you've got needles in there they're all held in the top section and then you've got two more layers with your threads in there as well and of course when you've used these you can soon replace what's in there as well a really handy little kit that I like that yeah, a lot. it's a really handy one and especially with having that bit on the top because we're all guilty of storing needles in the reels of cotton definitely and uh, then people get spiked <laughs> <laughs> or keeping pins on the floor oh no you don't have to <laughs> do that get, now uh, almost 20 percent of the bundle has gone you can see on the screen there the item for the, for the bundle itself 700907 there is an eight pound saving getting these as a pair just a reminder you can go for these individually but you know the iron on its own 24.99 you can see that at the bottom yeah, of the screen you'd be mad to you go would for be it mad. even if you've already got a little pressing board it's worth getting that for that extra bit of can money I just say the one that we had before, which was the dry iron without the steam, that was £20. That was £19.99. So you've got the bonus of that booster steam there as and well. And I would absolutely have Perfect. both of them. I already have got the dry one, and I would definitely get another one with the steam in because it's just for those little jobs where you definitely. don't want to unravel the whole big iron or the big iron's not going to do the job yeah. because the big iron is exactly that. It's too big. And it's a, they're a great little space saver for craft Worth every as penny. well. I love the fact that the handle folds away as well, so it's very, very neat. It folds I mean, completely flat. I'll do it again, actually. Let me just yeah, pop this down nice. off of here. You can keep do it again. but you don't this need to. This is switched on, so I do need to be a little bit careful. So there are essentially only three buttons on here. There is one for your steam. There is one at the back here to take off that water cartridge which then, you know, makes it either if you don't fill the water cartridge or if you take it off, then you've created a dry iron, essentially. And then there is a third button, which is the one, let me just see if I can, there you go, on the back there. That's the one that you push in and the handle folds down flat. Now, the handle Very folds neat. down flat and the cable is actually going into that notch where that button was. Oh, so that means that. if you've got an iron that, that breaks, it's usually because the cable has gone on yeah. the inside. And where it always goes is exactly at that point, is there where they've got that little guard over it, because that's where it experiences most of its kind of movement. Yeah, so hopefully. that is a really good kind of feature to it. And then you can, please don't wrap them round. No, I hate it when people do that. Cables. That's what breaks your iron. Uh, don't wrap it round. Always kind of try and fold it back and forth. I'm just going to pop that back up out of my way. Fold it back and forth like that, figure of eight, um, and it will last a lot longer. Do you know what I would do? I think getting this home, I would make a little case for it straight away. That would be my first oh, project. Because you're going to use case. a little pressing board as well for the seams and then Bink. make sure it fits so when the handle is down and folded away, it fits in there. And maybe pop a little piece of elastic or a band to use for the cable inside the bag then. Then you're not going to yeah, get to Yeah, or even, um, you know, one of the, the things that you used to get for uh, sandwich bags. Yes, the little, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, the little wire, wire twisty, twisty things. Twisty things. Yes. Yeah. Even one of those perfect. would be perfect. Oh, do take advantage of this bundle while um, we've got this price What was I here. doing? Uh, it is a great, <laughs> great buy, that one. We've got more to show you. Remember, though, the value is in this bundle here, 700907. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's have um, another demonstration, I think, from Hayley. Is that what's coming up next? Okay, Hayley, so what, I'm, what I'm, can you I've got us? the bias binding, and the bias binding that we sh uh, showed you earlier, I'm just going to take it all the way around these edges. Now, normally, I would kind of pin these as I go to keep everything in place. But for the purposes of this, I mean, you can see that that's been, it's been creased up while it's been in the car. So, first of all, I want to get it flat. But I want to get it flat without stretching out my bias binding because if I am pulling and tugging at it it's actually gonna change the shape of the bias binding because if I show you there bias binding is designed to stretch and move so I can have it absolutely flat 
and have nothing move just by using the iron in its own right. If I want to then get some movement into that bias binding, then we can do that by, as we take it round, folding it. So I'm just going to press it first of all just in half so I'll get those edges to match up. And this is, I mean, the, the other iron, the little dry iron that they had was, was brilliant. And you can do an, everything you can do with that one. You can do with this one, but you've just got that extra feature of, of the steam. I'm just going to turn this around so you can see the other side of it. There you go. So I'm going to press some of this in half first to just get it lined up straight. And then we're going to take it to a project and we're going to move that bias binding all the way around those corners as we go. So this is the pocket off an apron. And that's me spilling water because I refilled the, uh, when I refilled the little thing before. It's not a leaky iron. I would just like to clarify that. So we're there. And then we're going to want to take this around the corner. Now, adding a little bit of um, water to this, because you can see at the minute, it's kind of gaping up a little bit. So if I add the steam to this, what it's going to do is move those fibres and relax those fibres in the bias binding. So we're going to pop that over the top and then just that little bit of steam. And can you see how that's, oh, that's all perfect. sitting nice and flat now? That's that. because the steam in there is kind of opening up the fibres and allowing them to move and relax a little bit more so that you can get things really nice and curves. Brilliant. It's br steam is really beneficial for things like curves and things. Definitely. And I was watching there, Hayley, as well, and there was no movement on that pressing board then. You're on quite a slippery surface as well, aren't you? Yes. There? I'm on a varnished table today, and I'm also over the join in the varnished table, which I should have <laughs> possibly thought about before I started this. Um, so let me just do the second half of that, and we'll show you that again, because I think that illustrates why the steam is so good. So let me just get that in right in the middle there. And I've got no pins in that, you'll see. No Usually, pins, no there'd be an awful lot of pins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those squeaky knives are so good. <laughs> completely flat. I would have thought you could have so much fun ironing. <laughs> well, it's, it's an ironing celebration, Catherine. Did you I not know. read the Woo thing? Get the first couple out. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll go around and I'll do the other corner. Okay. So we could do some more. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll just give you a reminder of one or two details here as well, because we've got, do you know, we've got a busy show. You can see phone lines are very busy. Um, do hang on in there, we'll get to you. Quickest and easiest way, as always, is the website. But let's tell you a little bit more, because, of course, when it goes to that bundle there, when you're going for this, when you are getting the pressing board and the iron as well, you've seen how powerful that steam is. It does make you jump a little bit. Eight pounds saving, 26 98 is the price. A third of the stock has now gone, Seven zero zero nine zero seven. Now, if you're going for that, perhaps you want to go for one of these mats here. Let's have a look at this one, first of all. Really lovely design. Now, on the outer case of there, that is, of course, an area for pressing. If you want to open it out, you've got double the space there. Just bear in mind, you will have the fold in the centre. But when you open this up, of course, this is such a good buy because it's very, very portable. Even if you're not taking it out of the house, you've just got it next to you, you're going to use it because you've got all the increments on the cutting mat there. You've got the angles there as well. And then as Hayley is so Oh, uh, nicely explained earlier on as well, that lovely sort of felted area or velvety area there, that is just beautiful to feel, but that's going to grip onto your fabric. So when you're doing your applique, you want to lay out your bits and pieces, you know, you're just testing things out, maybe laying together the sections or even putting colours together and trying your ideas out. That's really nice because it's not going to slide around and slip off. And you can actually store your fabric pieces in there when you're not using them as well. And then I'm just going to go to the top corner there and peel that back because, of course, you've got that gritty area there. So, again, that's going to hold things in place. It means they're not going to slip and slide around. So a great little addition to your crafting stash once again and your soft crafts. Lovely, lovely design. I'm just going to open that out again so you can see the full size of that if you are pressing on it. So you can use it folded or you can open it out to its full size. 
There we are, £16.99, £8 saving on this one, 883015. And of course, the iron is going to work perfectly on that surface. Now, the next one we've got, this is a sloth. My daughter would love this. It's a favourite animal. A uh, bit different because it's a whole different design. The size is different as well. You've got the carry handles as well. But just to open that up, you can see you've got the larger cutting mat with all the increments. And you've also got that non-stick sort of ironing surface there. So that's where you're going to do your pressing and your ironing. So again, works perfectly with the iron we've got on offer. Two payments of £20 on this one. We can split that down for you. And there's a saving of £5. Six three five seven three six. Now, the fat quarters, these are proving very popular. 40% of the stock has gone. I'm going to show you these again. You're getting all eight of these. All for that price of £10.98. Do you know, I'm going to open a couple because the, there is a difference between the fabrics here. So let's have a look at one of the tartans first of all. So being fat quarters, of course, that's what you're getting here. So we'll just open that one out. These feel lovely as well. Now you've got this one as well. Now this one feels very warm and very soft. Another tartan that's absolutely beautiful. Do you know, it does make me think of the tops of Christmas stockings and uh, placemats and table runners and home decor pieces. You've even got the fabric here. And you can see that gorgeous print on top with the, the snowflakes. You could sew a little bead in the middle of those snowflakes. I mean, this doesn't you? need to be used for soft craft either. It you could always it? cover journals with it. You could cover all yeah. sorts of bits and pieces with it, mixed media wise. You, it doesn't necessarily always have to be about sewing. It doesn't. I love it. Absolutely love it. There you are. So a great buy that one with that saving there. It's not quite half price, but we're not that far off it really, are we? 075847 is the item number. Take advantage of that. You can multi-buy on those while we've got the stocks, but I know we are busy on those. Uh, just lovely. We've got all sorts on the show as well, so you can find everything on the website. Let's have a look at a few more items while we're here. Now, we haven't seen these live on the counter, but these are absolutely beautiful. Now, this is your applique project bag. This is 20 by 20 by 30 centimetres inside really lovely 17.99 is the price 417763 then we've got the tote bag now these match but they are separate items there you are saving a four pounds on this one 23.99 this is absolutely beautiful. I've got my eye on this. I love them. 891373. Lovely lined bag as well there with pockets. Then we've got a sewing box for you. Let's have a look at this one. Again, matching in. These are great gifts if you're looking for gifts for someone. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. You've got that woven edge to the box there. You've got that lovely little lift up lid with the B on there. It is beautiful. Five pounds saving, 13.99 on this one, 100807. Sizes are all there on the website for you to find as well. And then we've got a sewing kit. Now, this is so sweet because it matches in. Oh, look at this. A lovely little zipped sewing little uh, compartment box here. I love it. This is going to fit in your handbag, in your sewing box, in your suitcase. It's great for traveling with, again, 1249-653-721. And we've got one more for you. Again, we're staying with that theme. Waiting to see this. Oh, I love it. I've never seen this before. <laughs> this this is one beehive. is super cute. We have, I think we, it was a while ago, but I think we have had this one previously, but it is so, so cute. And, um, I mean, yes, it's down as a sewing box, but there'd be absolutely nothing stopping you, you know, using it for lots of other crafts as just brilliant storage. I'd love that just as a handbag. <laughs> I think it's fab. <laughs> I love it. I've got it here, actually, look. So you can see the roof, so to speak, there. You, you might not need the tray up. in if it was a handbag. There is a tray in here, look. Look at that. You have to put your lipsticks in there, your bits of jewellery. Okay. Do you know, you, you, you could use it as a jewelry box. Though. I love it. I mean, it. there's not there's no kind of pin cushion in attach, attached on the inside or anything that would make it a sewing box. So you absolutely could use it for any type of crafting or a handbag. I love it. Honestly, we I just need walk to put you with that. No, we just need to put no your shoulder strap whatsoever. on it, don't we? I quite like having a handle just to carry. Okay. You might see me later. I might be going for one of these. £30.99, £9 saving, 571076. You take it at the shops and I shall video you doing it I'll, I'll as do your that. handbag. I will do that. <laughs> yes. Uh, put my essentials in there that I need to take into all those stores with me and I'm ready to go. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> Hayley, back to you. <laughs> okay, so um, we said it was really good at curves. So rather than bias binding, we're going to look at another type of curve that it works really well for. And that is working with one of the clamshell templates. So where is my nice flat one? There's my nice flat one. So with a clamshell template, you are always kind of sewing 
these curves and they're off like every single panel you'll have will have a curve on it so you'll have a curve there and then you have a curve on the the other piece um, that attaches to it and what you've got is you've got two pieces of fabric that want to do completely different things the piece on the outside there kind of wants to spread out and then the piece on the inside wants to ruffle up and this is where steam comes in really really handy so to put the clamshells together uh, with this particular template which is one that we did on the fabazine on sun saturday saturday there we go saturday so um what we do is we start at the middle and pin all of the way around and as you can see the because there's um, both of these are cut on the curve, they have that little bit of stretch to them, which helps you get all of the way round there. So once they're sewn together, um, I'll get that bit of thread out of the way. Once they're sewn together, you can see there, see how kind of up and down and bumpy it is. And that's because of exactly what I said. One piece of fabric wants to lay flat, and then the piece of fabric that's underneath that wants to kind of scrunch up so you've yeah. got them doing two different things and this is when that bit of steam comes in really really handy so I'm gonna, always going to press from both sides I'm going to press it from the back first okay. so and it's as though they're fighting against each other yes and the iron is making peace <laughs> especially with the steam <laughs> <laughs> it's the squeak squeak uh, that's actually because I'm, I'm pointing you jumping every time you do that. <laughs> Should I do it again? Oh, that one was not so good. I think it's when I'm, I've got it kind of slightly off the ironing board that it does it. <laughs> but you can, you can see, see there straight away the difference. How nice and flat. Let me get the uh, a previous one. Oh, I've knocked my little um, I've knocked my little jug over. So sorry, I've spilt water and everything. Oh dear. <laughs> but you can see that that one's got kind of a before and an after next to it. So this is the one that hasn't been pressed. And then, uh, yeah, this is the one that hasn't been pressed. This is the one that has been pressed. And you can see the difference that that steam makes to both sides of that. So you don't even need to put into the notch, little notches in no, there. No, there's no notches in there. There's no notches in there. That's just the steam that's oh, kind wow. of relaxed the fibres and helped it to, to lay flat. There's no little snips and notches because as soon as you put the little snips and notches in, yes, that will automatically help it to open up and, and move around. But if it's something that you're going to wash, then if those snips are too close to your seams, then you risk it kind of starting That's to come point. apart as you go. But the steam will help that yeah. to sort it out. So let the seam do the work and only snip if uh, you absolutely have to do that. Do you know what a lovely iron that is? Right, can, you know I, the, can I have a minute just to you, tidy you up the can. water I've knocked over? Oh. <laughs> well, mention Sorry. the threads. Actually, the threads go very, very well with the fat quarters as well, actually, because you've got greens in there, you've got black, you've got the dark blue in there, you've got the red in there, you've got your neutral colours in here as well. In fact, you've got 10 spools there. There's 500 metres on each, so that's 5,000 metres in total. Do you know, whether you use them with your fat quarters or something completely different, it doesn't matter, it's just a great buy. £4 saving on those, 17 is the price, 997091. Oh, the little scissors set. We've got to do that simply because... Matt does love this so much. So you have got your little case. He's actually case just to store. run back into the it's studio. Just coming all excited especially for that. <laughs> yeah, you've got your little case. Do you know you could use this separately if you wanted to? But that I do, would be I your do think these case scissors are lovely. For keeping all of your floor manager notes. Do you know, I'm going to point something else about uh, out about these as well. Look at this here. So where you can see the blades are fastened together, you've got a really lovely, good quality sort of connection there as well. That's going to hold that nice and tight. Um, you wouldn't be able to, you they're know, that's not just going to come scissors, loose, aren't they? They're what, sorry? They're Goldilocks scissors. They are, not too just big, right. not too small, just Lovely. right. Really nice weight on those <coughs> as well. And then just to go back to that tape measure, you pull out, you can hear it clicking, it's going to hold on its own. So you can see there, and all you need to do is squeeze the centre of the box and it just retracts on itself. So very easy to use. There we are, 1999, £3 pound saving. 119544. Four. Hey there, are you ready? Okay? Uh, yes, well, all my demonstration pieces are now soggy because I knocked the water <laughs> over. But I have some more water and I'm going to show you how to fill that little tank up again okay, because um, that is kind of a really important part of it. So there are only three buttons on here. There is the one that actually activates your steam and pushes the steam out of the iron. There is the one on the back here which you slide back towards you 
to release the water tank and then to fill the water tank you take the bung off the end so this can be done completely away from the iron and the heat probably shouldn't leave that sitting down uh, <laughs> and then you fill that up now you always need to empty as with any iron once you've finished using it you need to um, empty this chamber out and it's also worth say if I was going to stop using the iron now it's also worth before I go ahead and fill this up just to put a couple of squeezes on there to push any excess water that might still be left in the okay. iron out and then to reattach that I'm just going to put it flat down and there's a little uh, see there's a a little kind of white nozzle on the bottom of here and that white nozzle matches up with one that's just in the edge of the eye in there if I just tip that up you can probably just spot it oh, yes, I can and then that. that goes into there so it's always this end first and then just rock it back and it'll and click, the click into position and then your final button that you've got on here is the one that's on the back there we just move that out of the way there we go this one here we we'll push that in and that's the one that releases the handle down so when you're storing it you can store it nice and flat. I mean, that is barely, probably an inch and a half, two inches. It's so neat, it really is. And when it comes to the bundle, once again, you have, of course, got the pressing board, which you're getting for very little. A reminder that the iron on its own is £24.99. pence. So to go for the bundle and get the Sorry. pressing board as well, £8 saving. <laughs> there you've got it, £26.98. I'll say, if you've already got the dry iron version of this, this one, is, you, you know how good it is. Uh, so this one's an, yeah. an absolute essential, I would say. Definitely. It really is. And just a and reminder, that flex on there. <laughs> 1.3 metres for the flex, so it really is a generous size. Obviously, if you're stitching, if you're sewing and you've, you're doing your Applique, your, your quilting, your patchworking, you're going to have this at the side of you. It's going to pack away neatly. You've seen the force behind there. Hayley, we are quite close to the end of the show now. Is there anything else you really want to mention? About uh, well, I'm this? going to dry everything off from me spilling the water, and okay. then I think we'll do uh, some more demonstrations with the bias binding and with the curves, because that's where really the, the steam excels. Yeah. Now and you are back two later. Two o'clock. Yes. Lovely. With Alex. Alex oh, is in this afternoon, Alex. of course. So uh, do tune in for more ideas. If you've got any questions to ask Hayley as well, do oh, email we love into a question. the studio. We like questions. We do love a question. We do. Studio at achanda.com. Um, now, don't forget, with the pressing board as well, I'm just going to go through the features of that again. It's uh, non-skid. It folds away. There you go. It folds nice and flat. I would say you've got that probably sort of about the same surface. height, you know. It's when you thought, I'm going to see if they're the same height when you fold them away. So that one, it's dead easy to do as well. It, ju it literally just kind of slides over, doesn't it? It does, yes. There. And then let me squish this one down as well. I might have to put some fabric on the table so that it doesn't go on the table itself. Okay. There you. Oh, I see what you mean now. I didn't know, I didn't I, know what you were talking about I can't about put then. it on the so table. The same height. So somebody will tell right, me off. Way, but there yes. you go. Look, it's the same height. Yeah. Very neat indeed, whether it goes in a cupboard, on a shelf, in your craft room, you know, or if you keep it in a little storage bag as well. It would be a great first project to make. It's so funny and little. I think the iron's having as much fun as you are. <laughs> a great bundle, it really is. We've been busy on that as well. There's the steam, that little booster button there as well. Uh, very handy yeah, I've indeed. Yeah, everything. Hayley, we've got uh, just over two minutes left, so is there something else you can show us now? Um, Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, this I haven't soaked, so. Okay. <laughs> it's because I had the little jug here, and then I knocked it over. Oh, don't keep your water <laughs> where you're going to knock it over. No, There's don't keep it. Even though it's a tiny, tiny jug, uh, yes, you will knock it over. So we'll do this other corner on here. So, that's already kind of just folded in half, and I've just kind of finger pressed that in half straight so you can see it's kind of bent ready to go around the corner so if I take that I'll just do half of the corner first and you take it around the corner you can see it's all kind of I'm going to turn it round actually and see if I show you it this way because then you'll see the gape a bit more so you can see there it, it just doesn't want to sit flat and you can pull bias binding a little bit to get it to um, sit into place but when you pull it what you do is you make it narrower so kind of you want to you want to avoid that so we're going to get around that first bit of the corner okay by just applying the iron to it yeah and it is a press not a wiggle that you need and you can see now that's sitting nice and flat and then we'll do the second half of the corner just by wrapping the rest of it round 
and got that there. Lovely. And just a tiny press on there. You can see it all sitting. Perfect. Nice and, and there's flat. That little boost of steam as well. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, thank you, Hayley. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, so back at two o'clock for <laughs> Hayley. two o'clock with Alex. Yes, more steam. Um, more we'll steam. be letting off steam beforehand as well. Over. We've got Janice coming up next. She's going to be letting some steam off. More ironing to do. More we'll ironing. Get those Let's knock over. As well. Yeah. Don't forget. Back we'll trying for. <laughs> We've got much more on the show as well. We've got those multi mats for you as well. Do have a look at those bees as well, those accessory bags and things like that. Now, the batting, oh, that was a great buy, that enormous piece of batting. Good saving on that. Don't forget about that as well. And the fat quarters, they've been very busy this hour as well. Free gift for everybody. You will get yours with your order. I'm going to see you a little bit later on. See you for now. Bye bye. Yes, she's coming up next. It's Nikki. She's here with Janice with, of course, Heartfelt Creations Birthday Sensations One Day Special. Then we're partying with Pink Frog and then we've got Hayley back with the iron. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche, and Orland create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door, Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend. Seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all your favourite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chanda. Chanda is five and I really hope you're enjoying our birthday celebrations. So continuing the festivities, we have another seven day saver to bring you. These fan this is a great bundle, I mean a real essential. So Oakwood and Archer, what we have is a pair of uh, quality craft scissors. Everybody needs craft scissors in their life, but you've also got, and I have a pair of these at home, these serrated uh, micro scissors as well. So you micro serrated scissors, so they will chew through anything. They're really durable scissors, so another great addition into your crafty stash. But then we have our paper trimmer. So paper trimmer, obviously useful for your matting and layering. Can I just say, though, it can do a lot more because it can also cut uh, at angles of 45 to 90 degrees as well. So 45 degree angles or 90 degree angles. So you're getting your trimmer. Your scissors are both sets there for £21.97, saving £8. Your item number is 311412. And just a reminder, if you make any purchase on the live show during our birthday event, you will be eligible for a free gift. See full T's and C's on our web. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. 
At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. I was just thinking about the connection of the balloon, but then, of course, that's what they did at the end of the film, wasn't it? In The Wizard of Oz. It all went up in a balloon. Well, the wizard came down in the balloon, and it was all magical. Love The Wizard of Oz. What's your favourite movie? Maybe email in, studio at hochanda.com. We've got lovely Nikki with us. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. All ready for another don't, hour. Don't feel you need to reciprocate oh. that. Like, <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Oh. How are you? <laughs> I was going to say, how are you? But oh. I always know how you are because you're always smiling. Yes. So you're always happy. Yes, always happy. Well, you have to be because, you know, if you're not, no one else will be. So you've got to be happy. It's a good thing to be. Uh, right. I'm happy to be bringing you the one-day special. And Nikki is very happy as well. Mm. And I know you guys are happy because you've been buying it. Very busy for this. Heartfelt Creations one-day special. We've got this live show now. We've got another live show at 4 o'clock today. That's your final call live show. The price is going to go back up at 6 o'clock today. A one-day special is from 6 p.m. till 6 p.m. here on Hochanda. And 70% of the stock has gone. You're saving £21 on this deal. Now, we'll go through the beautiful papers with Nikki when we head over to her in a moment's time. But your one-day special does include your 12 by 12 papers. They are double-sided. You can get a sneaky peek of what's on your papers, full of inspiration, full of areas that you can go and create with. Lots of different card toppers and tags of beautiful backgrounds as well. When you get this home, have a look at the backgrounds and have a look at what you can see in the background of the backgrounds. This is your summer garden collection and uh, with your summer garden collection of course mm. you get your zinnias your beautiful flowers i do love a zinnia i think i've got some in my garden um if not i'm definitely going to get some next year you want that lime green one I want we the were lime saying green one, yeah, yeah it'll go beautiful, beautiful. honestly you you research it i will it's a i will flower. sure i've got some sure i have uh two payments of 29 pounds and 98 pence you get your dies and your stamps as well now the stamps are red rubber they're mounted already for you red rubber of course using with all your different techniques and with your stamps they will cut out beautifully your zinnias so you can see the large one just there with the leaves as well then you've got your die to cut it out. Then you've got your second set of die. You're getting six dies and six stamps at the moment. You can see just there. And then you've got the dies to cut them out. Now, also, with your collection, you get an inspiration page. And this is where... Oh, my word, you wait till you see this. <clears throat> this is where you can make your very first... first <laughs> card with this collection that's stunning if i take this, this and it. just take that to the side nikki this is so beautiful isn't that beautiful yeah. that's been made by one of the team back at heartfelt creations it's amazing over in that. indiana but it's got the f if you've never made a flower before if you've never created a heartfelt card before you've got step-by-step -step instructions everything that you need yeah you certainly have i mean look at some of these beautiful flowers and creations um, being able to take that flower and give it that 3d element is amazing and beautiful? we were saying of course with this nikki it's not just for cards you could make boxes home decoration as well maybe even if you get the correct spray and paint and covering put these outside yes you were saying these would brighten up maybe a dull wall yeah. that maybe you can't put like a trailing plant or something up. That would be a good what idea. Oh, you could make a little mini trellis with these on. Oh, oh there's an idea. Uh, two payments. You can divide the cost into two. And you're getting a free gift, of course, to celebrate Hochanda's fifth birthday. <coughs> you are getting your stamens. These are worth £15.99. pence. Two payments of 29.98 Gets you your one-day special and your free gift. It's a great deal, isn't it? Now, we're dispatching everything on the 9th of September. 
if you've got your five pound credit and you want to spend that today, we all got a five pound credit. Even I got one because I'm a customer. I hope I have. I've not checked yet. Um, but I should spend it very quickly because it ends tomorrow. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, so that's your one day special. We've got lots of demonstrations and inspirations coming up from our lovely Nikki, but we've got something else to show you. And this is available on three flexes. The reason why I'm telling you that is if you want to go for this and your one day special, pop this into your basket, and then all of a sudden your flexi payments for your one day special are dividable into <coughs> three payments as well. This is a beautiful collection. You're saving £40 on this deal. So if you missed this the first time, you've got a chance to get your nine stamps, your 12 by 12 papers, and your 11. 11 dies for a payment of 31.64 today and then you've got another payment of that in a month's time and then a month after that the papers are divine gorgeous purples and greens you've got those lovely birds on there as well uh, they're double-sided so you can turn that around so you've got your lovely backing in there you've got your gorgeous flowers let's just take that and turn that around so again your backing different each and every time two of each in the collection there you go now this is what we mean by your backing papers you've got your bird cage there that you can cut out and decorate and make you've got your bird down the bottom but if you want to use all of that script in the background lace down the side you've got the opportunity to do that so many different elements that is beautiful isn't it and if you were to cut all of those out fussy cut those out individually my word you'd have a lot to play with so the the papers themselves 12 by 12 You've got the dies and the stamps as well. Just showing you some of the samples of what you can make and create. Can you see that? How it looks so beautiful with those colours. And again, the flowers on there, turn that to one side. They are your 3D flowers. The bird cage, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Little uh, LED tea tree. I always call them tea tree. Sorry. There is a reason why I call them a tea tree light. I'll have to look inside my head to find that. But for now, I'll call them a tea light. Um, and then you've got a lovely card there, again with those beautiful birds on the front. Enjoy this collection. 712195 is your item number if you want to go for that. And it is on extended delivery, dispatching on the 9th of September. Because Heartfelt Creations, of course, an American family-run company. Let's head to the website. This is our very <coughs> own Yellow Brick Road over to lovely Nikki. Um, and you can see here you've got your individuals that you, are, um, that you can buy. You've got your extra paper pad. Lots of people going for that, actually. It's such a beautiful paper pad that if you want an extra one, just pop it into your basket, divide the cost into two. Uh, the ball tools, they have been popular as well. We've got storage for you. We've also got your daubers, and we've got extra storage inlays as well for your dies and your stamps. With your one-day special, you do get that lovely pink see-through bag as well, so that's uh, how everything will be delivered to you. And you can use that, again, for whatever you like. Maybe decorate it and give it a gift. Uh, give it as a gift should I say. Uh, right, let's head to Nikki for uh, a look at the paper pad first. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful paper pad. So as you can see, you've got um, the pages on the front so you can at a glance see what is in here. But then you've got your panels. Here you can see your um, zinnia petals but what what heartfelt have done is they've kind of put them on singly which is really nice because that means that you can use those stamps and dies to start really layering up you've got ribbon strips here as well they are 12 by 12 two designs two of each and double sided which we love so you're never going to be short of inspiration when you open your paper pad. You can go for a six by six easy card if you want to. Matting and layering been done for you. You can cut the center out if you want and put a different center in. You can make a shadow box with it. Then you've got your smaller ones here. I love this one. But like Janice was saying earlier, so the design is on the side. Yes, you have a script, but you could easily turn that and do your scrapbook layout. Um, with that at the top or turn it around again and you can have it at the bottom you have got panels in here as well so you can make nice little notelet cards or you can use these in your mini albums and then just going on again lots of lace work in this one as well absolutely beautiful you've got you'll notice you've got butterflies in here as well so if you've got the butterfly medley collection you can maybe make some butterflies to go in 
coordinate with it. You've also got a cottage in here, which I do believe was in another collection, but I can't quite remember which one. Unfortunately, we have a lot. We bring a collection out every single month. You've got lots of bright colours in here as well, so it isn't just about your pinks and purples. Then you've got your oranges. So going to a little bit more autumnal colours here. So... I think zinnias, we were saying earlier, weren't we, Janice, yes. that we think that they are more of a late summering flower. We were, yes, and lots of different colours so available in the zinnias. There's lots and lots of colours. So, yes, so you've got your autumnal colours in here as well. As I say, you've got some lots of stripes in there, lots of other designs as well. I love this one. You've got lots of lace work in this one too. And then you've got your pattern paper as well. Always very, very useful. And then you have your flowers here so you've got two sheets of each but you can see they're both different so you've got two of this one and two of that one giving you lots of flowers here to be able to die cut out so we're talking I about the take... colors that they've used there as well nikki um colors that perhaps you wouldn't normally put together but don't they I, work well? I wouldn't put orange and purple together no but I it wouldn't. works it really does, it does work it, it, it's i love the way that heartfelt take that away from us because sometimes we do kind of struggle we tend to go i always do anyway pinks and purples yeah it's an easy one yeah or i just go for usually just an orange on its own but if I just take this card oh, that I made earlier, how about going for something really bright? Oh, wow. <laughs> that yeah, is that's bright, lovely. isn't it? But I've gone for the green colour in the flowers and then used this paper pad um, and cut out the, um, the bridge there, which is more autumnal. But then going to something completely different using that cottage that we just saw. Fussy cut this out. I'm not against fussy cutting. If I see an image in a paper pad, I will cut it out if I like it. And then I've gone for smaller flowers on this one. But how about something like this? So this one, just to give you an example, it's using the larger flowers there. But you can create something like this with that. And then if I lift that up, because I think it is an easel card. It is. Oh, there we go. How about that look? That is so pretty. And who's made this? Let me just have a look. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, Janet from the design team has created this one. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it really but then is. What we were saying was orange and purple. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily... But it works. And one of the design team, and that's Cheryl from the design team, has created this one, putting those orange and purples together. Doesn't it work? Using inspiration from the paper pad. And the green makes it pop, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And the, uh, yeah. So you've got the green here in your panel, you've got your green here in that trellis work, and then she's got the leaves in there carrying all that through. Do you know what I think is really clever with this, with Heartfelt, with the colours, is that they've given you colours for the autumn which is 26 days away, 27th, I think, of September, autumn begins. Um, but also these colours can be used in the summer or spring. Yes. So I would go for another paper pad because this would make these great creations for the autumn moving forward, last mm -hmm. through the final weeks of summer that we've got. Hopefully we'll have a late summer. Um, but also you could use these all the way through the year. So I think it's a very, very clever and idea. For, and for any occasion, mm, florals definitely. never, ever go out of fashion. And that is the thing with Hartford. They always bring us collections that are they're timeless. Yes. They're never going to go out of fashion. You can use them all year round. And as I say, the colours are gorgeous. You've got your pinks in there. You've got those bright oranges. I mean, look at the contrast. Gorgeous, isn't it? But beautiful, beautiful papers. Angelica from the design team, who designs the papers, I think does an amazing job because the script behind it, you've got these flowers that are just showing there very faintly in the background. But then she's got some rich colours in there as well. Where was I? Where's that rich one gone? That, that one there. I mean, just look at the richness in there. The dye there you will recognise as one of the majestic dyes. So everything coordinates, Janice. Yeah, you don't does. have to think about it. Then you've got those back pages, all of those tags. Make gifts with them. Use them to put on gifts. Use them to put on the front of your card. But you can stamp onto this as well. You can heat emboss onto it. Acid and lignant wow. free as well, which is really, really important. It certainly is. Uh, and that's why I think so many of you are going for a second 
pad and they're available at 17.99 i've got some storage to tell you about um oh we're approaching limited stock love this um it first of all it just looks fantastic if you're going to pop this onto your bookshelves you can see there on the spine as well so instantly you know that that's filled with your heartfelt creations to inspire you you've even got a tab at the top so you can carry it over to the table wherever you are crafting you've got the magnets on the side so it's going to stay shut and inside you have got your ring binders and this is where you put your uh, stamps and you can put your dies if you don't have the holes already in there you can punch them in and we also have some separate inlays that you can buy as well but we're limited stock I think people are going for more than one of those because if I put this back on the shelf uh, you can see it all there if you have two or three at the side how lovely are they going to look and we did we haven't got two or three actually I know um, but we did mention if I just bring this over where was the card that the we had the bigger flower on was it the orange one we were showing was it that one yes it was that one uh, we've got these as set dressing here in the studio due to our birthday and our event but the zi this isn't the zinnia it's a gerbera it's a gerbera mm. um, but that's a zinnia but you can see quite similar so think about that using your foam using your papers why don't you get some wire that you can then tape over and you can make flowers just like we have here at Hochanda and you could have them maybe I was going to say littered around your house but that sounds wrong don't litter um, <laughs> but you can have them I think they're too pretty to be litter they anyway are, of course they are um, but you can have them together like that now I've got another storage binder because look when they're together Look how fabulous they look, don't they? Aren't they great, even side by side like that? It's a work of art in itself. We are limited stock, so if you do want to go for your storage folder, even more than one, uh, it's well worth popping them into your basket. That looks quite actually. That looks quite. I could put a little shoe beside there as well. Now that tells a tale, doesn't it? Somebody that came in late, did a bit of crafting. And then had a flower. Uh, there you go. Uh, right, so your one day special. Uh, if you want to get hold of that, we'll pop the details on the screen as we head over to Nikki and have some demonstrations for you. Right, Nikki, what we're we looking at first? Right, so we're going to start off with obviously making a zinnia flower. But before I start, if you didn't watch any of the earlier shows, I will just show you a few that I've already made. They're so different, okay. aren't they? Each so time different. You make this them. one's very similar but it hasn't got the stamens in the middle. So the stamens in here are the ones that you are going to get as your free birthday gift. Great. But then something completely different. Now we've one. had a question from Tracy. She would like to know what is the GSM of the paper pad? And what paper is best to Ooh, make questions flowers? There. Right, Ooh, so great questions, thank lovely you. Lovely questions, thank you. Um, so the paper pad is £80 in US because that's they do it in pounds. Now, I do believe it's about 161 or 63 GSM. Okay. Okay, but we could do a little bit of research just to make sure that I'm correct on that one. And as for the paper, I actually use Heartfelt Creations special flower shaping paper that we have had on the shows before. That is um, specially made, uh, the, it's exactly, that they've designed it so that it will go through your moulds, it will take the shaping, it will take the spritzing of water and it takes the colour really well. However, if you haven't got that or you can't get hold of it, I would probably say go for something around 230 to 240 GSM. Give it a go. Not all paper is the same. Sometimes I find the cheaper is the better but sometimes it doesn't always take the color correctly so uh, it's just having a little play really with what you've got in your craft room perfect so yes yeah so back on to my zinnia yeah let's get right zinnia, so yes yeah, so this was the um last zinnia that i made so i did this completely different shaping so i shaped it the other way up oh that's lovely it's pretty isn't it so pretty so I'm not going to layer this one up as much as I have done with the others. Do you know what I like about these flowers? They're substantial. They are. There's I mean, a lot to them, but they're easy to make. Yes. And you can make just little blossoms look just by using two of the smaller ones. So if you need to oh. have a, what I call a fill-in flower, yeah. 
you can just use the smaller blossoms. You can make buds with these as well, which hopefully I'll have chance to show you as well. If I stop talking and carry on and get on with it now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going just to, to clarify at home, I've said nothing to Nikki. <laughs> Janice has said nothing, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm telling not, myself. And our, and our producer's not said anything. No one said anything. I didn't anything. The or anything That's like me that. telling myself, if you get on with it, Nikki, you might be able to show them how to make a bud. So I've coloured in. You don't really need to colour that in because when you layer the flower up, the only one you're going to see is that centre one. But it's something that I do and I did on all probably 90 flowers that I've made. So I'm going in with my daubers, which we do have on the show. Yes, these proved to be popular in the earlier show. That's why they're limited stock now. So if this is the first time you've seen them, there's the details on your screen, £13.99. You get 12 and they all stack. And, and they stack, you've got precision with them. And what I like about them is you've got basically full control over what you're doing. I can see exactly there, if you look where I'm going. Oh, we had a bit of music okay. then. That was That's lovely. I had to look up at the monitor then. Yeah. Because I thought, oh, if they take me out of shot and we've got some kind no, of... It was, just, it was just a little bit of music as you were Beautiful explaining music. the daubers. Oh. It was lovely. <laughs> So, yeah, so quick, but it was lovely. What I tend to do is when I'm filling in an area like this, I go in a circular motion. That's to get my colour down. But gently, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. I'm just gently going over it. I always say to people, think about it as putting your foundation on. You're not going to rub hard and, and go silly. You're going to put it on gently. <laughs> and that is how I treat my daubers. <laughs> I like your ink pads. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I've got lots of different colours in these. And I don't know whether I've seen anything like this on a chander, to be fair. I don't, I don't think I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. But it's got every colour of the yellow spectrum. Well, not every colour, obviously, but um, it's got all your yellow spectrum in there. I've got purples and I've got a pink one and I've got a green one. So, so for you. <laughs> that's it. I've added my yellow and now I'm going to go in. Now I am going to change my dauber, but you can use the same dauber because you can just turn it round. And I'm going to add. Yes, you've got three points, haven't you? Orange. Of there, course. look. But I'm taking some of it off. I don't want it too dark because I can add, but I can't take away. And I think my orange is probably running out. So we'll go into that next one. That's better. So I'm just lifting as I bring my dauber on the tip, and that just allows me to get enough colour on there, but it's blending as I take that through. It just gives it a really, really nice effect, doesn't it? It does. And the thing is, I know a lot lot of people like to use their watercoloured pencils, their pens, their alcohol markers, but this is so much quicker. And you're getting a lovely, lovely effect. It's really nice that you've already got the shading on there from the stamp as well. Yes, you've got all the detail there that you need. And then you can just add colour. And did you say you stamped these out or cut them from the papers? You've stamped these, haven't you? These are stamped, yes. Yeah, so what, what ink have you yes. used on the stamps? Right, so... Because normally, you know, it's, it's black or dark... But Grey. for my flowers, I've used archival inks and I've used an orange. Then oh. I've done some in a really deep fuchsia pink and then I did some in a really nice deep purple. So would you say that the colour of the flower that you're going for denotes the colour of stamp that you, uh, ink that you're going to use for your stamp? Yes, but th mm. like with the orange, you could do red flowers. You could use the, them on green. So you can swap and change the colours, but yeah. it means that I've got some flowers to go to. I love that. They are rich pink, aren't they? They are absolutely beautiful. That's, that's a really good tip, actually. So whatever colour you want the flower to be, mm. try and stamp it out in that yes, colour first. Yes, and or a little don't be afraid. Shade. So say, for example... This is a purple one that I did, okay? So I know I used, I think it was anyway, not 100% sure, I think actually this was. So I've changed that. Deep purple archival ink. But you can still take your ink, so I'll take a bit of lilac, but you can still add that same colour that you stamped it in without losing that stamp design look. 
Can you oh, see? Oh, I see, yep. And that's exactly the same colour as I stamped it in. That's, that, that's effective. I like so that. So it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, just because you stamp it in that colour doesn't mean you can't ink it. I wouldn't ink the whole thing, but then having said that, you could. You could still get that lovely effect look because you're not hiding. Because when you're using the daubers, you're just gliding over yeah. the paper and adding that colour. I like that. Okay, so that's that one. Right, so I've got my flowers. But I'm own whereas before I was doing it in twos. So I did two, two, and I've made that really luxurious flower there. With this one, I'm going to go with that one. So I could probably get two lots of flowers out of this. And I'm just going to go and layer it up in ones. Singles, even. <laughs> ones. <laughs> it worked for me. It, it, it you, worked you, for me. You knew where I was going, didn't you? Then I'm taking my flower shaping tool and I'm going to, do you know, I might... Can you just explain to people at home this. whilst you're doing that, <laughs> why, why you were doing that on right, your hand? Right, because it picks up the oils off of your skin, which means that when I shape my flower, it glides better on that paper. You can also use something like a dorso oil. Could you use like a wax candle? So where candle? would you get dorso oil? Well, um, we, I think we've got some dorso oil on our website. Oh, right. For clarity. Okay. Um, you know, in the current climate of what we're going through at the moment, it might be an idea to use another oil rather than your skin oil. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward silence. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's my own skin. Of course it is. <laughs> and you don't have to touch my flower after. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Just to clarify. But I don't have any dorso oil, but I will try that because I think okay. that sounds a good idea. You always come up with some good ideas. Well, that's what I'm here for. So I'm just going around the tip look and just coming down the edges. So I'm doing this one slightly different. Actually, I've got another idea that's a good idea. How about some scented oil? Oh, on the flowers. and then that would make. Oh, we'll yeah. try that one as well. That would be I lovely. I have actually made a card before and you, and dotted a few essen, um, uh, uh, lavender essential oils, yeah. essential oils on. But I've never thought about trying that. I wonder how long the fragrance would last for. Mm. It would last for a while if it's oil. I would have thought so. So I'm just going in exactly the same. So all faced images faced up. Just going around that tip on this one. Now we do have the, the shaping kit on the show. Your details have changed for that. Twenty nine ninety nine. Remember, Freedom members no P and P to pay on anything. And if you want to become a Freedom member, we've reduced the cost of Freedom membership. That's for everyone, even for existing members. Uh, nine three nine three eight five is your item number, and you get ten interchangeable tips, and they're magnetic, aren't they? They are so they all fit. magnetic. Yes, you've got all different sizes, and that's good because. That means whatever you're shaping, whatever flower, you can depend that you have got the right tool in that kit. And you get your mat there as well, which is really, really important. Just don't craft too close to the fridge. Well, your tool will get stuck on the fridge. <laughs> oh, it's magnetic. magnetic. <laughs> Depending on what your fridge is made of, of course. Our fridge is all made of the same thing, really, though. Um... Well, it depends on the coating, depends oh, if right. they're integrated, you've got a covered door on the front. I mean, oh, yeah. how much do you want to test me on it? <laughs> just so, I'm just doing all the petals. I do apologise because I, normally I do have a few already done, but I changed what I was doing for my first demo. So, just going around and you can see I am putting quite a bit of pressure on there. And, and what then, size ball tool are you using? I think this is... Is it the biggest ball in the box? I know. It's actually 8mm. Oh. Right. I'm going to open it up and just and check. We were saying, yes, uh, it's we, the 8mm. We were saying earlier, if you're using a small flower, you can still use the larger tool. Yes. And if you're... If you've got a large flower, you could use a smaller tool. It's just depending it just on the effect. It just gives you a completely different effect. Yeah. Totally. So, with this one, I'm just going in like that. And then I'm going to shape this even more by bringing it to a point. And this is done using my fingers. 
great technique, <laughs> but it works. One thing I should have done though was coloured the back. I did uh, on that one, but didn't on this one. Okay, so just bring in each petal. And you can see how firm these flowers are. Firm but fair. They are. And you can spritz them with water as well. I didn't spritz, did I? I forgot to spritz my flowers when I was flower shaping them, but you can use water to spritz. So this one, I think, already is looking good. And uh, while she's doing that, I'm just trying to balance this oh. red liner tape there you go seven day saver excellent deal different sizes for your red liner tape um and this is a deal uh which is a special seven day saver for our birthday i'll just i'll just go down like that so you don't see me uh six one two two zero six is your item number you get 24 rolls 13.99 excellent value for money it really is um now that works out to be how many rolls do we get 24 rolls divided by what's well, it 50p each 58 pence per piece, uh, which is remarkable. They will be individually wrapped for you as well, because you do know that uh, red liner tape can stick to one another, but we've got them out here just on display to show you. But it gives you a chance to get your red liner tape, so you can do your construction boxes with these, um, stick your backing papers and your cardstock together. It's absolutely superb. You get your different sizes as well. So you get your 3 mil, your 6 mil, your 9 mil, and your 8, no, you don't, you get 8 reels, sorry, um, and you're saving, oh, look, I'm just a mouth. Uh, and then you're saving six pounds, so it's 13 pounds <laughs> and 99 pence. Uh, right, those prices do go back up tomorrow at 6 p.m. So do make sure you get your seven day saver in mm. time for that. Right, uh, let's go back to Nikki. Thank you. Right, so I've got my stamen. Oh, that one's just broken off, so I'm going to take another one. So these are the stamens that you will get free if you buy the, anything in the show, isn't it? Yes, if you buy anything, it's yes. part of the birthday, worth £15.99. Now, do we know how many are in there? Because there's a lot. Did we... Did we I'm yes, trying, I think in one cluster yes. of colour, there is around 60. Wow. And, and you're, you're getting, getting 10 colours. That's an incredible free gift, isn't it? Isn't it, it really is. And if you've never used stamens before, it's going to change everything for you, isn't it? Oh, when you, when you use them, it completely transforms your flower. So I'm just doing exactly the same with that smaller one. And then at this stage, this is where I would put my stamens on. So I'm taking a pokey tool, and on just that small one, I'm going to make a hole. Just make it big enough to get those stamens in. And then I'm going to trim. Now, what colour should we go for? Should we go for yellow, I think, on that one? So what I've done is I've just twisted those three together, look, and just gone down just about an inch. And then that's going in there. You get a whole variety of colours. You get, get purple, lots, red, pink, coral, orange, uh, blue, like a marine, an aqua, green... Absolutely stunning. And then a vibrant pinky orange. Lovely colours, aren't they? Mm. Every season. Sorted. Yeah. yeah. You know, we were talking about making a bud. Yes. Well, that's how I would make a bud. So I'd go for that smaller one. And then I would glue all of that together quite tight like that. Aww. But then you could go for a larger bud if you wanted. So you could even make this one into a bud look. The great thing is you can make buds you all just, year round, not just in May. Not just in May. No. <laughs> Any time of the year. And there's another one there, look. And then what you could do is to finish that off, put an outer edge on, but in green, pop that round so that would be like the sepal of the flower. The what of the flower? The sepal. Is that the green leaf? Yes, underneath? behind. We, are, we yes, were talking about that last sepal. week on the rose. S-E-P-A-L, I do that believe. That means nothing to me, I can't spell. Or it could be S-A-P-E-L. means nothing to me, I can't spell. <laughs> she can't sepal. spell. Sepal. 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 I remember that. Yes. Sepal. Thank you. And they can be pretty too because they are actually part of the flower. But yes, that's how you can create buds. Really easy. So now I'm going to start layering my flower up. So this one, I'm actually laying the petals to correspond with each other. 
Whereas on the other ones, I did the petals so they were in between. Got you. Okay. Lift them up. And then for this little one here, I'm just going to trim that wire off so it's just poking out slightly. And normally I would wait for that to dry so I know that them stamens aren't going anywhere. But rather than wait, we will pop that on. I think zinnias stay with us until the first frost. Oh, do they? Mm, I think so. I think so. Wow. They are, a, like dahlias, a very long blooming flower, which is lovely. But we do have some nice um, sunshine at the moment. Go. So good? if I just lay down some of the Don't flowers, lay down, just lay down my, my flowers oh, that okay. I've made. All different, all different colours. And I've even got a little tiny blossom there, all with that same dye. Wow, look how different they look. Or, or with the same, the, so the, do the smaller ones come from the, the large stem? Right, so the large, yes, so you, with the large one you're getting... Let me pass you the stamps okay, just so you brilliant. can show yes. at home. So you've got this one which, they're calling the large, but you've also got those smaller ones in there as well. Can't you? So from the same stamp set? So the same yeah. stamp set, and you're getting the corresponding dye. But then you've also got your ladybird on there as well. And then oh, is that what this that is? one, again, another ladybird, but these are slightly smaller. And you've got three different sizes on this one. Do you know something, Nikki? I think this is my favourite Heartfelt Creations um, collection. Because um, of that flower, because of the versatility of that flower. how real They all look realistic. But this one's just something about this one that's lovely. I actually was looking at this when I was making it. And we did bring a sunflower stamp and die out, going back about four, maybe five years ago. Mm. But I think you could make that into a sunflower. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, there could be part of mm. the same family. I'm just thinking, like the flowers that like we've the got gerbers. here on the, mm -hmm. on the set. Again, I know I keep saying this, but how expensive is it now to make faux flowers? And they do add a lovely addition to your home. If you're going to put them in a vase, you could make those beautiful flowers, you know, colour the back, make them out of foam, and you could buy some wire like this, very cost-effective, and just tape around it, maybe yes. with some of your washi tape. Or, or some flor flor yeah. florist tape. Even just one singular flower sometimes in a little vase or mm. a little pot looks yes. a really nice table dressing or, you know, at the side of your table. Beautiful. Um, let me show you some samples of what you can create with that lovely collection. First of all, this is your inspiration. You'll get the instructions in the sheet to show you how to make this. Oh, that's like a tongue twister. Good job I got that right. Um, and it's a beautiful card. You can see how that zinnia just sits proud of the card. Of course, you can use different colours inspired by your Heartfelt Creations um, colours in the paper pads. I love this orange and the green. I really, really do. But think beyond cards. Think about maybe some wall decoration. There you go. This is just flying in to see you, but wait till I turn it around double-sided that's stunning and beautiful and this was made at launch it was six o'clock last night if you missed it I know a lot of people have messaged me and asked how I made it but you can watch the repeat show from the, it was six o'clock and I think it was about half past six when I actually did demo this one but basically all it is and I think I've put it in my bag now already I don't know what I've done with it let me just show you very quickly all it was, I made the template myself out of a piece of card. I drew half the butterfly and to make sure it was all the same, I then just doubled the paper and drew round it. And that's my template and I can make as many that's as clever. I like now. Yeah. And then what I did was cut the paper from the paper pad and then stuck each side onto white cardstock, 230 GSM, and then stuck them back to back. Now, I really like the idea of these little tabs at the back, so it stands up. So it stands up, like yes. a little stand. It's very good, isn't it? Um, so, we've got wall decoration. Then let's talk about gift boxes, because the flowers will look lovely mm -hmm. on gift box, made from the papers. I remember we said we've got lots of different elements in the papers. This is a band from one of the papers, not a musical band, um, but a band that goes on... Band? Is that the right word to use? Yes. Yeah, I guess yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, and then inside, you've got the little notelets made from the paper. We've got tags in here as well, made from the Heartfelt Creations. You've got your tags to cut out. Very, very simple and easy to do that. Ooh. 
and there you go so you can see they're double sided so the back's already sorted for you isn't that brilliant so you could make and create this this could be one of your inspirations when you get them home a lovely gift for somebody this Christmas time or a gift for somebody just to tell them you're thinking of them uh, lovely stepper cards as well uh, that is just sensational isn't it it really really that is, is. A gift and a card all in one yes it is and it's something that um, you know somebody will have and they will keep and maybe keep out on their mantelpiece as well because it's just so beautiful uh, you could have an inspiration on there so not just a card an inspiration that you glance at uh, every day which would be lovely lovely colors in there um, here's another similar card but it's in the green and the coral color the orange which is gorgeous again used with the papers this is why you might want to go for an extra pad 17.99 because when you've used up your pad um, in your one day special you'll probably want to do some more now isn't that lovely and a nice color contrast to that as well with your zinnia just there and then the cottage from the papers right there now those tags you could use as gift tags you could put into a notebook booklet you could use in your scrapbooks and you can also put onto a card like this one which is really pretty and we've got the foliage at the side this one is a lovely gorgeous design they're stuck on there but you could if you wanted to have them so people could take them out you could have like different suggestions inspirations or maybe a gift for someone you can make the flowers big you can make them small and you can make that impact as well again just turning that to the side see all the how those elements stick out love that 59.95 you're saving 21 pounds for your one day special and it gives you a chance to divide the cost into two for 29.98 we'll send everything out for you on the 9th of september it comes to you from america that's why and i believe it was did we launch it here yesterday Nikki? we did yes i think we you did. may have seen some sneaky peeks from the design team over the last few days yeah which um, just to entice everybody but it doesn't launch over in America or worldwide until next Wednesday well there you go so purchase yours today will dispatch on the 9th of September and the extra paper pad if you buy that now add it to your one day special then it's only going to be eight pounds today and then eight pounds in a month's time because we'll divide the cost of that into two many of you going for an extra paper pad uh, the details on your screen, 971067. Uh, right, we're going to head back to Nikki in a moment, but let's tell you about the storage panels we've got available for you. Now, these are magnetic, so you can put your dies out of the packs and stick them on there, uh, which is great. Oh, you, you know where your dies are. Um, are they double-sided? I think they are double-sided magnetic. Or is it stamps on one side, dies on yes, the other? Yes, yes, so one stamps side's on one magnetic. Side, one side's magnetic. So that's brilliant, isn't it? That will go with your storage if you manage to get a hold of that. And they're 12 99 so it's a great price. Now, we do have just the stamps. 9 99 um, these are the to store your stamps on, should I say. Um, so with your mount from your red rubber stamps, it will just simply... It won't stick permanently, it will just adhere itself. It will cling. That's a good word. Took me a while to get there, but I got there. Uh, 999-021-997 is your item number. Now, the storage binder, oh, it's gone and sold out, everyone. So we'll just tease you there for a while and then show you it's sold out. Sorry about that. Um, right, so we're going to head back to Nikki. Um, oh, your knees are good, Nikki. They are, aren't they? Yeah, I just she was bouncing and bobbing up and down there without... <laughs> Any helping up at all? So, Nikki, since you've bounced back up again. I've bounced back up, <laughs> and I'm going at? to show you how to make a crisscross card with a belly band on using all of the papers from the... Um, I was going to say from the design team, from the paper pad and some decorative dies. And if you open it up, you bring it down. This is a nice one, I always think, for a wedding or something nice because... You can put a tag Aww. in there or a gift card. It's very elegant. Or money. You could put photo in there of the happy couple. Aww. So I'm going to show you how to make that. So to make the actual card itself, I've obviously got, um, I think this is around six and a half by six and a half. But I just wanted to show you, because I know there's a lot of crafters out there that are new to crafting. And sometimes we kind of forget you and we think everyone knows how to put things together so I'll show you how I do it so what I do is I stick that and glue that back to back but what I do is I tend to trim off a little bit there so that will then come just inside there and that 
gives me a little bit more room so it actually closes. And then what I do is I t go through my cutter and I cut diagonally diff the opposite diagonal down each side and that will give you your crisscross card like that. Really easy and simple, Very but for good. those out there that are new to crafting, you know, we've all been there, we've all been beginners, and we all think everything, yeah. you know, is very difficult, but it really isn't. It's very easy to create. So then I've already cut my papers. So we'll decorate the card first. So again, I've cut this down. So this is, I think it is one of these six by six panels, but I've actually cut it down because what you don't want to do is glue it over or too close to the score line else you'll have trouble closing it okay so glue that down first double-sided i know and sometimes it's very hard to choose which side you're going to use but you have got two of each design in the paper pad you could use your red lining tape for that you could yeah, yeah i'm not very i'm I, I like my glue, but I always use my red liner tape when I'm making boxes or anything three-dimensional. Good for construction, yeah. Very good for construction. So then I've got my six-by-six six panel, which I've cut down slightly, so I'm giving myself that nice pink frame. And I'm just going to glue that here, and it goes that way up. So as I say, I've already added my pearls onto this. And then I'm going to add a decorative die. So this is one of the pocket dies that we launched oh, probably two and a half years ago. Oh, is that your thinking voice? Uh, yeah, there? that's my <laughs> thinking voice there because I sometimes lose track of time and I think, oh, it wasn't that long ago, but I'm sure it was two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. I think it was a Black Friday. Two and a half years ago is when I started here at uh, Agenda. Oh, was it? Uh, so yeah, you... that was my thinking noise. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been here about three. So oh, I've been here about the same time. Yeah, then. about the same time. Oh. So just glued that down, and that gives me that pocket there. It's not going to glue down very well. Cause I... And Red then... Red tape would sort uh, that. It, w <laughs> it would. Have you got some for me? No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, we've got some available. I'll with my saver. Glue. Maybe I should order some. I think you should. I'm just adding a decorative die to the top of my panel. So this is one of the panels from the paper pad. Add some glue. Yeah, just make sure that's level. By the way, is it still a bank holiday today? It, you well, you did, did say, say earlier, this, didn't you? years ago when I'm you were sure at school. I'm sure it used to be a two-day bank holiday because we used to have the Leicester City show on a Monday and a Tuesday. I don't know, I might be wrong. Not usually wrong, but I, I think it might be. People are back at work because I think people have just gone... They are, and schools uh, are back today enough. as well. Yes. So. Do you remember going back to school for the first time oh. with your pencil case? Yes, your always had a new pencil case, a new, a new bag. Yes, well, some of us did, I didn't. But New pencils. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I remember them well. So there's my tag that's going to sit in there. And then I'm going to decorate the inside. So I've cut this out of a 12 by, I'm sorry, a 6 by 6 panel from the paper pad. Doesn't matter which way I put this because it's just a pretty trellis design. Apparently the next bank holiday is Christmas Day. Yes, this is the last bank holiday before well, Christmas. Well, it was, because apparently wow. it was just yesterday, not today. Wow. Where has this year gone, Janice? Pardon? Where has this year gone? Well, how long have you gone? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a whole story to tell you about this year. Uh, well, <sighs> I think it's a year that no one is going to forget. No, it's taught us a lot, though. It's taught us a lot, and you know... It's actually given me more love for crafting and because without oh. the crafting, to be honest, this last six months, I would have gone crazy. Do you know, I've got into crafting more as well this year. Yes, I've seen a lot of your Facebook lives. Have you? Yes, yes, I've, I've watched them. You've Out been of ten, what would you give me if you were my teacher? Definitely nine and a half. Would you? Yeah, oh, definitely. You. I th thought they were brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. 
So. But, you know, I've still got improvement to get to Yes, well, there's always room for improvement in anything that we do. Is there? Oh. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. <laughs> Unless your name's Janice and she's just perfect. Well, I didn't say that, Nikki. You I know, did. I just said it. Jane, if you're home listening, take heed. <laughs> <laughs> so this I'm is kidding. the outer panels. I'm far from perfect. Outer panels going on now. And I've left, as you can see, a nice white edge. Put my pearls on already so you can see the finished effect. It's, do you know what's nice as well? All the different designs that you've got on the papers that you've used and if you didn't have those, if you were stamping up, I know you guys are creative at home of course, but to have all those, of those different designs that you can just bring together, everything you probably works wouldn't do together, that doesn't yourself, it? would you? No. Everything that you're putting on here works well together. Apart from, if please do not look too closely because I've just noticed it's got a script on it and it's upside down. Oh, but don't never worry mind. About that. It's pretty. Yes. And that's all that matters. So I'm far from perfect, aren't I? I've always said you were. So though. that's my card. It's done. It's lovely. And then I'm making a belly bar. So to create the belly bar, what I did was I took some white cardstock, measured around, and I did have to join it so that it fits quite snugly around my card and then I covered it in pink cardstock from the paper pad and then joined it securely so I've got my um we call it a belly bar is there any other name that belly, belly band? band and then I've got well, my it's, it's it's just a band isn't it's it because there's no belly on your band. card and then I'm taking the same decorative die that was in the paper I'm um, sorry inside the card and gluing that on the front at the top and then another one just to go where, down the bottom. Where, where's that from? Is that just a die that you've got? This, yes, so this is one from, I think we launched these when we we brought out the 12 by 12 uh, Insta albums. Yeah. I think these are from that. But any decorative die will look pretty and the reason I wanted to have a decorative die is because when I put my flowers on and my leaves, I needed something to, so that I can add quite a few. Okay, so I'm just going to... Do you know what? That'd look nice here. on, um, like a headband. It would, wouldn't it? Or a brooch. A little princess headband. Yeah. Um, our producer, Emily, has got a name for the belly bar. Ooh. And it's a decorative wrap. Oh, I like that one. That's better than belly bar. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that one. Did you find that out yourself, Emily? Was it from your own head or did you have a suggestion from a viewer? Earth changing. <laughs> oh, search engine. Sorry, my meds get huddled. I mean, my, my words get huddled, muddled up in my head. <laughs> God, speak. So now I'm just layering my flowers up. <laughs> And what I want to do is just lift them up slightly, okay, making sure I don't glue them to the other side. And I've got one more there. I always seem to run out of glue on this last demo. There we go. And that one is going to go there. So this is why I wanted to add those decorative dies, not just to make it look pretty, yeah. but it means that I can expand my floral display oh, that is so lovely and then i've got some more leaves i mean that could go around a decorative candle <gasps> it, it could be a decorative bracelet it could go onto serviettes it, could, it would be yes. big but you could make a smaller one yeah definitely definitely there's so much scope with this flower die and stamp i absolutely love it i know you guys love it at home as well and i think it goes beyond the heartfelt creations paper pad it goes beyond card making it does it can do so yes. much for you it's just such a lovely lovely flower and i'm going to add a flower there so these are using the smallest of those petals there and one there. Just bring them in slightly. And there you have a belly band. 
that will. Decorative bar. Or decorative bar, yes. I'll remember that one. Sorry, decorative, oh, decorative wrap. wrap. Well, I, pr I prefer decorative bar. And that will fit over your card. That is beautiful. Like that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. You can watch all these shows, by the way, again. They will be available on Rewind for you. Um, so you can craft along with Nikki. They're available for 60 days. We're dispatching your Heartfelt Creations One Day Special and any of the other items from Heartfelt Creations on the 9th of September. So you will get all your goodies in time and you'll still have time to watch our lovely Nikki and the demonstrations. This is your One Day Special, your 12 by 12 papers. You can see all the elements that you're getting in there. They're double-sided. If you want to get an extra pad, you're more than welcome to do so. So you can add that to your one day special flexi buy. Uh, we'll put the details for that at the bottom of the screen. You're also getting your stamps and your die, so you can cut out the stamps perfectly. But if you want to use the stamps on their own, and I don't think we've got any samples that, at the moment that just use the stamp on their own, but you can do because it would look beautiful just stamped. Yes, you can create backgrounds. Over. Yeah, beautiful definitely. backgrounds with them. So lots and lots of scope to your one day special and you can see here with these beautiful papers that are used to give, oh it's upside down, sorry, I'll start again, these beautiful papers that are used uh, in the background. So you don't need to think about making your backgrounds, concentrate on your flowers. You could multi-cut your flowers out so you've got them there ready to go in various different colours and if you stamp them in the same colour that you're going to colour, um, they're going to look absolutely outstanding. Um, different kinds of styles of cards, beautiful decorative decorations for your home and all you have to do is get your one day special in your basket and then check on out. Nikki, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, it's been lovely As and always. it's gone so fast again. I know, it just whizzes by. Uh, you're back at four o'clock. I am, last call. Last, last chance. Call. Buy, last chance, but uh, your one day special, the price goes back up at six o'clock tonight. So people do buy in between the hours, make those decisions and check out your baskets. Thanks to Nikki. We'll see Nikki again at four o'clock. But we do have so much more for you here on Chanda as we go live until 10 p.m. tonight. Right, it's party time with Pink Frog now. Oh, what wonderfully inspirational show that is. An ironing celebration after that. If you've not run out of steam and cardio, bring the confetti later on. Well, hello, everybody. So I've got another opportunity to introduce you to one of our fantastic seven-day savers. You can see all of them on our website. Have a look at this. This is your Oakwood and Archer adhesive foam tape collection. You are getting 36 in total, 60 meters worth of foam tape. Look, the fact is, this is an absolute core essential for any crafter. Your matting, your layering, create shaker cards. You don't need me to tell you how often you do use your foam tape. So if you want to stock up at a great price, take advantage of the saving there. Eight pounds and 98 pence saving is part of our seven day savers. Your item number is 337905. Now we are celebrating Ho Chanda's fifth birthday and I really hope you are enjoying the festivities. Uh, don't forget Get, if you make a purchase on a live show, you are eligible for a free gift and you can see the full terms and conditions on our website. Also, have a look on the website at the other seven day savers because there are some utter bargains to be had. So go check them out. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. 
Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, a very good afternoon to you all out there. Now, this is the second hour for Pink Frog today, and of course, we've got the wonderful Hazel with us. So, right at the top of the show, I'm going to say good afternoon, Hazel. Uh, good afternoon have to we you. Worked together yet? Never. We Never. haven't, have no, we? No, we've we, met. Yes. We've met a number of times, but I, I did think that earlier. Mm. I can't remember presenting a show. No, I'm looking forward to it. So am I. So am I. Now, a very, very busy hour earlier on as well. That's what we had. In fact, before we go any further as well, this, of course, is the birthday event, and we have a free gift for you. Now, I know Janice loves showing you this, and I'm going to show you as well. I'm not, I'm not going to keep flicking through it, though. This is your gold paper, your gold ice paper, or your ice gold paper. Now, this is beautiful. It really is. And I can say that because I've used this myself many times. You've got 120 sheets here. It's no. 120 GSM. 50 sheets of it, sorry. <laughs> and, of course, this prints beautifully, Hazel, doesn't it, does it as print. well, if you want to you, use it for printing? You can have it for your inserts, for your cards, but you can also put all the inks onto it. It'll take it. Yeah, it, it does. It's sturdy enough, so, yeah. So 50 sheets, 120 GSM, that's your birthday gift from Pink Frog, of course. How do you get it? You just make a purchase from the show, of course. Let's have a look at the first bundle we've got for you here. Now, this has been very, very busy from the word go. It did sell out. It's back on extended delivery from the 7th of September. Now, over half of the extended stock has already gone. So let's have a look at this because you've got different GSMs here as well. So you've got your Super Smooth, that's your white, 300 GSM. And then you've also got the true black in there, and it really is a true black. That is a slightly different GSM, that's 280, but both really, really good weights. And of course, I'm sure Hazel by now, everybody watching the shows knows that so many of the guests here use Pink Frog yep, cardstock. They do. We've sold tons of it, great reviews on it. Absolutely perfect for your crafting needs. It is, and with this being the new size, it's actually three millimeters bigger than A4. It oh. doesn't sound a lot, but it's massive for us because you're going to get your instruction sheet and it's going to be um, listed down. You're going to have 10 different folds on there for you to easily follow. But because it's 30 centimeters, 
it gives you the equal and it gives you the freedom to explore all the different folds do you know, which I is do what we like want that. and also with 30 centimeters if you've got those scoreboards you've got that line you've already there without half, moving yeah, either side you haven't got a mess why didn't they do that in the first oh, place i don't know i have absolutely <laughs> no idea it's one of those things that's always annoyed me well if you want to go for this bundle take advantage despite the delayed dispatch which isn't long at all we are so busy so ship from monday item number five three nine six four seven let's move down there we've got lots Lots and lots. Now, if you haven't spotted the theme already, <laughs> why not? Let's have a look what we've got next. You will spot it now. Look at these. This is your A3 card stock. Now, this also sold out. It's back on extended delivery from the 7th of September again. Now, you've got your white super smooth yet again. That's 300 GSM. The true black, as in the previous bundle, at 280 GSM. And you've got the true red here. That is 290 GSM. Now, because they're, they're all very similar, so there is a difference, but do you know what? It doesn't really make a difference, does it? No, because they all good, work good together weights. beautifully. They're all great for construction, for inking, for paints. Whatever you want to do to them, you can, and it's just nice. Our theme on the set is red, black, and white, and it looks really classy, and I love it. it but does. obviously, standalone, use them on their own, they're going to look beautiful too. They so. certainly are. Well, if you want to take advantage of this bundle, another great price for you £27.98, and you've got 20 sheets of each. Of course, if you want to cut into those in any which way, you certainly can do 861033. Always nice to have those bigger pieces mm. to start with, it really opens up the options. Right now, this is nice because you've got an A6 mixed box and it will arrive in a box for you as well so do you know you've got various different um types of card here you've got the white there you've got the true black again we've got the uh, rainbow mirror in there and we've got watercolor which i've got to say hazel the yeah. watercolor card from pink frog i know is amazing it is amazing and i love that size it's just they're just grab aren't they, are, they? Aren't whether they? you're making a card whether you've got your 15 by 42s out yeah. you're doing a gatefold and you want a mat and layer for each side Definitely. you haven't got to cut into your big sheets of cards and that's what we're aiming for yes, trying to make perfect. it easy and another great price for you as well saving on this one look at that saving 21 pounds off 29 pounds and 97 pence is the price there now approximately you've got 605 sheets then there might be one or two more of one than the other so no set sort of so set of figures on each yeah. one but you're going to get approximately that amount um just a fantastic buy isn't it zero four five two nine six there we are now half the stock has gone on this one do you know Kay's in the building today as well and Kay's been using the watercolor and i believe the super smooth as well earlier on as well so watch out for Kay. but always we endorse pink frog because so many guests use it here there we go. So, right, when it comes to watercolour, it, it is a very, very popular card from Pink Frog. And you can do more with it than just watercolour as well. As we can see here with some samples now, this bundle, we've got a wonderful card collection for you. This is 280 GSM, but we've got various different sizes for you. So you can see there's the 15 centimetres by 30 centimetres. There's your 12 inch by 12 inch. Or if we convert that, that's 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. You've got your A5 and your A4. In fact, there's 170 sheets. Now, as a non-Freedom member, you've got a saving of £13. But look at this, Freedom members, £17.80. That's all it's going to be. If we break that, break that down, yeah, that's a saving for you there, £17.18. Think about the price of Freedom now. It's come down a pound to five ninety seven. Wow. Do you know, well worth it. Just to give it a try, if you've not joined already, we can break that down for you as well. We've got two payments of twenty one pounds and fifty nine pence. Item number eight nine zero nine nine eight. Now, I think we're going to be demonstrating with these, are we, Hazel? We will be toward the end of the hour. But can I just add, with any of the big bundles that you're coming up to, you'll get a full set of instructions. Oh, yes, of course. So there's about seven or eight, and then new, that we've got new additional items on there. Oh, so, wonderful. for instance, on the 20 before, it says two new folds. They're listed on the new, the new print. Very, very okay. generous indeed. Now, when it comes to the watercolour, though, have you ever thought about making your gift bags? It's not just for your cards and your paintings, of course. You can do more with it. That is very colourful. It is. I, that's four colours layered up on there. So one colour at a time, heat setting it and, and moving on. But look how it's kept its body and its shape. It certainly it's has. It's not buckled. It, no. it, it's just real, real, really stable. Lovely. What a fantastic bundle that is. I really do like that. 
There we go. We've got more for you, though, because, of course, you love your mirror card. And when it comes to the rainbow mirror card, we've got more of that for you as well. So, of course, we've seen it previously in the A6 bundle, but we've got it here for you as well in different sizes. And you've been loving this as well. 70% of the stock has gone, saving mm. a whopping £40 on this one. I can't, that is right at 19.99. Yeah. I knew it was a big saving, but I hadn't actually noticed the actual price today. Wow! It's a this bargain. Is, that is a bargain. A3, A4 and A5, you've got 100 sheets in total. And again, you can cut this down if you want, but it enables you to make those gift bags again. And it embosses. And this is a big thank you from Gwen and Andrew at Pink Frog oh. for, you know, for your continued custom. And, you know, it's just great to, to get the deals. It's stunning, isn't it? And you can see why it's called Rainbow Mirror Card. Isn't that beautiful? Really lovely. What a saving that is. If you mm. want to multiply, you can. 907048, that is the item number. And over 70% of the stock now gone. Now we're back to our true red. This is such a beautiful colour. Do you know, it is hard, Hazel, to get a really nice red. What I would call a true red. There's I so know. many different variations. This hits it on the head, though, it doesn't does, it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't think of a better name for it. Now, this is another great bundle for you because, again, you've got those different sizes. Now, let's have a look at this. 290 GSM, that's the weight of the True Red. You've got your Super Smooth card here at 300 GSM. That is a bonus. That's what you're seeing here at the back. You've got a whole collection in different sizes here. So we'll go through the individual sizes. We do have A4. We've got 15 by 30 for you. 15 by 42. 12 by 12, which is under there somewhere, and also your A3, which I'm sure is the one at the bottom there. So a really good collection of different sizes. That means straight away, Hazel, then, you've got those sizes for your various different Absolutely. folds. Absolutely. If you want to make picture frames, you've got the card there to do it. If you want to do any of your card folding with your 15 by 42s, it's in the bundle. Everything that we've done, all of the um, instructions, you've got everything in that in Perfect. the kit. Wow. Once again, if you want to take advantage of FlexiBuy, you can do. There's a £6 saving on this one. 48 will bring that down so you can see that you've got the two payments there of £24 and 49 pence. Remember, if you're opening up that basket, you can pop other things and split the cost if they're not already split for you. 429-145 is the item number. Now, back to the true black because, of course, if you've got the red, you're going to want the black as well because they go so well together. You've got the bonus of the super smooth in the previous bundle. We've got a bonus in this one as well. In fact, oh, look at this. Pillars of light. Now, I know I did hear that Janice, um, let's have a little play with this earlier. So I'm going to do the same thing because it is quite clever, actually. Depending on how you flex this or the way that you put this cardstock, you get different effects. And how the light catches on this mm, as well, Hazel. Stunning, isn't, isn't it? it amazing? So just what happens when I flex this? It's as though they're meeting, isn't it? The patterns are coming it's in. It's almost kaleidoscopy, isn't, isn't it? It really is. Look at that. What? Just watch it move. Did Janice do the rotation by any chance? No, I think you've beaten us. Yes! <laughs> yes! I was rocking my brain thinking, what can I do that Janice might not have done? <laughs> and I found something. It's really, really effective, isn't it? Yes. But the true black there is also included when it comes to that beautiful card that i've just shown you 10 sheets of that um so that really is a lovely addition but in the true black you've got those different sizes again so you're 15 by 30 15 by 42 you've got your 20 by 40 your a3 and of course your 12 by 12 as well 280 gsm on this one and don't forget that flexi buy option again take advantage of that 388985 now, when it comes to the red, we've done that, we've done the black, but of course you want the white as well. Let's go for the super smooth this time. So once again, you've got that wonderful card there that does all those different effects. It just looks stunning just as it stands there, doesn't it? But again, you've got the different sizes of the super smooth as well. So the same as the black when it comes to the sizes there. We've run through those, so you're getting something for every single job. Just while we're here, I am just going to mention or ask Hazel about some of the different ways we can work with this card because it really is fantastic quality. Again, you've got that 300 GSM being the white, 150 sheets here. But we're certainly thinking here, Hazel, aren't we? Stamping, you can add water to this as well. You can. Yep. All your inks, your spritzes, Brushos, paints, stenciling, stencils, texture paste. Wow. Jack of all trades. 
yeah it just goes on and on and on now we do have some boards somewhere but you know you can almost do anything with this cardstock and I'm sure we'll speak to Hazel as we go through as well and we'll remind you of other things that you can achieve with this 742-260 is the item number just 27 pounds and 99 pence now we've got more for you. I'm just going to go to the back of the studio because we've got more over here for you as well. So the True Red, this is another really lovely buy. Now you've got a different size here as well. 290 GSM, this is your 20 centimeter by 40 centimeter card pieces. 40 sheets in total. So once again, Hazel, you can cut this down if you wish, of course. but you've got the folds that you can create with this as Which well. Which has now gone up to 10. We're, we yeah. only used to have eight on a sheet, but we've got extra ones. There's a little pizza box and there's a twisted easel come Wonderful. on there as well. So. Oh, wow. Now, this has been brought back by popular demand as well because previously it's sold out every time. Always busy with Pink Frog, but I can tell you already 60% of the stock has gone on this particular wow. option. Just fourteen ninety nine for those 40 sheets. Item number 219616. Now, when it comes to red liner tape, then Pink Frog, of course, always provide us with the best bundles. So you've got a selection of four here. Now, these are different widths as well, so you've got the best of everything. It covers all projects, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. Right from your three millimeter, then you've got your six, you've got your nine, and you've got your 12 millimeters as well. In fact, in total, there is 120 meters. So I presume that's 30 meters on each, it would is, that be yes. right? Yeah. Lovely. Wonderful, and a great price yet again, £13.99, item number 825810. Stock up on that because you're going to need that for your gift boxes and all those wonderful makes, especially with Christmas coming up now. Then when we get to the Kalal Glue, a really good buy. You've got a whole litre there in that large pot there. I'm saying pot, it's not really a pot. What would you, pot? It is a bottle really, it isn't it? It is a it? bottle, yeah. And then, of course, you've got the smaller one to go with it. So the best way is to decant from the larger bottle into the smaller one. You've got that really lovely sort of twist mechanism at the top there. But this glue has been around for some time, Hazel, and it's a really, really good glue, isn't and it? And it, it will stick a multitude of yeah. different things. You can be sticking metal and fabrics and all sorts. In fact, one, one time I come, I'm going to do a board with everything stuck onto it because I think it's a fabulous idea yeah. so that you can see. And it, it is really clear. Is it's clear from the word go, yeah. isn't it? And it's it Dry away. clear, yeah. If you have any bleed out, you can rub it away. And so. you've got that time, that wiggle, wiggle. room as we always talk about. We all need a bit well. of wiggle room. Perfect. I <laughs> love it. Do you know that again? Great price. Look at the saving on this one. Fourteen pounds saving. Well worth going for this because you will use that smaller bottle. That's the one you're going to carry around with you, but you're going to keep refilling that from the larger bottle. Fifteen ninety nine. Item number two three three two five three. Now we do have an update for you as well. When it comes to that mirror card, the rainbow mirror card. We're limited stock on that one. Oh, do take advantage of this. I'm not so surprised it's busy though. Look at the price, saving £40, just £19.99. Have you been multi buying? Perhaps you have. Limited stock, don't forget to check out those baskets. And of course, going for the mirror card and anything else on the show, we do have the free gift for you as well. Let me see if I can get this one right. 50 sheets, 120 GSM. It's beautiful as well. The ice gold paper stunning doesn't look much there on the screen but believe you me it is beautiful there we are do you know i can't do you know i've, I've beat janice on the, uh, on on the wiggle of uh, <laughs> which way did janice flick it did she do it this way no around? Oh, I've got, she went got the other to way. kind of catch a light on this a little bit look <laughs> there perfect. we go it is absolutely beautiful that look. looks gorgeous with your sprays on as well because you you still get that sheen coming through it is gorgeous i love this stuff what a great gift that is. Right, Hazel, what okay. are we going to see? So first of all, I thought I'd use some of the red card because it's so popular, um, especially with Christmas coming up. We're going to be wanting to make gifts and boxes and bags and all sorts. So I thought I would show, show you how to make a frame, but not a small one. I wanted to go big. So I'm going to bring this one in. Although this one is a white version, that is um, beautiful. There is a red version over there. If if you want to grab it at any stage, <laughs> the Christmas one. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Am I allowed to go and get that? I think I can, can't I? I'm going to sneak off. I'm going to sneak off. Here it is. Now, oh, this is just a beautiful project, mm. isn't it? Look at that. You're going to bring that out every single year, yeah. aren't you? So that's got white gesso on it. It's got um, some ground espresso ink over the top, but it's A3 in size, so it's a quite a statement. But yeah, that's, that that's going to be decorating your house every year. 
Oh, do you know, you could, I'm thinking you could make an advent calendar in a Absolutely, frame. Absolutely, You could put yeah. doors in yeah. there, couldn't you? Yes. You could do so much. You <laughs> Should oh, we go and it's, it's like, Oh, you've got me going now. <laughs> right. That is beautiful. Love it. Okay, so using the red bundle, um, you will get your instruction sheet um, to make your frames. I'm going to go onto the back section here under 15 centimetre width and I'm going to choose the one that I want, which is this one here, because I'm going to have a three and a half centimetre frame. And I'm going to go down. Now I need two 15 by 30s and I'll need, I have prepared these ones, okay, two 15 by 42s and then I will need an A3 sheet as well for the backing. So everything that you need is going to be in that kit for you. In that kit for you. So we're going to go on the centimetre side okay. and we're going to score yeah. at one centimetre. Four and a half. I always go down a couple of times but, but not press too hard if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, then eight centimetres and eleven and a half. Wonderful. Whoopsie. Then give that a clockwise rotation. Now, on this one, when your frames get bigger, I like to put a tab on so it just tidies up your corners. So I'm going to score at one centimetre and then I'm going to put the all important, which would have been three and a half, but it's now going to be four and a half right. down to that second line. Okay? Okay. So I can move that out of the way. Oh, I'm dying to ask you a question, Hazel. Go on then. Is, is that your scoreboard? Yeah. Why the dragon? You're going to, aren't you? Because I have a shop called Dragon's Papercraft, oh, and that's oh, why, because I'm the dragon. I, they always <laughs> call me. It, so when we named it, that's the, the husband and the kids, they said, it's got to be dragon, because you're the old dragon. Oh. So um, I'm not offended at all. <laughs> not offended. <laughs> Just one of them I, I wonder if it was Andy who would be a bit mischievous writing that on there for <laughs> <No>. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this second section up, I'll let you come in. Right, this part is going to be the tab, so I'm okay. going to cut all of the rest of, uh, away. So I'm just going to snip up there, that comes away. Now this bit, you see I've just tapered that. This one here, I'm going to do a, um, a diagonal cut from there to the bottom of that score line okay. and then I'm going to take that away Lovely. and then I'm going to come in whoopsie let's just tidy that up a little bit there we go I'm going to use my red liner tape I'm going to use nine mil for this and I'm going to run if I can find the end would it be a good idea Hazel to make yourself a template the very first time you do each of these so you use maybe just a piece of paper or some card that you're not so worried about just so you've got it to hand to remind yourself do you know I'm quite a visual person rather than reading instructions because I know all of them I don't but yeah if you're a complete beginner and you feel comfortable um, I would definitely do that or just have a notebook and just draw it physically so that you can see which bits you cut away. Oh, Although you've got the full instructions there, there's no pictures to that, but there is on that side. So yeah. actually, we've just answered our own question. No, because it's there. <laughs> I've already done it for you. Uh, do you know, we've had an email in as well, Hazel. Okay. This has come from Helen, and Helen's just asking, what cardstock, if you can remind us, do we have to get to get um, the instructions for the box frames? Right, okay, so any of the big bundles. So you've got the super smooth, the true black, the red, and then also the A3, because it's quite a big yeah. bundle. You'll get all instructions for everything with there. This first collection, you'll just get the 21 by 30s. Yeah. And on the red 20 by 40s, you'll just get the 20 by 40s with it. Lovely. So if you want all instructions, then it'll be the big, the bigger bundles. Um, oh, well worth going for a collection anyway. In I'm fact, right. Helen, if you can afford to do it, don't stick at one collection. You will not be disappointed. Well, they all work together, don't they? Yeah. There are two brand new fold, two brand new sheets for um, A3. So you'll get that with the A3 as well as everything else, Amazing. even in your other ones. So. Love it. Right, thank I've you for the question, my... Helen. Yes, thank you, Helen. I've put my red liner tape on there. Not that you can see it much because it's onto the red card. But we'll just put that face down now and then we'll just pull back and fold on each one of those. Okay. And then we'll just fold that tab as well. And you then what see I like, how beautiful it scores. It scores well, and Hazel. folds beautifully. I mean, I haven't even got my folding tool on it. 
Um, I like to fold this on the second line down and then bring the bottom up. It naturally just finds its fold lovely. and you've got that lovely tubular shape. Okay, Perfect. so when you're making a frame with odd sizes, make sure that you go the right way round. Don't stick two long ones together and then expect to get a square. <laughs> so I like to kind of lay it out first. Okay. That's the way round. Now, when you put a tab on, you have to work it a little bit differently. You have to make a train. Um, so take the backs off of your tabs. Oh. This is That's so it. clever because I'm a big believer in getting those mitered corners right. And I can see yeah. exactly how this is coming together. Yeah. This is such an easy way of doing it. So when you're doing the little frames, you, you might find that you don't need... Well, you probably don't need to, but it's all down to precision. If you haven't scored straight or cut straight, you're not going to get a straight corner. No. But if you do the tabs, then yes, you are. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one up okay. and I'm going to make sure that they're all facing the same way, which they are. So this little bit, butt it up, stick it in. Okay. Move that along. So that's a long one onto a short one. Butt it up, stick it in. I just need a little bit more room, butt it up and stick it in. Right, from there, that literally is oh, going to go wow. one, two, three. That is so, so clever and so neat. On this last one, now, I'm not going to lie to you, you're going to need to glue each one. I'm okay. not going to glue it purely because I want to get through as many demonstrations yeah. as I want. But I'll show you one so that you know exactly where to glue. Okay. If I pull it back, look, in here, you're going to glue, and then on the top of there, diagonally. So it's quite a big area that you've yeah. so it's going to be really, really That firm, gives you that it? perfect, might, do you know that what? That is so neat. Let's just do, we might as well, because if we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. There we go. Love it. When you get to the last one, just um, be prepared. That's it. And then just Look tuck that, that in. What a perfect finish. Oh, Hazel. And that gives you your frame. If you've got any glue, it's at, this is the point that you just gently wipe that away. Now, because I put the tabs on, you will need to take a centimetre off of each dimension on your A3 card. Okay. I'm just going to turn that over. And I've already put my red liner tape on there for speed. And I'm gonna, this is the 12 mil, and this is why it makes good sense to get the bundle, because you really do use all four sizes. You do, and it's not just for sticking bits and pieces no. together, is it? As no, well, it's great for your speciality and your, cards your and everything. building plates and things as yep. well for decor. So just hover that over. That gives us, and with it being that this size, so it neat. stands up on its own. Look at that, so oh, beautiful. Do you know what I'm thinking as well with the red liner tape? If you wanted to run some around the edge of the frame your and then foils, go with your gilded, yeah, your foils, absolutely. You couldn't have that gilded edge, mm -hmm. so that would look really It would look smart. stunning. And inks, anything that you want to chuck at it, it's nice and sturdy. It's obviously it's your 290 GSM. So, yeah, it's a good basis for any craft project. Oh, do you know we've had a great idea from the gallery? Would mm. you believe it? It's <laughs> Webster. He's had a great idea. If you put some holes in the back, you could put those LED lights through as well and light it up. Yes, you could. What a well good idea. Well done, our Webster. That's you could all do I it individually on... On the frame, even better. Yeah. You could One put a mirror in the back and make a little makeup mirror and everything. Well, last time I came, I did do a vanity mirror with did black you? and I put the tubulars down and I nearly picked it up and I didn't. I oh, should have done. You have but to, you'll have to put it on Any Facebook. decoration you want to do to your frames, do it on it when it's flat yeah. and, then, and then build them up.
Oh, so many ideas. Isn't it fabulous? Let's have a bit of a recap. Need to get back to Hazel as soon as possible. So many demonstrations. Let's have a look at a few other items. Now, when it comes to the true red that Hazel was using there, there's the bundle for you. Now, you're getting that super smooth card in there as well, 300 GSM for the super smooth. When it comes to the true red, that is 290 GSM. You've got all those different sizes. You've got A4. You've got 15 by 30. You've got 15 by 42. You've got 12 by 12. And you've got A3 as well well and you've got six pounds saving and you've got flexi buy two payments of 24 pounds and 49 pence if you've not spent your voucher remember you've got to spend 25 pounds or more so if it's on a flexi i'm just thinking just pop in some red liner taper into that and take it over the 25 pounds and use your credit as well let's have a look at the true black so the bundle here, now the same size pieces of cardstock there, but instead of the super smooth, you've got that wonderful mirror card there. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? 280 GSM is the weight of the true black. Item number 388985. And again, an amazing price when you break that down and a flexi buy option for you as well. When it comes to the super smooth, remember there's all sorts of reasons for going for this. It's not just about inking on and stamping on. You can add all sorts of different mediums as well. You've got that bonus in there, that beautiful card stock as well 300 gsm for your super smooth white 742260 and again you've got those si different sizes in there the same as the red and the black now the rainbow mirror card here it is now it did sell out we were at limited stock last time we heard about it oh we've got some back on extended delivery i'm guessing the date is going to be the same as the others yes the 7th of september uh, you've already found it. <laughs> no wonder you don't want to miss out on this. You've got your A3, your A4 and your A5 in there. 100 sheets in total. Once again, I've got to point it out. You've probably spotted it for yourselves. £40 saving. £19.99. Do you know, you've got so many options of what you can achieve with that with those different sizes in there. 907048. And then also, we've also got for you the True Black and the Super Smooth, which is back on extended delivery. They sold that earlier on as well. 9.99 that's all it is and two-thirds of the extended stock has gone so of course because you've got the two different car stocks there you've got the black at 280 gsm and the white at 300 gsm what a good buy now the true red when it comes to the 20 by 40 We'll just give you a reminder of that always popular, back by popular demand. 14.99 is the price. You're getting 40 sheets of that, and again 290 GSM for the true red. Three quarters of the stock has gone of that one. 219.616. Lots and lots of goodies for you, Hazel. We do want to fit in as much as we can. So back to you. Brilliant. So I'm going to use the um, 20 by 40 this time. Mm -hmm. um, I'll stick with the red because it's at this time of the year that you're making lots of. Um, cards and this is going to be a little pizza box again it's one of our new instructions that's gone onto the sheet there but you can oh, easily see now nice this will hold your um 15 by 15 so it's like six by six inches in there you can get two or three or if you've made a nice deep special card for someone you've got it there um boxed so it'll keep you know, it nice that would and protected work nicely for if you make homemade cookies and you want to make a big homemade cookie that would <gasps> Oh, you could put that in there, decorate the top, or your handmade chocolates or fudge would be really nice. Actually, I've just remembered something as well, um, Hazel, because you mentioned cards and it just sprung to mind. Must say thank you to a couple of ladies who have helped you make some card samples on this Absolutely, show. Absolutely, yes. So, um, Caroline Smith, she's helped me make from my concert set suite, so I can't beautiful. thank her enough, and also Gwen. Oh, so, thank they've you, all been ladies. crafting away helping me, which is wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, look at these cards as well. They're absolutely stunning. Look at the little giraffe in there. That's I one know. of Caroline's. Yeah. I adore red, black and white together. It's I think stunning, it's so, isn't it? so stylish. Yeah. And to see the set as I walked in today, it just blew my mind really because just looking around with the exception of the color here which is still just as beautiful, the whole set looks amazing. And you can get these beautiful beautiful results when you get the card stock home as well whether you're doing cards whether you're doing boxes whether you're doing home decor or the frames that hazel just showed us right hazel can you just pass me that like put them near me that stack of pizza this boxes one? yeah so um Ooh, whilst yeah, i then. mentioned caroline and gwen this was Andrew's idea, and okay. he was supposed to be making them I myself. I need to keep social distancing, yeah. so I'm going to have to sort of stretch out. Thank you. So oh, there's a good meter. Right. And then get those passed in. So yeah. this was his idea. These are all made from the 15, no, 21 by 30. Um, so you've got a one centimeter 
a two centimeter, a three centimeter, a four centimeter, and a five centimeter. And at the last minute, he says, "I haven't got time to make them." <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've made oh. them. Um, so I'll pop them there because when I've made this red one, I'm just going to quickly run through how easy it is. doesn't matter what size your cardstock is. So for this one, I am actually going to cut a little two centimetre panel off of one end. And that's because I want it to be a specific size to okay. fit something in. So I'm going to go across and I'm going to score. Um, was it two centimetres? I'm just going to check because I don't want to do it wrong. Right, two centimetres on all sides. Okay. All the way around. So that determines the depth. And then you, you find your centre point and then I'm going to go either side. So on I this see. one I've done it at 18 and 20. Okay. Like so. And that's our scoring done. Very quick. They are quick, and this is the thing, that they're really easy. Now, this is exactly the same as this one, but what I have done is I've gone ahead and I've just put some red liner tape on there to save time. So okay. I am actually going to fold this one because it would make sense to. So okay. just turn it over and fold everything in. Now, if you want to go along and crisp up those folds, by all means do. I'm one of those that just tends to use my fingers and thumbs, but I should, I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Come on, do it properly. <laughs> but again, it does show the quality of the card Absolutely. set, which it goes beautifully. Oh, Hazel, I've just got to give an update. The okay. 20 by 40 centimetre car set that Hazel's using is now limited stock. Okay. Oh, don't forget to check those baskets out. We'll keep you posted on updates, uh, but a really good buy at 14.99. So in, in the large kits, if you like super smooth or black, that you'll get the 20 by 40 in the large kits. It's just the red ones that are, that are separate. Yeah. Okay, so to attach it together, we're going to snip the corners and take a little segment out. Okay. As if you're making a box, because, well, we are making a box, aren't we? And you're going to do that on all four corners. Now, again, here, it does make a difference. You've got to be precise. If you miscut it or don't cut it far enough, then you're not going to get the right um, finish. So just take a little bit of time. Now, in the centre, cut up both of those. And choose, I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to take a segment from one side only. Because right, okay. I need a flat edge yep. to um, line it up. So we snipped up there. See, I just did that a little bit wonky, but nobody knows. So when you do your snips on the corners, always work into that corner it's square. Always, yes. Yeah. So then, well, I might as well keep it that way. We'll take the backs off. Okay. She says. One. Did that come off? Yes. <laughs> it's just difficult on the red, isn't it? I might as well take <laughs> all of them off while I'm here. Okay. And then we will piece that together. Lovely. So I, I like to start with the corners and just bring it round. It's this part here needs to be flush here. Okay. Lovely. And that's why it's important to take that notch out because if it's just a fold, exactly, it's, it's going to interfere with it, isn't it? it? So get that nice and flush on that side. Now, with this one, don't forget to cut that line. <laughs> Oh, yes, just take the notch out one side and yeah. pass along the other. So if you then fold this piece back, yeah. that's going to help you when you're building the bottom box. So again, just get those four, one on that side. Do you know, again, when you watch you do it, Hazel, it's, it's actually really easy to do, isn't it? It is easy. It's just breaking it down. And once you've got it, it just sticks in there. The only thing that you need to do is make sure that you've got that tucked in nice. And that just splays out a little bit so that it will go over of your, and that gives you your perfect Isn't piece that box. amazing? Yeah. So quick to come together as well. Very easy to do. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to embellish it further as well, you could maybe put a little ribbon tab on the exactly. front. Exactly. To notch Matting out, and layering. So you can lift the lid and yeah. then decorate the top however you wish. Things, it, Beautiful. 
it can be anything, can't it? So I just want to quickly bring in the 21 by 30. So say I wanted um, a four centimetre deep or a three centimetre deep, it would be the same thing. You'd go three all the way around. Okay. And just this as you're scoring there, Hazel, sorry to interrupt, yeah. but I've just got to let everybody know that the, the True Red, the 20 by 40, is technically sold out. That means all stock is allocated in baskets. Please check those baskets out. Right, okay, I'm just getting news right now, actually. Right, on Extended, we have got the stocks on Extended. It's a little bit longer than the others, the 11th of September, so a little bit longer for the red. Uh, so if you really, really want it, and why wouldn't you? Because it is absolutely gorgeous. Please just bear that in mind. A little bit of a, wait, a longer wait, but just well worth that wait. Sorry, Hazel, about that. That's fine. I just wanted to quickly go over this because I do want to show you something on the watercolour card, if I may. Oh, wonderful. So I've took three centimetres off of each edge. Then find your centre point, which we know is 15, yep. and then take, so it'll be a centimetre and a half each side of that so that it's um, in the middle. So 15, come back 14, so that's there, and then 16 and a half. So that's 13 and a half there, 16 and a half there. Okay. Score them down yep. and then you do your cutting exactly the same as what we did But that would give you if I bring this one in That would give you this size one. So they Amazing. all work in exactly the same way So once you've made one you can transform any sheet of card into a piece of box so long as it's got that even sizing do you know it would be nice just for one afternoon sit and make the bases you don't even have to sit them together just get them prepared. exactly so you've got different it all sizes, yeah. different colors so you've yeah. got them ready to go so that would give you so thank you andy for your idea of your stacking well pizza done, boxes. Andy. and thank you to me for making them <laughs> but i just wanted to show you that one i don't need to cut that oh, one wonderful. Uh, oh thank you hazel we will okay. get back to hazel we want to see the watercolor don't we a little bit of a recap, though. We're having another busy hour. Uh, $9.99 for the per first uh, item, actually. Let me just get behind it so you know which one is relevant. This is your black and your white, your super smooth and your true black. Back on extended delivery, the 7th of September. I can tell you 70% of the extended stock has now gone. Amazing prices, as always. Just going to remind you, if you're wondering why the difference in the GSM, it's the white super smooth at 300 GSM, and it's the true black at 280. Lovely there, 539647. And then, of course, with the A3, this is where you're going to get those instructions, of course, with the larger packs and the larger pieces as well. Now, also in extended, this next bundle. So you've got in here the A3 in the white, super smooth. That's 300 GSM. You've got the true black at 280 GSM. And you've got the true red at 290 GSM. All construction weight, great for your boxes, as we've just seen, but many other uses besides that, of course. 20 of each of these, £27.98, item number number 861033. Now when it goes to the A6, you're going to get this in a little, little box, so it's going to keep it nice and compact, but you've got a whole host of different pieces here. You've got the true, uh, sorry, yes, the true black, you've got the super smooth white, you've got the watercolour in there, and you've also got that rainbow mirror as well. I'm just going to pick that up so you can see there. You can see why it's called rainbow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I know the effects you get when you emboss on that rainbow, it's amazing. And you can emboss all of those actually. 70% of the stock has gone, £29.97, saving £21.045296. Now, the watercolour, we are going to see this in demonstration, but this is another amazing bundle for price. And of course, the sizes you're going to get in here as well. This cardstock is just perfect to work from. Now you've got 280 GSM as the weight, you've got 15 by 30 centimetres as a size, you've got 12 inches by 12 inches, you've got A5 and you've got A4 as well, 174 sheets. Please consider being a Freedom member if you've not already joined. Look at this Freedom price, £17.18, is 80 pence is a saving on this one. That is massive. £43.17 is the price, and there's Flexi on there for you as well, so you can split it over two payments of £21.59, 890998. Now, we do want to get back to Hazel because she's going to be showing us something with the watercolour, of course. Lovely Hazel. So right. what are we making? So um, it's right by your hand. There's a bag with um, rounded handles. It's like a oh, rounded bag. Oh, this one. That's the one. Yeah. So I want to show you how to make that. We have got an instruction sheet oh. for you. That is lovely. I love the shape of that. 
it's nice isn't it it's gorgeous and depends on how long you want your handles i've done them at, um, 11 inches but you could keep your card at 12 inches or you could shorten them but um i thought it important that you had um more like a template one for this one um so it's all clear there for you so you can create away so yeah, i'm yeah. starting off with the 12 by 12 and when i do my backgrounds if i put my ink straight onto my glass mat and pick up you get more of a this color here it's more of a wash and then to get all of this spot in it, it's off my heat mat okay ah, so right. i'm going to kind of go between the two and see what we get so i'm okay. using some mermaid lagoon i must be careful because i'll be knocking them off we don't want dinked corners and i've got my water because I always forget something somewhere. and I haven't I haven't um, I don't think I've forgotten anything yet so oh, I'm well just done, dipping Hazel. in this is very wet but it's just to get a nice covering over pretty much all of it yep. okay so then I would pop to one side and as sacrilege as it is, tragic as it is, <gasps> oh I know, <laughs> if I had my little A6 mat stack by me, they would definitely be dipped in there. Yeah. Okay, so then I would just grab my heat tool, and it's important to blast it between each go. Okay, yeah, the, the, the water will affect the mm -hmm. But you can see there how beautifully the watercolour cardstock takes the ink there. Such lovely effects and every single time it's going to be different. Now you have got a lovely texture but the watercolour hazel, it's not too dimply is it? So no. that means you can stamp on there as well. Absolutely and still get that pristine yeah. I I image there. So we'll bring this little heat mat into play now. Okay. And that's where our next colour will go on. So what colour have we got now? We've got seedless preserves. Oh, nice. Now, some people prefer um, to see where they're putting their um, their ink. I kind of like the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The this, yes, the surprise. At the the end. surprise. Yes. That's it exactly. Um, but you could use. Um, I know Julie uses a sheet of acetate, and it's a fantastic technique. Um, you could. I'm just going to lift that up actually, and just pop a bit in the middle because we can. There's no rules. Let's just do oh, that. So if you've got acetate, you can pop you can it down and, and, and place it. it where you That's want. A lovely idea. So all I would do. How am I doing on time? Um, we've got ten minutes left. Right. Okay. I'm actually going to fast forward to the sheet that I've done because okay. I want to make sure that I get it, the whole demo in. All I would do then, heat dry it, and then go on with another colour until I get to this level. Oh, okay. So I've got lots of difference on there, lots of blobbling, and then on the back. Oh, I've I just like that. Randomly inked and spritzed it with water just because. The back was dirty and inside my bag I didn't want to see in there and just see a dirty ink splodge yes, so I've added that. to the flavour. You could have, uh, well you can't really do a reversible bag with the cardstock but you could choose once you've Absolutely. done the effects which side yes. you prefer to be on the outside. Yeah. So the reason why this piece is smaller, all I have done is I've got my trimmer and I've cut myself two one inch strips off of one side and then cut them down to 11 inches. Okay. Now, I always work in centimetres, really, unless my cardstock is in inches, and that's when I work in inches. So I'm going to have to um, surprise you all and tell you <laughs> that I'm working in inches now, OK? <laughs> it is just a number. Don't be scared. Uh, right, so this is my instruction sheet, and I'm going to easily follow it. It's telling me um, one and a half inches. Okay. So I'm going to go around. It's, it, it's not. Score at half an inch sorry half an inch on all four sides so go round it's kind of like making a pizza box really because we're just doing that edge yeah, in the board first like the framework so to speak and then we're going to find the center point okay. so i'm going to turn that around because yeah. the measurements now go across the top and i'm going to score at well the center point is six so we'll put that in okay. and we're going to do five and we're going to do seven okay. okay and then we're going to bring it back around and i'm just going to put a score line between these two lines so it's going to be at one and a half now you might right, need to okay. use a ruler or something to get you in 
It's about there. Do you know, you can make yourself a little ruler with a piece of card. I'll just keep them off what's of card at certain widths and use yeah. those to, to mark as well. That's you will get full pounds. instructions, of course, with everything. If it's a bundle that you get that comes with the instructions, of course, you don't have to remember all this or write it down. But it is well worth watching back the shows on Rewind for the inspiration. Um, but, you know, it's nice to see Hazel actually doing this live. So you can see how easily these boxes and bags come together. Okay. So then all I'm going to do, turn. Whilst I've got that there, I'm going to use my red liner tape. And I'm going to use 9mm because that's going to fit, I think, the best. I do yes. like that side, you know, Hazel. I think that's so effective. <laughs> You could have the handles the other way around, couldn't you? If you yes, you could. Trim off afterwards. Yes, you could so you indeed. Can have the inside as the outside on the handles. Is that a hint? Well, go on. No, but it would look nice. <laughs> it would look lovely. Now, when it comes to the tape, of course, we've got the details on the screen for you as well. Remember that collection. You are getting the three mil, the six mil, the nine mil, and the twelve mil in there. You've got four reels, obviously, there. So that's thirty meters on each. You really have got the best of everything because you will find you use each and every one of those different widths there. So I'm just going to start off and snip away the four corners. Okay. So on your sheet that you get, that's going to be indicated clearly on the sheet. So go around. And again, it's like everything. Take your time. Make sure you get that nice and equal. I'm just going to take off my red liner tape now and fold that over. And that brings a little bit of the outside in. It does, doesn't it? Just grab the back of this I one. I think having a piece of dirty card was a happy accident there, Hazel, because I really do like the fact <laughs> that you've got the colour on the inside. Right. So now for these centre pieces, it's going to be better for me to go from the back. I would normally go from the front, but because it's it's hard for me to see the lines here, I'm going to cut up the line on each side. Okay. And then I need to snip off. If I fold it over, you'll see. I need to cut that bit off. Right. So I'm going to make sure my scissors don't go over that. Okay. And okay. then the same on this piece. Up the lines. And then snip that off. So now I can fold the outside. Now I'm not going to fold the center line. That actually is only there as a marker. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can see where we're going. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this around to stick to here. So if I bring these tabs in and pop some tape on. I'm going to go for some 12 mil now because it covers the ground yes, quicker. Is, because you're curving the sides, yeah. it's got a little bit of spring back, hasn't it? So the thicker the tape, the more it's going to hold firm. Yeah. So one on that side. And, and of course, take inspiration from Hazel's demonstration here as well. If you're loving this effect, you can do that on your cardstock and use it for a card topper, a background, use it in journal pages as well. I think this is the first time I've seen anybody make a, a bag from watercolour card. Yeah, it's... Um, in the studio live, anyway. Especially, like, I only prep... <laughs> that sounds like I wasn't prepared. I was prepared, but I just changed one of my demos. Um, and I did this when you came in. I would. This is the piece of card. So it hasn't yeah. been sat long, and it, it's kept a real nice shape. So there we go. Just putting some red liner tape on there snip that off. So we'll take that back in off. Okay. Take that back in off. I'll do them both together. Now this piece here you want to curl. We want to give it some shape. So you see how that's naturally forming yeah. and we want to do the same on this side as well. So just between your finger and your thumb that like goes so. beautifully, no creasing in there as you do that. So now, that fold line that we put in, this piece here, when we bring it round, there's a score line there. That is going to meet over. Ah. And then you know you've got it in the yeah. right place. Okay. And we're going to do the same on this piece. Bring it around. Like so. Right. 
So now these pieces where we've got our red liner tape here are going to come round here. But I do want to put a little extra bit of tape, just a little bit, because I want to make sure that it doesn't stay, um, well, that it stays stuck. Okay, we've got just under three and a half minutes, Hazel. Will that be enough time to finish? Absolutely spot Wonderful. on that'll be. Oh, you she did says. such an amazing job. Right. So, take them backings off. And then... <laughs> it's such a good value bundle for the tape. You know, you, it's better to be safe than sorry. So any areas where you know you've got the two surfaces meeting, I presume it's advisable just to make sure... Just to make sure. ...and add a little yeah. bit more. So now I'm just going to squeeze those two bits because they're going to lock inside each other on that. If I lift that up, can you see? That's going to yeah. lock in there. Yes. I'm just going to squeeze that a minute and then I'm going to come down here and push that over and that gives us a perfect seam Doesn't of that side does. there. And we'll do the same. Oh, I've already took the tape off. So squeeze, squeeze. Which side's got the tape? There we go. A lovely that shape there. bag that is. I want to get the handles on that. Do you know that would be lovely at Easter to make little Easter baskets? It would, Quite wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So then, quickly for the handles, what I like to do is just put a one-inch score line at each end, and you'll see why. Yeah, I could. Two minutes take. left, Hazel. How many? Two. Two minutes. Yeah. Okay. We should be fine. Um, can I ask you, inside one of them bags up there, there'd be a little tiny square of red card. I did spot it. And, and there is a reason. And I'm going to do back to front handles. Is it this one? Yeah. This rectangle? Yeah. I, I need it. You need it? Yeah. Oh. It's two inches by... Oh, do you I, know? I'm going to yeah, that's stretch fine. across Thank from you. my That'll area be and then if, um, so, distance myself. And then you can get that. We are doing the handles backwards, the other way round, for you, Catherine. Oh. So, this little piece of card here, it measures two inches by one inches. Yeah. I'm going to use that as a marker. I'm going to hold it on the corner, like so. And then I'm going to stick on my handle there. So let's right, take the backing okay. off. I haven't put a lot of red liner tape on here, we're but just for speed. Hazel. Right, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> Stick that on there, take that piece off, bring it around. So do you see how you, you yes, keep it flat? See, yep. Bring it round, use your marker and stick that one on. And then that can flip, flip, flip back. Oh, I love it. You see? Love it. That looks so effective. Whose idea was it to turn the handles around? It looks really good. I think it was yours, you know. <laughs> Come on, take it. You can have the credit. <laughs> no, it does look great. No, I'm I not going to take the credit. It, just, you know, it didn't matter which way you did that. It's just a wonderful demonstration. We're just putting the final handle on there. Do you know, do you know what? We're going to do this almost to the second, I think, Hazel. 15 seconds. Oh, it's gone on wonky now. Oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't matter. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, Hazel, <laughs> well done. Thank you Thank so you. much. Check out those baskets. Don't miss out. Such a busy hour again. Don't go anywhere, though. Oh, what a lovely hour once again. Now, we're coming up next with Hayley. It's an ironing celebration. Then we've got cardio. Bring the confetti. And then, of course, it's final call with Nikki and Heartfelt. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearl Inks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. 
So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. It's Chanda's fifth birthday. Give yourself a stitch doing that. I've been down there for weeks. Now, it is a Chanda's fifth birthday and we are looking at seven day savers. And now, they've just given me a little bit more time to tell you about another one. This is Oakwood 12 by 12 grey board sheets. At 2,250. Micron is what we're talking about, and we're talking 20 sheets in total. £13.99 for all the sheets. You're also saving the £6 saving what you've got on here. Get them while you can. A seven-day saver is a time-limited offer. It works out to be... 70 pence a sheet. 423749 is the item number. Remember, anyone purchasing throughout the live hours will also get their free uh, free gift. Oh, who can forget the free gift? Right then, off I pop, lower level. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Um, and we're ironing. Who knew that ironing could be so wonderful? But it is a great iron, How isn't it? How do you put your green dress on to be all Wizard of Oz? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think about it. I just threw it on. But as I was wandering around and you were saying that I was like off to see the wizard, you I went, like actually, the wizard's yeah. assistant. Anywho. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ironing. Right. Ironing, yes. Because that's good. No, it is actually. There's it is. A no, it's a smashing bundle. little iron. Yeah, it is. Um, so you're going to get the iron. And I love the fact that this mini Sorry. little board. <laughs> It's too cute. Here, uh, Hayley's got the iron, basically. I just have the box. Sad. This is what is happening. <laughs> yes, well, we thought they'd sent us two, but they had actually only sent us one. Uh, so well. I have the iron, you have the box. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. You've got good. a picture of the iron. It's nearly yeah, so the same thing. Hayley's going to demo this in a second, because it's a good little iron. But I do want to just mention the <laughs> gift with purchase, if I may. Right, so your gift with purchase. Is, do we get both of these? 
Oh, and they're cute. Right, so inside one of the little boxes, because they're clumped together, you're going to get lots of nice spools of thread, like so, different colours. Um, I'm assuming it's um, colours may vary. I uh, assume so. Yes. I would assume so, yes. So there's two little boxes with the threads in, and I think there's uh, eight in each layer, is that right? 16 ah, threads in total. And then the on the top layer. pink bit that you've got, yes. there's a little flap. Is there? It's on the top. It's oh, just there. got a little kind of finger notch to lift it up. Ah. And then there's more bits. So you've got tape measure, little sort of cutters, I guess. You've got some needles. What is this for, Hayley? Uh, oh, it's um, it's like a little, um, what do I mean? Like a thimble, but it goes on your finger. So when you're pushing things through, oh. it doesn't have to cover the whole top of your finger. It just kind of goes around the edge. So when you're pushing through, oh, okay. uh, it works the same as a thimble, yes. Oh, fair it enough. Just so that's doesn't, a nice doesn't little... have a lid. Yeah, that's a nice little gift we've Because if you think about it, you very rarely push a needle through like that uh -huh. with the end of your finger. True. It's usually with the, the kind of, you know, the, the face of it. So, um, yeah, that's what's for. Very good then. So that's your gift with purchase. If you do want to go for our lovely little mini iron, it's got lots of features. And, of course, the press. It is um, £26.98, £8 saving. Item number is 700907. If you do want the iron just by itself, it's 24 99 at the bottom of the screen. So it's, it might as well just get this you know less than two pound more get the get this really cute little uh, stand i think that's really cute mini pressing board we are half the stock gone uh so please do check out your baskets this is the second show what time were you on earlier hayley 11 we 11. did 11 o'clock this morning lovely right what do you want to show us about okay the iron so then, we'll, we will start at the beginning so first of all i'm going to kind of unbox it to show you how it works so um dead straightforward you plug it in and it is switched on as simple as that but this differs from the uh, previous dry iron we had in that this one has steam so if you have it just set on kind of normally there'll be a little bit of steam coming out mm -hmm. if you want to use it purely as a dry iron then you just need to empty this part here which will slide back and then it pings out there you go so this is what contains your water so if this is empty then you've just got a dry iron if you actually fill this up there's a little bung on the back there and you get a tiny little uh, jug with it so you can fill it up that should do us for this show good because that's all the water i've got left and you pop that back in nice and tight get back in live tv and all that i know so tight <laughs> there we go that's it and um, so pop that back in and then there's a little nozzle on the bottom there that matches up with a little nozzle on the bottom can you just see it in there and then that you seat that into there rock it back and it'll click into place and that's what holds all of your water to allow you to have your steam got you so to have it to steam there's a little um there's one more button on it which is the one i've just pressed at the back here which actually knocks the handle down so you can store it nice and flat and as we discovered in the previous hour yay it's about the same height I'm not going to put it on the table because it's on, uh, but it ends up being about the same height as your ironing board yeah. when they're both flat. So you can store it in next to no space at all. So once it's up um, and your handle is in position, then we can have a look at how it steams. So to get it to steam, you need it on full power and the power dials in the center there. You just turn that round to whatever kind of setting you want. Obviously, we're using cottons, so we've got it on full beans and your steam is very directional. If you have a look at the sole plate there, it's there's a little flower pattern on the bottom and the steam is coming from the center of that flower pattern. So there's about half a dozen little holes you can just see there. And that's where your steam's coming from. Cool. So it's very directional because lots, lots of your big conventional irons that you'll use for uh, pressing clothes and things, they'll have the, the steam holes all usually all the way around the edge. Mm. Um, but this has actually got it right in the middle. So it's if like you are pressing pattern. things... Pardon? It's a little flower pattern. I know, a little flower pattern. So this is one that we did a little bit earlier on. And just to show you kind of the difference of before and after. So this is one thing that steam really helps with because steam relaxes the fibres in the cotton and just helps it to, to sit better and sit, sit more flatly, especially mm -hmm. if you've got curved, um, 
curved seams like this. So on a curved seam like this, you, your fabric is wanting to do two different things. So the fabric on the outside there, that's wanting to, to stay flat. All this um, underneath, that's pushing in the other direction and that wants to kind of pleat up. And you can see, if I hold it on the edge there, you can see the difference between the two and how they're kind of wobbling together. Now, the advantage of having the steam is that that will press this completely flat because it will allow you to relax those fibres at the same time. Oh, it still gives me a fright. <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a small iron, but yeah. it's got quite a punch to it, yeah, and it yeah. still gives me a fright. <laughs> small yet mighty. There you go. And then, there you go. It's you very good. See there. Really good flat seams yeah. on that. So, um, another good thing it's really works well with is your uh, bias binding. So, this was one that we, I had to get a new piece because I've made the other piece so curvy, I had to start again. So, um, let me just, I need to find another little ironing pad to put this out of the way while I'm not using it. But never mind. Uh, have you got, can I borrow one of your ironing bones? <laughs> <laughs> this little one? No, it's all right, I'm only kidding. Um, Okay, so with the bias binding, again, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get around the curves and the bias binding has a little bit of a, an element of stretch to it because it's cut on the bias. But to make it sit nice and flat, you are going to need to give it a little bit of help and the steam, again, really helps with that. So you can do all of the things that you would have done with your dry iron, so things like your applique where you're using your uh, fusible webbings and things. I'm just going to try and see if I can get this around in one go this time because we did it in two parts the last time. But I'm just going to pop a couple of pins in. So I'll we'll pop that one in there. I might get this all in one go, you know. And then one more around here. So you can see all of the extra fabric just mm -hmm. kind of wobbling up there. Yeah. And if I put one more pin in just to hold this in place so we can get the iron on it. So you can see it just it isn't quite staying, staying flat. Now this is a situation when you press rather than wiggle and that little bit of steam hey. on there will have that sitting nice and flat that so it's much, precise. much easier to sew. Yeah. And because I know that that steam's just coming out of that middle bit, I mm. can move it to where I need it to be and then just apply the, the steam to where I need it. So it's much better for getting things to sit nice and flat before you sew them. That's cool. So, I'm going to put the rest of this on. Yeah, you want and to then do I some numbers? Little... Go on then, do go a few then. numbers. <laughs> right then, so if you do want to go for the iron and your lovely mini pressing board, which I think is just really cute, it's like doll size. It's well, it's not, it's not about it being cute though, it's about I it know. being practical because if you've got things like sleeves yeah. that you need to do, or this is a little um, little pouch, and you want to press that seam there before you go ahead and you stitch it, mm -hmm. then you can get them right the way yeah. on here. And things like plackets, things like collars, things all those kind of dressmaking things, or even when you're bag making and you're mm. turning out handles and you're doing little long pieces, this is brilliant for that. Yeah, and it's cute. Uh, okay, it's cute too. <laughs> no, you but can it have is that very as useful. Well. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right then, so it's £26.98, £8 pound saving, 700907. Uh, right then, so we've also got some fat quarters and you're getting two packs of four. Can I open them? Uh, yes, I've right? got another set down here. Yeah. Um, as well, but you, yes, you're welcome to open cool. them if you wish. I do like how they arrive. I must today. say though, they um, they're more like a brushed cotton. They're quite a wide weave, and they're not a quilting cotton. Just in case anybody, I mean, you absolutely can quilt with them, and they're yeah. all the same weight, so you can use them all together, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But they're not a quilting cotton, so I just don't want people to get confused with that. Okay, but. Um, so some of them have got a nice little sparkle to them. Uh, we are nearly 70% of the stock gone here. This is nice. It all feels like that real soft, soft cotton. Yeah, it's like brushed cotton, isn't That's it? That's the word, yeah. Really nice. Like pyjamas. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, and then we've got uh, a really nice fat quarter here where you can feel that those lovely snowflakes are raised. And then another one. They've all got a nice different texture to them. They're fabulous. Shall I, I'll just open one out just so you can see uh, the size of a fat quarter. You might be new or to sewing or whatnot. There you go. That's the size. Isn't it cute size? There you go. But they're all really beautiful nice. fabrics, so you don't necessarily just need to use them for sewing. And um, we had some 
big MDF reindeer on not that long ago. Yeah. And they would look brilliant covered in this. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you I don't do. have to just use fabric for soft craft. Or maybe if you're doing a journal and you've got um, journal covers front and back that you want to cover. Yeah. They'd work really well for that as well. I like that. Right then. And then we've got the other one. I do like they come with a bit of twine. Don't throw the twine, of course. You can use that in your make card making and stuff. So then we get uh, another set there. Uh, look at this lovely oh this one's got a little bit of black on like that so really really nice so for all eight fat porters it's ten pounds and 98 pence good nine pound saving zero seven five eight four seven then we move on to our right this is a, a four-in-one multi mat so this first one here has got the nice little it's like the haberdashery one isn't it there so you the, go. the multi mat you've seen before when mm. we had the original dry iron that's when uh, we brought out the, the first multi mat. And um, this one is exactly the same principle. So it's your cutting mat, it's your um, uh, kind of laying out area, which is that soft suede piece. And then underneath the soft suede piece, it's a bit that feels like almost like sandpaper. Mm. And that's really great for kind of marking out lines and, and drawing bits and pieces on as well. Yeah. Because you've got all of those different kind of elements and layers that you can work with throughout your sewing. And then if you flip it over completely and use it on the back, then that's when you can use it as, a, as an ironing board as well. Yep. Right, there you go. That was my impression of ironing. Um, <laughs> it's very odd. Uh, £16.99, 883013. And then this is the A3 and it's got slots on it. I'm very happy about this. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so this one works slightly differently to the multi mat. This one is just an A3 mat. So one side that you're going to get when you open it up will be your artboard mm -hmm. to do your cutting on. And that's what? got all your measurements on and your angles. And the other side has that kind of non-stick uh, silver surface. It'll be quite familiar with on ironing boards. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, a one that's designed to be opened out all the time yep. as 50-50 ironing and cutting. Great stuff. And it's got slots on. I like. <laughs> uh, right then. You... But I will just point out, yeah. obviously the, the multi mat you designed to iron on the, on the outside of it, on the back of it, this one isn't. This one's got solid cover yes. and your ironing portion is on the inside. Excellent. Uh, you can spread the cost two payments of £20, 635736. Then we go on to lots of different threads. Um, how many are you getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. You're getting ten and you've got 500 metres. You have. You've got 500 metres on each. That's 5,000 metres in total. Excellent. There you go. Some really nice colours. Yes, uh, you've got um, all your essentials, your black, white, grey, all your uh, beiges and your black as well. And then you've got some really bright colours in there. The bright colours, if you're not going to use them for your decorative stitches, then maybe you can use them for your basting stitches and your, well, your tacking stitches where you're going to put yeah. them in and then possibly, you know, take them out later on. But you need to see where they are. Good stuff. £17.99, £4 saving, 997-091. Then we've got the scissor set. Um, look at this. It's cool, isn't it? I like this. <laughs> Glam rock, they're saying. Look uh, at that. And then you, you've got your tape measure. Yeah, it's really cool. And then you've got your dressmaking scissors, like so. So it's a really funky little set. Puts a smile on your face. £19.99. Matt's favourite. Oh, okay. As in floor mat. Oh, what what floor mat? Why do you like this? You like the tape measure? Why aren't you speaking to me? <laughs> yeah, he likes it. Nineteen ninety nine one one nine five four four is the item number. Uh, next then. Okay, we, this is so lovely. We've got an applique project bag. Is, what what fabric is this? Would you say, Haley? Um, I would say it's it's like a linen feel yeah. fabric. It's uh, it's really quite nice, and it's also got it's got obviously the applique on the outside. Um, there is no applique project in the bag. It's more just a project bag for you to keep your little bits and pieces into. And it's got that drawstring on the top, yeah. which you can either have it folded in or you can have it folded out. It's really cute. Mm, everything's cute. Uh, £17.99. Mm, I was just looking at the saving, which is interesting. £17.99, oh. 417763. 
Hmm, we've had better savings than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Right, we've got a bag here with a huge B on the front. Oh, okay, this has got a saving. Right. A four pound. What are you confused oh, by no, now? Oh, we're on this now. Okay, this is what I thought you were going back to this, Emily. I, I, I haven't like, touched anything. I'm just, <laughs> just adding useless comments from over here. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but um, I like the fabric. I don't know what it is, what it's been It's quite with. textured, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite nice, this one. It's, uh, it's, quite, uh, it's got a nice kind of... Uh, really tactile feel to it very much so and inside got a couple of uh, if i turn it around got a couple of pockets a couple there miss pepper likes the lining there you go and then there's another pocket there and it's got the little clasp so you can there you, there you go you can do that up like that 23 pounds and 99 pence 891373 oh look at this box oh we didn't open oh. and play with this one earlier on oh okay we were we we playing with the other one, but we oh. didn't play with this one. Okay. It's a very nice little box. Yes, it's got that same tactile um, feel to your embellishment on the top there. It has. It's got kind of embroidered legs. Yeah. But then kind of almost a, a kind of a plique 3D, a plique mm. body. Yeah. Very cute. Yes, and then you've got the little stretchy bit there that will just do up for you. There you go. It's a lovely little basket, this. Really cute. Lovely. Uh, a plique linen woven sewing box then. Uh, it's 12 by 19.5. 12 by 19.5 by 9 centimetres. 13.99, 5 pound saving, 100807. Then you've got a little sewing kit. Let's have a look here. We've got, we've got I mean, this would be bees. a nice one to go in to any of the other yeah. matching bee pieces because they would all work beautifully together. It's all the same outer fabric, that kind of linen effect fabric, but then you've just got different uh, methods of adding the bees onto the outside because this one's got a more kind of 3D felt plique yeah, look, on whereas there. the other ones are... Uh, more kind of more satiny, more stitched in, aren't they? This is a good travel kit, isn't it? It is. Yeah, this one's got kind of everything you need as your as your basics. Really. Yeah, you've even got some safety pins in there. Hayley West needs them. Why? She's had no any number of safety pins off me. Really? Gapy blouses. Oh, gapy blouses. I'm going to move on. <laughs> um. <laughs> Have I flustered you? <laughs> no, no. Oh. the bees. <laughs> the bees are flustered. The okay. bees. It's the bees, not me. Twelve pounds and forty-nine pence. Six five three seven two one. And yeah, this, this is one's adorable. Uh, Catherine wants to use this just as a handbag. I could. I, I could go with that. Okay. I could totally go with that. That's so well, they, lovely. But to be honest, there's nothing in there. There's not like a pin cushion in there or anything that is definitively sewing no. about it. So you could absolutely use this for any other craft that you wanted. Yeah. Now, excellent closing. Thank you. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm off. Are you off? Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Well, that's just me then. Um, okay, <laughs> so um, what I want to have a look at is uh, we've been doing a lot of ironing with all of the cotton fabrics, so things like your quilting cotton. And the quilting cottons really benefit from a steam iron because, as we, especially uh, poplins as well, as we know, cottons can get awfully creased. <laughs> um, and that steam will really, you can see this one, this one's been in my car um, and it got kind of, roughly folded after a show on uh, Saturday and it's been sitting in the car like that so um, just that little bit I mean it's got so much heat and so much um, steam for a small iron it really is quite impressive so that is just with it given a quick iron but I can still see a few there so I can take it further and I can just add the steam <laughs> makes such a funny little noise <laughs> <laughs> hours of entertainment while you're ironing. It is. Just for the noise. It's hours of entertainment. Just for the noise itself. <laughs> so, great for things like cotton. However, we've got the lovely um, fat quarters on the show, so I thought we'd have a look at a slightly different weight of fabric. Now, these feel, I mean, yes, they're cotton, um, but they feel like they've got, may have a little bit of viscose or something and just the way that they move. And this is a much wider weave that we've got here. So what we'll do is we'll just press as if we were going to do a double rolled seam on this. Let me just move this out the way for a second because we want it off, off my little board. 
and if we were going to put a double rolled seam if you're using something like these checked fabrics then I would say rather than pressing um, evenly in terms of the, the distance from the cut edge I would always work to the pattern because you can see it's slightly going a little bit less and a little bit less as we go here and I'll just press those as we go oh look it's instant, isn't it? It yeah, really is it a powerful is. little thing. Because you can, it's a very, very powerful little iron, and you can get an instant press with using the, what is, I wouldn't say it's a dry heat, I would say it's a semi-dry heat, because you've got that little bit of steam coming through all yeah. the time. But then if you want that kind of jet of steam, which will most definitely press everything in place, it's because that extra well, water in the form of steam is going into the fibres, uh, both kind of opening and relaxing the fibres and then the heat is what is keeping it all in place. So I'm just trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can still see. Yeah. So you can see it's, it's, nice. it's already held it in place but if I want to give it that really good crease then I can just add the steam and that is completely flat now. So if you wanted to do things like double rolled hems they're absolutely perfect for that. Now, one thing I would be aware of is obviously when you've got steam in here, what it can do is cause the, the fibres to shift a little bit. So if you're working on a checked fabric like this, just line up the pattern mm -hmm. with the rest of the pattern as you go. Um, obviously, be careful with scratching your sole plate of your iron if you've got pins in there. So I'm not going to iron over that bit directly, but I am just going to iron next to it. And just matching those patterns up as I go and what will help you with this is as we usually say press not wiggle right so you're not looking to put it on and then move it about like that because that's going to cause the movement that's going to knock your pattern off so if you get it in place and then literally press it obviously this is quite a lightweight iron so it does benefit from you giving it a, a little bit of putting a little bit of weight on it yeah. that will always help and if you're standing up rather than sitting down then that's a lot easier because you can just literally kind yeah. of lean over into it this iron is way better than my iron at home <laughs> I'm not joking my iron is rubbish well the dry one that they originally brought out was brilliant it had a huge mm. amount of power for the size that it is and that is most, um, also due to the fact it's a proper UK plug. Okay. A lot of these little lines that you'll see will come with a two-pin plug. Yeah. They're generally designed for 200, uh, uh, 120 to 115 volt system, not a 240 volt system. And that's why this has so much power. It's designed to be on a 240 volt system, which Got means you. more power. Lovely. No problem. Plug it back in, because that will help. <laughs> <laughs> Just ironing. Did I show you how to fill it up? Yes, I did. Yes. That's fine. I thought I did it in the last show. That's okay. So, working on straight pieces, working on different types of fabric, because this obviously is a slightly wider weave. It's still a cotton. It feels like it's got a little bit of a viscose mix in there just by the feel of it, but beautiful to work with. You can see it presses really nicely, and this could be any number of things. You could have anything um, fabric in there, so we're just going to press that down. Um, just so you know, at home, we are 80% of the stock gone of our eight <laughs> fat quarters. <laughs> the noise. The noise is so good. <laughs> uh, Ten pounds and ninety-eight pence for your fat quarters. Just do it for the comedy value. <laughs> I mean, it is really good value in its own right. Yeah. When we had the one without steam, that was twenty pounds. Mm. So by the time you've added the steam on, yeah. it's twenty-four pounds for the iron. Yeah, and twenty-five pounds for the iron. And if you go for the bundle, yeah. an extra two pounds gets you a tiny ironing board. I love it. It's like a little spaceship. Oh, it, it, honestly, it, it's, it's sometimes I think I just come in to amuse myself. <laughs> right, so uh, that's the first one over. I'm going to do a second roll on that hem. And again, just taking a little bit of time to match up those um, patterns as I go. And it's quite easy with the tartan because you're kind of, you know, you're, you're matching up the checks as you go and you've got some nice easy reference points as yeah. well as when to start and stop. I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. Didn't do it that time. No. I think, I, I think I've got to have either all the dots on the board right. so that the air has nowhere to get out. Try and I think it. that's when it makes the squeak. All the dots. No, maybe half off. No. It's because you've I embarrassed it. You've embarrassed it. That's what it is. <laughs> Can you embarrass an iron? 
Okay, so this is a little hard to see on here because um, we've got, we, we can't really see the clear marks. Um, so what you should end up with is you should end up with a, a crisscross yeah. with a square in the middle. So what you need to do is cut across that square. Let's get a pair of scissors. Cut across that square that forms in the middle because you've rolled it twice on this side and you've rolled it twice on this side. So you should have a parallel set of lines there and a parallel set of lines there, which will give you that little crisscross in the middle. Got you. What you want to do is cut, I've got not enough hands now, you want to cut diagonally across that crisscross in the middle. So you want to cut like that, taking that end triangle off. And what that's going to do is take the bulk out of what we've got there but still give you a piece to turn over. And then we're going to fold that piece in first. And then we're going to double turn this side. Then we're going to double turn that side. One and two. And that's what's going to give you nice. those nice corners. So if you were wanting to literally just turn these into napkins, and I've got a feeling these would wash really nicely. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Just, you know, sometimes the feel of the fabric is going to tell you that it's going to wash really nicely. So I think these would wash really nicely. And I think for napkins, they're not going to crease like mad as well because it does feel as if it's got that little bit of um, viscose within there. So I'm going to just give that a quick press. And then I'll pin those yeah. and just stick them around. around. Yeah. Oh, fell off. Ha. Ah, <laughs> right, with the iron, is this the bundle? Oh, so the bundle, so you get the iron and the mini press board. We are 60% of the stock gone. It's £26.98 with an £8 saving. Um, but I'm impressed. I'm seriously impressed. I'm seriously thinking about getting one of these. It's got quite yeah. a lot of power. I got one of the dry irons mm -hmm. um, because I did it on the show and uh, they wouldn't give me one. So I had oh. to go and buy one. <laughs> 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 it was that, but that's quite, you know, it, we demonstrate stuff all day every day yeah. and if, if we've gone out and bought one then you know it must be fairly good Absolutely. so I'm just going to pin um, this in position this is one of the clamshell or um, one of the clamshell type templates that we did on the Fabazine on Saturday Sunday Saturday yes I was with you so many days I know. <laughs> so many days <laughs> um, and I'm just pinning these into position so the way that this one works is I start in the center and then I work my way out either side, pinning this into. And you can. This is a really good demonstration of how much extra fabric one side has to the other, because you can see there. It, although it's exactly the same distance all the way around, one side has the blue side there has an awful lot extra mm. fabric. Yeah. And what you're looking to do is just to spread that out over that whole seam. And then the template that I used, which I had somewhere, there it is has little um, cut marks in it and what mm. I've done is I've used those to uh, take a pen yeah. to and just drawn on like this one drawn on my little lines so I can line up my seam allowances mm -hmm. with those so that's all done that's on there so now I'm going to take this to the machine and press it now if you wanted to press it before you took it to the machine then that would again help to loosen off those fibers especially with the now you've got to be careful again with your sole plate here and i've used a heat erasable marker so you can see it's turning uh, it's kind of turning white when i press them so i can just put a little bit of steam onto there oh, and make my instant. sewing much easier because i've got a flatter edge to sew with right i'm buying this iron <laughs> I'm being serious. I don't, are you allowed to? Yeah, I'm allowed to okay, buy. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but... Oh, you what? get a free gift, though. And here's the free gift. <laughs> Lovely link there. Thanks. Seamless. I have not used my £5 credit. There you go. It's 26 98 Not anymore. <laughs> it's 21 98 And you get your little sewing kit. Yay! I'm just going to sew oh. some stuff while you maybe do something. Yeah, do, do you do something? Just do, just do something. <laughs> All right, I will just show you, though, the <laughs> gift with purchase, just so you, if you're, if you haven't yet seen. So you're going to get, like, three tiers, if you like. So you've got some threads in the bottom, and then you've got another tier, some more threads there, and then in the top tier, in here, it's a bit stiff, you have got 
little cutters like that. Uh, you've got UV what's it tape measure, needle threader. Didn't realise that was in there. Very handy. Some needles themselves, and then that little thimble that's different to what I've ever seen before. But anyway, that's in there. If um, you can so chuck it over, mm -hmm. I'll show you if, how to use it. Uh, well, you a, can maybe give it to support. Matt. Yeah. Okay, maybe not throw it. No. no I, don't, I think that'll get lost. Oh, yes, right. Fat quarters, then. You're going to get eight of them, and you're approaching... They are approaching limited stock. And there we go. Uh, so you can see you've got that beautiful tartan there. You've got a Christmassy one with the sort of raised uh, snowflakes on. This one is like your brushed cotton, very nice. And then I like this one, of course I do, because it's got the gold on it. I'll open this one at this time. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this one. That's the size of them. That is lovely, isn't it? Really see that gold. And then, I'll do that in a minute. Um, you've got your black tartan. Well, it's got black in it, and then we've got the green, then there's more blues. Those two look the same. Oh, maybe a slightly different shade. Um, we are limited stock now for our fat quarters. £10.98, a £9 savings, 075847. Okay, then we have the multi mat. Here it is next to me, and it's got that. So the, the multi mat we've uh, we've shown you before. Yeah. We've introduced this to you before, but this has just got the different covering on it. It's yeah. a new fabric design that's been added to it. Uh, so this one's all kind of sewing themed. So yep. obviously, it will match nicely with any sewing it collection. It would. Nice haberdashery feel to it. And then inside, you've got the self healing mat. You've got like that velvety mat for you to place things and then... So that's for you to lay things out. Yeah, so if you've out. got lots of bits that are kind of sewn together and you're just wanting to test out your block before you actually sew it together, that's a great place to put it because it kind of grips it a little bit. Yeah. And then the next one you've got is the one that's more like a sandpaper. It is, yeah. And that's great for, say, if you're using like the clamshell template that I had here and you're wanting to put the piece of fabric down so that it doesn't slip and slide and then put the um, template over the top. Nice. There you go. So that is 1699 Something else for you to add to your baskets. Right, we've got the large ruler rack. And, I mean, it's quite posh, isn't it? You could stand your it's, canvases it's in. It's a nice, chunky piece. It's a solid uh, it wood block with... Um, all sorts of, uh, it's got grooves out of it, so you can stand lots and lots of rulers in this. Even the really big one that I've got here, I've got a really big metric one here, which is 15 centimetres by 60 centimetres. Mm -hmm. And um, that one's, that one will easily fit into there. Uh, 999, item number is 449964. If you do want the ruler, there it is, for 13.99, a good eight pounds off. It's 16 by 60 centimetres. And it is 079286. You can call us, of course, on the usual number, 01733 or go to our website at herchanda.com. What would you like to do now, Hayley? Okay, so I um, took that piece that I had pressed earlier, um, and I've just sewn it on the machine, and that's kind of ha where, where we're at now. So this should be a nice flat piece, like uh, this one here. Threads everywhere. There we go. It should be a nice flat piece like this piece here, but that's what we currently have. And that's because the, the fabrics are pulling in completely different directions. And there's going to be now, there's going to be just the right amount on this side, but on this side there's going to be an excess, so it's going to want to, to bunch up. So by using that steam again, we can just slowly, and this is without the steam, we're just kind of slowly pushing it back and pressing it back into shape. And then we can take the steam and get smooth that all out. So you can see, for things like those curved seams, yeah. the steam really helps. And the fact that the steam, the steam is so directional in here, because you're using just that centre bit, just where that little flower is, so you can be really precise with where you put it, and that will... It just really help you when you're, um, you're pressing out your yeah, seams. So you definitely. can see that's 
perfect it is. quarter circle now. Nice. And it will vertical steam as well. Now, it won't go for hours and hours like one of the big machines will, but you can vertically steam as well. So if you've got a couple of little bits that need to be um, taken out of maybe a, a, a dress or, or maybe a curtains or something, then you can vertically steam with it. See, as well. this is going to be really great for my um, when I finished my embroidery pieces and cross stitch because yes, for you can't money, iron those, and especially with things like um, threads that you're em embroidering with. And sometimes some of the decorative threads have got um, an element of plastic or polyester in them. Yeah. And then those you absolutely cannot hit with a normal iron because what will happen is your cotton fabric will um, the creases will come out of that at a higher temperature than your threads right so your threads will melt but i can use that <laughs> iron though uh, yeah you'll be yeah. able to you'll be able to steam i wouldn't you know i wouldn't put it down and iron over no, my no. threads but you can absolutely hit it with the steam oh. and get it get some of the creases out that way yeah i am going to get one yeah because my so, I, it's really annoying because my cross stitch pieces are like well we you do crumpled. you tend to keep them kind of folded and yeah. when you're traveling and things you will kind of put them in a bag and take them out and put them yeah. in a bag and take them out and it does depend i will say check your threads because if you had a, a combination of a polyester thread mm -hmm. on a um even if it was this and that thread there was uh polyester yeah and then the the fabric was cotton what you can risk is melting your thread with your iron because I your see. iron is at a, at a temperature that it would need to be mm -hmm. to take the creases out of the cotton right but by adding the steam into the mix oh i've run out of, i've been doing too much steaming i've run out oh. of uh. oh no i haven't i didn't press it properly but i am going to put some more water in all so right. i'll go and get some more water okay because my little jug's empty all right <laughs> you look so forlorn. I am. Uh, if you do want the iron with the um, mini press board, it's £26.98, £8 pounds off. But yes, you could use your £5 credit if you haven't yet used it uh, because it's over £25. Pounds. Um, and yes, you need to use it quite quickly actually because our event's finishing tomorrow. Uh, £26.98, 700907 is the item number. The fat quarters then. How are we doing with these? Still limited? Very limited. So you've got one with the gorgeous um, gold running through it. Look at that. That's my favourite. Of course it is. Yeah, so these are all um, cotton, but they are a wider weave cotton. Yeah. And, oh, I did have water in. Sorry, I've just went to check it. Oh. Oh, I see. It's, there was just a little bit left and it hadn't gone right down to the bottom, so I'll put some more in anyway. Anyway, so yes, sorry, I got distracted. It happens often. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so these are a cotton, but they are a wider weave cotton than um, your quilting cottons. Right. So I think that one that I had in the... Let me just put this back together first. There we go. They're a wider weave cotton than uh, the quilting cotton. So if I put these side by side, this one is one of the ones that is in within the bundle, and the blue one there that's a quilting cotton got you you can see, you can see if i just pull a few strands one. off that one as well you can see that it's a it's a much wider weave on this one than the others but there's still absolutely no i mean beautiful for applique and things mm -hmm. you'd make some really nice applique pieces with this yeah. and what i'll recommend is if you are going to applique with this either use a turned edge yeah um, applique where you're not going to be dealing with that completely raw edge or make sure you stabilize it with some fusible webbing or some um, what do I mean interfacing right. first so that you don't get these really free edges but absolutely beautiful uh, fabrics really nice oh yes ten pounds and 98 pence limited stock item number is 075847 Back to you then, Hayley. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit more water into... It sounds weird, I'm putting the water into the handle because that's where the water needs to go. This is your water chamber. So in a normal iron, you would maybe have to pour it into somewhere in the centre or you'd be lifting it up and pouring it down the spout. The actual water chamber completely detaches with this one. So you're filling it up in there. And you can, I mean, you could even just take this to the tap if you wanted to, where you can't do that with a normal iron. And then once it's full, you just need to pop that little bung back in to stop the water coming back out mm -hmm. and then just let the bubbles come out because obviously it needs to feed all the things you can just see the bubbles popping up there cool while it feeds right down into that bottom bit yeah. and then there's a little plug on the bottom of here 
there's another one on the bottom of the iron there and you're going to seat those in together and then snap that back into place so this comes on and off with just a little uh, slidey button at the back here sorry my fingers are wet now so I can't get it off there you go so the little slidey button on the back that button on the front there is the one that applies your jet of steam mm -hmm. and then the button on the back here turn it around that is the one that you press in and it will collapse your handle well, it should collapse your handle there we go and then the button where that button was that's where your cable sits and once you put it away obviously make sure it's cool before you put it away yep that's uh, going to be all secure and please don't wrap your cords around your iron it's not particularly good for it um, but what I would recommend is once you're finished with your iron take this off and empty it out it's never good to leave irons with water sitting in them oh. so take that off just take it over to the sink how and just empty it back out how do you wrap your um wire okay so this is hot so i shall be careful but what i would do is i would do a, a figure of eight oh, give me the end like that okay and then you know one of those um used to be like a the bread ties or yeah. the twisty wire ties i would um have it like that or even just a hair bob or something Oh, hair bubble. It. Yeah, good idea. It's <laughs> you're looking for hair bubbles. Yeah, I was thinking, did I leave mine <laughs> on? Let's <laughs> look for the hair bubbles. <laughs> yeah, much much better. I mean, you can even make yourself a little Velcro one or oh, something, yeah. or a little hook and loop tape around yeah. it. There's lots of different options, but please don't wrap it around your eye. It just it'll last ten times longer. I really hope my other half is watching this. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's at work. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'll okay. show them on rewind. Hayley said, don't do it. <laughs> do you think she'll listen to me? <laughs> I don't know. So really, well, you won't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> really easy to fill and unfill there as well, because usually if you've got a um, uh, normal large iron, you've got to wait till it cools down, take mm. it up to the sink, tip it upside down, the water goes everywhere. The water tank is in the handle, so you can easily fill it and uh, unfill it just by topping it up there so yep. let me pop that back in we'll pop the handle back on and we'll maybe go back to the bias binding again pop that oh, in i'm just going to show this ruler and away we go cool i've got this ruler now it's i know this is meant to be this wooden block is meant to be for rulers but you see when i look at this i'm thinking finished pieces of artwork that are oh, on, like, somebody else canvases. said that last time we yeah, uh, we did it this. might have been me <laughs> mdf fits yeah. in there nicely because the uh, rulers are all yeah. three uh three mil yeah. thick which means that if you've got three mil thick mdf mm -hmm. you can make a whole scene yeah i tell you what it, it, why i say this is as, as well is because my mum does loads of oil paintings and she had much bigger ones made for her to slot all the paintings in but there you go um. anyway uh yeah there's five oh. slots one two yes Sorry. yes yes Could and hiccups. it's 9.99 item number is 449 nine six four there you go several uses for this oh it's beechwood Ooh, oh it's fancy. got little non-slip feet as well yeah <laughs> and it's got the name on it <laughs> mill ward right <laughs> back to you Haley. <laughs> well yeah well this has got non-slip feet too yeah oh there you go <laughs> So um, I've come back to the, the bias binding because, I mean, yes, I know it's, uh, we, we showed this this morning and uh, just earlier, but this, these are the main things that you're going to need to use your steam for. Um, everything else, it will perform exactly the same as a dry iron. All you need to do is just empty that uh, chamber of water before you start. And then you can absolutely use it as a dry iron. So anything like your um, heat fix vinyl, any of your adhesives, you know, like your iron on adhesives, mm -hmm. like your fusible webbings and things like that, you can use it for all of that. But where it excels and, and differs from the other iron that we've had is the steam function. And the steam function is useful when you're trying to manipulate those fabrics. So you're trying to, you know, do all the curves and things that we've shown you with these ones here. I mean, that's a, that's a lovely flat. It is, curve. isn't it? And usually, curved bits are really difficult to sew and you'd have to be snipping into the back here to get it to to sit flat mm. and not having to snip into the back means that your piece is going to last a lot longer because um you're not putting you're not going quite as close to those seams and you're not going quite as you know quite as close that means if you're going to wash them and things it's going to last a lot longer yeah 
so I've put a few pins in this straight edge just so we can get it up to this end and then we'll go around that corner again so bias binding is called bias binding because it's cut on the bias of the fabric so you've got your um, threads this is a nice one to show it on actually because it's got the checks on so it illustrates it quite well so your normal threads run top to bottom and left to right so top to bottom is your warp left to right is your weft weft left weft that's, left that's how you remember oh I like that there you weft go um, <laughs> see every day is a school day Alex <laughs> Do you know how I, I do you know how I have to think about which is my right? I have to do that all the time to see which one my left hand is. Yeah. Oh, you know when they when they say go go to your left, I'm like go to left. <laughs> no, I... it takes a minute to sink in as well. It's like a satellite delay. <laughs> uh, how how do I do? Because I, I have to I have to mentally do the sign of the cross. Do you? Yeah, it's been drilled into me since childhood. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, that's a Just really a fa boring fact you didn't need to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, up and down. So on this one, you can see your, your left to right is your, your stripes, and then your up and down has got your little kind of crosses on there. So if it's a cut on the bias, it's cut like that. So right. it's cut on the diagonal. So you're kind of going across both the warps and the weft. And what you'll find is that naturally will give you mm -hmm. stretch. Yeah. And that's what we're taking advantage of with the seam, uh, with the um, steam iron, because that's what is going to give us a nice flat curve. So let me just move that out of the way for a second. Stay. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get this in one again. So we're going to take that all the way around. And the bias has got a natural kind of little bit of stretch to it and will, we'll, you know, curve to an extent. But can you see all of that excess yeah. that we've got sticking up there? I'm actually going to see if I can turn that around so you can see it. This is when I knock the water back over. <laughs> like I did what, did earlier. you do that earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah. of course I did. <laughs> I went everywhere. Whoops. So, and then get it where my steam is quick little blast of steam look at the finish completely flat mm. so that's what the advantage of the steam is the steam gets into all of those fibers both kind of uh, the water kind of helps expand them and then the heat sets them in place got you so that's why you would use steam over a dry iron for this type of thing because you'll just get a much quicker faster neater finish nice roger <laughs> right, I'm going to set up for something else, because okay, I know fine. we've not got long. No, um, about six minutes, I think. We've six, got. okay. Yeah. I shall be quick then. I shall be quick. No worries. Again, details are on screen. Uh, £26.98. You've got the £8 saving. You will get the iron, and you'll get the lovely little mini board, which I, I personally think also looks like a spaceship. Starship Enterprise, other ships available. Uh, 700907. Again, don't forget, you will get this fab gift with purchase. Do we know how much it's worth? I'm just always curious. In a minute. How much? Four ninety nine. So that's four ninety nine's worth of goodness. It's frisbee in the gallery. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> just hear this little voice going. Uh, <laughs> You've just got somebody in here going. I pay more than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said. Well, there you go. It just shows it's very good value. That's your gift with perch. It's <laughs> still in there. So funny. Um, Okay, fat quarters then. So we have got the... I've just heard this door slam as well. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> right, um, so we have got the gorgeous tartan uh, in the green. You're getting all of this. Then you've got the fat quarter that's got the um, nice little snowflakes on. They're, all, they're raised. It's almost like they've been embossed almost. They haven't, but you know what I mean. Um, and then you've got this. This is a, a really nice weight. Now we have got single figures left of these. Will it last to the end of the hour? Could be up to the wire. Uh, then we've got the tartan with that nice bit of black on. And then we go into the blues. They're slightly different hues, these. Which one is it? No, it's this one and this one, isn't it? Slightly different hues. Mm, actually, yes, Emily said it looks like it's got a bigger check. I believe so. And then They're just a really nice one. mix it of is, red, it? green checks. Some of them have kind of Christmassy themed snowflakes yeah, on them. You don't have to use them as that. You could always, if you do not like the snowflakes, just turn it over. Problem solved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> non Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> Boom. This is why you have me, see? Reversible. For turning things around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I have one last demo which I've not got okay. a lot of time for, but 
Things like turned edge applique, where, um, again, steam is really, really helpful because you're trying to get around those corners and you're trying. So I'm going to do it on the edge of this apron piece here. So I'm using the curve that's on uh, this piece here. And this I'm using as a, as a template. So I'm going to fold all of those bits over and then firstly press them without the steam. But what makes turned edge applique much easier is the application of either spray starch or just water. Because if I hit those with the steam and do it on that one, <laughs> the noise, I love it. And then take that out. Look at nice, how nice, nice and sharp. It is very that, sharp. Hang on, I'll move it that. this this bit's out of the way so you can see how nice and sharp that creased edge is. Yep. Just with that little extra bit of steam. Mm. And you can always, because obviously when I've pulled that template out, it's kind of uh, ruffled it up a bit. You can always go back, take some of that excess off, because you don't need all of that behind it. I'll take some of that excess off so it sits nice and flat. Um, and then you can always give it a press from the other side as well, just to seal in that a little bit more. So there's lots of things that you could use the steam for. Mm. <laughs> Are you a bit warm? Because <laughs> we always ask for the aircon off because we're always freezing. <laughs> I'm sorry. They'll put it back on for you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm talking to the cardio lady. Sorry. Wendy, Wendy. Wendy. That was it. Sorry. And if I want that crease back out, again, because we've got the steam. I wonder if mine's going I can to make take that, that noise. Back. I can't make it do it all the time. It just does it now and again just to surprise me. <laughs> oh, come on. Squeak. No, I can't make it squeak. <laughs> uh, Emily's asking me, but genuinely, yeah, I'm going upstairs in a minute to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> but that was really firmly pressed around that corner, and that's completely out now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Brilliant. And that's that's a tiny, tiny iron. And that, I mean, usually you'd have to have a um, a two thousand watt, a mm. two kilowatt iron oh, right. to get yep. that out. That's a seven hundred watt iron, but it does such a good job because it is a UK plug. It is done for UK voltages, and it is an extremely powerful iron for a little tiny iron. Tiny iron, <laughs> beautifully displayed. <laughs> I like that. Waft. <laughs> See, we're not able to waft together anymore. I know. This has been a thing since the beginning. If we get a split screen, we could maybe waft together one day. <gasps> Green screen, so I'll go in first. Okay. Waft, then you... Maybe relay waft, that's what we need. Relay waft? Okay, you, you go first, yeah. and then I'll go. Oh, oh all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll go. No, you, you go first. Okay, okay. right. Ready? Who's going first? Who, I'm going first. Okay. Waft. It's the time to go now. <laughs> <laughs> when are you next back in, Amy? I am back on Saturday. Saturday. Got a Fabric Freedom one day special. Oh, one day special. Ooh. Can you can you bring Frank? I, I probably can't bring him in, oh. but you can go and have a look at him on his Instagram. He's up to all sorts of things. How many how many followers? Uh, 178, I think. Amazing. <laughs> For a duck, I know. Yeah. Oh, he's got his own collection. He has. Look, I yeah, made him Frank his own friends. bag. Bag and it has another little bag. <laughs> Sorry, do some right. stuff. I'm pretty sure Carry you can on. find Frank and Friends on the website. Thanks, Hayley. Bye. See you after this short break. Next up, then, we have got Cardio Bring the Confetti, uh, followed by our Heartfelt Creations Birthday Sensations One Day Special, and then Birthday Bash with Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself to Leon Hajanda. We're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody. So, seven day savers during our birthday weekend or birthday week celebrations, we know we're going to give you something very special indeed. Take a look at this. It's aesthetically so beautiful, but also incredibly practical. If you're looking for a quality glass cutting mat with a metal, uh, you've got a metal lined ruler as well. So it has got that metal edge to it. So great for your cutting. It's not going to cut into uh, the ruler or damage that. You are getting your ruler. You're getting your large cutting mat with loads of different uh, formations with the measurements as well. So all your key card, si uh, card sizes are accommodated in here. $14.98 is your price, saving nine pounds, brought to you by Oakwood and Archer. This is a really beautiful addition to your craft room, all courtesy of our seven day savers. Uh, just to remind you as well, do have a look on our website because if you make any purchase during the live show, then you'll be in line as for a birthday gift. So do have a look at the full T's and C's on our website and lots more seven day savers to discover. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the managing director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hello, very good afternoon to you. I'm very excited about our cardio collection here because I'm with the gorgeous Wendy, who I've not met before until today. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, and I've got to say, these are already flying off the shelf. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? We're already lovely customers. Well, not just that. Gorgeous, lovely <laughs> designs, and these are your beautiful designs, they aren't are, they? Yeah. What a collection! I've got to announce straight off before we get down into detail. Ten percent of the entire collection has already gone, and individually, sorry, they've already gone. So the only way now to get these fantastic stamps, 50 I hasten to add, as well as the two incredible stencils is to get the entire bundle which you will want. Now the extended delivery means there's three day delay. That's okay. 4th of September. Can you believe I'm now talking about September? Uh, but we can cheer everybody up with that 
fantastic saving, £40.95. We've got it on two flexi-buy payments as well. But when we start to look at these fantastic samples and look at these stamps in detail, it is worth every single penny. Talk to me about this collection then, Wendy. This, I just love this collection. And again, what's lovely about it is any of the stamps that you've already bought before, these will filter straight in. But again, they just mix and match across the, the range. So you can do as many things as you can possibly think of with them. And I've got to say, you are also getting your freebie, which I'm just going to hold up this card here, because it is this beautiful stamp with the sentiment, lanterns burning brightly light up the ground below, where lies a winter wonderland dusted in soft white snow. So you'll get that as the birthday freebie. You will, yeah. When you order yeah. with our lovely Wendy today. But I've just got to look at these cards. They're amazing. They're so stunning. And they, they come together beautifully, like you said, don't they? They do, and it's a lot easier than it looks as well. That's what I really like about them. They look beautiful, but actually it's very easy to do once you know how. The drawings are absolutely exquisite. And if you look behind me, you'll see lots of these beautiful boards. I mean, the baubles here in the colour as well. You've got this, we've got this fantastic um, Winter Wonderland wording they go uh, on the show as well. So if you love these words that the baubles fit into beautifully. I mean, look at this with the map. Oh, they're just breathtaking. Everyone's an absolute corker. I, I absolutely. Those are some of my favourites. Oh, they don't. They know with the little string words. Yeah. So we had a lot of people, I used to just handwrite them and people say, oh, I can't write <gasps> as neat is that so yeah. we've done these little dangly words that you can put the baubles and things on the end but also we've sneaked a happy birthday in there as well oh, so yes, if you, you do did. want to use um little balloons on them maybe you can put balloons Brilliant. and things on them as well fantastic and needn't just keep us to you know the christmas time but also if you did have a christmas birthday my auntie she's the 25th so yeah oh gorgeous and the masks as well shouldn't be overlooked as well because they they really are something quite special uh can you see this one here now we're just coming down to it here Oh, oh, Mr. Ear. Oh, ear. There we go. Can you see that there? Those two masks. So is that the holly and the... And the, is the yeah, that's the holly and the ivy. But again, oh. what I like about this is you might not use the holly outside of Christmas, but the um, the ivy, you'd use all year round. You could put anything inside that. You could even make that holly into sort of almost like a maple leaf, couldn't you? Yeah. Just beautiful. Um, so we have got cues on the phone line. Can I ask everybody to bear with us? We know you're there. We've got this on two flexi by payments of £20.48. Quarter of the stock's already gone. We're hoping for a seven o'clock show. Well, we are. You are here for the yes. seven o'clock show. Yeah. Alex, last words were leave me something, Fiona. Leave me something. Uh, <laughs> please. But you're already shopping ahead because you know how brilliant Wendy is with her designs. I mean, look at the different machinations we can have by creating these images, these stories. My favourite's there. It is the snowman with the children putting him together i love your snowman with it he's <laughs> just so be and the fact that we've got him on a profile as well because there's two snowmen in there the child with the wishing star that oh it's and look at that the baubles with the tree dropping from the tree there they're just beautiful stunning i honestly i can't say enough good things about these 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 stamps and the masks they're, they're just stunning uh two flexible payments of 20 pounds 48 nine eight six eight seven three brand new today I know, I know, you just got to go, look at this one, don't look at, don't miss out on that one. And don't forget, we have got those beautiful uh, winter words that Wendy was describing as well, uh, those hanging words on the show. Oh, should we go to them? Yeah, beautiful, yeah, let's. Um, I'm sorry you can't get those on the individual now, but well done if you shopped ahead. Um, but honestly, you'll want the entire collection to make such beautiful creations as you can see behind me today. So these are the ones you said, Wendy. People said, I can't draw it. Yeah. Um, can yeah. you? So you created these specifically yeah, so for that just, reason. They can just jo join on into one long string. So as long as you want, as short as you want. And you mix the words inside. So you've got the little swirls. And then you've got the little words in between. So you can create lines of text Brilliant. to say whatever you want. Put the little baubles on the end. Have a happy birthday. I love that. Have a lovely day. You've really mixed that up beautifully. Yeah, I just thought, because I don't like anything to be just Christmas. Yeah. So because there's so many other words in there as well that you could you could mix up, we've put the birthday in as well. So. Absolutely, which is which is fantastic. And don't forget, you're getting as well as that stamp for 9 99 you are getting your lovely sentiment stamp as well, which is a beautiful sentiment. Do you, do you just come up with these yourself then, Wendy? You that one I actually wrote myself, that one that's on there. Fantastic. Yeah. You've got such a fantastic imagination. Uh, so 9 99 
280453. 20% of that has already gone, so do shop ahead. And I love Wendy's idea of just having the balloons hanging from it as well. And of course, you can just have them as a lovely sentiment anyway. Yep. You don't have to dingle dangle anything. Uh, then we've got the winter wishes, which are equally as beautiful, but you are getting that fantastic, uh, beautiful stamp as well as your uh, birthday gift. I mean, warm Christmas wishes blow on the winter breeze, swirling under snowy skies and through the sparkling trees. Uh, over the hills and far away, the bells ring out for Christmas Day. Hooray! Let the bells ring out for Christmas. We wish you a joyful Christmas where all your dreams come true. May happiness surround you now and the whole year through. These are fantastic. May your Christmas sparkle. Yes, may it sparkle. And look at these beautiful cards with those sentiments on. Uh, they, they're enough to make any card sparkle. Nine ninety nine for the winter wishes. Four to five stamps in total there. Uh, 803934. Uh, five stamps in total, sorry. This is Winter Wishes number four. And then we've got our acrylic rods, yes. So you'll see some of the stamps like the baubles, like the leaves. Um, you, I know Wendy, this is how Wendy applies her stamps onto the card and what have you. So these are just for ease. She will be using these and uh, they're, they're, they're great to pop the stamps onto. And you've got those different sizes, which Wendy will show us in demonstration there. You get all four of those rods there, 1099 603 Okay, let's have a look at the seven-day servers, and then we're going to go straight to Wendy then and see these fantastic uh, collection in action. So we've got some red liner tape there. We've got some lovely uh, cotton fabric, some fat quarters. We've got a cutting mat and a metal ruler. We've got the oakwood adhesive phone tape. Are we still doing our oakwood giveaway of the two glue pens? Yeah, that's the freebie as well uh, with our um, seven-day savers for the birthday celebrations there. Don't forget that ends tomorrow at 6 o'clock. So lots on there. We've got one day, two hours. Yeah, not long. Not long at all. Uh, so, yes, well... Wendy, oh, if you are good to go, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm can't wait to see these stamps I'm in action. I'm raring to go. Go go go. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that we're going to be doing first. So this is using our little um, ivy stencil. So basically, what we've done here, we've attached the ivy stencil uh, with some uh, repositionable adhesive. Now you don't have to do this, but just to give it a little extra punch, what I've done is just rub a little bit of wax paper. Now you could use a tumble dryer sheet for this as well. Uh -huh. You would rub it on the back. I've already started this one, and then just with your ball tool. Just just run around the edges and work that cardstock into your design. So start with the bigger of the ball tools first, uh -huh. and then you're going to go smaller. Now this is nice because of the way I sort of apply my ink. I tend to rub with um, a dry baby wipe. So this also locks the actual card in position on your, uh, sorry, the stencil in position on your card. But also when you finish, it gives you a lovely raised effect at the front. So the first thing I'm going to do is give us a little snowy hill. So this is just a little piece of paper that we're going to pop across the, the uh, card like that. And then I'm going to take my dry baby wipe and we're just going to start to blend the sky. But because I know we're going to put the little girl in and she's holding um, a little um, light with a little star, I'm just going to give myself a rough idea of where that light will be. So I've just cut out a little sort of set, a template of the girl and we're just going to put some colour so I know roughly where her light is going to go because around her is going to be lots of dark so I don't want to fill my card up with dark colours and then not be able to get the light in for the star oh. if that makes sense so I'm going to pop that there like that and later we're going to stamp her in but that is just so I know roughly where she's going to go so I'm just going to rub that in like so and that's where the light is going to go. So we're going to try and create these uh, lovely little northern lights. Now, every time I do this, it comes out different. So I don't really mind. What I try and do is a sort of swirl. So I'm going to start down here, and we're just going to blend off the edge. But I'm going to do a sort of swirly shape. So normally you'll see me working in little circular directions, but this time I'm sort of working in a little line. So little short lines like that. And we're going to go straight to the top of the card. Okay, and then we'll start with a little bit of green. So there's a lot of green in mm -hmm. um, Northern Lights, which is lovely. Have you seen them? Yes, I have, actually. <gasps> oh, you But devil. not quite as sort of intense as, as we're seeing them on my well, card. it's such a chance, isn't it, if it happens <laughs> yeah. when you're there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we waited for about three hours to actually <gasps> see them. Yeah, we drove around all over the place trying to catch them. But we did, but not as sort of intense as I would have liked Where to. Where did you travel to? Uh, Iceland, it was. <sighs> it was beautiful. It's a really lovely place. Wow. Okay, so a little bit more pink, I think. So we'll go for pink on this side. And then we're going to add some black in as well, just mm -hmm. to sort of give it the darkness as yeah. well that you want in there. So let's just get a clean bit on here. 
and we'll start to add. So I'm going to avoid that area where I know the little girl's going to be stood. So I don't sort of darken that little area where we've left for the light. So just around the edges like that. Mm -hmm. So you can leave a little bit of white in with this as well if you want. So it's entirely up to you really. It's quite free and easy. So I had to sort of Google, before I sort of did this effect, I had to just, just Google what the Northern Lights looked like when they're nice and intense, and pretty much any colour really goes. Rainbow, isn't it? Kind yeah. Of almost, isn't yeah. It? yeah. So we're going to add the dark in as well now. So I'm just going to work around the edge of the card. So this is just um, archival black, so this is just uh -huh. a dye-based ink. Mm -hmm. But I just want to add that darkness around the edge here, just to sort of really make that light pop. So don't be frightened of working on your stencil as well. That's absolutely fine. I mean, you might never, I don't actually um, clean mine very often, to be honest. <laughs> I just let them get dirty. But then I do like to sort of play a lot with these. But you'll see the difference when you actually take this off at the end and you see the difference in the raised effect that you get yeah. just by doing that little bit of embossing. It makes yes, all I've not seen the that difference. Before, Wendy. That's a really good it tip. Just, it, just you know, it just gives it that little extra something, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, because they are so crisp and clean. Yeah, and I look at your designs with the with the stencils. Yeah, and they're quite so crisp. I'd like to say subtle, but I'm, I'm actually going a bit mad this Christmas with the uh, the Northern Light sort of look. But well, it's working. They look, they look stunning. Right. So what we're going to do is take the little girl, and then where we left the actual light for her, that's roughly where I'm going to stand. At. So just make sure, because they're all solid stamps, so make sure you ink up really, really well. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop her in place. So let's take this off first. And then roughly, I'm going to stand her about there. So we should have just lined up roughly where we've put the light beforehand. So you can see she's got mm -hmm. a little bit of light showing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we're going to do is stamp the little sledge in there as well. So this is her little sledge with a little bird on the back, which is ever so cute. So How long just ago was it you go designed this collection, Wendy? Sorry? How long ago was it you designed this collection? Uh, not that long. Yeah. Uh, it took us quite a while to finalise this one. Yeah. You know, because sometimes you, something comes back and you're not as fond as, it, as you think you're going to be, so it gets chopped and changed a little yeah, bit until you get... Yeah, so it can take quite a while. But like I said, we have sort of managed to get two new collections this year, so there is another collection coming up in October as well. Fantastic. So You're more, in a few weeks, yeah. aren't you, as well? Yeah, we am, so yeah. So we're doing a favourites collection. Lovely. Um, so we're going to blend a bit of old and a bit of new in as well, and then we've got the, the new one coming up in October. So these are the seasonal branches. So just to sort of finish this off, we're going to add these just coming down the edges of the card. So these will be right in the foreground of the design. And like I said, what I love about this is every time you do it, you get something different. Mm. So it's never going to be the same card exactly. Those stamps, they, they, they stamp so crisp, don't they? They're they are beautiful. Stunning. It does take a while, you know, to get them, to get them right. Because another thing we do with ours is take off as much of the edge of ah. the, the stamp as you possibly can. Right. So they're extra thick. And also, you know, some people, when you first start, you tend to over ink a little bit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can get um, ink running around the edges of your stamp. Smudgy. So if you press too hard, you'll sometimes yeah. transfer that to your card. <gasps> so we've sort of tried to take most of that away. Wow. So you've not got very much. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just taking off some of that black because yeah. I'm going to blend this back into the card. Oh. But because I don't want all of that, because it'll be too heavy, I've taken some of that away. And then we're just using the excess then just to blend oh. into the card design like that. Now, if you want to, we've got lots of other little bits and pieces that we can add into here. So I'm just going to pop in the little squirrel. So let's put him about here, like that. And then we've got some tiny, tiny little birds. So I'm going to pop those in the trees just up here, just like that. Now you, forgive me, did you say you spray glued your, your stencil on? It's just a little just bit a... of removable adhesive. You yeah. could use spray glue, but just be careful it's not yeah. too strong. Yeah. Because um, obviously you're going to pull the front of your card off if you're not too careful. So I use a very light sort of adhesive. So we've done all the edges at the top now, but what we need to do is sort of just give a, give a little bit of colour to the bottom. So I'm just going to run some colour around the very bottom using a little bit of the black that we used before. But I'm going to take away a lot of it. So just a tiny, tiny little bit just to add some shade, just around the edges. Now the curl on this as well, it's just 
another thing you can leave that off if you want to you don't have to do all of the stencil you could actually emboss both stencils together and have one behind the other if you wanted Ooh. to so there's lots of ways you could actually mix these up so now, I'm just going to quickly tell everybody while you're just revealing that nearly 60% has gone so I'm very busy on the phone line so we know you're there wow I don't want to spoil this lovely reveal with me blathering look at this Oh, Wendy. Oh, there we go. Uh, demonstration number one. I mean, how <laughs> beautiful. Look how crisp that is. But you can see as well the raised edges do yes, sort of make the difference to the card. They really do. And such a simple thing that takes not very long. If you're making Christmas cards, you want them to be yeah. made quickly. So this is absolutely ideal because it's very quick. You're pinpointing a section of the card without having to do the whole thing. Absolutely. Well, let me have a quick recap and we'll get ready for another demonstration. Uh, let's have a little look at some of these facts because Wendy's going to be with us at 7 o'clock. Obviously, different uh, demonstrations. Don't forget, you are getting that lovely free stamp. We're very busy on the phone line. So if I could, uh, I know you're there. So uh, if you can get redirected to the website, that's brilliant. But you are getting this fantastic sentiment stamp as the birthday gift. Uh, with anything you're buying then in this hour. You are getting our beautiful snowman. And what's so lovely is the stories you can build up. You know, lots of these lovely stamps that can be used together separately to build those different images. I believe these are, I'm giving you a little taster now to the next hour that Wendy's going to be creating these gorgeous, gorgeous creations here. But again, look at our snowman in the foreground and the background. That possibly is one of my all-time favourite stamps. I just fell in. Look at this background. Isn't that beautiful the made with the lovely holly leaf there? And I love the fact that you can put a little lantern in the berry there and again a take on look again how different that card is to the one Wendy just did is in that fence beautiful and you can put the bird you can have a row of birds because the bird is separate so let's have a look at these stamps you're getting 15 total which can give you all of these different varieties and so many more and then you're getting the holly and the ivy mask the stencil itself I should say not the mask but uh, as well as your lovely sentiment stamp as the freebie but can look at these the, the the ice skaters the trees in the background the sleigh in the trees um I love the deer with the, the little, and then those words as well. Don't forget, we've got those lovely winter wonderland words there. Again, the foreground there, you've got that vista in the background. Build up those trees. It could be a full forest. Look at that with the lovely post box there. It's just stunning. Ah, oh, I love that. The black with the white. I must ask Wendy about that. It must look snow capped. Yes. Yeah, I've never done a castle before, so we've got a little castle on a rocky uh, mountain. We'll do that in the second hour. Ah, oh, um, And the village as well. So I've used the two together, so the two separate. Um, wow. And there's our, our lovely couple there. Oh, they are so beautiful, aren't they? And there's our snowman. I love the snowman. A little squirrel looking beside him. Uh, and again, again, look at this. Oh, 60% now of the entire collection. You can't get these individually now uh, because they sold out. So even before we started the show. So 60% of the entire collection has gone. We got it on two flexi by payments. Don't forget, £40.95. You are going to have such fun with this collection. £20.48. Don't forget dispatch is the 4th of September. So that's just a three-day dispatch delay. Uh, 986873. We mentioned the winter words because Wendy expressed that, you know, some people said, oh, I, I, I have difficulty with the drawing of that. But what's so great about what Wendy's done for us is the fact that it's not just your winter words there. You can create a have a happy birthday, have a lovely day, warm wishes, happy wishes, you know. You mix it up and you're getting that lovely free gift as well. Nine ninety nine. half the stock of this uh, collection has gone there, 800453. Great collection, that one. And then our Winter Wishes as well, which is five stamps. This is Winter Wishes number four. Lovely, lovely sentiments there expressed by Wendy. Let the bells ring out for Christmas. Our oh, beautiful 70% of those have gone as well. And you're getting your lovely big stamp as well as your freebie gift. 999-803-934. And lastly, you've seen Wendy using these uh, lovely acrylic rods there, the majestic rods there as well, for the application of your stamps. Yeah, fantastic precision. 1099-603-191. Um, so many cards behind me. I, I know Molly's grabbing as many as she can. I mean, look at this one. I don't know if you can get that one, Molls. I mean, again, so many stories to tell. I, and I, and I bet this is a fraction of the variety that uh, uh, our lovely Wendy brought. But, I mean, isn't that beautiful? Ah, oh, stunning. Right. Let's show you how to do the Flexi, uh, how to do the Flexi, because if you're new to us, you're probably dying to get this collection. So you just add it to your basket. There you go. And uh, so then it gives you the option to tick the box and add it, to turn it into Flexi by basically. 
automatically you've got that free gift, no extra cost there, and you've created your flexi order. The postage and packaging, if you're not a Freedom member, will be included in that first payment. Uh, you do get the goods on the 4th of September. The second payment will be a month later, so it couldn't be simpler. All right, Wendy. I believe you are ready to I am. And I'm going to swap these up a little bit because I want to show you the little wreath. So oh. we're going to use um, the little tata poinsettia set out of here and the little dangly words as well, which are lovely. So we're going to do one that looks like this one. Beautiful. Okay. So you, we can see these little dangly words in action. I keep calling them dangly words. They're not called dangly words. They're called winter words. But... But they dangle. But they, they dangle. Don't have to. They, they do dangle. Diagonally. So what we're going to do is show you how to make this little wreath. So if anybody's got the Oriental Blossom, it works very similar to that. So we're going to stamp it, and we're going to turn it all the way around and over stamp. So you haven't even drawn a circle. You're just going freehand no, with this no. in the eye. What I'm doing because I'm using a square card. Yeah. If you sort of position it not quite to the edges, that yeah. will help you with the actual shape. Okay. okay. A little bit of a secondary third. Yeah, so we do it. Um, it's got a slight curve on the stamp. So we oh, do that yeah. one first yeah. with the curve in. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is turn it all the way around and then just oh. over stamp like this. So this is a quite delicate little stamp for the background, and the little uh, poinsettias look beautiful on this. But again, this doesn't have to be Christmas, which is what I love about this. Apart from the holly, you could leave the holly leaf out. Could be an um, autumn wreath. But yeah, you could Summer. do it autumn, of course you could. Yeah. But um, if you to uh, cut, change the colour of those poinsettias to a, 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 you know, a more summery colour, mm. then they, they're good all year round. And this would make a perfect backdrop for any of the little stamps that we've sold before. Gosh, so that's very so delicate. Quickly. I, I was really worried about the circle. Yeah. Because you said the slight curve there on the detail and then you double yeah. twist Yeah, and the thing over. is, you know, a lot of people will worry about this and say, oh, it's not a look, it's not a, a good circle. I'd have my compass out, you know, uh, Wendy. Well, you know, you don't want it absolutely perfect. And by the time you start to add in all your other little stamps as well, yeah. this is going to look lovely. So you really don't need to worry very much at all. So you're just joining that up like that, and that's giving you your backdrop for your design. So that's, that's amazing. That I'm amazed already, and we haven't even started. And then we're going to put in our little stamps. So because you were mentioning the rods, I thought it'd be a good idea to do this one so people can see what these, how these work. So you'll see I've got these mounted on both ends of my stamp here. Yeah. So it, this sort of dual purpose. You don't have to look through them. You can, but you don't have to. Because the stamp goes, you can see where the stamp is at all times Yeah. on here. So we're just going to go through these using all the little stamps. I suppose that's the brilliance of the, of the rods, using both ends. I hadn't thought yeah, about that. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely lovely. And you can see how much quicker you stamp with these, yeah. how much speed you get with them. And because you don't want these to be absolutely perfect, you want to rotate these stamps in between impressions, these rods make it so much easier. If you imagine trying to use a block yes. to do what I'm doing now and how much more difficult that would be, it's so much easier. And this is such a pretty little set as well because you've got three sizes of this little poinsettia. Mm -hmm. So what's good is, depending on sort of where in your design you want to use them, you've got the right size flower to go with it as well and that goes with the holly leaf as well so there's two sizes of holly leaf in here that you can just add in and you can see how quickly it builds up oh my goodness because i know people yeah. will, will see the designs and they'll say oh that must take ages wait especially when yes. you say it's all individual stamps but actually it's one of the quickest things ever it's so so quick to do and like i said everyone's going to be different as well which is lovely so nobody's going to get the same card. You know when you go around at Christmas and everybody's got six of the same card? Yeah. Oh, well. You're never going to get that. They're lucky to get one, quite frankly, aren't they? 70% <laughs> gone. I'm just going to quickly add that in. 70% has now gone. I, I'm going to apologise to Alex in advance. I think she could be just having a nice chat with you <laughs> later on at seven. <laughs> well, I can, I can cope with that. That's all right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is pop in these little words as well. So I'm just going to use uh, Winter Wishes on this one. And we're just going to use the green on this. So like I said, you can make these longer just by adding in whatever word, ever, whatever curls and things you want. So it's entirely up to you. So there's your winter. But these are lovely if you want them to go across your card yes. and things as well. So I'm going to put that a bit lower down and we'll put a smaller little bauble on there and what we'll do is just use the little curls to join them up 
And you've also got, if you look on that set as well, you've also got the um, little stars and little hearts and things. So you can just keep joining them up. So you can make yes. those strings as long or as short as you want. That's fantastic. Okay, so what we'll do is add a couple of little baubles. So let's go for these two and we'll stick with the same colours we've been using. So let's have a little uh, burgundy coloured one here. Oops, you didn't see that, did you? So I have one there. And then let's have this one in green. You can just make so many different cards with this clip, you can. can't you? It's just, <gasps> and you can, like I said, you can make this as complicated or as easy as you like. So depending yeah. on what level you're at, yeah. you know, if you're just beginning, the perfect. So to yeah. do something like this is quite simple and straightforward. You could even put a little seed inside there as well if oh. you wanted to, which would look absolutely beautiful. So what I do as well with the baubles is use um, a little bit, bit of glossy accents or a clear resin, whatever it is that you've got. I'm sure you'll have that on the website. And then you can just dot a little bit of a dimensional pearl inside there or use real pearls, it's entirely up to you. And then just over the top of those little baubles, we're just going to add some gloss. What inks so, are you using, Dawn Z uh, These are pigment inks. Pigment inks, okay. Can you use distress inks if you've got those? I, parts? personally, I don't particularly like distress inks for stamping because I like a really uh, sharp. sort of sharp, mm. crisp impression. So I prefer to use those for my backgrounds and things, but for stamping, I would, I'd prefer the, uh, the pigment inks. But anyway, there we go. Oh my word. I, on this one as well, yeah. what we've done is just drawn over the oh. words with a glue pen as well. So you get a little bit of glitter on there as well. So quick. Is it a specific type of pigment? Uh, uh, these it? are Sukuniko. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Thank you for that. I hope that helps there, Dawn. Lovely. Well, I'll let um, lovely Wendy get ready for another demonstration. Just how quick did that card come together? Seriously, a two and two. In, in, well, you didn't really have a full 27 minutes. I've been yabbering on for a good 15 <laughs> of that, haven't I? So, in about 12 minutes, you did two. Uh, so, anyway, these are just flying out, and quite rightly so, because they're just so exquisite. You are getting both of those stunning stencils, the holly and the ivy. You are getting all of those 50 stamps to create your, your beautiful images, your stories, your collages, your Christmas creations, and let your imagination run free. 80% has gone. Dispatch is the third, oh, sorry. 4th of September, three days' time. We've got it on two flexi by payments of £20 and £48. You can go for the one-off payment. I just know they're going to bring you deep, deep joy, uh, this incredible collection from Cardio. 986873. Can't get these individually now because they've sold out. Don't forget your fantastic free gift is this beautiful sentiment. Wendy sentiment, she thought of it. She's poet as well. And this woman has so many talents. Um, so stopping her. Lantern's Burning brightly, light up the ground below, where lies a winter wonderland dusted in soft white snow. And that is your absolute beautiful free birthday gift with a purchase in this hour. Um, shall I just show you my lovely... This is a board that Wendy did for me. And again, just to show you uh, the variety. But of course, you know, with the baubles that, and, the, and the wreath one that Wendy's just done, you can see how the colour can transform it as well. It doesn't have to be in your archiva black. The ink there, there, you know, but these look so extra striking with the sort of Aurora Borealis theme. You can just see how crisp those stamps are. The post box is exquisite. And I love that, that, that inside information from Wendy, that the fact that they cut off as much as they can around the edges of the stamps, so you do get that real crisp clarity. I've just had a question from my producer, Wendy. How do you, how do you, is that like a secondary stamp in terms of that Yeah, reflection? I'm going to try and show you Second. that one in a minute, actually. Yeah. So oh, I'll show great. you how to do that. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. There we go. It's almost like we planned it. it are you good to go? or do you Yeah, mean? I can I can go whenever you're ready. Right, over to you then, Wendy. Go okay. So we've done the same thing uh, with the holly stencil that we did earlier on with the ivy leaf. Um, but what we're going to do is create the uh, lamp shape here. So I want to put this light in. So mm. like the standing underneath the the light from the ah. lamp so what I've done is made myself a little template like this so just straightforward and then I'm gonna roughly like we did with the little girl we're gonna pop this roughly where we want the lampshade the lamp to go so I'm gonna go about here now you could do this in acetate if you want to as well so it's a little bit easier to see with the acetate so we're just gonna use the um, baby wipe again so these are bone dry by the way just in case anybody tries to do this a wet one because it won't sort of turn out quite so well. <laughs> no. And then we're just very, very lightly, we're going to work off the edge 
Do you prefer uh, to, to have that sort of white nation as opposed to adorbers? I know a lot of people I, have I just find it a lot neater yeah. and a lot easier. I don't really have to think about this. It's yeah. very, very rare that I ever sort of make anything that I can't sort of um, fix if I make a mess. But to be honest, it's very, very easy. Yeah. For me, anyway, I mean, if you want to use daubers, that's absolutely fine well, it's as well. Use, it's just a great way of using them when they dry out, because well, it does yeah, happen. Yeah, definitely. Rather than waste. Yeah. So we've put a little bit of yellow in there, and then what I've done is just go over with a little bit of red, and then later on we'll soften this up as well. So this is my lamp light. Okay, so it's a little bit harsh at the moment, but what we'll do is just run around with your finger and then just blend that so it's not quite so hard looking. So it just blends into the background because all the rest of this is going to be black and white. Okay. And then what we'll do is pop in our little lamp post. So I'm going to leave um, my paper in place, the little mass that we've made here for the hill. And then we're just going to stamp this straight over the top so it'll look like it's behind that little hill when we've finished. So we just need to position the little lamp sort of just inside that little section there so it looks like it's sort of shining down and then we'll put our little couple in there as well so again I mean the actual stamping itself is all very simple the actual designs are very straightforward and very quick to do yeah um, but the actual um, the whole um, stencil and things just really give it an extra they do. level so we're going to pop the little couple in. So if you know anybody who's just got together or it's a... But you can also add the children in the back as well. Yes, so you exactly. can sort of... You don't just have to have so the couple on the their own. Ages there, aren't yeah, they? Yes. yeah, yeah. So you can put the little kids in the background as well if that's Games, what you want to do. Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a sweet little card though, this one. So I'm going to take that off for a minute. And then I'm just going to stamp those down about there. So they're in the snow at the front. And the lamppost is just going to be at the back like that okay and then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pop that back in place mm -hmm. so if I want to add some shadow to that we can okay so let's do our little hill so I'm just gonna take a little piece of paper and then we're gonna cut a little hillside in here so this is for our background now so any old curve will do again don't be too precise with this and a little bit of the removable adhesive and this will just help you hold this in place while you work okay. so I'm just taking off a bit of the excess and I'm going to pop it about here uh -huh. so what I'm going to try and do is a little reflection technique in the background here so we'll do the little the little couple here that are skating in the background there so we've got I'll show you how to do the, the reflection technique as well yeah so let's add some color in the background so this one is all black so I've not really used any other colors apart from where the light is for that lamp post so I'm going to go all the way around it but obviously I'm going to try and keep where we've got the light from the lamp post nice and bright but by adding the black around the edges it really does make that lamp light pop, pop. Mm. provides the focus doesn't it definitely and don't worry on this I can see I've got a little bit of uh, glue residue on there but that'll just rub off later so I'm not really going to worry about that so just go all the way around and then just drag that in just like that and then in that background we've got some little trees i think they're on the checkout mm -hmm. uh we're just oh, going like to work yeah oh, we're yeah. just going to work those across the the back of the card as well so if you want to go over the top of that lamp post just make sure that it's paler by the time it gets to the lamp post so you're not going really dark over the top right so just like that just in the background of your card and then once you've done that you can take this away like that so that gives you mm. your lovely backdrop that snowy brown yeah. yeah and then we're going to put a little bit of land in so what I want to do is create sort of the bottom of the hill so I'm just going to turn that around and then we're going to add a little bit more black so I don't think I need any more ink for this because again we don't want this too dark mm -hmm. so just a little bit of color just going across there that will just give us the little bottom of the hill there so it's very very faint and then what we're going to do is give ourselves some land so I'm just going to take that down a little bit 
and put a little bit of shadow in front of it as well. Just to highlight to everybody as well, we are now limited stock on the entire collection. So uh, please remember to check out your baskets. We've got it on two flex by payments there, but we are now limited. 986873. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the little couple which is skating in the background here. So I'm going to pop those on. And then the way to do this, when I first did this, I thought, oh, yeah, reflection's easy. All you do, you take your stamp, you turn it the other way around, you well, stamp it. that was but my... It's not. Yeah. That's what no. I thought. I went <laughs> it doesn't right. work. Because no. they're actually going the other way. You need a mirror yeah. image. So the way to do yeah, it you do, yeah. is to stamp them straight onto acetate. Oh. Now, you don't want your reflection to be absolutely perfect. No. So what we're going to do is oh. position them yeah. just underneath... And then we're just going to use that acetate as a little stamp. Clever. Okay. Is that just your archive ink again? Is it? Your yeah, this is just archive ink. Yeah. So that gives ah, you that beautiful shadow. Brilliant. So before I take this bottom bit off, we're just going to get again, just add a little bit of colour. And then we need to do the same thing all the way around the edge of the card as well. Just so that when we take the holly leaf off, we've got a nice defined shape. So all the way around like that. And then we're going to take this hill off. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing at the bottom. So all of your little berries and things as well. So this is a glue residue that's just coming off there. So just make sure that you've got rid of that. Okay, and then pop your ink on the top. So it doesn't need to be a lot, no. just something to edge. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is take this away. So let's pop that off. But again, even if you just do this in white, if you don't add any extra colour to it, it will look absolutely beautiful just in white. Okay, so let's just use our glue pen and let's give them some snow underneath. So just a little bit of sparkle. And then just to emphasise this reflection technique here, if you just sort of do a little bit of to and fro with your glue pen and then pop that into your glitter, that will give you a beautiful reflection technique there. So I'll just get off that excess before I show you. And let's put the little bow on, which is already done. And that will go there. And there's our Card little... Card number three. How fantastic. Absolute. That's, that's such a nifty trick with the acetate. It is. When you and think about it, it's actually quite simple, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, but that's so good. I did exactly the same thing as you. It was and then like, you go, oh, yeah, oh, you just turn your stamp the other way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll let Wendy uh, get ready for another demonstration. I know, she's fast. She's fast. Uh, we've got a good 18 minutes, Wendy. We've got a good 18 minutes, so... Should probably get another three in by that point. Uh, but Wendy's with us again at seven o'clock. Just so you know, we are limited now, on, very limited, on this fantastic bundle. It is dispatched on the 4th of September. You are getting 50 of these amazing stamps. You're getting those lovely branches. You're getting those beautiful poinsettias, the holly leaves, the baubles. You're getting the castle, the village scene, the sleigh, the deer, the little girl with the wish of the skaters, the couple, the lamppost. You are getting uh, the post box, the fabulous snowman with the children building the snowman, the snowman on his own in profile, and then as an extra add-on when you uh, have your finished order, you can choose to have those trees that Wendy just ordered as well, just showed us, sorry, there you see them in the background with the baubles there, uh, hanging from there as well, so gorgeous, gorgeous £40.95 we have got it on two flexi by payments, 986973. And then, of course, that lovely We Wish You a Joyful Christmas, where all your dreams come true, is our winter wonder, uh, our winter words there at the bottom of the screen, 999. You get 30, um, sorry, that's the, you've got five, sorry, winter wishes, sorry, I beg your pardon, winter wishes, five stamps in total, 999. And then we've got our 31 stamps. There are, there are winter words, yeah, those wonderful ones that drop onto the baubles or across, as Wendy was showing us earlier. 31 stamps there as well, 9.99. Look at those colours. I love. How did you get the snowy? I know you're going to show us that tonight, but I'm going to ask anyway. What was that? that the snowy snowiness on top of your village. Like this. That's in the stamp. Oh, it's so in it's the stamp. Sort of stamps white. So it's got little, little white gaps so when you stamp it. Oh. So we mask that out so that it it's stays already, nice so and white. So when you do it in the black, it's yeah. done for you. Yeah, it's already done. So you get that white That's effect amazing. on there. That's amazing. It's here, you see here. You've got it on the village and it's a fantastic effect, isn't it? How beautiful is that? They can see how Wendy's put it into this card here with the village and the castle there. So it's already done for you. I love this little girl reaching up. 
quite magical, that little castle. Very magical. Very and cute. you're getting, yeah, they're getting those be beautiful stencils of the ivy and the holly as well. And don't forget, your lovely free freebie, yeah. That's all right, darling. I'll just show you over here. You want me? You want it? Ah, huh? ah, there we go. It was worth it. Beautiful. Now, moving on to those winter words, yeah, that are dangling from our baubles. They could be just crosswords. But again, as Wendy explained, you know, you've got more in there. It's not just for winter. It's for birthdays as well. Have a happy, happy birthday. Have a wonderful day with lovely wishes. 80% of these have gone. 999-800-453. Brand these are all brand new today. And you will get your free stamp there as well. Your lantern's burning brightly. Uh, now, the big bundle has technically sold out. No, no, this bundle. Winter Wishes, sorry, this one. Technically sold out now for our Winter Wishes. We'll see what, what we can do about that, because I feel like, co yeah? We've got some rods. We've got some rods. <laughs> I want more of those. I love the rods. No offence, Wendy, but I want more of those. Uh, let's show you these acrylic rods there. And you are getting all four there for 1099-603-191. Have a look at the website, because we were just mentioning the glue pens. You get two of those free if you get your lovely seven-day savers, which is Archwood... Um, Oakwood Archer. Uh, yeah, these are all, uh, you can't get them individually, but as a collection, you wouldn't want to split them up anyway, aren't they? Fantastic. So beautifully drawn, so fantastically detailed to create such a magical, magical landscapes and stories. I mean, so many different machinations, the way in which they can come together. So much on there. Um, is, it, is it a little squirrel or a mouse? There's a, I think there's a mouse. There. He's a mouse. He's a mouse on that one. Yeah, there's a squirrel on the other one. He's very the tiny. Look, the more you find. I'd seen the squirrel and the little bird. I'd missed a mouse. Fantastic, you see? But a lot of these will work with the new collection that comes out in October as well. I mean, these are all new, but there's some more that are coming yes. out in uh, in October as well. So. so I was thinking about how to use them together. Anyway, are you good to I'm go good for our next go, demonstration? Yeah. So the next one, we're going to build up this little scene, and we're going to show you the reflection technique again as well. But we're going to do the big lamp post this time with the snowman, which is really cute, and the little gate, and the little, sorry, the little fence and things as well. So quite a lot going on in this one. So we've just put a little mask across the bottom, so that is going to be our snowy hill. And um, what I've done is a very similar thing to what we did before. I've made myself a little mask. It's just so I know where the yellow is going. So I've cut out the shape of the lantern, just so I can put a bit of yellow in there so I know exactly where it's going to go. Can I ask a quick question? Of course you can. A lot of people asking this and I know we expressed it earlier um, and we've got a good uh, 13 minutes just so you know okay. uh, there Wendy what are you applying your masks to you said it was a temp um your mask to your paper there. It's a removable adhesive tape mm. runner. Removable yeah. adhesive so tape runner. So it should just rub off with your fingers afterwards. So just make sure it does before you go sticking it on any of your cards and things. Who just to be safe. Um, how, did friend, it, how did you get the bug? It's, yeah, it's my partner in crime, my best friend. Oh. Um, we've known each other for about oh, a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's so long, I can't remember how long, but a long time. Well over 20 years. Oh, um, so yeah, she got me into it and then uh, we just sort of did our own thing from then on so yeah so it's all her fault ah, fantastic and how long has the company been going for uh we've been going since uh, 2002 uh, but oh. we started our own stamp range probably about 10 years ago now right. i do sort of lose track these days and and from sort of the the sitting down i mean where do you get your inspiration from how does it all start oh, i drive everybody mad because yeah. we can be sort of driving down the road and i'll go stop the car really <laughs> oh, you've seen, seen something i'll see something so i see sort of little ideas in in everything really so it there's you no might just, sort of what would you do sketch it draw it doodle yeah, it yeah i'll get the camera out on get my camera phone out. yeah get the camera out and start from there so that's that's generally how how it goes, and oh. then as you as you sort of design and as you draw in, other ideas sort of spark in. So that's yeah. usually how it happens. Because I meant to tell you as well, the snowman has got another hand. Has he? Yeah. So on the Ooh. on the stamp set, he has a little hand. So if you stamp his side profile, if you want to have him holding the lantern, you can stamp his hand on the side, and you can be holding the little lantern, or you can have a little bird oh. on him, or so we try and think of as many different ways that you can use these as possible. Trying to find his hand. Now. Yeah, I can see you wouldn't in there. probably even notice it straight no, away. But see. it's just it's at the top this... of the stamp set. Oh, with the one like that he's in. Twiggy, yeah, oh, with yes, like I a little see twiggy it. hand. Yeah. So you would probably look at it and go, "What the heck is that?" Yes, you just think it's a, it's a twiggy <laughs> yeah. footmark, a birdie yeah, footmark. What is that? But yeah, that's what that's for. So if you want to have the, the snowman holding on to something, yeah. you can just pop that. Um, on the side and then yes. have him holding a little bird or a little bauble oh. maybe. So in the bauble set we've uh, particularly done some very small ones. Yeah. So you can do that if you want to. If oh, you want to have him holding a little bauble you can. 
So we try and think of as many ways you can mix them up as possible. That mouse, yes, I can see him now. Little mousey. The most very cute. I've got a thing about mice. Have you? Yeah, I just I love mice at do the you, darling? Oh. I certainly do. Right, so we're going to pop this little snowman in. So like I said, we could put his hand on. If I, could, if I can find it, we'll put it on. Don't know if it, whether I've left it out or not. I might not have done. But you can just play with this. So whatever takes your fancy, really. So if I want to put a little bird on his head, I can <laughs> put a little bird on his head. So I have quite a lot of fun with these. Now, because I'm not sort of putting too much colour around the snowman, you could just sort of, when you put your colour around, you could just miss out the snowman. Because obviously you don't really want any colour on him. No. Um, but what I am going to do, I think, is just maybe mask him out. I'll have a think about it while I'm playing. But let's get this little fence in as well. So that, again, the fence is sized so you can sit the little birds on there as yes, well. The little squirrel. Yeah. You can even hang the little, lan little lantern off it as well. Beautiful. Now we are limited, so don't forget to check out your baskets there. Uh, 4th of September is the dispatch date, just to highlight that as well. Okay, so we're going to just stamp this little fence just over the top. And it's designed like this as well, so if you want to join this on, you can just say, do a whole, yeah, you can just do a whole it. line oh, of fencing. Brilliant. So it's entirely up to you how you use it. Like I said, we're trying to make things as versatile as we possibly can. Now, just going to interrupt you there. Technically now we have sold out of the entire collection, but there is good news afoot because obviously there is a seven o'clock show as well. Um, we can bring it back on a, a later extended delivery. So well done to you if you've got yours. Don't forget to check out your baskets. You will get that on the 4th. But if you're buying now, uh, it's not a huge amount to wait. It's the 7th of September, which is next Monday. So we now have it on extended, the whole collection, £40.95. You are getting your lovely stamp as a free gift as well. But dispatch now would be Monday, the 7th of September, 986873. So don't miss out. Thank you there, Wendy. No problem. So we put some little birds on there as well. So you've got two little birds. And again, I try and do things so they don't have to just be. You could put a little bit of red on there if you wanted them to be robins, but I kind of quite like them to be as versatile as possible. So we're just putting a little bit of colour. So you can see what I'm saying about missing the area where the snowman yeah. is. But you could, if you want to colour all the way around him, like on some of the samples we've got, yeah. you could mask him out completely. You could. And have a lovely sort of really sort of... <laughs> big contrast between your snowman and your background now linda's had a good question for you okay um, she said what, what what why do you put in your um the color for your light before anything else right well because i'm working quite quickly there is no time for that ink to dry the black ink so if i do it the other way around as soon as i start coloring over ah. the black lamp post it'll start to smudge, smudge and you'll it. get a mucky yeah so because i work very quickly if you work like that at home so if you're yes. doing this at home you do exactly I the did, same yeah again. i can't sort of wait to get a stamp to a page and you can speak <laughs> to the rest of us you're in permanent fifth gear aren't you sixth gear aren't you no it's a bit yeah. It's a bit mad, really. Isn't it? But I don't like to wait, so I just sort okay. of, that's why the main oh. reason why I do it that way. And it just looks more crisp, I think. Oh, so okay. It looks a lot better. So what we're going to do is do our little background that we did before. So I'm just going to reshape this paper. Do you ever stop? Not really. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm always really tired in the morning when I get up. I think I must get up in the night and do this. You must have been, ra yeah, in your dreams, you're racing yeah. through it and planning. And, yeah. So let's do, I do think of things in the night and then I wake up in the morning and I go, what was I thinking? I had this, an idea in my sleep that I thought was a great idea. It was a pizza. And they go, oh yeah, you can have little separate pepperoni stumps. And then I woke up and I thought, what am I doing? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Somebody will nick that now. <laughs> I doubt it very much. Right, so we're going to put some yellow in the background there. So instead of having black, we're going to go with a nice shot of yellow right at the back. So we could have, you know, the lamp post, if we'd have wanted to do sort of the lamp light like we did before with the couple standing in it, you could have done that with this big one. But I'm just going for yellows and reds in the background of this now. And then I'm going to show you that reflection technique as well one more time. Because again, it's such an easy thing to do, but it does make a massive, massive difference to your design at the end. So let's pop in some of the little trees. So again, these are, I think, available on your checkout. Yes, they are, yeah. But I would not, I couldn't be without them. Without them, I yeah. sort of, they come on to every show with me. To do sort they? Of, yeah. Because that you can use them through the summer as well. Yes. So if you wanted to do a similar design, just do them in greens and you get a lovely sort of summer design as well. But it's a very, very free and easy kind of stamping I just love it and you can go through a stage of well you never make the same card twice 
Now we have got it on extended. Don't you worry, that's only Monday the 7th of September when all the, hopefully the children do go back to school. Uh, so we have still got this fantastic collection on extended delivery the 7th of September. So not too long to wait. We've got it on two flexible payments as well. Okay, so let's go through this reflection technique a little bit slower. So mm. what I want to do is give, in fact, let's use acetate because you might be able to see a little bit more carefully what it is I'm doing. I'm not sure how straight this is, but let's just see. So all I'm trying to do is create a horizon line, really. So this is not the straightest of acetate, but I'll just show you. We're creating the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. So I just want a little bit of shading for the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of some of this ink because I don't want this to be very, very dark. So just a little bit of shade just across there. So if you use acetate, you can actually see to get your horizon line oh. a little bit easier. So what I want to do, you see, is add a little bit of shade mm -hmm. just underneath it. So I'm going to pop that about there, mm -hmm. and then we're going to drop it, and I can actually see a little white line form in there. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of colour just there. And it mm -hmm. should leave us this little white line in the background there, like that. So it just looks like you've got a little bit of land in front of that hill. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is use the little girl. So this is the same little girl, but she's bending over to this little reindeer, which is ever so cute. It's a very traditional looking reindeer as well, so not one that you generally tend to see. And we're going to stamp her and the little reindeer in the background like that. And then again, we just take our piece of acetate. Now don't worry if it slips a little bit, because mm. I, I personally think, one, your reflection doesn't want to be as dark yeah. as the original thing you've, you've stamped, but two, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a bit um, wishy-washy in places. I actually prefer it if it's not quite so perfect. Because shadows aren't, no. you know, from afar, that, that crisp, it's more of a... So just make sure you tap your fingers all over that. And that gives you your little reflection Fantastic. technique. That's such a good technique. So we can take this off now. And then just underneath again where we've got our little reflection. And then if you want your snowman to really pop, <laughs> you go over him with your glue pen. And again, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but your snowman really comes to life if you've got a little bit of glitter on him as well. And before we do that, let's pop a couple of these little branches on. So we'll just do them in the foreground. So these are your seasonal branches. So let's just take those. So this is where you could incorporate your little baubles and things as well yeah, if you want to. Down. So shall we put a couple of them on? Have we got yeah. time? So let's have a couple. Oh, right, quick, quick, quick. Let's have little baubles coming down. So just like that. Like that. And then let's get this glitter on. And there we go. How fantastic. Another fantastic card. Four beautiful cards there with this fantastic collection. Oh, that's gorgeous, Wendy. So beautiful. If you have any questions for Wendy, don't forget she'll be back at 7 o'clock with Alex. We've got more, more beautiful cards for you as well at 7 o'clock this evening. You are getting that fantastic stamp as of the birthday giveaway as well. The lantern's burning brightly, designed and written by Wendy. So that is your free gift. And uh, Wendy will be back with four different demonstrations for the uh, 7 o'clock show. So uh, let's have a little look at some of these. Here we go. That's it again. The, the girls there building their snowman from a different angle there and in the, in the background there as well. There he, there's our snowman reflected. I like it. It's <laughs> lovely, isn't it? How beautiful are these? So the entire collection now is back on extended delivery, which means dispatch will be the 7th of September which is only Monday, that's going to fly by, isn't it? So uh, well worth the wait when you can create such beautiful, beautiful creations. Some of these we'll be seeing at 7 o'clock with our Wendy as well. So please, please, please do stay tuned. And if you've uh, managed to check out your baskets, well done to you. Got on two flexi by payments of £20 and 48 pence. I don't want to mess those up now. You'll have I to, don't yeah. worry about it. They're all numbered. We we'll, we'll know which ones they are, yes. Um, so, yeah, Wendy, thank you so much. It's oh, been, it's been lovely. inspiration. It's been lovely. Thank you very so much for good. having me. So good. She can, she can breathe. She can slow down. She won't know. She'll be like a rocket around the I'll studio. I'll stamping in the break. You will. You were here an hour before we were even doing anything. Stamping away and doing things. That's how my word. She never stops. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, it's you're been, welcome. It's been fantastic. Thank you.
beautiful, beautiful inspirational pieces. Yep, we'll see Wendy again at 7 o'clock. So, yeah, if you have any important questions you want to ask about the designs, then please do enjoy your collection when it comes. Really would like to see some of those designs as well. But we don't want you to go anywhere because the birthday celebrations keep on coming. So let's find out what we've got coming up today on a Chanda and the Fantastic Hours and Guests. We've got Heartfelt Creations. Yes, Nikki's in the building. Uh, the Birthday Sensations One Day Special. Then we're going to have a Birthday Bash with Kay and Indigo Blue and then LaVanche's Birthday Blast One Day Special. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Crafty World, Dorothy and Wasabi Slumber. Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanc and Orland create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend. Seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all your favourite guests. All at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a gender. Well, hello, everybody. So I've got a minute or so just to tell you about one of our seven-day savers, and I think this one is an absolute corker. We are talking red liner tape. Now, we've got three key sizes here, ranging from your 3 mil to, ooh, to your 6 mil, and then you have your 9 mil. So great sizes to work with. You're getting eight reels of each. That's 24 in total, saving six pounds. That is an utter bargain, and it is a consumable, it is something we absolutely use as crafters. So if you do want to pop this into your basket, 612-206 is your item number. Uh, great way to stock up now. Take advantage of that £6 saving. You can also see the other seven-day savers on our website or use the Hochanda app. Now, I do need to tell you, because we are celebrating our birthday in style, there is a gift on purchase uh, during any live hour. You can see the full terms and conditions on our website, but have a gift from Moho Chanda and enjoy. It's just a big thank you from us for supporting the channel for five years and hopefully many more years to come. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a Chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate. Um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the Character Craft Shows on Achanda 
I hope to see you soon. stunning finished samples yes this is using the one day special it is your fam fabulous zinnia hopefully I have pronounced that correctly but you can make it look like all sorts of different flowers really I mean look at this finished sample if you would like to see Nikki demonstrate this it was in the launch hour last night at 6 p.m. but it is absolutely a beautiful collection you have been loving it at home because we are three quarters of the stock gone I love we've got the music tinkling in the background as well it's very very nice uh, there we go and so of course it's heartfelt creations which means I am joined by Nikki hey Nikki Good afternoon. Good How afternoon. are you? I'm good, um, and it's been a lovely, um, a really lovely success. This, this. Um, it has. It has. It's flowers. It's zinnias. Yes. It's summer garden. Mm. And what more do we want That's on a day it. like this? Because it is actually a beautiful day today, it is isn't quite it? Quite nice indeed. We, yes. we need more of that. The sunshine. So I'm just going to go through what you get, and then we'll have a lovely flick through the paper pad. Because I mean, the paper pad for me is where it all starts, really. But you are going to be getting your 12 by 12 paper pad. It's got 24 sheets in there. They're double sided um, and you get two of each design. There you go. So you've got 12 designs, two of each double sided. If you do want it on its own, because a lot of you do tend to take a second one, it's $17.99 at the bottom of the screen and it's 971067. Now, in this, you are also getting your fabulous Zinnia flowers. Now, what we have are stamps and dies to match that you can see. And that's great because then, you know, you're not having to fussy cut anything out, which is just jolly marvellous. <laughs> now, um, I always like to show you because the stamps and the dies are larger than the packaging. So I just think it's worth showing you there. So we've got your Zinnia and then... You've got the second zinnia, <laughs> uh, so you've got your larger zinnia, as you can see here. But they are absolutely stunning flowers, um, and of course, in the in the paper pack, you get wonderful scenes like this that you can cut out. Really nice. Look at this one. The samples are excellent, aren't they? Oh, Nikki did this at 8 a.m. Oh, it's a stunner. It's the green flowers. I wasn't sure about like it, it, to be honest. No, but I, like I wanted it. to do something a little bit different. Marvellous. So I thought I'd pick out the green rather than the orange. No, I like it because it's really, really fresh and vibrant, mm. don't you? There you go. And then you can go into those other sorts of colours. Now, if you purchase anything on the show, don't forget as well, you have got your free gift and it's worth 15 99 So let me bring this in for you. Uh, so obviously this goes hand in hand with the one day special. Uh, so you've got 10 different colours and there's loads in each little bunch. It's worth 15 99 and you're not paying for it. Yep. Uh, so do give us a call 01733 or do check out on the website at hachanda.com. To go for the um, one day special, it's got a £21 saving, but this is the last hour we're going to view it now. It will be going back up at 6pm this evening. Two payments of £29.98, 620393. So Nikki, do you want to flick through our, the lovely paper pad for us? I will, because like you said, um, Alex, it is like the core, yes. it's the inspiration behind the whole collection. But with Heartfelt... I always like to call it more of a paper kit than a paper pad because you have got ready-made panels, you have got ribbon strips down the back. You've got two of each design and they are double-sided so you have got the full sheets if you want to do your larger cards or you want to do um, some scrapbooking. So again, panels there. So just on those two pages, mm -hmm. you've got nine cards that you can create. Okay, nine cards. Bear in mind, you're getting two of each, so that's 18 cards just Wonderful. on the first two pages. Yes. It is really, really um, great value for money. So that was the other side of that panel sheet. But as I say, you have got lots of um, 
florals in here as well. So your zinnias are obviously the main focus, but they're kind of singled. But if you was going to do this as a, I'm going to do something. So these oh. are photos. They're yeah. not, they're my distress inks. But these are photos. Okay. But then you can start layering it up. You can pop your flowers on there. Put your leaves on there, add some quotes, use some of your tickets from the back page that I'll show you in a moment. But there you've got a beautiful really like scrapbook this. layout. Do you do, do you do any scrapbooking? Not yet, as I like to say, but yet. at some point I will. Oh, it, it's where I first started and um, that's what really, really got me addicted to paper crafting. But what I used to struggle with was I couldn't do a full 12 by 12 sheet. Right. But what I love about these is you've got the images as well. So you kind of work in between them so you're not losing any of those images. Mm -hmm. You've got your, obviously, your stripes in here. You've got your other designs. There's that cottage there that you could fussy cut out or you could cut it out in a circle mm -hmm. or an oval. You've got your butterflies in here as well. Really bright, vibrant colours that I necessarily wouldn't actually put together. Right. I wouldn't put orange and pink and purple because I always tend to think orange is one of those standalone colours. Yeah. But Heartfelt have done it and it really does work. It gives it a bit more punch. It does. Mm. And then you've got these sort of pages where you've got all the lace work in there as well. But if you look, you could cut that up and you've got 12 very pretty very backing nice. papers for your 6x6 six six cars. Yeah. It's value for money it's pretty and this is where the inspiration really does start going because you've got all these elements then so I made a box um, as one of my sample um, samples that I did at home and I used these and I created little tiny notelets with them so it is more as I say than a paper pad it's a paper kit yeah. And you've got your pretty colours in here. You've got your corals going to that bright orange colour. And if you look here, you've got the script. So it isn't just a blank piece of paper. Mm -hmm. You've got pattern behind it. You've got that script going on. You've got bright pink in there as well. And actual fact, I mean, look, it works well it together. Does. It's just not necessarily what I would put together. But Heartfelt have done it, and it works. You've got your bright greens in here as well. So you've got nice backing papers. Then you've got some more panels here as well. You're six by sixes, but then you come to these pages. So these correspond with your dies that you're going to get mm -hmm. in your one day special, and they fit perfectly over it. So if you haven't got time to stamp and color and you want to make a quick card, but you want to put a flower on there, nice. you've got the elements in, in the paper pad to do so. That's the back of that one as well. Really pretty. Lots of work here as mm. well. You know, but you could create this kind of paper yourself. So if you like to create your own backgrounds, think about using those stamps and create your own backgrounds Definitely. with them. And then you've got your smaller flowers here and your smaller leaves. And that bright green. This is one of my favourites. I love this. It's floral, it's pretty, and it's quite dainty as well at the yeah. same time. And then you've got your purple, and this is my favourite page oh, of all. You've got all your tags and your tickets. So if you wanted to add a sentiment, and this could be like a focal point of your card, because you can cut these out, and you may well have the dies that coordinate with this. But if not, to be honest, they're not that difficult to fussy cut no, out. No. And as I say, a really pretty paper pad with those zinnias as the main focal point. Lovely stuff. So um, I'll just show a few more samples again. Uh, li look at this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Yes, I did that yesterday morning. Oh, no, it would have launch, been. Wasn't it? it was the launch show at yeah. six o'clock with you, wasn't yeah. it, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> was, it wasn't this morning at all. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so easy to create. I just created it, my own template yeah. and cut it out of the paper pad. Beautiful. And used this. some white cardstock to thicken it up. Stunning. And then we've got this one here. That's, again, another beautiful one. Loving the colour of the purple in the background. Lots of mm. gorgeous glitters on it's, to there. It's when you start actually looking at the, the flowers as well, because all of the design team, they've used that zinnia as their, their guide and how to create it, but we've all had our own different yeah. take on it. I agree. I agree. Look, because mm. this one's different as well. Look at that. And it's got a little belly band on it. That's cute, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you've got your belly band, you've got a tag in there. It's a really nice gift card, that Cheers. one. Cheers. Oh, and we've got, I mean, yes, make your own gift boxes. Have a look at that. Yes, Oops, panel sorry. on the front, a few flowers, a decorative die each side of that panel. And this is where I created all those little notelets and made some tags in there. It's just a nice little gift, it isn't, is, isn't it? it? Loving that. 
there we are. Now we are approaching 80% of the stock gone on our one day special. So you're getting your paper pad and then you're getting your large and small zinnia stamps and dies to match. Um, again, two payments of 29 pounds and 98 pence, 620393. Uh, oh, apparently behind me. Oh, the binder, the storage. Oh, okay, we've got this back. I thought you said daubers, you see. I was like, where are the daubers? Oh, we have got daubers, but anyway. All right, so um, really professional. I love these cases. I know a lot of people get one for every single collection, they don't do. they? And they will hold, I think it is seven stamp sets. But if you buy the uh, magnetic storage sheets, yep. you can get your dies and stamps in there as well. Nice. So we have got some back. It's on extended delivery, and it's just twelve ninety nine. It'll be dispatched from the eleventh of September. Three seven four four one eight is the item number. We've also got some panels for you. Uh, there we are. They will go inside. It's the die and stamp bundle, and it's twelve ninety nine nine three four seven two three. Then we've also got just the stamp storage panels. And here it is, $9.99. You're getting 15 of them. That's great. That's good value. $9.99, $021,997. And then the Dorbers we have back. They sold out, but we've managed to uh, make a phone call and get some more. And you're going to get two packs of six. $13.99. Item number is 069154. And again, that will be dispatched from the 11th of September. You can either call us on the usual number 01733602000 or go to our website at hachanda.com. Right, then what are you going to do for us, Nikki? Well, we're going to make a zinnia flower, but before we go ahead and show you, I'm going to show you a few flowers that I've made over the last four shows. So this is one that I did on the last show. So what I've done with this one, I've just used one of each petal size of the three larger ones and then went in with a smaller one in the center there. But then this one, look, I've molded the other way, shaped it going this way and then the inners going upwards, completely different design. And then I've got this one and I think this one has to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Look at that. I but like exactly the same die. It's interesting, and stamp, isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah. Very different, and I've got more here, but I could just keep going. <laughs> but then Your you could just, you could, it, absolutely, my craft room is, um, yeah, chocker, <laughs> totally full of flowers. But then you can make just little blossoms like that as well, and these make nice fillers yeah. for your cards. So if I just bring this one over that I did earlier, so I've used the larger ones, but then I've made a few smaller ones to go in between. Mm -hmm in between there so yeah and that's all with your zinnia stamps and dies but of course you have got your leaves so i've gone ahead already and colored and shaped some of my flowers yeah okay but then you have got your leaves and i don't think i've done a leaf on the show so i thought i would do a leaf so i'm using memento new sprout color I love that name it's a fun name isn't it don't and then an i'm just sprout blending it in. I'm imagining an old sprout would be very dark. I don't know. I, that's just me well, thinking I think it would that be off. it would definitely be <laughs> off, wouldn't it, if it was an old sprout. <laughs> so I've just blended that in, again using my daubers. And then I'm going in, just taking some dark, just going around that edge and just blending around the edge, which is where the artist's has actually put a little bit of darker shading anyway, so yep. I know that's where that dark would be. And you can get real precision with your daubers as well. And then I'm bringing that round, taking a little bit more green. Now, what you want to do is just kind of sweep it up gently, just to add in that slowly getting darker. And I'm literally sweeping. Yeah and then turn that around. I have a certain angle that I like to work at when I'm using my daubers. So you've just got a bit of light and shade there, which is nice. Yes, and it's and that's enough because that, the actual stamp has done most of the work for me. And then we're going to come to our flower shaping tool. So this is the deluxe flower shaping kit. And I've got a few flowers here already. So what I did was, put them face down 
and I moulded them. I think this is number 10 in the tips and I've just done that which has created that kind of design. Yeah, lovely. And then I'm going to come in with this one and I'm just going to have a play with this because I'm not sure if I'm going to go upwards or down. Do you know, I think I'm going to go up. So I'm going to spritz it a little bit with water. Now, if you haven't watched any of the other shows, I will just remind everyone, we will be having moulds that will coordinate with these stamps and dies. They were unfortunately a little bit delayed, so we couldn't bring them on the show today, but we will have moulds. You will still need your flower shaping kit, because obviously when you're shaping flowers, but the mould will take a lot of the hard work out for you. Yeah. And they should be here within three to four weeks. But you can get a beautiful result using your flower shaping tool. I think I might just spritz that tiny yeah, little bit. That just helps break the fibres, doesn't it? It breaks the fibres. And because I coloured these flowers a few days ago, the ink is nice and dry as well. So oh, I don't, yeah. And so I don't need to worry about the ink running. Just bring that up. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm going to put them to one side and bring my leaf because we haven't, don't think we actually shaped the leaf on the last show. No. So just bring that down. So I'm going down the spine of the leaf and then I'm just going in diagonally to the centre and the same with this one. So turning it, bringing it to the centre and then I'm going to bring that in and then just squeeze that together and there you have your dimensional leaf nice okay so i'm going to come back to my flower so this is going to be the center one so what i'm going to do is i've got three of the stamens mm -hmm. so <clears throat> they come singularly like this see i like the orange with it it's lovely isn't it yeah. that's again i got the inspiration mm. from the paper pad because the orange is, goes well with the purple and I'm taking one of the stems and I'm just wrapping that round really tightly and bringing it down to about an inch and then just trimming that off. So I put three in there. You could put five in if you like. It's completely up to you. Then I'm taking my pokey tool and just popping a hole in just big enough to take that stamen like that and then wrap that around and what I'm going to do now is just squeeze those petals together and that will create the center of my flower yeah. and then what I want to do is just trim that off leave a little bit of a tip so that the glue will actually touch those wires mm -hmm. take my glue gun just wait for that just to go off so I'm just going to hold that for a second but while I'm holding that bring all my flowers together I'm just going to leave that upside down there for a minute so that dries and then I'm going to take the larger of those tips and you can see how that lifts those petals mm. scissors out of the way put some glue on then I'm putting these petals down, alternating them and just lifting those up and then going in with another one, take my tool again yep. and this is one of the simplest ways of using your shaping yeah, tool that's great. to be honest and it's so easy and shaping tool you'll find on the web oh in fact it's there at the bottom go. of the screen for you look Make how pretty that, that is and then I'm going to this one, which I've already shaped, but this was shaped the other way round. Uh -huh. Take my ball tool, open that up slightly. So pretty. And then just going to add further few. You can just keep going, can't you? You could, yes, Lays exactly. And, and when you look at zinnias, if you're not sure what a zinnia looks like, have a ha, do some research mm. on the internet because there is some absolutely stunning zinnias out there so you can have singles that have only got a few petals but then you've got doubles that have got lots and lots of layers of of petals in but of course 
you're making the flower. It Absolutely. doesn't necessarily have to look like a zinnia or even be a zinnia. Yeah. Well, like and you said, there's a design team that made them look quite different. We've all done something slightly different. But if you're not sure, and this is the very first time you've made flowers, you do get an inspiration sheet. Oh, yes, I forgot to say so that. So we've got the inspiration sheet there. Look, you can actually create this very card. You've got all the instructions on the back. Yep. And all the items that have been used. And it's just here, Alex. Oh, you've got it. Obviously. It's just there, ah, look. That's yes. it. And Thank Alex you. will show you the actual card. Isn't that lovely? I love the fact we've got it in the studio. I think that's fabulous. Look at the size of it. It's lovely, isn't it? Stunning, wow. isn't it? But completely different to what I've done. Yeah. You know, if we we just look at I'll just put some of the flowers down that I've made. And this is just a few because obviously I've made a lot more, but they're on my cards. But all the different sizes that you can create. Use your free stamens that you're getting as well and put those in the center. Just all very, very different. Yeah. Look at that, beautiful. Aren't they, they stunning? Are, they are so stunning. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. Right, uh, it is the final call. Last chance to have a little look at the one day special. The fabulous paper pad that has 24 sheets, 12 designs. You'll get two of each and they are all double sided. Right, and of course then you've got your zinnia, your large and small stamps and dies to match. We are 80% of the one day special gone. And shall I do more samples? Let's have a look then. We've got these. So there's a fabulous easel card just here. So pretty, isn't it? So that's got a real focal point to it. There's another easel card where they've absolutely gone to town with this. Look how many are on there. <coughs> That that's is amazing, isn't it? But yeah. when you've got your stamps and dies, you're only using your inks and your paper. Of course. Yeah. To make them, and you can make as many as you like. And then we've got this one. This is a really cute little that's card. Dainty, it that? is really nice and dainty. And then we've got this one over here. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at that. It's uh, you've got the paper pad, and then that gorgeous flower at the corner. And Moving on, this beautiful one here is stunning, isn't it? So it's £59.95, or of course you can spread the cost. Two payments of £29.98, 620393 is the item number. Okay, yes, the paper pad, you can get this on its own if you want to. Like I said, a lot of people tend to go for the one day special and add an extra one into their basket, because you know you're going to use it then. Uh, it's 17.99. Item number is 971067. Now we do have a second collection, a uh, really beautiful collection actually. I'm just going to get the paper pad. Let's have a little look at some of these papers. Hang on, let's just make sure they're a bit higgledy piggledy, but we'll manage. Right, there you go. So let's hold this up. So this is the Cascading Petals collection. Again, they are double-sided and gorgeous. You've got greens and purples and blues running through this theme. And have a look, as I said, great for your scrapbooking. Um, also, you've got borders that you can cut. You've got the four toppers there. And uh, this is such a pretty paper, this one. You could just use it as strips or use the whole thing. Totally up to you. And we've got that lovely little bird. Do you think it's a blue tip, that bird? Possibly. And then let's show you this one with the all the tags. Aren't they lovely? Lovely to um, write somebody's name on and give a gift. Four different card blanks you could use here. And then turning that over. Isn't that rich? That's beautiful. This one is quite a nice long panel. So even though it is split in two, you can hardly see that. So you could just fold this in half and have it as a standalone card anyway. Oh, did I show you the back? <clears throat> and then we've got this with the beautiful window and the bird. Then we come on to our die cutting sheets. So the stamps, uh, the dies in this set will cut that bit. And we'll also cut, oh, he's on his side. We'll also cut this page. And then let's just turn this around. There you go. Look at that. And then I think we're at the last one here. There you go. Those bird cages and the door. I love that door. It's brilliant, isn't it? So that is your um, paper pack. But then check out the stamps and dies. Let me just get them coordinated. Hang on. It's this one with this one. 
Right, so your stamps and dies, you've got the beautiful birds. And again, they're much larger than the packaging. So there's those two. And then we have also got these ones. And there you can see the red rubber. Uh, so it's deeply etched, that red rubber. And then we've also got the flowers. Look at this. Aren't they brilliant? They're stunning. And this is my favourite coming up here because we've got the birdcage. Isn't that an absolutely beautiful die? Now, you can make a standalone card from this. There you go. That's really pretty. Gorgeous. And then this gorgeous card with the door. Look at the door. It's stunning. There we go. That's the cage cut out. Just have a look at the detail in okay, it. Let's have a little look here. There you go. Let's look at that detail. Does the door open? It yeah. does, yes. Look at isn't that. Isn't that good? That's sweet, isn't it? So you've got the door that opens. And, oh, look. Birthday love. There's two of them there. That's so cute. It is, isn't it? Stunning. And then we've also got this one. I think the band come, might it come does. off. It does. It slides off the bottom. But I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm, oh, I think we've got to one of the design. Well, we'll, we'll maybe. Oh, oh, I'm it's such an idiot. <laughs> right, so I thought it slid off. <laughs> no, it's just a really strong magnet, actually. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Just wanted to let you know. Let's open the gates. I am <gasps> so grateful for you. Oh, I really like that. And those beautiful wisteria at the top. Yeah. Stunning. There we are, £94.92. pence. However, we've tried to make it as affordable as possible because you can spread the cost three ways instead of two. So it works out at £31.64 pence for your first instalment, uh, 712195. Now, we do have some birthday seven-day savers. Not long left. It's funny because it, it, normally, obviously, they go up on a Sunday, but because we've started the birthday event on a Wednesday, it's like throwing me that we've only got one day left for these. Um, but anyway, we have got... Oh, Charlotte, please remind me to go and get red liner tape after this because I need some... Yes, Charlotte. All right. Thank you very much, Charlotte, for telling me right now. Um, so we've got some red liner tape. We've got some um, double-sided tape, uh, you know, your foam tape. What else have we got? There's lots of cardstock. Oh, there's that organza. Uh, I like the video of Adam with his organza. <coughs> oh, you should play it at some point, because we've only got a day left for, for Charlotte. There you go, she's not seen it. Uh, and we've also got some storage, and we've got a paper trimmer with the scissors. So there's lots there, but it ends in one day and one hour. There you go. Right then, I'm going to hand back to you then, Nikki. Okay. So we're going to make a card. Okay. Okay, so I think the card measures around seven and a half by seven and a half. So I'm going to start with just putting some of my own pink cardstock on the actual card itself, leaving a really nice white border. And then I've got one of those six by six panels, which goes that way because I can see the script now I was holding it the wrong way but of course you could if you wanted it's up to you but then I've added some decorative dies to each side and that will kind of all blend in in a minute and yep. you'll know why I put those on the side not just because they are pretty so that will sit there mm -hmm. and then I've got a circle die which is exactly the same but with these I cut in half, but yeah. this one I'm just going to sit at the top, just underneath that zinnia flower in the middle, just about there. And then I fussy cut the cottage out of the paper pad. Yo, so prepared. And I'm really getting into my fussy cutting, <laughs> to be honest, as well, because Sometimes I end up with a paper pad and I've just got a few elements left yeah. and then I realise actually there's elements in there that if I fussy cut them out or cut them out in circles or ovals, I can use them on another card and that's making the most out of your paper pad. So I've cut that out and then I've got some beautiful zinnias that are already done and I'm going to pop those in like a um, crescent around the bottom of that cottage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pop these on first. I always tend to put my flowers on first and then 
I work on the on the leaves and start placing the leaves rather than place the leaves and then the flowers. It's just the way I tend to work. That's fair enough. Whereas in my floristry days, we was always taught to put the leaves in first when you're doing a flower arrangement, oh. and then you pop the flowers in, oh. and then you finish off with a few more leaves. So slightly different way of working on a card. Well, it is for me anyway, but you'll all have your own way. All you need to remember is when you're popping your flowers, I'm um, sorry, your leaves in, to kind of put them, class them as a flower as well. So you wouldn't just leave it like that because it looks like they're just poking out and you've got wings. Yeah. So then you want to just fill it evenly around your card with those leaves. Like that. Mm -hmm. And I think I can get one more in just underneath. But what I'm going to do yeah, give is it just a trim. trim that a little bit, else it my card won't stand because my leaf will poke out too much just there and I think I don't want to hide the door so this one's going to be quite short but you'll just see the tip like a little star for my leaf it is isn't it yeah and then if you want to if you think about all the other elements that you've got in your crafty stash uh -huh. I've got a die so this is a heartfelt die and can't remember which collection it came from but it works really well with this because if you look at the papers you've got lots of swirly bits in that design as well so this works really well so just pop a few of these mm -hmm. and I can squash that under there to make sure it doesn't come too far out and there you have a really pretty card and this is why I always say to people Maybe you've only got an hour to play with or half an hour. Yeah. Do some stamping, die cutting, make some flowers because then when it comes to making a card, you've got like a go-to shot already because you've got yeah. flowers you can put on, you've got your leaves done already. But just look at that. That's really pretty. You did that really quick. Actually. I did. Yeah. And I did actually say I'd like to try and get three cards made in this you show. You can do it easily. I can do it. Yeah. Uh, right then. What did you say, our Charlotte? Samples, yes, yeah. I'm going to show this again. Oh, in fact, actually, could we show, could we do some sweepy, sweepy shots? I'm directing from the floor. I'm terrible. I get into trouble. <laughs> Charlotte's saying it's all right, we'll keep them busy. But they are pretty, because sometimes the ones at the front don't, um, don't get looked at. But I just think these are absolutely stunning. So, of course, using your paper pads. Oh, here's that absolutely glorious butterfly, isn't it? That's so stunning. I just, I really want to recreate this, Nikki, because I would have never thought of making a butterfly template. It was just used yeah. out of a piece of white yeah. cardstock. Yeah. So, absolutely yeah. stunning. Have we got some... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Look at that. I love them in the reds. I love them in the purples. But you can do any colour. Like you said, you even experimented doing... You know, some green flowers, that's but, not a problem. And you can get green zinnias. So oh. I did do my research first, but yeah. unfortunately my ink wasn't quite bright enough, right. so it went a bit darker. But I'm, yeah, I'm happy with it. And yeah. it's, not, it's nice just to experiment with different colours. Absolutely. And then I've got some more back here. Let's have a little look. So isn't that nice? I love all the sparkle on it, of course. But there's that beautiful, big, large centrepiece. And um, the little one's dotted around, and it definitely is like it's got a layer of frost and then I've got this one so we're going quite big with this card look at that it's a real center piece as well one. That was one of the 12 by 12 sheets that I cut up I think into five yeah. pieces to create the same frame around that lovely and then we've got this one beautiful uh, so if you want to spread the cost you absolutely can two payments of 29 pounds and 98 pence we are over now 80 percent of the stock gone you've got the paper pad uh, with 24 sheets in double-sided 12 designs you get two of each and then you've got your zinnia large and zinnia smaller although it's not that small uh, stamp and die to match and your item number is 620393 then busy again for our storage binder it's so nice uh, it is on extended delivery from the 11th because it's sold out but it's got that magnetic clasp and then you open it up 
and look how deep that is so that is going to fit in a lot of your stamps and dies and it's just so nice can you imagine a row of these along you know a um a, 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 not a drawer <laughs> a shelf that is the word along a shelf and just with the with the with the label on there just saying which collection it is that would look really nice and stylish and organized 12 pounds and 99 pence item number is 374418 uh right i'm going to hand back to you then nikki second card second <laughs> right card. but before we go on to the card i just want to show you the flowers that i created for the card so i did this slightly different to some of the ones that i've shown you I did it in exactly the same way, shaped it with the image facing up, but then when it came to shaping the ends, what I did was I gave it a little pinch, yep. and it just gives that flower a completely different look. Oh, I like look. that technique. Just pinching. Because you're sort of lifting it slightly And lifting well. it up as well. So, yes, um, the moulds are brilliant, and I can't wait to show you how they work, but using your... Um, your flower shaping kit as well you can do so much more with it because look at that look when you lift that up i'm thinking you did this yellow with black in the yeah, center I know where you're going. it's a sunflower yeah, isn't yeah. it and we're coming into sunflower season so there's one on the wall good. here oh is there yeah yeah oh lovely <laughs> you go for, on Alex's walk, there is Basically, a sunflower. I have to walk to work. I have to walk. I'll tell you where it is, Charlotte. But it is. It's it, there's a. In fact, it's not just one. There's a couple of them side by side, and uh, they make me very happy. Anyway, oh. uh, over to you. Right. So back to the card. Really, kind of simple card using some of the paper pad. So I've gone for the lilac on this one, and I'm just laying that onto my card. It's the top, so make sure I've got the top of my card there. And so this is a tent style card, because it's going to open that way. And then I've just layering it up with some of my own cardstock, so I'm mixing and matching mm -hmm. what I have. And that was using one of the Cut Mac Create dies. In actual fact, no, I've done it wrong. That's got to go Nearly. on first. <laughs> Nearly. Save yourself there. <laughs> So, using lots of heartfelt decorative dies. I think a decorative die can really add class to a card. Mm, definitely. So, then my pink layer goes on. So, that was just to break up that purple. Then I've got another heartfelt die. You're probably all sitting there saying, oh, I've got that one. Oh, yeah. yes, I've got that one. Oh, I don't recognise that one. But um, This was one of the majestic dies and I think this I can't remember I think this was as well we've brought so many decorative dies out mm. though and then some more of the paper stock from the paper pad and that's using one of the tag dies from heartfelt and then I've cut this one out with the butterflies you can see where I wanted some of the flowers and butterflies in there and that's going to go there now i'm not putting any sentiments on because i think sometimes you can make cards and they can be ready to go so mm. you can start have lots of you can have a box of stamped sentiments like happy birthday yeah. happy anniversary thinking of you Definitely. thank you and then if you need a card you've got them and you can just put the sentiment on yep so i've got a few i say a few i've got three flowers that's going to go on this one and i've run out of glue another glue stick you here. You always go through so many glue sticks. I, I do actually and foam tape. Yeah. Last week I was prepping this one and which other one? It was the baby. I was, I was doing a, a, some work on the baby and I think I must have gone through about 30 rolls of foam tape. Wow. You need industrial it's, size. I do. Huge ones. Mm -hmm. I could do with but yeah. But I do use a lot of foam tape and glue sticks. So just add those flowers in there. And if you notice, these side ones I'm kind of bringing up. Yeah. So it's like a cluster. And then I'm going to put a few leaves. And the same as what I did on the other card. I'm going to make that one a bit smaller. 
that's going to go under that large flower. So now my flowers will be on like a blanket of leaves. And everything that I'm showing you is achievable for any crafter. Whether yeah. Oh, if, yeah, don't do what I've just done and put a blob of glue on. There will have to now be a flower there. Mm -hmm. um, or I could cut another butterfly out or you the could, paper pack. Yes, you could. Or maybe you've got the butterfly medley collection that mm. has butterflies in it. And you could pop the butterfly on there. So that flower leaf is going to go there. I'm just scrunching that up so it fits like that. And I need maybe another small one here. As I say, you can just keep going with it. Mm. And sometimes I have to say, right, now stop. But as I say, it's all achievable with the full collection. You can create all of these and you're getting stamens as well mm -hmm. in that collection. And then just once, if I would have rather have had a smaller leaf, but this will do. And I was going to put some of my swirls on again, but I'm actually thinking, oh, I've done it again. What have you done? Drop my glue. Oh. More butterflies. Never mind. That will, will glitter, butterflies, pearls, anything. But then if you wanted, you could have, add a few swirls. But then you could put your sentiment there and you've got a card for any occasion. Get you! Round two. two. And, a, and flower. a flower. Indeed. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Yeah. I've got more. I can keep going. Marvellous. Okay. Um, shall I... Just to break it up a bit, shall I show the paper pad? Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Let me turn this around. Um, once more, this is your double-sided. But check that, isn't that nice colour? Love that. But you've got your card blanks here. Lovely for your matting and layering. You've got your toppers. There's a border at the bottom. And then we go on to that lovely orange tone. And then again, that is another four card blanks that you could have and moving on it's another four love that orange it really pops oranges isn't a color i normally am drawn to but i like that in this collection and then you go slightly softer on that side here you can see you've got your tags and little embellishments i like these up here they're like little postage stamps aren't they these ones and your lavenders Brilliant for your scrapbooking. It's funny you should ask me about that. It's not that I don't want to get into scrapbooking. I've just, I really um, admire it. I just, can't, I'm just addicted to making gift boxes. Oh but, yeah, yeah oh, that's I love my making thing. boxes and three-dimensional yeah. projects. Yeah, oh. I was saying I'm currently in the middle of. I've got um, lovely John Lockwood's um, lantern, and I'm oh, making lovely. that at the moment. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I digress. Beautiful. I love that frame actually. That is stunning. Beautiful. Yeah, love that. And here are beautiful, again, toppers. There's some borders down the side. Very nice. Really nice with that cottage that you could fussy cut out if you want to, as Nikki has done. And then that's another one you could cut out. In fact, I'm sure you've got circle dies at home that you could. And look at that. Very pretty. I want to get to the die sheet. Ah, and there it is, as if by magic. So this is your sheet that you can die cut the elements from. And it even cuts out the little ladybird. And then there's the other die cut sheet, which is marvellous. So if you haven't got time to stamp and you just want to make a quick card, then the paper pad is brilliant. Uh, as well as your paper pad. Oh, yes, you'll get the inspiration sheet uh, in, in with the kit. Oh, I've oh, got to watch that. I'm going to wreck the pack shot. And what was I looking for? Uh, this is what you'll be able to make on the inspiration sheet, like so. Uh, and of course, in, in the collection, you're also going to get your stamps and dies, uh, the large zinnia. And see, see where it, there's a little ladybird, and it's on there, and it will cut out there, which is cool. So there's the large one, and then there's the small one. It's not small, is it? See what I mean? It's not really. And also... As a little bonus, because of our birthday, this is your free gift with purchase that you will get. And it doesn't have to be the one day special, it could be the other collection, it could be anything really. You've got 10 colours in here 
and there's loads in here. So for your one day special, it's two payments of £29.98 or you can go for it outright at £59.95, £21 off. We are 85% of the stock gone, 620393. Now it is of course your final call, so it is uh, the last chance that you're going to get to have a little look at it. Okay, oh, are you ready to go or do you want me to show a few more I samples? I was and I wasn't and I will be in a second. I wanted to just show you actually, can okay. I show you? Because you know I, I had that lump of glue there. Yeah. I couldn't just leave it. No, it's good so you. I've just made a very quick flower. Oh gosh, that was quick. Slightly different colours. Well, the centre was actually a little blossom that I added in, but I did just do the no, you'd never outer know. petals. That's but good, you would it? never know, you see. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. So I am ready. You are ready, okay. Right, I can do this. So three cards. You're very well prepared. I, Look at this. I, well, I wanted to make sure I had plenty to go with and I wanted to show you different ways that you could put the flowers and use those panels in the paper pad because it is a beautiful paper pad. So I've got bright pink paper yep. as my backing. Okay, so I've just got to help, help, help make sure that I've got my script the right way, which that is the right way. So that's going to go on my outer. Then I've got, this is actually the 12 by 12 sheet cut up into um, a, a, a quarter, <laughs> yes, a quarter, because <laughs> I would have cut it into four. <laughs> oh dear, it's been a long day. Bless you. And I've matted it onto some white cardstock. That not only helps strengthen it, but when you put it down, it helps pop as well. I think putting lots of layers, using your foam pads mm. and getting those layers there, look, yeah. really makes a card look a little bit more extravagant. Then I've got one of the panels. So this is a four by five panel. <laughs> You did a little squeak. Then. I did do a little squeak because I was going to say four by six. I'm thinking that does not look like six inches. And then that's going to go over to the right of the card. Yeah, then you don't then use I'm that going to pop that back in because it is a shame because it is pretty. But it's going, it just adds a little bit of a layer. You don't have to, but I'm going to. You can see, look. And you could add glitter around and you can add pearls if you like. I'm going to put my sentiment on before I forget. So this is from the tags and accents dies that we brought out a few years ago. Mm, I like the style of it. And it says, a gift for you. Yeah, I like that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And I thought this worked well because if you look at the design around the oval, it's very similar. Mm. So it kind of works well together. Now I did forget to put these on. But to be honest, I don't think it needs it. And it probably does need it because it's wonky. <laughs> it's just going down. It's oh, a little I, I bit could, I wonky. I didn't really notice that. Oh, I've, I've noticed. <laughs> I've noticed. But I can rectify that at home. I could hide it with flowers like the producer just said. But the flowers will come down here. Slightly different flowers. So I haven't used any stamens in the centre. And again... I, I tend to, when I'm, I, I'm doing exactly the same design and I do apologise. That's all right. But obviously when I use threes, it just kind of works for me. But then I've got two more, so I'm going to, I'm not going to even try and hide that. Because it just isn't going to work. So I'm going to have one there and one there. And then I'm just going to add a few leaves, she says, she's got loads here. You've got plenty of time. I'm, I'm doing. I might. I, I would say I'd get another one in, but I'm not a hundred. I don't. Not sure if I could get. If I could get another one done, but I do have another one. And then just I run. How many is that? Because I've just gone through two glue sticks in wow. less than an hour. <laughs> so pop that in. This is why you need to batch make. Yeah. Because when you've got lots of leaves and flowers to go to there's nothing worse than doing a card and then thinking oh, I could have done with two more leaves 
And then you have to stop making the card yeah. to make more leaves. And that really needs to go up there. And with my leaves, to be honest, I've used all the same colour because I thought they worked really well with the paper pad. So I've used that, what was it called, New Sprout yeah. Memento Ink and Simon Hurley Dye Ink Pad. And that is called, for some reason, Later Gator. Because I think it's an alligator. Yeah. And just bringing that around. And I would put a little leaf on those flowers, but I'm using them all up now. Adorned with gorgeous zinnias. There we go. Happy with that. Not happy with that because it's on. <laughs> Seriously, I could, I think you the should thing try is, one. I could put that on there and I could bring some pearls across there. So I know I can do that when yeah. I'm at home. But yes. Beautiful. Go on, you've got five minutes. Have I got five minutes? Right. That would okay. be a record. That would be really cool. So we're right, I've just I'm taken four. some leaves out of here. So okay. I'm not sure if I've got enough leaves. But if not, we can at least get a card done. Cool. So. Now you set the bar there. You'll set the bar and then it'll have to be five next time, won't it? Oh, that's fine with me. <laughs> not. So I've got some paper that I've already decorated and I'm using my glue gun and I have no idea why because I never use a glue gun to put my paper <laughs> Sorry, down. Put you <laughs> that's fine. But I've got my pearls on there already. But look, that's worked. That's worked. Glue gun worked. And then I've used one of my majestic decorative dies for the centre. And Have you had it's a lot going of to go in the centre. <laughs> Have I had a lot of coffee? <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I had one this morning and one at lunch, so not really, no. But <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. Look. And then I've cut that cottage out. Oh, so rather nice than shape. fussy cut it... Yeah. I've used my decorative die uh -huh. and then I've got, I'm going to try to do something different with these flowers because they all seem to be looking the same on these last few flower comb cards. I'm going to put a large one there. Then I'm going to put a cluster down here. It's still going to be a cluster. Mm -hmm. But do you know what this card, I think you could, if you didn't want to put leaves on it, you could actually get away with it because of all the pattern behind it. Mm -hmm. I think it works really well. That's not me getting out of, I know I can finish this card in, yeah. <laughs> in, in three minutes, but I just think you've got that pattern and it really doesn't need anything else. Yeah, but you've still got three minutes. Right, the only one that I've got left is a long one. It's a long <laughs> one. I would never get that one. Oh, in actual fact, I bet I could. But we, oh, but I can't. I won't. <laughs> I'll save that one for another day. <laughs> Lovely. No, but brilliant stuff. Well, Thank you. See, that's what you call being really well prepped. Now, with our one day special, we are approaching limited stock. You've got until six o'clock before the price goes up. So if you are popping out, now's the time to check out uh, so that you can secure it and make sure it's yours. You've got that beautiful paper pad, of course, with 24 sheets. Uh, 12 designs, two of each, and they're double-sided, so it's good because you don't have to choose and sacrifice one. And then you've also got... Are you going for it? No, no, I'm She's not. wrestling around. some like, flowers away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is she Making do it? sure I'm not <laughs> forgetting. No, we haven't got time. No, I know. I just, I could hear you. I was like, are you getting more stuff out? <laughs> uh, then you've also got your stamps and dies to match your large zinnia and your smaller zinnia. And again, just to mention that you will be getting the gift with purchase, which is um, a really good bargain. This is worth 15 99 and you're not paying for it. Um, and you've got, what I like is they're almost like um, crystallised at the end. They are, they've got a little bit of glitter on yeah. them, haven't they? Yeah, so you've got 10 colours and each little set is, you've got quite a few stamens there. There's so about 60 in each. Is there? Yeah, so you're getting about 600. Wow, mm. amazing. And then we'll just go for... A few more samples then. What haven't I shown? Sure, you don't want me to make a card. <laughs> <laughs> really I'm, going I, I'm for quite it. happy to do 15 minutes of the next show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I came. I was going to say about that though. <laughs> Oh, that'd be yeah, nice, could, do one together, we? socially distanced, crafting together. Um, right, so here are just a last few That's set of beautiful, samples. That's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that stunning? That could be a wedding invite. It could be, but it's summer garden, isn't yeah. it? It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, you could go and sit outside in the sun now. You'll I be, could. I've got a few hours left of the sun, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, you absolutely have. Mm -hmm. So that one is also really pretty. Let me bring in the easel card. There you go. Oh, sorry if I hold it higher. There you go. Stunning. And then we've also got, just we've got to finish off with our fabulous butterfly. Isn't that nice? Yeah, oh, 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 Webster's going to put music on as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you could make wall art with that. Instead of doing both sides, you could put, do three or five and have them on a wall. You could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you, it's been a great show. Lovely, thank you. really enjoyed that. Uh, oh, yes, when are you back, do you know? I'm back on the 23rd of September for some more heartfelt shows. Excellent, lovely. Thank you once again, Nikki. Right, don't go anywhere. We've got a fabulous show with Kay and Fiona. Because it is the birthday bash with Indigo Blue, followed by Le Blanche's birthday blast, one day special, and then hopefully I'm back with Cardio, who's bringing the confetti. 27 years ago, whilst enjoying a day out in Santa Barbara, California with my brother and the kids, we came across a shop called Stampa Barbara. Santa Barbara, Stampa Barbara, we had to go in. And when we ventured inside, we were met with walls of wood-mounted rubber stamps. Well, that's when I had my moment of clarity. Wouldn't it make more sense, I said to my brother, if you could see through the rubber stamps? And that's where Clarity Stamp was born. Since then, Clarity has grown into the worldwide success it is today, bringing you the very best in stamping, parchment craft, and more recently, die cutting. To celebrate our 27th birthday, we have joined with Hochanda to bring you a long weekend of your favourite Clarity products with your favourite Clarity demonstrators. So, put the kettle on, put your feet up and join us for our 27th birthday celebrations on Friday the 4th of September from 10am to Monday the 7th of September at 5pm. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Well, hello everybody. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about our seven day savers. We are currently celebrating the fact that Hochanda have reached their fifth birthday and we're looking forward to many more happy birthdays with you. So what we're going to do, oh, I've got to tell you, because it is our fifth birthday, if you go onto the website, have a look, because you can get hold of a free birthday gift during, it's a free gift with purchase during any live show. See full T's and C's on our website. Let's have a look at these Oakwood and Archer folders. So we are talking a set of two die storage cases you're getting 10 magnetic sheets in there already now here's what's exciting because you can also add refills in there as well so you can extend on those but to start with think about uh, storing all of your die sets beautifully within a folder that will grow with you 24.98 saving nine pounds that is an utter bargain you're getting both those folders it's just one of the seven day savers 892 272 is your item number don't miss out 
Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hello, very good early evening to you. Uh, my name is Fee, as you know, and I'm here with the lovely Kay. You've had a bit of a gap, haven't you, Kay? We have, yes. Nine o'clock this morning you were on. It was, but then I had a lovely time in Oundle, Shit. in the sunshine. Have a little so walk around. Little Beautiful walk weather. Around. Yes. Fantastic. And I believe you had a fantastic show at nine o'clock this morning. Yes, it was brilliant. So thank you, everybody. That was wonderful. Thank you very much for supporting us. Yeah, it was it's busy. It's been very busy. So uh, let's see what you brought, or the goodies that you brought with us. Now, you mentioned to me earlier, uh, Kay, that yes, we might have seen some of these, but we haven't seen these in these configuration, and we haven't seen these with these fantastic That's prices. Right. And uh, I don't think a lot of people have seen them, because the shows that we had were, like, maybe seven o'clock in the exactly, morning. Or, exactly. People so see things at different times. They do. They so do. certainly some of them are fresh to my eyes as well. So yes. it's great that we get a second chance if you, do, if you don't mind yeah. saying so. So this first collection, uh, we've got two options. I'm going to start with the Fandangle. Now these are all your designs, aren't you? Your doodles. They are. They are my doodles. So um, while I'm on the phone, I tend to doodle quite a lot. So I thought, actually, I will, um, I'll, I'll make them into stamps. Fantastic. There you go. <laughs> and they are beautiful and they're big and that each one comprises of quite a few stamps. Now, these are your stamps that you make here in, in Redford, isn't it? Did That's you say? right, we do. So they're really deeply edged, aren't yes, they, in terms they of quality? Are. And the red rubber. Um, and we're really proud of the quality of the stamps that we make. I'm and they're gonna... all cut out and mounted for you, ready to go. So you can see there just how deep that etching is, because I know Catherine was talking about uh, stamping clay and what mm. have you, that makes them perfect for yeah, that. Yeah, she really likes them to stamp into clay, give nice um, texture to them. Especially that swirly one is really nice as well for clay. Beautiful, absolutely. And these work really well with the second collection as well, uh, the Fleur. Now, I'm just going to hold up a few samples here for my lovely director, just to show you how these gorgeous fandangles can work. Because um, a lot of people, are, they're a bit frightened of doodling, aren't they? And so sometimes they just prefer to sort of have the stamp, as it were. Yes, and these you can, as you can see, they've been built on, so you can actually do them um, standing up or dropping down, which way, uppies and downies, <laughs> as I said this morning, and you can add to them. Yeah. So you can um, make scenes out of them, you can actually build upon them, you can do um, shapes and um, with them make flowers, big flowers out of them, um, make them into borders, there's lots and lots of different ways you can use them, or you can just draw onto them um, and do extra colouring, so lots loads, of loads of fun to be had with them. Lots of fantastic samples there from the brilliant team. I want to say a big thank you to them. A half of stock of the Fandangles gone. So let's look at the next collection, which work in beautiful unison with them as well. The the Fleur collection. Tell me about this collection, then, Kay. So um, it, it again, it works in conjunction with the uh, Fandangles beautifully, and you can see that there are some like the lollipops that will go with the Fandangles, and there's some. At, um, extra bits here and these are just really really easy to work together and um, the big flowers that you've just seen on flows two and this one on uh, flows four they're very easy to cut out because I, I like it a bit of cutting out but I don't like it too fussy so they're really nice and easy to cut out quite a few there as well and layering up so they work beautifully together and again you've got some really nice sentiments as well um, I always like to put a, a really nice heartfelt sentiment onto um, uh, onto the the stamps that you've got there, and they work really well together. They're beautiful sentiments. I love, I love the one about uh, flowers are nature's laughs or nature's laughs yes. or flowers. They're just yes. gorgeous. 
really beautiful and uh, I love the way they work so well together as well They're just absolutely brilliant this is Kerry's here we've got Carolyn's design here again these fantastic sentiments a life without dreams it's like a garden without flowers so beautiful as the sun colors flowers so does art color life and we've got it also on some lovely canvas as well because we mustn't forget as well that your stamps they can print onto material because your lovely acrylics uh, we can paint straight paints. onto yeah, they fabric are, yes. paints. So, yes. um, all of our paints have always been um, fabric paints. And as you can see, that we've designed these. Look at the, the border there with the, yes. the daisy. I think that's lovely, the oh, way that's beautiful. done. And Car uh, Caroline has made that lovely um, makeup case, stamping onto the fabric there and colouring it in. Gorgeous, so they're yeah. not just great for cards, but they're great to actually make fabric up, for doing machine embroidery. Um, I've actually stamped onto... Uh, the canvas bag which is coming up in a bit um, and then decorating with sequins that's lovely isn't it just a small isn't piece it? there you mentioned that canvas bag I'm just going to grab it now because it contains so many of these lovely flowers and your fandangles there I mean just look at this we, we have got this uh, lovely cotton and uh, printed uh, option coming up as well in terms of the front of your bags but you've done embroidery over the top there but we can see those Lovely fandangles and your beautiful fleurs. Those there. lollipop fandangles fit beautifully as a border across there. Don't and they? the little flowers at the top um, fit beautifully at the top of the bag, you can see there. And those are stamped with the paint. Oh. So you can stamp with the paint as well. That's why that's another reason why I make them incredibly thick and really um, packed full of pigment so that you are able to stamp with them and we do have people who buy our paint that do a lot of screen printing as well because they like the consistency of it um, and the the texture of the um, of the paint so it works brilliantly just with everything so you shouldn't have to actually buy lots of different types of paint this will do all of the jobs for you much easier yes indeed we've got those on the show lots of lovely color options as well now if you're loving these lovely bags behind me do cast your eyes on those so these are our other options then than fleurs either all set is 34 pounds 96 big saving there from indigo blue there 13 pounds saving there um 271542 i want to move now to the long long lovely uh, sort of dl size now these actually sold out in the previous show have we got them back on extended then I take it yes we have great yes. news great news because I know you did a lovely lovely demonstration on this uh, first set here so um, are we getting both of these oh both of these yes Fantastic. you are Fantastic. and not only have you got the main flowers as well which are beautifully drawn by our designer Janine Jarrett Shaw but you're also getting some sentiments down the side you are, so there's yeah. three stamps in each kit as well and all these amazing samples are so wonderful how you can use them in completely different ways that one's upside down Fiona oh, I'm so sorry darling that's <laughs> Sue, right. Sue Ralph you're, you're not she supposed doesn't to. want to show me you don't always see them that's okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love these stamps and those sunflowers are gorgeous and as you paint them or colour them in, um, you will discover nice little things like the butterflies or there's a ladybird on one and a mushroom and that's the beautiful thing about Janine's designs, they are like hidden treasures um, in her illustrations. You mentioned the sentiment there because this is another one by Sue Ralph there, you're only here for a short visit, don't hurry, don't worry. I'm sure to smell the flowers. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, you've got those two. If I just turn this around for everyone to see there, uh, okay, you can just see. There we go. Inside everyone is a great shout of joy waiting to be born. So fantastic uh, long sentiments there that, as you can see, you can use around the, like, a, like a border. And also on this one, we do not inherit this earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from that are children beautiful so it's just hard to read but there on the front you can there's two fantastic sets of stamps they're absolutely beautiful i must show you ceramic pots the next time as well because that's with the lovely uh, fleurs from the last set as well but i hadn't shown that we can put it onto the ceramic as well that's from our, our flowers our fleurs i know I shouldn't, i'm not supposed to be talking about that right now because we moved on but anyway i just had to show it because it's just so brilliant <laughs> it's gorgeous. so great price point as well okay to get both of those 21 pounds 98 10 pounds saving 151069 sold out this morning but back on extended Ended, dispatch the 3rd of September so it's only two days to wait isn't it now another another popular set here now is this this is an e oh no we get both of these the a5 we're both, getting both the, the botanist and or 
The botanist, the botanist, the botanist. The botanist. The botanist. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know. Yeah, uh, the botanist. You're right. The botanist and the dragonfly and the sunflower. There we go. It's really quite simple, Fiona. So uh, this is a, this is a beautiful set. Why have you paired these two together then? Um, well, they, you've got Janine's there um, with her lovely massive dragonfly, which I adore, and the sunflower. Those are just superb for doing stamping off the page for your journals onto fabric and embellishing. I just absolutely adore them and then going in oh look at that it's just yeah. great isn't it it's not it's amazing a, such a nice big image oh, I do like I've got big upside down again I'm so sorry I apologize to the team <laughs> that's okay don't and worry. then our sunflower I've got that the right way up yeah it's lovely that isn't it isn't it and then you've got some lovely unicorn sparkles on the dragonfly there as well beautiful so and then our other really set sing. our other and set then has we've got um, um, my designs um, that have come from traditional um, botanist drawings. Um, so I've just collected them together, put them on a plate together, and they are just lovely botanical drawings. And again, these have been um, copied onto some of the fabric panels that I've done in the past. And I just think they work beautifully. Um, I demonstrated these this morning so if you wanted to have a look at the nine o'clock rewind you can do and I did some watercolour techniques with this. Indeed, indeed. we've got Jill's here and uh, in terms of the card and also Carrie's there. They're, they're so beautiful. You've really created some beautiful designs there. Okay, absolutely stunning. Half the stock has already gone of this set. £29.98. Again, a great saving, £10 saving there. 488713, 50% already gone. Now, this is a fantastic collection to really get our teeth into here. Uh, describe to me what we've got going on in this incredible set here then, Kay. Okay, so if you want to dip your toe into painting onto fabric, but you don't know how, I've actually printed some of my designs onto a cotton, 100% cotton. It's a really nice big sheet. 18 inches square approximately and you've got lots of individual images but you've also got a really nice big the botanist collage as well but starting there you've got that beautiful bird a collage of butterfly my favorite bee dragonfly some words and um, some botany flowers as well neroli there lavender and um, valerian and then we've got that gorgeous um, collage that I've put together. That we saw on the bag and, a moment ago. And that's yes. right, it's on the bag. So if you want to just colour this in with the paints, you can do, because of course the paints um, will go with this beautifully, especially the two translucent sets that we've got on today, because that way they won't colour up all the black lines, ah. and then you'll still see everything coming through. And it gives you a lovely softness to it, and you can build up the colours as you want, or you can just keep it as monochrome, and just, or if you a sewer and you just want to embrace it, then you know the world's your oyster with that and we've got four of those beautiful paints you're describing to us in that translucent paint you've got your teal your daffodil your racing green and your mulberry brush we're getting this heavy-duty uh, canvas well cotton isn't it there's a heavy-duty yes, one there yeah. our tote bag so we can embellish like you have done with your beautiful embroidery and the paints uh, our bag with some of the projects perhaps that we want to take separately from that lovely printed cotton sheet then we're also getting so if I just show you this because that's just using the butterfly but I just want to show you how some of those colors you can see the colors that you've supplied for us there Kay yes translate onto your canvas there they're really intense aren't they they are and I've chosen those because they actually mix beautifully as well because if you mix the mulberry and the teal you get a beautiful purple and hence there you go <laughs> yes <laughs> so there's the teal mixed yeah. with the mulberries to get the purple on there and this beautiful. is a beautiful book that's been made by Carolyn Carolyn Lakin and she's actually made this out of um, piece of material and felt and then uh, decorated these and sewn them on and beautiful. obviously it's a work in progress because there's loads of lovely stuff yes. in there yeah absolutely but it really showcases beautiful. those 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 beautiful paints. Then we've got three of these uh, sheets. Talk to me about the sheets. Okay, so these are just painting mats. I yeah. say just, but they are actually really really useful. Mm. Um, if you were to buy these sheets, normally they would cost quite a, a, a large amount of money. But they are a byproduct of our manufacturing process. They actually keep the rubber from sticking to each other whilst we actually um, uh, are then cutting it and vulcanising it. So it comes in between the sheets. Um, and as I say, if we were to buy it separately, it would cost 
loads of money so I didn't want to throw it away and discovered that because rubber won't stick to it neither will anything else so you can use it for your resin um, your uh, ca uh, your soft clay, uh, soft, air, dry clay, soft clay yeah. air dry clay polymer clay all of those but also um, acrylic paint is notorious for sticking to palettes and you can't scrape them off or wash them but you can actually just wash them off these just under cold water just scrape it off with a, an old credit card or whatever um, and it's it's good as new again. So they make a great palette. I remember that was one yeah. of the first things I learned about Indigo Blue, these <laughs> fantastic for a byproduct of the stamps. That's yes, so that's brilliant. Right. Um, fantastic. So we get all of this in our gorgeous, gorgeous bundle there. Like you said, a great one as cakes described there to you know just to dip your toes into to that medium there. Thirty-four pounds fifty, zero two five, zero two one, and an eleven pound saving there. Okay, I want to move down now to, um, and again, do have a little look at these lovely samples. We've got t-shirts, we've got bags, we've got books. Now, you might have some books, you might have a beautiful apron you're cre uh, creating, because we've got some choices on the pick and mix. I just want to show you this. Um, this was designed by Julie Atkinson, and you can see there that lovely middle panel there, put to great use there. We've got our little bee in flight there, a little bit further down. A beautiful, beautiful apron. You might want to do something similar with these in the pick and mix. Now, I haven't forgotten the name because uh, I love the literary figures as does uh, our lovely Kay so she she put it really simply for me she says this is Elizabeth Bennett Fiona this is Elizabeth well it isn't literally but this is Elizabeth no. isn't it <laughs> and you've got her on the cotton they're all it's all cotton uh, but this is more of the lightweight and this is more of the sort of what we would describe as what feels like the canvas the heavyweight it's sort of more upholstery cotton isn't it yes yes so it's a nice heavyweight sort of texture to it so you can choose either Elizabeth on, on the lighter or the, the, the heavier weight cotton there. We've got Becca, named after, I'm not sure she won't mind me telling everybody, your daughter. Yes. Your daughter. Yes. So My we've got this one. We've got Becca, and that isn't that beautiful? I love the fact that we've got, you know, the different angles there, that, that gorgeous script work there. So we've got Becca on the cotton, and if, if you like, on the cream upholstery, uh, the heavy, more heavy-duty cotton as well. Now, this is a big bestseller here on, on, the, on the white cotton there, isn't it? It is, yes. The artist is in all sizes, but we only have this one in stock at the moment. And this is brilliant because you've got lots of different images, but they're really small, which is brilliant for card makers who want to add a little bit of texture into their work by using fabric or if you want to make a little book um, yeah. with your embroidery or if you just want to make a little bit of wall art to frame on the wall um, so these are brilliant um, it, it's only a, um, a, a small piece um, but you get lots of images on you there do. lots to play with and I know these stand you know if you would make a little bag I, I realize these are different images but it gives you the idea like I said, if you're doing your mixed media or anything as well, beautiful, just in terms of using those smaller elements. Then we've got our large butterfly here, again, a very popular one, a big bestseller with Indiglo. It is. Blue, isn't it? It okay. is, and it's absolutely stunning. Again, that would look great on a bag. Um, again, you could actually make, because um, it's nice and big, you could make um, a, a tablet. I nearly said the brand name then. You could make a tablet bag with yes, that. Um, it's a really good uh, size for it. Um, again, uh, I've seen it uh, embellished and actually put in a frame. It looks superb. So lots to do there as well. And finally, we've got Jane. Jane down here. You see Jane Austen. This is where we were going with it. It worked. <laughs> it so worked. Yeah, I have forgotten. Yeah. You know I would have well been going. Done. You know what I'm like with names. Yeah. So <laughs> st stuck with me. Now Jane's very popular. She's so beautiful. But it's that it's that sort of mix imagery that you've combined yeah there, it's that iconic image that we see you know all over the place and I've actually used her as part of a collage and I've just put lots and lots of imagery layered over so again as you color this you will discover nice little elements in there as well beautiful so it's a pick and mix pick any two for 13 pounds five pound saving five eight four four three six um, don't forget as well we do have our lovely birthday gift uh, gift with purchase which is a gorgeous um, dragonfly stamp. Now, don't forget these deep etched indigo blue stamps. We can show you that on a still. Apologies that I haven't got the dinky stamp here with me, but I'm sure you agree uh, it would look absolutely exquisite there. So that is your uh, free gift with purchase here in this fantastic hour with Kay and indigo blue. Okay.
Just got a couple of extras I wanted to show you, and I'll try and show you these beautiful bags behind me as well. We've got the pigments there as well. Let's have a look at these. So these are the luscious pigments. They come in a set of three. So they've got that real intense color there, that beautiful rouge, the purple, and the blue. I mean, these are jewel-rich colors, aren't they? So, 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 so gorgeous. And uh, when they translate onto card, because I've seen these behind the desk here with Kay, when they translate onto the card, oh my word, they are just beautiful. So there's lots of different colors there. Buttercup, cheeky peach, peacock, raspberry, coral, lavender, unicorn tears. Ah, oh, the one that blew me away. Fizzy pop. Oh, I'm lime spritzer. I'm having a bit of that. Buttercup, peacock. Oh, get out of it. Raspberry, coral, lavender. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. You just got to have a tough decision which ones you're going to get. Um, let's look at some more there as well. The paint itself, so this is what you get in that lovely bundle as well, or rather elements of. Um, we've got them in sets of six, because in your bundle you get four beautiful colours. But uh, two different options there. Four, great value, I'm sure you agree, $14.99, because they're so intense in their pigment. 257834. And Unicorn Sparkle, which was used on the Dragonfly that Kay just mentioned on that lovely, large, large uh, grey board there. Um, Sold out, but back on extended. Hooray! The 11th of September. It's worth the wait, I promise you. 13.99-536-958. Okay, well, I think we're ready to come to you then, Kay, because I know you want to show us this lovely, lovely journal you've got going I on I just here. wanted to show you my journal because it's got lots of different techniques and it show. I, I just realised how many times I've been using these stamps <laughs> that I obviously really, really like them. So on the front cover here, what I've done is I've actually stamped some of the fleurs on here um, just with the paint straight onto the canvas, a, a normal piece of uh, cotton here. Um, I have actually done a bit of a watercolour technique on the canvas beforehand and then I've just stitched onto it so you can actually see where I've just gone over the top um, and uh, embellished it there. So um, here I've done the same. Thank you very much to um, the lovely um, Katrina who oh. taught me how to do this lovely embroidery technique and again I've, I've just done exactly the same I stamped onto the material and then embellished it I have actually colored it with the paints first and then what we've got here so we've got the same paints and I've just put a little flower there on this one coming up um, I'm going to show you this technique here I've done a, a nice watercolor technique mm. very very simple with some white space um, on this one, I've actually layered them all up with some words. Um, I've got another one here. This one, um, I've actually made a, a little pull out. So you've got a little garden of um, fleurs there and some of the lollipops as well. So you can see I've really, really enjoyed <laughs> myself. That's got, there you go, you can see the lovely luscious on there. And um, back here, I've got some on the canvas. And then this is how I use up all the odd bits as well. So you can see that they're really, really useful. And um, I've really, yeah, I, I just love playing with them. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm, I'm going to try and get through as many um, demos as possible. And I'm going to show you a watercolour technique similar to what I did this morning, but slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a border. I want to show you a border. So I'm taking a, uh, a wide brush to, this is um, Pink Frog watercolour card. Um, and, and we had them on earlier. And um, I'm sure that um, they can remind you that they, I think it's still in in, on sale, isn't it? We haven't yes, sold out, thank website, goodness. Yeah, um, I use stuff. this all the time. Mm. So what I've done is I've just put a border of wet, wa wet water. <laughs> of course it's wet cake, come on. <laughs> Duh. And then I'm just going to take quite a big brush and you can see here that I've just got tiny dots of um, paint on my mat. So I've put a little bit too much out but I'm not going to be too bothered. Okay, and add loads and loads of water to that and then just bring it onto the card and let that water just, just pull it out, of, out 
a little bit okay so I'm just getting a little bit of that red hot chili the set I'm using is the red hot chili tiger lily but uh, blue bell lime marmalade and and purple rain and there's one other which I think is maybe Welsh slate so I think that's the set I'm using if I remember rightly well remembered okay. there, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Be bad if I didn't remember, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then this is tiger lily. So tiger lily, strangely enough, does go with the lime marmalade because the lime is a yellow base. So it goes beautifully with this. And I'm just going to let that just run into that red as well. In fact, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more in a minute. I'm just going to clean my brush. And then I'm going to come in with the blue and I'm going to keep the blue over by the red because then when it mixes in with this red, we'll get a more violet sort of colour coming through like so. And then we can actually let it just run into that lime because, of course, that's a, a green edge to that and just let that run together. And I really like that orange that tiger lily so I'm just going to add a lot more water to that and I'm just going to put another layer on because I think that would be just gorgeous and you can see how the water holds the shape yeah. for you so you don't have to worry about where it's the paint's going to run to because that water that I've put on is just literally it's just spreading up to that water line and if you wanted to make it a little bit more square if you wanted just bring your your brush in with some warp, clean water on it or cleanish, but I quite like a bit of a wiggly line going on there. Okay, so that's one that you can do with just a, a border here, and I've done this with the other colours that are on the set. So this is the set that's got the mulberry bush, the teal for two, the daffodil, um, and that set. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's that one. I'll just put that to one side. And then this one, I'm just going to use the same brush, but in this, I'm go just going to do an inverted one. So we're just going to have a square in the middle of water onto the same pink frog walk watercolour card. I go through tons of this. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, because I don't because the price is so good you don't you're not frightened of using it it's not too precious and then I'm going to just get again some of that lovely tiger lily lots of water there and let that just I'm just dabbing this on and I'm just going to let that work its way through and then let's have a little bit of the red hot chili which is a lovely um, bright red this is an orange red so of course it goes beautifully again lots of water and this will go beautifully with that tiger lily which is a lovely sunshiny yellowy orange because I've added loads and loads of water we're getting soft delicate colors if you wanted it a lot stronger you just don't add as much water or you put layers on for it and then I'm going to come in with that blue or should I use let me show you the, the purple rain because I haven't actually used that today normally oh is that gorgeous it's, stunning. it's yeah. such a stunning color it really is unfortunately my, my dry one doesn't have purple on it but you'll get a feeling for it and just can you see how that's just being pulled over um, and then you just leave it you just leave it to do what it wants to do and it will just dry, it'll dry lighter because we've added so much water to it and then your paint mat, I've used up that nicely if I had any left over I would just you know stick a piece of paper in it for later use okay so just put that to one side and you can see how this one is dried now this was bluebell here rather than the purple rain but you can see the colour colours are similar. I've put a little bit of lime marmalade there as well so I'm just going to get rid of that one and let me just change my recycled paper. There we go. Okay and then you can see now what we've got left 
with these. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'll start with this one here. I'm going to do some re a really, really simple card or journal page for this one. I'm just going to use some sticky notes and I'm just going to place that along the bottom. Now you could use some um, masking tape, purple masking tape if you wanted, but I'm just going to use a, a sticky note because I had one there. And I think what I might... Oh, there, right in front of me, Kay. There you go. The ones right here. You know, the ones you <laughs> put out for yourself? <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> Under your nose. Okay, so this is from Fleurs 4. Okay. And I think I'm going to use some blue rather than just black. I'm just going to emboss this. I think that would look really cool as well. So I'm getting my embossing powder all ready with the lid off and my ink pad. So this is uh, this fine Claire Paradise. It's uh, a lighter sort of blue and I think it will go with these lovely sunshiny colours here. So I think we'll probably have this about here going out of the square Yep, like that. Love that a lot. Chuck over your ultra fine embossing. And this is very, very fine powder, so it's going to pick up even the tiniest of lines. Um, and then in the same set, I love this one. These sort of I don't know what they are. The fantasy flowers, anyway. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, all extended now, isn't it? Because it's sold out. Your lovely, fine embossing powder comes with your unicorn sparkles there. Dispatch was the 11th, 11th of September, uh, 536 so, I think that'll go there. Sorry, I was just talking to myself. No, that's OK. <laughs> this is from your lovely you Fleurs 4, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, oh, where should I put this? OK. So I'm liking that really, really simple. Now that I've stamped that, I'm just wondering whether I should put one tiny little thing coming up there. Or should I just leave it? See, this is what happens. I go off piece, do you see? And then I start faffing around. Um, no, I'm going to leave it. Just, just stick with it, Kay. Okay. Um, this is not a normal heat tool. I do not recommend that you use this. It's just incredibly quick for demonstrations. As you can see, it's like three seconds long. And then when you take that off, you've got a nice clean edge to this, okay? And then I'm going to come in with... Um, I was going to do luscious, but I actually am going to do um, the paints, I think. So let's get these colours back in. Let's get that purple rain back in and the blue bell. Okay. So these come in two sets of six. You choose which set you desire. 14 257 834. Very proven, very popular. It's because, I mean, they're powerful little pots, aren't they, Kay? They are. They do pack a punch. They really do. Because we used to do them in a 60 mil mm -hmm. pot. And um, people were saying, okay, they're lasting too long. You know, I've still got mine from five years ago and they're still going strong, <laughs> you know. And I'm going, just give them a stir and they'll be, you know, you'll carry on. And they're saying, well, we'd rather have more colours more and yeah. less paint. Yeah. So I was like, well, yeah, obviously I, I would too, actually, given the choice. So that's what we did. We started to um, just... I don't like that blue on there. I'm just going to take that off. So we... Let me just get rid of this a minute. So I've just cleaned my brush. And I've come in with a clean brush and I've just pulled that back out again. And I'm going to go with the racing green from the other set. So, yes, yeah, so um, we decided that we would um, go with the smaller part um, because they, they do last such a terribly long time and, um, and which is great because um, we're able to do them for a, a lot less money we don't have a huge profit margin because we don't have you know lots of 
layers of people to pay because we're just a, a really small company. So we're able to do, you know, six pots for that amount of money is fantastic, oh, really. It is, it, it is amazing. And the pots do so much, don't they? It's not just your card, is it? That's right. Um, when we started the business, I did want a paint that could do everything. Um, I didn't know whether it existed. We went to talk to our paint manufacturer that we found and said, you know, I actually do want a paint that can do fabric. We can do it on silk. We can do it on a can canvas and card, but I want really good quality pigments. At the time, you know, we, we had sort of craft pigments um, and they were not a very good quality. You yeah. know, when they were, um, if, if they're called like children's, they're the lowest quality, yeah. then student, then craft, and then artist. I was like, how come the artists get the best stuff? Why can't we, <laughs> why can't we have decent stuff, you know? So, um, we actually worked with them, and um, let me just put, blend this in. And you've got it on the ceramic as well before the glaze, haven't you? The, Pardon? You've got it on the ceramic here on the pots as well. Yes, that's right. So you can um, you can do so much with them, and um, yeah, I just wanted to say, could we could we have them for every? surface including plastic and metal which it does go on beautifully wow. it just won't it just needs protecting when you go outside yeah. and our paint manufacturer said yeah you can have that but why would you do that because you're cutting out quite a big part of your market um, and I was like that's not the point <laughs> <That's what laughs> really. <I want. laughs> um, so um, so yeah so our acrylic paints were born and um, we've got the um, flat colors the matte colors as well We've got the translucence and we've got a lovely range of metallics oh, yeah, as well. So um, the nice thing about these translucents is that you can see that I'm not going over the lines because you can see through it mm. and that means that you can actually give them a really nice coverage with, with pigment but you can actually see the layer underneath and the more you put on the more you can layer that up. You know, so I can actually go over the top of that that purple there, and just mix that mix that in more. And then, if you want to add a highlight, we can do that as well. So I'm just I'm not going to completely finish this. I'll I'll just do a little bit more. I want to put some highlights on it as well for you, and I just want to mix that in. So. The lovely thing about having the embossing is that it doesn't work, matter whether I make a bit of a mess because it just keeps it within the lines and I don't cover up those lovely black or blue lines, as I should say. And then I like to get a little bit of um, gesso. Oh, that's sparkly stuff, okay, not the gesso. So I just take a tiny bit of white gesso and we've made this with titanium white so that we actually do have um, the ability to put a nice, you know, highlight in. Yeah, we've got those on the show there. A pack of two, yeah. which we should get the black and the white, which is brilliant for 999-090-550. So I'm putting it on wet because that means that I can blend it in. And then when it's dry, I'll put some more on and that will hold the colour as well. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off a little bit more and I'll get ready for the next little demo. Lovely. And um, if you can do your bit. I'll do a recap then if that's all right, Fantastic. Kay, just to remind everybody what yeah. we've got on the show. So Kay was with us at nine o'clock this morning as well, very, very busy for these. Uh, so let's just take you through a whistle stop tour of everything we've got on the show today. So we have got these beautiful, beautiful stamp sets. It's an either or, two options. Personally, I'd have to have both. And you're getting a massive saving and your lovely uh, free gift with purchase is that beautiful dragonfly stamp. So these are the fandangles, the lollipops, the roses, the beautiful fandangles happy birthdays and last but not least 
our lovely fan dangle uh, feathers. Now, over 70% has gone. Yes, I know those lollipops are very, very popular as well. We do love them. Over 70% has gone. So whatever you do, please don't miss out. This is Jill's. I'm determined to hold everything upside down today. Can I just apologize to the entire design team there? Beautiful, the fan dangles there. So versatile. And, and, and again, gorgeous with the actual uh, fleurs as well that we've got coming up on the show. So this is option number one. So let's have a look at our second option, the fleurs. So this is fleurs one, two, three, and four, over half the stock. So it looks like the fan dangles are in the lead, but our fleurs, and this is what um, Kay's just using there, um, absolutely beautiful. You've got fleurs one, there's the lollipops there, and lovely sentiments there, as uh, the sun colors flowers, so does art color life. Beautiful, that was the one that kept reappearing, that lovely journal Kay was doing. You've got these lovely uh, ones here. You've got those lovely borders there as well. And uh, Fleurs 4, again, contains that beautiful flower there that uh, Kay is just colouring in. Beautiful. So, again, don't forget you can use these on your canvas, your um, art journals, your mixed media, not just your beautiful cards. That's what's so brilliant about both the stamps and the fantastic uh, paints that we have on the show today. Beautiful, I'm sure you agree. £34.96, massive saving. £13.271546, either or Fandangles or the Fleurs. Uh, proven very popular are the DL stamps because they've got those great sentiments down the side as well. Remember, these are deep, etched, thick, already mounted rubber made here in the UK in Redford by Indigo Blue, made by themselves there. So I think that's really important because they can really make sure there's that attention to detail and you really get that deep set stamp, which is why it's so good with other mediums such as your clays. So these are both equally beautiful. They sold out this afternoon and they're back on extended. So 3rd of September, not too long to wait, only two more days before these can be dispatched to you. It is worth the wait. You're only here for a short while, don't worry. Take your time, smell the flowers along the way, or thereabouts. So there we go, yeah. Two beautiful stamps, big saving there, £10 saving. You're getting both of those, I should say, six stamps in total for £21.98. 151069. Beautiful. Moving on to our massive dragonfly, because don't forget you're getting that lovely dragonfly as your gift with purchase, your bonus gift with purchase. We've got our dragonflies and we've got our sunflower here. And then we've also got those beautiful designs by Kay. They're also like, it's like looking at Victorian botanical book, isn't it? Look at the size of this dragonfly. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the burst of this sunflower. Truly, truly beautiful. But again, you have got the sentiments in that set as well. Art is opening your soul to let your imagination fly out. Beautiful. And then we move to the second set. Kay's designs there are these incredible flowers and beautiful. The thistle, the milk thistle, the valerian, really beautiful. £29.98 for the whole set there. 488713. Now dip your toes uh, and use the gorgeous stamps that Kay has created are already onto a lovely high quality 100% cotton panel. You get a lovely thick uh, canvas tote as well. You also get four of the fantastic acrylics, uh, translucent acrylics I should say, in the teal, the mulberry bush, the daffodil and the racing green and then you get three of those painting sheets as well. So you know, if you're thinking about smaller projects, taking each of these individually or adorning a beautiful bag or a gorgeous apron or, I don't know, mixed media, just it's fantastic to dip your toes into because you've got those amazing colours, as Kay said, that work so well together and you can see the intense pigments there. But because they're translucent, they're not going to wipe out that fantastic image of the stamps themselves. So whether it's a pencil case you're adorning or you're making a small journal book there, I mean, just look how fantastic these individual images can be when I mean, you put them onto a, uh, a lovely artwork like this. Gorgeous work in progress there from one of the fantastic designers. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic collection there. And a big saving again, £11 saving. What a lovely gift for somebody as well, I think. £34.50, 025021. Beautiful. And then our pick and mix, yes. And do look at these beautiful bags behind me. I mean, look at this. I mean, sequinage. That's all you need, that middle panel there, what we've just seen, sequinage there. Or give us a lovely French knot. You know why I feel like a French knot, Rowan Dean. Oh, I love a French knot, Kay. I love a French knot. I love a French knot. This is what the world's all about. Katrina from Rowan Dean. Oh, 
uh, got me back into Did embroidery really? again and I love it, absolutely love it. Yes. Isn't that fantastic? You see how these art forms can I don't know, cross pollinate, it's what it's all about. Well we've got to pick a mix of the panels now, I have to show you these beautiful bags, they're so gorgeous. Now a few of these are back on extended, so we have the butterfly on canvas, that's the artist on white, or back on extended, and uh, here's Jane down here um, on, on the white there as well. So they are back on extended the 15th of September. So if you're mixing one of those three, sorry, if you're mixing one of those three with uh, Elizabeth or Becca, that means it'll be dispatched together on the 15th. If you're going just for Elizabeth on white or Elizabeth on the cream, sort of upholstery cotton there, or indeed Becca on either or there, they can be obviously dispatched sooner. Uh, but uh, if it's including Jane or our butterfly or our artist's uh, palette there, um, that means 15th will be the dispatch. So just hold that up a bit for you. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Choose any two, yeah, for £13, 584436. Beautiful. Don't forget you're getting that lovely dragonfly stamp as your bonus gift with purchase because it's the holiday celebrations as well. Who doesn't love a dragonfly? And with it being indigo blue, it's going to be an absolute detailed corker of a stamp there as well, already mounted and in that deep etched red rubber. Let's look at those translucent paints. You do get a set of six if you want to buy those separately because they're proven very popular. There's the one with the racing green and the daffodil there, I think, and the mulberry there. 14.99, And then you've got that lovely chili. Oh, I love the chili there. And all oh, that lovely blue as well. Beautiful. Um, 257834, 14.99 for the pot of six, pots of six. And then we've got the set of four as well. Now, these are carrot gold, fresh cut grass, sargasso sea, rosetti red. I don't know why I speak like that, but anyway, £10. It's just the way it rolls off your tongue. 351801. Don't forget there's the lovely, um, beautiful sort of metallics on there as well, like your dragon's eye. Unicorn sparkles back on extended if you want that very fine embossing powder there. And uh, yes, if you want that beautiful, luscious magic sparkles, great set there. 1399 back on extended, which means dispatch will be the 11th. 536958. So let's go back to Kay. We've got about 10 minutes, if that's okay, Kay. No problem. I've been racing ahead, so I've got everything ready for you. So um, what I've done is I've used the same piece of paper and just stamped and embossed onto here. And, um, and then I've finished colouring those in. Um, you could actually add some magic sparkles to this as well. All you need to do, be careful, there's lots in, in this tub as well. Now, you, I don't know if you can see that, but... It, it's like diamonds. It's like a pot of diamonds. They are just Ooh. gorgeous. Oh, I say. Excellent shot. <gasps> Thank you very much. They're the luscious sparkles. Lovely. Oh, These are the magic sparkles. Oh, magic sparkles. Yes, <gasps> and they are part of the luscious oh. range. So, again, what you need to do is just dip your brush into water, dip it into here, and you can see you bring some out mm -hmm. onto your mat your paint mat or your palette, dip a little bit more water in and you can see the diamonds start to move and you just need to mix it in because we've got, um, with the, all the luscious, you've got all these fine particles and it's like mixing flour and water together. You need it to give it a chance for the, those molecules to burst and accept all the water. So what I'm looking for is a sort of single cream consistency so not too wet um, not too thick and then I can come over here and I can just add dots to these seed heads here and it just adds a beautiful sparkle over the top and I just want a really thin layer of sparkle on this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, I'm going to turn it round for you um, and give it a wiggle. Give the card a wiggle, not me. I'm not wiggling. <laughs> I'm not doing any wiggling today, thanks. There we go. 
Oh, wow. See that? It glistens, doesn't it? It does. It really glistens. Now, you can mix it in with the paint before you paint it on as oh, well. Okay. So that's an easy way of doing it. Or if you just like me, you change your mind and think, actually, a bit of sparkle would do us good, then you can actually go with it afterwards. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Okay, so that's one card done. Okay, so that's one watercolour um, technique. Here's the same sort of technique, okay, but I'm just going to use some luscious this time. So what I've done is I've stamped and cut out some of these lovely flowers, and as, as I say, they're so easy to cut out. And I'm going to use um, a bit of gold, I think. And I'm just going to, and this has been embossed as well, so this is my easy peasy colouring in technique. Okay, just, um, it's not cheating, it's just doing it the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> so it means that I can splash it over everything and it just pulls away from, from the lines because we've covered them in embossing powder, which is basically a plastic. So it's just pulling away from that and also it protects the lines as well because the pigment would cover the lines up normally and then um, I have been using um, the raspberry but I think with this one I might go for a different color so let's go for um, this pink here seeing as it's all ready to go so I'm just going to put a little bit round here first okay and then obviously I would be a lot neater normally and then because my paintbrush is wet I'm just going to mix it in with that gold and then you get this lovely Cinderella goldy pinky colour coming through which I think is, is just gorgeous so I can move it around that's lovely, isn't it? That it's works beautiful. really, really well, actually. And then I'm going to come back with that raspberry just so that it, it matches the other flowers. And I'm just going to touch up those little dots here. In fact, I've missed a few bits in there, so I'm just going to go over those as well. As I say, normally I would have a little bit more time, but I have prepped um, the next one as well, so... Hopefully, I'll get the three in as well. There we go. Just going to mix that in. Oh, see, that's nice. Doesn't matter that you smudge it with your finger and everything. Right. <laughs> so, um, what I thought we'd do is have a little bit of some scraps going on here, and then um, get some foam pads, and let's have. Um, Let's have one. I know this is wet, and normally I would just shape it a little bit. Okay, and I think we might have. No, we won't. We'll have this one because that's still wet. So I think we'll go with. Oh, come on, okay. Get a grip. This is the trouble when you rush, isn't it? It's sort of like. There we go. Right. So just a couple of these layered up and a little one just peeping out from there would be nice and then I think we'll have you know a little one up here and maybe seeing as I haven't done the other little one we'll do this other big one well, there we go there we are. Okay. So again, you can have a sentiment or you can just leave that. I quite like the fact that I ripped out the music and it, it actually said flow gently. So, um, <laughs> so, oh, that was clever. I just took the whole thing off. That was, that was neat, okay. But that's going to hold it on. So that's going to go on to there. Okie doke. So that's your other one with the watercolour on the inside there. And then with this one, what I wanted to do was 
This will take a little bit longer, but we'll have to just manage. Is to stick my sticky notes over here and then we just stamp. Now with this one, I'm going to use the lollipops. Oh, the lollipops out of the Fleurs. Yes, first. that's Fleurs one. Fleurs one, yeah. Yeah. And I love this because I've done it in such a way that if you do a long line of it, they all butt up beautifully together. So um, let's go with that blue. Um, I think the lollipops are my favourite. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, they are. I, I love all the... Um, I've done quite a few different sorts of lollipop and they all seem to work really nicely together. So you can um, interspace them with some of the other lollipops. Now, make sure that you get... this corner covered up because I don't want it to go past this corner okay so I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to cover this up how long have we got one and a half minutes one minute nothing like speed see. crafting is there? yeah speed no crafting that's Those okay nine so do watch the repeat if you, if so you, you do that. this all the way around let me just do this corner for you and then yeah. you can see how I did the corner so you can see how I'm oh. actually protecting that edge okay and you can imagine how I do the other two corners so you get it going all the way around uh -huh. and then you can actually color them in with your luscious but I'll just do a little because I've got 30 seconds left which is loads of time um, when are you with us again Kay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're back with us again? Oh, when am I back? Sorry, yeah. I didn't hear you properly. No, that's okay. um, I am coming back um, in a couple of weeks, about 10 days, on the 17th. Lovely. Um, and so, not that it's completely finished, but what have I got? 20 seconds left? Oh, let's see, I've got 30 seconds left. That's loads of time. There you go. We so, can see where it was going. You can see where it was going. Fantastic. <laughs> she did it. Kay, okay, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you on the 17th. Kay was with us at thank 9 o'clock this morning as well, so please watch that rewind. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate it. And please, please do check out those baskets. I wouldn't want you to miss out on the fabulous savings and that gorgeous dragonfly gift with, uh, purchase. So let's see what else is still coming up. I will look forward to seeing Kay on the 17th. <laughs> Yes, we've got La Blanche's birthday blast one day special launch. And then we'll be back with a lovely Wendy for the card, uh, cardio brin the confetti. And then I'll be joining you for La Blanche's birthday blast to follow. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavouring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Well, indeed, it's Achanda's fifth birthday, and have we got some seven-day savers for you. This is just one of them, though I've got a few seconds uh, to tell you why we're here. We are talking about organza fabric, 29 centimetres by 25 metres. Now, you can take a pick and mix of any two of the colours that I've got in front of me. We've got things like the red, the deep Christmas red. You've got the emerald green. We've got the gold in there. You've got the rose gold as well. You've got the white and the silver as well. You're saving £7 on these, the price, £17.99 for any two of 25 metres in length. 426152 is your item number and any purchase during the live hour, you will also receive a free gift as well. Terms and conditions are all on the website. 
don't miss out on another cracking little birthday present. Now, which one shall I have? Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello and welcome. We are very, very excited. We have got the brand new launch of a wonderful Le Blanche One Day Special. And as if by telemagic, we have got Blanche herself. We're going to be chatting. Hi, Blanche. Hi, Blanche. Yay, we can hear you. Oh, Blanche. How are you? Hi, we are so well. Blanche, your set looks amazing. That looks so Thank good. Thank you very much. That looks beautiful. And I can't believe it. You have got, obviously, you've got an amazing set there. And they've sent over all the wonderful set that we've got. Honestly, Blanche, I'd love you to come and just let sort out my life, quite frankly. You are amazing. You've got such organisation. You These, the, the products are beautiful. Um, this is a whole brand new range, isn't it, Blanche? Yes, yes. This is our latest Christmas collection. And we have everything here. We have the shrink sleeves, the ceramic stickers, the paper kit. But I've heard you had birthday yesterday. It's yes. right. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. I have Hearts and kisses. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's my birthday and Hachanda's birthday. But my birthday most. Um, no. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Blanche. That's so sweet of you. Um, obviously, it is Hachanda's birthday as well. And 
when you are buying from Blanche, we've got a freebie as well, haven't we, Blanche? Um, and I know you are gripping the freebie. I've got one too. Yes. This is lovely, Blanche. Yes, it's a wonderful book with all the uh, samples inside. You see wonderful pictures from the shrink sleeves, from the paper kit, uh, from the ceramic stickers, from decoupage. Everything is here inside. Really a wonderful idea book for everyone. I love these, Blanche, because your work is fantastic. You know, when you come over, you're so inspirational. So to have this, everybody who's purchasing should gift with purchase. So if you're getting anything from the show today, that is going to be sent to you. Um, obviously, uh, one per person, and it is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Right, we better tell you, it's already been busy now first of all and i love this can you see all these the beautiful baubles that the tree's been decorated with these are the brand new shrink foils this is your one day special so whether you're decorating your tree whether you're decorating beautiful jars and um, whether you're you're upcycling this is definitely the way to do it they're absolutely stunning um, i'm going to show you what we've um, got and then obviously we're going to go back to blanche to tell us all about them and she will of course be demonstrating as well so what you're going to get you're getting your big and the small the designs are beautiful absolutely beautiful so you're getting on here two of each of these designs aren't they wonderful i love it because you've got that gorgeous sort of frosty icy color palette and you've got the wonderful victorian um uh, children and of course proper santa proper santa so they're the big shrink foils let me show you the small shrink foils look at all of these you have got so many in this collection aren't they beautiful i love the one at the top with the um with the the polar bears i think they're gorgeous and then santa zooming by um when you think about these going round baubles when you think about them going round jars i mean maybe you're going to use these for decorating for gifts maybe you're going to make things this year you know maybe it's going to be jams maybe it's going to be um oh i don't know maybe a, a little jar of slow gin um you know what i know <laughs> I, I, because i've made some of them and they're still there somewhere um but but this is just the perfect gift wrap absolutely stunning and easy to do the designs are stunning only look at that price 19.99 i am going to tell you about a big bundle in a second uh, whereby that is carried forward that saving of 16 pounds blanche these are fantastic the designs are beautiful absolutely beautiful and i love what you can do i love that blanche they look amazing mm -hmm. Yes, and here you see the larger uh, shrink sleeves on jars, and normally you throw these jars away, and here it's perfectly upcycling. And look how beautiful it is if you do some LED lights inside, or, and you get 12 of the larger shrink sleeves in the kit too. Not only 54 shrink sleeves for the Christmas balls, yeah. 12 of the larger on top. That's amazing. And a £16 saving as well. That is absolutely phenomenal. And like, yeah, like Blanche says, I mean, what I love about these, you're upcycling. So think about all your jam jars. Think about, well, how many jars do you get through? It's not just the jar, but it's also the actual lid. Doesn't that look professional? Absolutely sensational. Now, that is your one day special, 19.99. It is such incredible value for money. Already, 20% <clears throat> of the stock has gone. Um, it is amazing. Now, the dispatch is going to be the 11th of September, so you haven't got too long to wait. Um, thankfully, the lovely thing about these, these don't have to stay in quarantine. It's okay. You can get decorating soon as you get them. And these are beautiful for your Christmas. Now, 226031. As I said, we are going to tell you about the big bundle, the details. You'll find the details in a few seconds, but that's where you're going to get your biggest saving. Now, next, the ceramic stickers. These are gorgeous. Now, you are getting, I'll show you, but I'm going to show you on the board. But just to show you, you're actually getting six sheets here. Let me show you the actual details. These are gorgeous. What I love about this whole collection, everything matches so if you get in the big bundle you know that whatever you decorate it's going to match i love these 
that wonderful vintage look, the, the Santa again, the proper Father Christmas, the different sizes in these. Now, I mean, these are so easy to use. Um, Blanche, I love these because, again, you can use them for all sorts, can't we? Yes, they are reusable. They are, um, they sticks on wax. That's not normal. They sticks on wax. You can decorate your candles with these. Look, these wonderful candles here in the wreath. And they are reusable. They are washable. They are heat resistant. And it's a perfect decoration, a perfect decoration for Christmas time. Then you put it back on the foil and you can, next year, you can put it again on the, onto the candles or onto your vases uh, to decorate new. That's fabulous. I love that because, yeah, like you say, that something like this, for instance, the candle, I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas all year round or something like this. These are beautiful. Blanche, they send these in from Germany. Isn't that just sensational? But that, I mean, you wouldn't want to just put that away and only bring it out at Christmas. So, yeah, like Blanche says, you actually just take that off, pop it back on the actual packaging, and then next year you can redecorate. I love that idea. That is phenomenal. These are beautiful. Almost 20% of the gone. It is flying. Only 12 99 Such a bargain. 943003. Now the paper crafting kit. This is stunning. It's so nice. I will just show you this. Now, you're actually getting three sheets of each of your 12 by 12 papers. They're all double-sided, so I'm going to show you both sides. That's already sorted. Um, five different designs. I mean, again, the colour palette's lovely. I love along the bottom, they look like teeny little stamps. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to show you both sides of the paper. Uh, look at that, the gorgeous owl. Isn't that stunning? absolutely stunning i love the panels because you might be using these for the frames that we have got on the show you might be using them for your card making of course maybe you're going to be making a really beautiful uh, scrapbook with these i mean it's just isn't it just so so pretty and i love it because it, it feels obviously now looking at these it's like yep yeah, i'm ready for for making some gorgeous christmas projects and again you've got the victory Victorian elements in there as well but then those beautiful frosty scenes absolutely stunning look at that now oh isn't that just beautiful now you don't just get your papers I love that one that is stunning look at that isn't that fabulous so you're getting your papers but then and I'm going to show you the board in a minute but look at these these are so cool. I'm going to get you the board, but they're absolutely jam-packed. Have a look at these because the die cuts are phenomenal. Honestly, this is one of the best kits I've ever seen. And the die cuts, these are so such good quality. Look how much you get it, not just them. Look at these. Look at these. So you get laser cut, they're laser cut. Look at the die cut. You get frames you have got i mean the the fantastic curtains i've never seen anything like this that is so beautiful look let me show you this one look at that how fabulous is that aren't they amazing they're so different they're so different uh, blanche this paper crafting kit is absolutely sensational these yes. die cuts are amazing yes this is and you see, uh, we offer over Chanda the shadow boxes too. You see, you can make wonderful things with these. You have the frames matching to the shadow boxes, put a little bit of an LED light inside, and then you can do such things like here. Look, the small laser cuts inside, outside of the frame. We, you have the frames, you have the curtains, different curtains. You can cut the curtains like here, and it looks so nice. Yeah. It's, it's different. It's really a different Christmas kit. That is so different. I, I, I genuinely haven't seen anything like that. I absolutely love them. We have got the shadow boxes. We'll be talking about those in just a few moments' time, but... I need to tell, well, first of all, wrap this up, Leone. Come on, be professional. Uh, 354972. Now, that is your paper crafting kit. That is lovely. Saving £10. £21.99. That is it. For all those wonderful toppers, for the laser cuts, for those beautiful 12 by 12 papers. That is such good value for money. Okay.
So you have got your one day special. Remember, you've got your saving with one day special. You've then got those beautiful ceramic stickers. You've got your saving there. You've then got that paper crafting kit. You've seen a massive saving on that one. All of these kits are going to be put together. All those savings are carried forward. So that's already a huge saving. But if you're getting the big bundle, we add to that saving. Look at this. You add an extra £8.7. That means... Um, all together, your saving is actually, bear with, we're doing the math. Um, right, we're, we're just totaling that up because it's going to be like, oh, it's going to be about 30, 37 pounds altogether that you're saving. Okay, but Freedom members, look at that, it's even better. So Freedom members, you're only paying 44 pounds and, and 7 pence. You're actually saving 41 pounds. It's almost half price, Freedom members. To join Freedom, it's only 5 pounds and 97 pence. It has dropped to join Freedom as well. Remember, that is for a month. You're not paying postage. Freedom members, you're not even paying postage. And two flexes, £22 today to get this delivered to your door and 4p. Obviously, £22 and 4 pence next month to get this whole bundle delivered to your door. And isn't it beautiful? Imagine what you're going to be able to decorate, upcycle. All your beautiful Christmas um, embellishments are going to match. Everything's going to match. Oh, I love this. Um, okay, 678 462 is your item number. Isn't that gorgeous? That came all the way from Germany. <laughs> Every time it's like, that's amazing. Okay, we've got a lot more for you. Uh, you've got a flexi basket. It means your other bits can go into your flexi basket. When you're checking out your basket, it's also going to say, hey, do you want one of these? You've got snow paste and the galaxy flakes. When you check out your basket, I would highly, highly recommend putting those in your basket because they are gorgeous and um, from pentor exceptional quality that's what you get for checking out your baskets obviously you can add it to right decoupage papers you know leblanc do amazing decoupage papers um, and remember the way that you can apply these is actually with water look at these papers these are stunning. You're getting four different designs. You're getting three of each. You get your different sizes. So they're going to go on your big boxes. They're going to go again on your smaller boxes for upcycling. I love, let me show you this, the way these have been designed to go around the circle boxes, which we've got on the show, they're going to just look beautiful. Think about packaging. Think about how these are going to look under the tree. You know, how everything's going to mix and match. Already 30% of the stock has gone. 16 99 We don't limit it to one per person. If you do want to multiply these, please put these in your basket while you've got the stock. Obviously, um, think about your flexi. If you've already got the big bundle, you can put these in your flexi. These are stunning. Blanche, again, these are fabulous. And there's so much you can do with the decoupage papers, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it's true, Leonie. But I want to show the Galaxy Flakes with the snow paste. Look oh, thank here. You. In this frame, we have the Galaxy Flakes with the snow paste on on the corners and with the light. It looks so nice. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that looks beautiful. That is such a good product because you can use that on so many different surfaces as well. That's absolutely stunning. Remember, the Galaxy Flakes and the Snow Paste, that's when you're checking your basket out. So it'll say, hey, fancy these? And it's like, yes, please, they are lovely. And the Snow Paste is fab. You know, it gives you real texture. You can stencil it, you can do all sorts, but it looks really fabulous. Remember, with your decoupage papers, that's one on the, the glass of the decoupage papers. These are flying. Half the stock has gone, they're not going to last. I'm not surprised about that, Blanche. These are not going to last. They're absolutely flying out the door. Your decoupage papers are beautiful as ever. Yes. And now we have the, uh, the matching boxes, the boxes with the, with the gold corner. I think it's, it's, it looks so expensive. It looks so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they do. They look absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to show those. Um, if you want the decoupage papers, 593679. Right, the boxes that Blanche were talking about, these will fly. You need these in your life. Okay, now you've got the round ones look how good they look what i love about these the quality is amazing they feel really good and i love the fact they're already painted they're already white but look you've got the gold on there how good does that look before you even do anything so when they're decorated look how beautiful that looks 
Isn't that posh? Look at that with the decoupage paper. And that, that is that big piece of decoupage paper. Let me show you. Look, that big piece of decoupage paper, but you're just using little bits of it. That's proper, pro I'm going to say proper nice. I love those, proper nice. Now, you've got the round boxes, different sizes. Sorry, let me just, I'm just getting my decoupage paper. Sorry, <laughs> doing funny movements. Um, so you've got the circle boxes. You need these, a third, a tenner. I'd definitely be multi-buying. Um, 272809. You've then got square. I mean, how gorgeous do these look? Whether you're using these, let me just show you the square, whether you're using these for, for gift wrap, whether, of course, I mean, look how pretty that looks. That's where the decoupage papers. Doesn't that look professional? And I love it. You don't need to put anything on that. That looks really good. These are not going to last. I'm not surprised. I proper want them. They're lovely. Like, all year round. I've, I've, Anyway, uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nearly half of the stock has gone. They are not going to last. Uh, zero six nine seven seven zero. Now, um, our favourite time of the day. Um, it is our lovely Blanche, and she's going to demonstrate. It looks like Blanche is cooking. What are you doing, our Blanche? Yes, it's like magic. <laughs> I show you how it works with the shrink sleeves. Look, this is a uh, Christmas bubble with eight centimeter diameter. And these are our shrink sleeves. Our shrink sleeves are perforated in the right side. Oh, look here, you see these. Beautiful. And these are perforated in the right side. Okay, now it's better to, well, not like this one. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, yeah, we, 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 we try to do our best here. Okay. You're doing brilliant. Now, <laughs> okay, now we perforate it like this. And we put it through our Christmas balls. Amazing. And now you need a tong. Hold okay. the ball with a tong and you need a pot with boiling water. Okay. Nothing else. And now it looks, it's really like magic. We put the ball into the water and now we dry these. Amazing. And look here. That's fabulous. And that's just a plastic uh, bubble, isn't it? Yeah, this is a glass bubble, but you can use a plastic bubble if you like too. Excellent. And you have a really, really perfect glossy surface, wonderful design, wonderful shining piece, and it's so beautiful, or not? Yeah, that, and it's so quick, isn't it? I mean, that is absolutely yes, amazing. Yes, it's really quick, and you get 54, 54 shrink sleeves for the Christmas bubbles. And this was the 8 centimeter diameter, and now we use the smaller one, the 6 centimeter diameter, and this is the smaller one. Wonderful. I put it over the bob, take it, hold it with my tongue, uh -huh. and then I go to the pot with boiling water. And then that's it. And I dip it inside. Look at that. And look. Yes. It is like magic. It, yes, it's really like magic. And you see, the whole Christmas bubble is covered. Not only a, a sleeve, yeah. it's really the whole Christmas bubble. That is and so And you see, no, no wrinkle, wonderful glossy surface. That is perfect. It's absolutely perfect, Blanche, every single time. So you can go around glass, you can go around plastic. Obviously, you know, you can um, you can snip them if you want, but they've got the different sizes, so they're going to fit. Look at how many designs you're getting. I mean, this is such an incredible one-day special. I know, though, people are going for the big collection. Remember, you're getting all the sleeves in the big collection. Um, obviously, your saving is huge. You know, you're already saving um, £10. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm a high, I'm thingy and juggling at uh, 10 pounds and 90 pence saving and the designs are just beautiful i love that you can go on the baubles but remember you've got the big shrink sleeves as well let me just pop these down because the big shrink sleeves are just beautiful and this for upcycling jars 
you know, and it can be, um, think about what jars you've got at home. Think about, you know, if it's, if it's something that normally you'd be popping in bin, might not be jars, it might be cans as well. I mean, you can even upcycle cans with these and they just look so beautiful, so professional. Um, Blanche is ready for another demonstration as well. Um, what else are you yes, going to show I us, Blanche? Now I have the smaller one, the smaller here. And you see, put the small shrink sleeve over the smaller one and you will see it will cover it totally and the the um, ornament is perfectly on top of the ball. Now I go to the and put it inside and now I will show you how perfect the 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 design wow. is on this Christmas bubble. I show it on both sides. I show you it's on the top. You see, it yeah. looks really, really perfect. Yeah, that is beautiful. That looks okay. so and good. I turn these. It's wonderful. And I turn this. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. It looks I, like you bought it in a very expensive store. Yeah. Huh? It looks so professional. You get, yes. You get 14, 14 for the smaller one. You get 20 for this one, for the six centi di centimeter diameter. Yeah. And you get 20 for the eight centimeter diameter. Amazing. And now I show you how it works with the larger one. Oh, please. Because then we've got the, the big ones for jars and things, haven't we? Yes. And this is one of the larger ones. And you see, it's a normal jar I have here. Wonderful. You put this over the jar. Perfect. Pay attention that you have one centimeter more of the shrink sleeve on the bottom. Okay. Hold the shrink sleeve and the glass jar with your hands. Okay. And then dip it into the hot water Super. as deep as you can. Then yep. take a cloth, dry this bottom. Wonderful. Hold this with your hand. Yeah. And dip it again with the top first. Ah, okay. Okay. Now you see we have a lot of leftovers here. Ah, yeah. I dry these. Now I take a craft knife. Okay. I cut, I cut the top. And I dip it again into the hot water. You see, that's not perfectly here on yeah. the edge. I dip it again, and now you see it shrinks really perfect around the edges. Wow, that is perfect. So that means, like, if you've got the the lid, it'll fit. The lid will fit back on it, won't it? Yes, yes, sure. That's perfect. Look at that. That's amazing. And it just—I mean, it just looks so professional, doesn't it? Yes, it really looks professional and normally you throw these jars away and now you upcycle these jars and make wonderful lanterns if you like or a wonderful gift wrapping if you like. Yeah. I can, I, um, I want to show you how it looks when the LED lights is inside. Let me show you here. We, we, yes, we turn off the lights. Hooray. Now. Ah. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? That is absolutely gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yeah, they this look is a so pretty. It, 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 you can make it home and you can make it in, in seconds. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. I mean, it's such a nice present as well, isn't it? You know, because you can do them so quick, but it makes such a beautiful gift. So let me remind you, you've got the smaller baubles. Look how pretty they are. And again, that looks so professional. So you've got your different size of baubles, of course. So you've got your four centimeters. You've then got the six centimeters. And then you've got the eight centimeters. And look at that. How professional. And then, of course, you've got the larger for the bottles as well, which do look absolutely stunning. And, of course, you can cut them down. You know, you have got choices with these. Just $19.99. Such a good price, of course. Um, if you're getting the big bundle, they're in the big bundle, that's your better price. The decoupage papers, have they gone? Okay, 
technically sold out already for sellout. Whoa, we're not even half past. <laughs> technically sold out. That is our first sellout. If there is something you want, please, please, please check your baskets out. Um, I would hate you to miss out. Thank you, Ben. What? Oh, oh no, the square boxes. That's our second sellout already. The square boxes have gone. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, but yes, gone. The round boxes, yeah, of course, the limited stock. Of course they are. Please check your baskets out. Do not hesitate. Check your baskets out. If you can order multiple, I would definitely do that. Oh, I'm good. They're so lovely. You need to check your baskets out. Otherwise, you'll miss out. If any bounce back, I'm going to let you know. But yeah, limited stock on the circles. Uh, 272809. Okay. Hey, Blanche, it's a very busy day. Um, what else? Yes, you it is. Oh, I'm I not want to surprised. Show you one I'm not more, surprised. And we have a wonderful decoration. I want to show you one more from the wonderful shrink sleeves. Beautiful. I show you, and then I will decorate these. I dip it into the water, it needs only seconds, now Amazing. I will dry this, and now I will show you. We have this wonderful jewelry, oh, these beautiful. hangers, we offer Biochanda too, look, <gasps> is it nice? Oh, these huh? are lovely, yes. Wow. They oh, are really like nice, these and we have the half rolls here, and you can... Uh, adhere, adhere them at the bottom of these. I, I do this now with my hot glue. Amazing. It, yes. And look what happened with a normal, with a really, really normal Christmas ball. Oh, Is that it nice? So good. Or, yeah, I like them. It, yes, these are glass, really faceted glass. They're really they nice. Iridescent. These, Isn't it beautiful? These are posh, Blanche. These are very posh. Yes. Look at that. They're, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love this because this is proper. This is beautiful. So you're getting, and again, that's such a good price. You're actually getting 20 pieces there, 17.99. You don't just get the glass ball, um, the, the glass dropper there. You've also got, I mean, this is ready to go because look, it's got the, the little encase in there. And you've then got the beautiful little extra diamond and you've got the, the beautiful charm hanging there. That is sensational. I mean, I even like the packaging. Let me talk, show you the packaging. How fabulous is that? Um, okay, only $17.99. That is 096. Uh, no, it isn't. 094-676. That's your item number. You need to check your baskets out. Have a look at the website. We've got loads of goodies on the website. It's so busy. Please do not miss out on any of these. Obviously, if there's something you fancy, check those baskets out because it is very, very busy. Uh, the round boxes have also gone. I am so sorry, uh, but the round boxes have gone as well. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, you know, when you look at essentials, essential. Um, please, you know what to do. Now, I've got more goodies to talk to you about. So, the shadow boxes. Now, this is something that I think for, for me, um, when you see LeBlanche's beautiful displays, when you see all the gorgeous, like, finished samples, I mean, these are just, they're really different. Like, look at that. Aren't they phenomenal? And um, when Blanche was showing us the ones with the lights in, they are just magical. I mean, can you imagine those with lights in at Christmas? Absolutely magical. Now, these are the kind of things that we want. We want to be able to decorate. Remember, your gift with purchase, it's going to have ideas and inspiration in there. Um, let me show you what you're going to get. So in this kit, you're going to get two. This is another one I've been multiplying. I've definitely been multiplying. You're going to get the shadow boxes. Now, look, you know the frames from the paper crafting kit? Look. They fit round perfectly. Oh, doesn't that look posh? I mean, yeah, like it's like it's been planned, like it's been designed. I mean, look at these. I really like these. Honestly, when I watch Blanche decorate, it's like, oh my gosh, she's so clever. But look at that. 
doesn't that look good straight away so you're going to get two of those you're then going to get and these we all love these we see blind shoes them all the time they are brilliant because obviously you can use those um, for the bottom because they look like the wheels now the frames you're actually going to get two packs of the frames 12 of the mini frames these actually look like they've already got crackle glaze on these are beautiful these are so so beautiful i've used these on a lot of projects they're stunning and they just look again they just look phenomenal on your projects really pretty i tell you what you could make some lovely christmas decorations just with these you know we members at family and then hang them on the tree do you know it, they're just so pretty are these honestly i mean Again, if you're making to sell, they're just stunning. Um, Blanche, I love this kit. And 11 .99. I don't know how you do your prices, Blanche. This is a phenomenal kit for 11 .99. Yes. And you always need shadow boxes. And here, look, you can decorate the crackled frames on the lid of your jars. That looks it is beautiful. so nice. Yeah. Yes. You have the, the images for inside you can use from the paper crafting kit. And here on, at, on top of the lid, it's so nice to decorate these jars with these. Or That's stunning. I love those crackle frames. They just look so professional. And like you can add wax to them. You can add paint to them if you want to colour tint them. I mean, that looks beautiful. Half of the stock has gone to this already. And obviously those you don't have to use for Christmas, but honestly, I'd multiply this. 11 99 I know I keep saying it, but especially with them shadow boxes, they are amazing. Um, 482-392 is your item number only 11 pounds and 99 pence that's your price obviously if you do want anything head chanda.com or you can ring us 01733 602000 um now then blanche what else are you showing us oh that looks pretty <laughs> yes now i i uh, set up my, our paper crafting kit here and i want to show you how you can work with the paper crafting with the shadow boxes perfect Perfect. I love these that they've been designed to go together. It's wonderful. Now you see, this is one of the shadow boxes and I put a, a small piece of uh, paper inside. These are the shadow boxes. I painted with one, uh, with one layer of gesso uh, for the white Perfect. and I put a LED light inside. You see here, I can, I, Ah, yes. Ah. <gasps> oh, wow. That <laughs> LED. Gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. And now you, you can um, decide what you can do. We have these wonderful curtains. You can put this curtain on top. Or we have these frames in the kit. It's nice, too. I like this very much. Oh, that's we have fast. these kind of curtain in the kit. Uh, you can really decide what you can want, what you want, what you can do with these. Yeah. With these shadow boxes are perfect for this kit. Okay, I decide to work with this frame. I like this frame most. And I stick this frame with a 3D foam pad. And okay. this is the first thing I do. Superb. Right. These look magical. They just look yes. so good. And like with the frames, I mean, you've got so many frames in this kit. You can even make your own, you know, your own shadow cards and all sorts with the frames. Okay, now we have the frame and now we have a lot. We have a lot of centerpieces on, on the tags. You see here, we have all these centerpieces. You wow. can use for inside if you like. You oh, can beautiful. use, look, it's nice too. We make the second shadow box we do with these cloth. I put it on the side. Now I do one of our crackle frame from oh, the shadow beautiful. boxes I put on top. It's nice too. <laughs> I like this. That's I like gorgeous. working with this kit. It's so much fun. Okay, and now we try to do, okay, what's, yes, this is nice, oh. Oh, that's lovely. Leonie? Yes, I love him. <laughs> yes. And inside, yes, the two girls, I think the two girls inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, so lovely. This. Okay. I like to emboss these a little bit. I take a soft, so, soft surface here. I take the back side of my scissor. Okay. And I... Yes, I go a little bit 
like this. Beautiful. And it's it's more dimension. It's nice to do this. And I take okay. I need small spools, same as here. Ah uh, yes. Some have to go for me. I need small <laughs> spools. Ah, <laughs> Leone. <laughs> uh, is he running? <laughs> he's running. He's running, and he, he brings me small spools. Hooray! Well done, okay. Sam. Yay. <laughs> Team, is Sam um, Blanche? Is Sam in charge of the cameras today? Yes, he's behind, and he looks, and he's, he's my my what's 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 the name? It's my butler, my butler. <laughs> he has to work for me today. Uh, he brings to bring me everything I need. He's okay. doing a very good job. <laughs> yes, he does a good job. Always, he does a good job. Hey, okay, I. Take it like this, That's and beautiful. here the same. I emboss this a little bit. The um, these are just such good quality, Blanche. They feel different. They feel quite uh, sturdy, don't they? Yes, they are. It's a very strong paper, and mm. it's a little bit pleasant paper. Yeah, it, it looks pleasant. It's 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 really nice, and I like the print on top. It's not. Uh, the, the the colors are vintage. Yeah. It's really nice colors. Yeah. Okay. And now we have we have some more. We have. Oh, what should I do now? I have now uh, today a little bit like you. And I'm I'm wondering <laughs> what I do here. Like uh, yes, we have these these on the text. We have all the notes and something oh, like these. Lovely. Uh, I cut yes. I cut these and then I roll these and. Put it here on the side of the frame. It's a nice tool, like this one. I love those. Okay. Now I take two, uh, uh, larger spools, like here, to set them like this one. Yeah. Okay. And these later I will show you. First, we use a little bit the snow paste and the galaxy flakes. Oh, and yes. Yes, the two. Yeah, we, we need a little bit of snow here inside, oh, or not? You do. Yes, that that snow paste is lovely. The texture is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. I yes. love it. I, um, I like to work with my fingers. You can work with the spell, <laughs> but I like to work with my fingers. <laughs> See, and you are a, a messy crafter, like... Blanche. Yes. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And here on top of the frame here, like this one, I... It's, it's really good. Yes. Uh, and now I go inside, a little bit inside here. Ah, oh, perfect. And like this, I hope you can see this. We yes. Can. We can. And now I put a little bit of the flakes. Oh, yeah, these are cool. Yes, and I do like this here. They stick in the... Look, look here. Oh, they stick yeah. really perfect. Yeah. Here and the... the the on the snow paste. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's 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 glittering perfectly here. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's I think it's it's, it's it's enough for the first shadow box, or? Oh? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yes. Yeah, I love I, that. Now I will show you the first shadow box. I will turn these and I show you the shadow box in front. Oh. It's really nice. That is oh? gorgeous. I think some some. Paper flowers here. We can put some paper flowers. Or I have something like this here. Oh yes, these <laughs> two we put on top. Wait. Amazing. This is from a from a mold. I have a mold from a mold. It looks nice. Oh, perfect. Like it's it's it's, it's an, an an old Prima mold, I think so. Amazing. And it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That's gorgeous, Blanche. And obviously yes. fabulous camera work as well. <laughs> I put it to the side, and then, if you like, I do one greeting card. Oh yeah, that'd be marvelous. Um, yes. I just, I just need to tell everybody, Blanche, eighty percent of the stock has gone with the shadow boxes. So if you want the shadow boxes, you have got the boxes, you've got the spools, you've got the beautiful frames as well. Um, the flying eighty percent of the stock has gone. I mean, it's eleven ninety nine. 
The prices are sensational. Uh, pop those in your flexi basket. Of course, if you are shopping, and I know a lot of people are watching um, worldwide, if you are shopping from the States or from Europe, you can still join a Chand of Freedom, and it means you're not going to pay any postage. It's a really great way of shopping with the Chanda. Um, right, that's enough from me. Back to you, Blanche, a, a gorgeous card. Yes, here's one card. I put a gold card behind these. I cut it out. I've got a, And this is one, uh, one of the centerpieces from the tags. Okay? I start with my 3D foam and put it in the middle of the greeting card. Beautiful. Okay, like these. And we have a lot of small, wonderful laser cut things like this one. It's, it's really nice to oh, do this fun. like here. But I cut off like this and put it here. One small foam pad on this side. And now I take... Ah, where's the... Santa, I, I'm searching for the Santa. We have so many Santas here inside. We have this one, <laughs> but he is too large. Where are I'm, you, Santa? I, just, I was searching a smaller Santa here. Okay, I don't... Oh, yeah, this one is it's nice. Oh, He's smaller. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we emboss these. That's lovely. I um, love the yeah. um, ice skates. They are so vintage. They're fabulous. Yes, and we fix the, them on this side, and we can take one roll more, and yes, I think I do it. Oh, oh. lovely. Yeah. You like this? I love that. That's beautiful. A smaller one. A smaller one is better. Or oh, perfect. A smaller one. We have smaller ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now what shall we do now? We have so many things here inside. A smaller ones. I, I open a new one, wait. Sorry, you, where is the new one? You did yes. like me, yes. Blanche. Yes, this one. is lovely. <laughs> I, want to sh I, I want to show you. Yeah, there's so many things inside. And I'm searching the small birds. We have birds here. Look here. Look at so them. Ah, oh, uh, this, oh, this one. You get What's so the, many. Uh, These are just gorgeous. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take this one. I take this one. I find Can I not yes, so many, too, too many things here. <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Okay, 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 okay. Too many. Okay, <laughs> this. You see the bird? Oh, they're so beautiful. nice here. Yeah, that's perfect. This, stick this on the on the side, and I think that's enough. Now we put a little bit snow paste on top of here too. Amazing. Yeah, like here. This one, yeah. And you only need a little bit. It just looks, it's just the perfect finishing touch, isn't it? Yes, yes. I like these. Normally I do it a little bit with gesso, dry brushing with gesso, but I like these uh, snow paste more. Yeah. It gives, just gives it that gorgeous texture, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Here. Here, you see. Perfect. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Now I turn these and show you directly. Hooray! You've got the camera work absolutely nailed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's beautiful, Blanche. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's wonderful. You're welcome. Hey! Um, that paper crafting kit is sensational. I didn't show you. When I was showing you paper crafting kit, I'm going to show you these as well because Blanche has been using them. These are double-sided. You're getting three of each one. I'm going to show you both sides. These are lovely. I mean, again, the vintage images. I mean, look at her, the little girl creating the snowman. Aren't they beautiful? Proper vintage cards. Then you can see the beautiful scenes there. And you'll see in a second look. That's what Blanche has been using to create, you know, those gorgeous, um, the gorgeous rolls. Aren't they fabulous? Remember in the paper crafting kit, that's what Blanche was using. You're getting your 12 by 12s, you're getting all those wonderful um, die cuts. You're also getting, of course, the frames, the curtains on all these toppers. I'm not even showing you everyone just because of time, but aren't they? I love them. For $21.99, that paper crafting kit is absolutely phenomenal, saving 10 pounds there 354972 obviously it's in your big bundle you're still saving that 10 pounds is carried forward and the price is even better um shadow boxes they've gone
That's our third sellout in fourth sellout in uh, 46 minutes. Four sellouts already. I am not surprised. Everything is beautiful. Everything goes perfectly together. It just makes such a, a wonderful finish uh, to your, well, for any Christmas decorations. 482392 is your item number. Um, there's so many things you can do. There's so many things you can um, decorate. I am just going to remind you, you know those beautiful, they're wonderful. These are really busy, I'm not surprised. These are proper nice. Look at those. And they're just beautiful. I don't know if Blanche has ever brought these to us before. I don't remember seeing these. I just think they are exquisite. Over half the stock has gone. Of course, over half the stock has gone. I mean, look at those. They are absolutely sensational. And remember, whatever you get, if you do want those for $70.99, bargain. Uh, 09476. Remember, whatever you're purchasing today, you're going to get your gift with purchase. And look at this. See, what I love about this, um, we see Dem uh, Blanche demonstrate, and she is very inspirational. I love watching Blanche demonstrate. And we love seeing the finished samples. I mean, sending a whole Christmas tree in is phenomenal. But obviously, look at that. So... <laughs> Yeah, who are that? Leslie. Leslie said she wants to live in Blanche's studio, honestly, I know. I'm glad we're getting to see a bit because, honestly, I'm so nosy. It's like, can we have a tour of your studio? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to just... I just want Blanche to come and, yeah, organise everything in my life. Uh, but, look, I love this because there's so many ideas. There's so many beautiful, beautiful um, inspirations in there. That is your gift with purchase, which does look so, so pretty. Um, but just check your baskets out, all the different elements. Um, I do believe Blanche is, is ready to, to show us something else. Um, what? Uh, how much time have we got, sorry? We've got about six minutes left, Blanche. Yes, only six minutes. Yes, I want to show you the ceramic stickers. You, you, you show the ceramic sticker, the wonderful surface. And I want to show you how easy it is to work with these. You can stick it on anything you have here it's a it's a candle you can stick this on a candle if you like perfect it sticks perfectly on a candle if you don't want this here you can take it away and you can stick these on glass if wow. you like it's the same it sticks perfectly you can wash these you can these are heat resistant you wow. can put it away and you stick it again on another surface you like it's 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 really easy to work with these and after a month after christmas you take it away take your foil and put it into the package and put it away storage them and next year you can use them again that's brilliant that is so good and obviously then all oh, your jars you can use again i love them as well because they're embossed aren't they uh, blanche they've got a beautiful yes, texture they are, yes they are a beautiful surface you see here i hope you can see this these are um, um, embossed surface i think you can show it better to the to the customer because you have the the board there they are really really nice yeah they are stunning and you can see yes. the embossing just there i mean look at that how amazing is that? It just looks so pretty. And it just, again, they look professional. If I show you on that jar, I mean, how pretty does that look? I, I mean, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But doesn't it look expensive? And I mean, you could be upcycling any of your jars. But also, as Blanche was saying on candles, and I love the fact that they'll peel off and then you'll be able to use them year after year after year. Just pop them away. Obviously, and some of you can find them again next year. I know what I'd be like. But but how wonderful is that? It's just so, so gorgeous. And everything matches perfectly. £12.99 is all you're paying. They are part of the big bundle. If you do want that big bundle, again, that £3 saving is carried forward along with all the other savings and the extra saving. And the extra saving if you're a Freedom member. Big bundle is there, 678462. Um, Blanche, this hour is going so fast. We've only got four minutes yes, left. Yes, so fast. <laughs> it always Hugs goes and too kisses fast. from Germany. Yay, live from Germany. I'm glad we've got your company, Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I think, yes, I think the shrink sleeves are a really must have for the customers because you can decorate in, in seconds your Christmas balls. You can decorate your charts you normally way, throw away. You can make wonderful gifts with these. Uh, I can't count how many you pay for one shrink.